it's the same even if you lean on the emperor's halo. When I got the news that the child was kidnapped by the 14th prince, I already had the idea of giving him up, planning to adopt my brother's child as my heir. It's just that I didn't expect the child to come back alive, let alone that he would make such a request in front of the emperor. For a moment, Yu Erjo didn't know how to respond to the child's feelings. But when the emperor asked, it was impossible for Yu Erjo to hold back and not answer. He could only say with a blank face as in the past, Your Majesty, there are other young people in the Muhashabza family who can serve you, and he is the only one. The last words that came out were such cold words. For his father's answer, Efren only felt angry. This made him more determined that he did not want to inherit the family business, and he only wanted to join the vision drawn by the magician. Of course, the old emperor understood that Yu Urju, a man who had followed him for a long time, was not as cold as he appeared on the surface. Maybe he also has his own way of loving children, but he is not understood. But with the mess at home, it seems that he is not qualified to put on a superior posture and teach others something. Speaking of it, this can be regarded as the common distress of being a father. But to get down to business, Emperor Alman certainly couldn't let a young man run around like a headless chicken just because he admired his drive. As an elder, his duty is to put forward effective suggestions in a timely manner, so that young people have a direction to work hard. But this suggestion is not according to one's own ideas, forcing young people to put their efforts in the right direction. Because who can guarantee that the direction I suggest will be correct? The proportion in this is not so easy to handle. Fortunately, Alman thinks that he is very good at being a guiding light for young people, rather than just dampening other people's confidence. So the old emperor said. Son, since you want to join the plan of the goddess of gold coins and that magician, it's not that I can't allow it. But I have one condition. Ephron seemed to be recognized, and said excitedly, Please speak, your majesty. Hey, don't be so happy for now. This is not a promise to you. Yes www.mtlnovel.com The excited young man lowered his head again and listened respectfully to Yuyin. You mentioned that the magician took out a red magic stone, which contained the plan he wanted to make. It was after the magic stone was enshrined to the goddess that that person came to the world, with talk to the magician in detail. I need to know the contents of the magic stone and determine what they want to do before I can decide whether to agree with you. Before the goddess makes an invitation, I will send people to join the plan. If this thing is done if not, there is no need to talk about other things. This, is a reasonable request. Efren thought so. Recalling the attitude of the magician, he was not worried about the leakage of the contents of the magic stone at that time, so he simply agreed to let the priest of the goddess of gold coins check the contents. Although it is also possible that the priests belong to the system of the goddess, so there is no need to hide it. But since their plan will be promoted to the outside world, it is impossible to hide it from everyone. Therefore, Ephron felt that there was a good chance to obtain the content of the magic stone first. So he hastily agreed. Seeing the overjoyed expression of the young man in front of him, the old emperor gave him a rewarding smile and stopped saying anything. It is true that it is a choice to disrupt the scheme of the magician and the gods. But if it is profitable, it is also a way out for the empire to seize a large share, or even compete for dominance. The old emperor thought so. Chapter 1239, Kingdom of God With the promise of the gold coin goddess Kayin, Lin, who returned to the holy city of Estelai, had no chance to breathe. The subsequent events unfolded in full swing, as if being pulled by a locomotive. Since the matter was still in the preparation stage, at this time, no one knew what the overall picture of the plan would look like except for the planner, that is, myself. So regardless of Lin Qing's reluctance, the plan must be advanced, and no one can do it for him except himself. So I can only work hard and grit my teeth to do it. After returning to the holy city, Kaya was called first, and asked her to transfer the less important daily work to other people. Help him as a teacher first, 
watch the forum and emails, all the messages contacting him, and reply according to the instructions. Simply put, it's the secretary's job. In the early stage, an apprentice will be transferred back. If necessary in the middle and late stages, Harumi or even Leonardo may come to help. Kaya's first job was to contact her old acquaintance in the Amalan Elf Kingdom, the fat elf Wild Walker Futeng. Tell him that His Majesty Kayin has already nodded in agreement, and the follow-up plan will be launched, and there is not much time left for him. It is necessary to transfer the content of the plan previously given to him to the other four elf kingdoms as soon as possible. I thought that the old elf king, Andre Kirill, would get some benefits from this matter. I didn't expect to learn from Wild Walker that they had transferred their plans and information to other elf kingdoms for free. Lin couldn't help admiring at this time, the kingdom of Amalan really deserved to be the relatively enlightened one among the five elven kingdoms. That old king did have the courage of a king. Instead of being petty, you will take advantage of everything you see. In other words, this kind of generosity made it easier for him to gain a leadership position in the future. That being said, it's not bad. The next step is to sort out the materials at hand, prepare to go to the high-level meeting, and show the content to both World Tree and Kay Yin. Although I have written a complete version of my related plans, it is not impossible to modify, and not everyone needs to know everything. Just like a big company on the earth, the grassroots personnel need detailed work rules, and the high-level people only need to know and grasp the general direction. If it is reversed, it will just let people on both sides see the world and open their eyes, and it will not significantly help their respective work. So in order to give a briefing to World Tree and K Yin, Lin still needs to make some selections and deletions. If they want to know the details, anyway, the level of the participants is high enough, then just throw the full version of the plan over and let them chew it by themselves. There is no need to waste your own saliva on introduction and persuasion. Everything is ready, and it is already three days later to try to figure out what I said. Just like someone's previous agreement with the goddess of gold coins, there was no extra rest time, and the time limit was not exceeded. After saying hello to the family members, Lin took no one with him this time and went on the road alone. The first time it flashed, it reappeared in the temple of the goddess of gold coins in the imperial city of Nineveh. The old priests also listened to the entire conversation between the goddess and the magician before, and knew that today is the day when one and one person agreed to meet. Therefore, they prepared early and held a prayer ceremony to inform their goddess. In addition to the old priests who were dressed up, the group of sheltered children were also dressed in starched white robes, looking like a group of little angels. Seeing the sudden appearance of the magician, the old priests were startled. But without waiting for them to greet him, Lin waved his hand first and said, Don't bother, I know the place, just go there by yourself. After speaking, it flashed again. The place where it appeared this time was Kayin's kingdom of God. According to someone's past understanding, the kingdom of God is to the gods, just like the phylactery is to the lich. If you want to completely kill the gods, you must destroy the kingdom of God. Otherwise, as long as the kingdom of God exists, the gods will be resurrected sooner or later, or another person will occupy the magpie's nest and succeed him as a god. However, whether the successor is another god, or will eventually be assimilated into the previous one, is hard to say. Finn thinks the latter will be the case, and there is considerable evidence to support it. But her situation is learned from the old system, whether the new is the same, the former devil king who takes pleasure in slaughtering gods can't guarantee. Since the kingdom of God is a weakness, then the gods dare to show such a weakness openly there must be something to rely on. At least from publicly known history, it is more difficult to destroy the kingdom of God than to kill a god. And the only ones who can destroy the kingdom of God are other gods, and mortals cannot do this. This is why, only gods can seize the concept of godhood from other gods and cast them into themselves. But mortals can only replace it and become the next who lives with the same concept. As for the reason why the kingdom of God is so hard to destroy, someone didn't understand it before, but
but now Lin, who had just seen the secret of the gods for the first time, had a general idea. Gods are not simply high-dimensional creatures, but multi-dimensional creatures, an existence that is more difficult for the human brain to understand thoroughly. So is the kingdom of God. The uniqueness of the gods allows them to constantly change, shuttle, and manifest in the multidimensional world. They exist in countless places at the same time, but they can only exist in one place at a time. The seemingly contradictory explanation is also the difference between mortals and gods. For comparison, another classic fantasy character is the Cheshire Cat in Alice in Wonderland. I don't exist, but I'm also everywhere. To explain it in scientific theory, it is similar to Schrödinger's cat, but it is not the same as the observer effect. However, the existence of the kingdom of God is not the same as that of the gods. The kingdom of God is a node that exists stably in the multidimensional world at the same time. It has all the characteristics of the connected multidimensional world at the same time, finds a wonderful balance point in the chaotic rules, and stubbornly builds a small world. It seems extremely fragile, but in fact it is so strong that the rules of any world are not enough to destroy such a small world. There are so many contradictions between the gods and the kingdom of God, but they are true facts. It is precisely because human wisdom is difficult to fully understand that it is dubbed the word God. Even someone who has the ability to slaughter a can only dare to say that he is like a glimpse of a leopard, only seeing a part of the God, not the whole picture. The reason why God can be slaughtered is exactly the saying, destruction is easier than creation. It's like on earth, no engineer can build a computer from scratch, from gravel and various metal ores. But to smash a computer, a child can do it. With this kind of understanding, someone who came to the kingdom of God for the first time, of course, especially observed the surrounding environment. The scope of goddess of gold coins is not very large. Although it seems that the scenery is boundless, but under the perception of someone's environment detection, the boundary range is encountered sooner than I imagined. The reason why the boundary of the kingdom of God can be discerned is because there is nothingness beyond the boundary. It is not the kind of nothing in the universe, but a kind of nothingness that is completely opposite to the being of the kingdom of God. But whether the outside of the boundary is really as he perceives it, and Lin can't guarantee it without stepping out in person. It's like in a bright environment, people can't see things in dark corners clearly, but in a relatively dark environment, as long as there is a little light, they can see different things. And Kei Yin's kingdom of God is different from someone's imagination, with white clouds, blue sky, green grass, and countless flowers blooming at the same time. Tall gear-shaped marble pillars propped up the high roof, and the mirror-smooth white walls separated a passage that was quite narrow compared to the height of the ceiling. However, all of this is too huge for someone to imagine. The forks of the passages are connected to the passages, and there are no rules for the distribution of the forks, making the kingdom of the goddess of gold coins look like a maze. In other words, this is a maze. I heard that the scenery of the kingdom of God shows the thoughts or personality of the gods to some extent, so how to interpret the character of this goddess when the kingdom of God is managed like a dungeon labyrinth? While thinking about such things, Lin walked towards the end point, which is the very center of the maze of the kingdom of God, where the goddess seat is located. When he entered the central palace, besides the halfling goddess, there was another god. Blonde, handsome enough to make men jealous of her acquaintance, the lord of guardian Apollos. Kei Yin sat on a seat that didn't match his figure at all, and it was more than enough for a giant to sit on. There is a long table between Apollos and him, and the chairs are relatively ordinary. But the imposing aura of powerful divine power makes him not lose to Kei Yin, who has the advantage of being a landlord. However, seeing these two, Lin discovered where the lingering sense of disobedience came from since entering the kingdom of God. In this maze, everything is too huge the reason is that it has shrunk. Using his own height as a comparison standard, Kei Yin is at least 50 meters tall, and Apollos, who is of standard human proportions, is even more than 100 meters tall. In the eyes of these two gods, 
the size of a certain person is almost the same as looking at a small white mouse in the laboratory. Is this the standard size for a deity? Lin thought so for the first time. But when they appeared in MIDI www.mtlnovel.com, they had the same proportions as other Homo sapiens, not this kind of exaggerated height compared to MIDI giants. Oh, you're here, mortal. It's really surprising. I thought you said you would come directly to my kingdom of God to meet me. It was just a talk. I didn't expect you to come here by yourself. I can't even open up a passage, and find all the helpers who are taken over by you who are alive. Kayint greeted someone in the common language of Midi. The voice of the gods was so loud, it was like standing in front of the speakers at a concert before crossing, it was really deafening. Lin didn't respond to the greeting immediately, but he also knew the purpose of the Lord of Guardians appearing here. It seems that the relationship between the two is really unusual. Lin didn't think such a thing as opening a channel could be done easily. Because if it's that simple, Kei Yin can do it by himself, why bother to find a helper? So is the relationship between these two really good friends, or is there a reason? Regardless of the privacy between the two gods, this way of looking up at people's dialogue is not something people get used to at all. After Lin reconfirmed the environment he was in, the flashing technique was activated. This time, instead of teleporting himself to another place, someone appears in place. But when he reappeared in Kei Yin's Divine Kingdom, his body proportions were the same as those of the two gods, and he was no longer the same as the little white mouse before. Chapter 1240, One High Seat Regarding such a performance, whether it was Apollos or Kei Yin, they once again showed a surprised expression. The goddess of gold coins said more appreciatively, Oh, that's great. Your ability is stronger than I thought. It's just that this doesn't look like a giant magic. Among the three ring magic of the apprentice level, there are magics of magnification and miniaturization. It can be used not only on items, but also on yourself. Regardless of the ratio of enlargement or reduction, although it is related to the ability of the magician, there is a limit. Like the situation just now, to magnify yourself by about 20 times and sit on an equal footing with the gods is something that no magician can do. Lin didn't intend to hide it, and simply explained, it's actually a geometric problem of entering the angle, and it's really not a magic of magnification. The two gods looked blank. It is as if the relative position of the person in the three-dimensional world and the light source will create a shadow on the two-dimensional plane. Depending on the angle, the length of the shadow will be different. Entering a certain dimensional world with the flash technique will encounter such a problem. What was previously considered a constant is actually a parameter that can be modified. However, on the plane of the lost landlord, he cannot fight after zooming in or out. Because of my other physical characteristics, there will be no different results in the same world. In other words, even if he becomes a giant with a height of 100 meters, his weight is still only about 80 kilograms. Balloons of the same volume will not be so light. The same is true for shrinking. There is no setting like Marvel Ant-Man or DC Atom Man. If you increase the density to the point where it will produce a nuclear fission reaction, let alone maintain the same power. In short, it cannot be used to fight. But is it useful to explain these things to two illiterates? So Lin made a haha, shifted the focus, and said, Then, Your Majesty, are you ready to go to the high seat meeting with me? When it comes to business, Kei Yin no longer struggles with things he doesn't understand. The halfling goddess dressed in a boy's attire walked on the table, came to the guardian lord, and said, Can Apo go with me? Lin spread his hands and said, Although I really want to agree, I am not the only one who has the final say on that place. I can only say sorry. Hearing that Apollos' request to go with him was not granted, Kei Yin put his hands on his shoulders, huddled into a ball like a quail, and tremblingly said, Is this okay? Isn't it dangerous for me to go there alone? It was completely unexpected that this goddess actually had such attributes. Lin Gan laughed twice and said, don't worry, 
your majesty. Whether it's you or me, in front of those twenty-five people, we don't even have the qualifications to be fertilizer. So safety can be guaranteed. Putting down his hands and vigilance, Kei Yin made a helpless expression and said, It's really a sad truth. Maybe most people wouldn't know, but how could the gods not know what the world tree was all about? As a magician said, the world tree does not need to absorb any nutrients from the place where it takes root, and of course it does not need any fertilizer needed by plants. Their only source of energy and nutrition is the other world they are connected to. But Kayin did not agree to follow the human magician in front of him because of this. Instead, he sat down on the table and asked with a frivolous expression, If the twenty-five don't need to worry, what about you? A magician. Your Majesty, I am a mere human, do you think I can pose any threat to the divine body? Lin did not answer directly, but asked rhetorically. That's right. It's just. A certain goddess said, but her eyes drifted to the guardian lord beside her. This person today is A with blonde hair and facial paralysis. He stood up and said coldly, Don't worry, if you die, I will avenge you. After speaking, he disappeared and left, distracted. Kayin stuck out his tongue dissatisfiedly in the direction where Apollos disappeared, half grimacing. Then jump off the table, come up to someone and say, OK, let's go. Just how do we get there? Do you want to hold hands? As soon as a certain female mythology finished her question and stretched out her hand, she realized that she had come to a different place. Originally, in my divine kingdom, although it looked like a labyrinth palace, it was very bright, not gloomy at all. But the environment he was in was much smaller now, with a ring-like long table surrounded by a circle, with more than twenty chairs placed on average. Most of the chairs have things on them, either animals, or strange trees. They all sit quietly, or are placed on chairs, like sculptures. But Kayin wouldn't think it was a group of dead things because he could feel that these aliens were absorbing the free energy overflowing from the grotesque and chaotic scenery outside through the open ceiling. Also because of the open ceiling, this small space is filled with various colors, like a kaleidoscope, constantly changing in rotation. Is this the high seat meeting of World Tree? The halfling goddess asked herself in her heart. It's the first time to succeed. Lin, who appeared in the high seat meeting space with the goddess, was rubbing his stubble on his chin, and said so. Because of the multidimensional coexistence characteristics of the gods, it is quite difficult for him to use the flash technique to locate the opponent. Therefore, no matter whether it is the different dimensional exile technique or the various applications of the flash technique, most of them cannot deal with any god. Unless you can find a way to process multidimensional data at the same time, or the processing speed is fast enough to capture the gods when they escape to the next dimensional world. And this time was Lin's first attempt at using the new method. Of course, someone would not be complacent and think that such a success means that he has really succeeded and he has upgraded his flash technique to a level that can deal with gods. For one thing, Kayin did not exert any strength to resist, and it was considered to be cooperation. Secondly, his strength among the gods can be regarded as the last one. Dealing with such a can only be regarded as the first step, not to the point of being invincible in the world. Lin's whispers, of course, attracted the goddess' attention. Seeing Kayin's gaze, Lin also temporarily put aside his personal affairs, but put on a business-like professional smile, and greeted, Your Majesty, welcome to the high seat meeting of World Tree. The invited guests are present, and of course the World Tree clones here cannot continue to pretend to be deaf and dumb. They shook their branches, or shook their heads, telling others that they had awakened. Then he greeted, Ms. K. Yin, welcome. Pointing to a short withered tree with eight fruits hanging on it, Lin introduced to Kei Yin, the one who spoke just now is His Majesty Anai Trazel. Taking the first ancient who spoke as the leader, Lin introduced the lap. And on the last vacant seat, the badge on the back of the bench is someone's pixel version of three monkeys. Although Kei Yin had the appearance of a halfling, 
he stood in the middle of the round table and said neither humble nor humble, the magician said that you came to cooperate with me. So am I not entitled to have a chair here? Of course, Ms. K. Yin. It is our honor that you are willing to join. After Yutra Hill finished speaking, the meeting space of the high seat changed suddenly. The circular table expanded a small circle, and all the seats were kept at equal distances. And in the extra space, a bench like everyone's came out from the ground. The difference is that the imprint on the back of the chair is the holy emblem of the goddess of gold coins. Seeing Kayin bouncing up and down triumphantly, and sitting on his own chair, someone had the feeling of abducting someone to Liang Shan. It was a wonderful feeling, not for any brotherhood, or the feeling of sharing good things with everyone, but a feeling of pride for pulling people into the pit. It's no wonder that in water margin, people are keen to kidnap people up the mountain and take a top spot. So, just such a was harmed by me? Putting away his strange thoughts, Lin sat down on his top seat, on the seat. In the former's terms, it's really like a bandit ranking. So I'm only 27 now, and I'm still counting in the sky. Uh -huh. In short, in terms of the arrangement of the seats, the goddess of gold coins is behind the world tree. And a certain person is still the last seat because of his mortal status. So on Lin's left is coin, and on his right is the ancient Unitra's ear. After taking a seat, Lin will prepare and place the magic stones with stored data on the ring table. Immediately, a magic circle glowing with light blue light floated up on the empty desktop, covering it with magic stones, and reading the information inside. At the same time, all the content is displayed in the open space in the middle of the round table. Holila's more than a dozen large water mirror screens filled the entire space. Because the participants are not human except themselves, the speed of reading and processing information is very fast, and there is no need to present presentations according to human habits. So everything is on display for everyone at the same time. But if someone wants to introduce, there must always be an order. So Lin flicked his fingertips, and as the first page of the briefing screen went up and zoomed in, the others zoomed out and down. On the first page of the newsletter www.mtlnovel.com the names of the eight lords of power are arranged in sequence. However, at the very end, four large characters were written. Lin noticed the slightly puzzled look of the goddess of gold coins, and then said, Come to the high seat meeting, I think His Majesty Kayin's most concerned and worried thing should be us as partners, what is the purpose, what do you want to get? Because if you don't understand this point, as long as your mind is still clear, you will worry about whether you will be used. After you succeed, you will be kicked aside. In the end, all your efforts will become someone else's. That's right. Kayin didn't say much, but just kept his eyes on the content displayed in the field. For three days in the human world, this goddess was not waiting in vain. He carefully pondered over the contents of the magic stone offered by someone. To be honest, if he hadn't waited for today's meeting, someone also said that he would introduce a collaborator to himself, and with the content in the magic stone, he would have been able to start the whole plan alone. But he still waited, waiting for the magician to give an answer today. Lin continued, No one is without desires, everyone has what they want. No one can deny this. And my demand is the beginning of this series of plans. Your Majesty World Tree knows that I I think His Majesty Kayin also learned from the Guardian Lord that I am a foreigner, a foreigner, or an outsider, whichever term you are used to. But what I want is to find a way home. Chapter 1241, Cooperation or Not Kayin recalled a polis attitude towards this mortal, which can be summed up in two words, disgusting. And the reason for hating it is because this guy is an outsider. For Apollos, as long as it is an outsider, no matter whether it is a man or a god, a cat or a dog, that guy just hates it. After all, his main opponents after becoming a are these outsiders who emerge in endlessly and come from different worlds. And the most common one in it is the demon from the abyss. Almost all abyssal lords have dealt with the guardian lord, the kind that beat them to death. 
but for an outsider who wants to find his way home, in a world other than the abyss or the four elemental planes, it is indeed a feasible direction to seek help from the world tree. But as we all know, these trees are difficult to meet, and even harder to ask them to do things. The world tree is guarded by wood elf tribes or elf kingdoms, and it is difficult for ordinary people to approach. Even the elves themselves may be able to get in touch with the world tree, but whether these supergiant plants will take care of people is another problem. Even if they can communicate with world tree, why do these plants help people? They don't have the desires of ordinary people. Wealth, power, mean nothing to a plant. Even the gods may not have the bargaining chip to attract these plants to do things for them. So even if you know the materials on the world tree, even the gods will be jealous, but not many people or gods can make a whole set of world tree suits. So here comes the question, what are the conditions for this human being to trade with world tree? And this condition can not only attract all the world trees, but also related to oneself. Kayin was not curious, but he really took his halfling blood as a joke. Midi if there was a creature more curious than a cat, it would be a halfling. Of course, the part that this goddess neglects to mention is that the three-minute enthusiasm of a halfling for a matter is similar to that of a cat. Lin didn't hide the answer, and before Kayin could even ask, he said, I want to go back to my hometown. His Majesty World Tree will provide help, and what I want to provide is a way to advance. As we all know, the world one of the ways for a tree to advance is to burn down another world tree, take the heart of the tree, and become the foundation of its own advancement. But this method is not without an upper limit, at least the two ancient majesties have encountered this limitation. They no matter how much you take the hearts of other world trees, and no matter how many hearts you take, there is no way for them to make progress. And it has been nearly 10,000 years since they reached this limit. Even more than a thousand years ago, that is, before the Dark Ages, the conquest among the world trees never stopped. Your Majesty Kayin knows this, right? Although Kayin is a deity who has only been accomplished in the past thousand years, he is no stranger to the history of world tree. In other words, as long as you reach a certain level or above, you will understand how crazy these plants used to be. Keep attracting creatures from different worlds, become a source of soldiers, conquer other world trees, and never die. Anyway, leaning against the world tree, although it can't be said that it can be resurrected infinitely, it is almost the same. Therefore, in the war between world trees, unless it is a group that has a sure chance of winning and is sure to absorb the losers, no prisoners will be kept, and the enemy will be cut into pieces, and the opponent must be adjusted to a state where even the resurrection technique cannot be used. That's right. Speaking of a war for the purpose of domination, it is really much milder. Lin continued, however, a few years ago, I helped His Majesty Wadwo advance to the promotion without relying on the method of capturing the hearts of other world trees. Afterwards, I also proposed a lot about the promotion of other world trees or strengthening their essential power. Suggestions Fortunately, using the knowledge of my hometown, the suggestions I put forward have been proved to be feasible through the practice of Your Majesty. So when I asked for help, the two ancients made it a condition to break their shackles, let me find a way to solve this matter. The two ancients have already encountered this matter. As long as other world trees continue to advance, they will also encounter the same restrictions. So, this is a matter related to all world trees no one can hide from it. At this time, Kayin said curiously, let's say it first, I have no malice. What if we use the world tree tree heart that also touches the limit? Is there a way for them to break through the limit? On a short old tree, the withered corpse imprisoned by vines turned its head and said, Little Kian, don't you think we haven't thought about this method? We've even done it, but it's useless. If we hadn't done those things back then, there wouldn't be only me and Anitrazir among the ancients today. It was another ancient who spoke Farzinus. Considering this person's age and strength, even if he was called young, Kayin couldn't lose his temper. So he could only laugh dryly, trying to fool him. 
But Farzinus did answer Kay Yin's question, so the goddess stopped asking, but looked at the magician sitting beside her, and asked, Then what is your method, mortal? Ignore the terms the other party deliberately mentioned, which is somewhat derogatory on such occasions. Lin asked another question. Your Majesty Kay Yin, do you know where the eight powers of Midi come from? Isn't it everywhere? As soon as he said it, Kay Yin's eyes widened, realizing where the problem was. The divine power will be consumed by the gods, magicians will consume it when they use magic, and even the breathing and panting of monsters and the skills of using talents will also be consumed. Since it is constantly being consumed, there must be a source of replenishment. So where is the source? However, such a question has never been asked. It was the latter thought that surprised Kay Yin even more. According to my observation, after absorbing the energy tides generated by the difference in different world dimensions, the world tree will convert into a certain kind of power in their bodies. Some will be stored, and some will escape to the outside world. Replenish the part consumed by obsessiveness. All the alien worlds connected by the world tree are different, and a different plane that can be stably connected is also very difficult to find, which is why the world tree used to seize the way in the past. Promote your rank. However, when all world trees are connected to the first alien world, the authority produced must be knowledge, being able to connect to the second one will produce power. Then in order is authority, faith, wealth, dexterity, perception. And the only two that can produce the power of mystery are the two ancients who connect the eight worlds. Each additional connected alien plane world means that the world tree has been promoted by one rank. But the rank of the world tree has come to an end when it reaches the level of the two ancients. Speaking of which, you can accept it. This can almost be regarded as the secret of world tree. In fact, it is so simple that everyone can understand it and it is so reasonable that it is impeccable. As for the evidence, staying in the space of this high seat meeting, Kay Yin can clearly feel that the spirits of the world tree are doing what the magician said. That is to absorb different kinds of energy, and then transform it into power and radiate it. So is it possible that this is a cleverly arranged scam? Coin has reservations. Continue to listen to what the magician has to say. Facing the limit of the world tree, I made an assumption. This is actually the limit of this world, that is, the plane of the lost land. Moreover, the world tree can connect up to eight worlds of different planes, which also correspond to the eight powers of the lost land. Dot then the problem to be solved is very simple. Since a person's strength has its upper limit, to increase this upper limit, one only needs to go through exercise. The first step is to improve the world tree itself. This does not refer to the ultimate goal of raising the rank, but to improve the efficiency of converting energy, using power and the most fundamental optimization related to the tree body. These things, in fact the world trees have been doing it all the time. Because if you don't do this, you may be killed if you advance rashly. And all I can do in this is to use the knowledge of my hometown to help His Majesty the world tree to achieve a great success, a further achievement. However. This is only the first step. Okay, what about the second step? Kay Yin asked. The second step is to improve the whole world. My hometown has the theory of Feng Shui Dragon Veins, which is actually a theory that regards the whole world as a whole. The terrain, wind and water flow will affect the luck of the whole world. Dot and I found that the location of the world tree is just at some nodes. It only needs to make some adjustments to make the obstructed part smooth again, so that the flow can be smoother and spread to every corner. It should be able to make the whole the world has changed for the better. And we have done so. For details, Your Majesty, you can read the first attachment. Since the part that is not directly related to you has already been completed, I will not here talk too much. Kay Yin casually clicked on the attachment mentioned by a certain magician and quickly read the content, but the corners of his eyes twitched. It describes the cause and effect, and also explains the changes made by the world trees. And all of this explained the abnormal changes in Midi during this period of time. 
No one knew the reasons for these changes before www.mtlnovel.com and because the results of these changes made the power of Midi more abundant, even the power of the gods seemed to increase by a series out of thin air. The benefits obtained are even more. Since the result is good, no one is entangled in the reason for the change. Unexpectedly, all of this is actually the work of World Tree, and it seems to be very effective. But it's just that, I don't know how long it will take for the whole world to reach the level where the World Tree can connect to the Ninth World. So I designed the third step of the plan, the Ninth Power Plan. Since the World Tree every time one more world is connected, one more power can be produced. Then, can it be reversed? by giving birth to a powerful divine power that can become the ninth power, so that the whole world can be raised to a higher level, thereby liberating the restrictions of the world tree? This is the ultimate goal of your plan," said the halfling goddess. Yes, your majesty Kay Yin. And let's put it this way, even if you don't need any collaborators, as long as you have the willingness to implement the plan. I think your majesty world tree doesn't mind waiting and then waiting for the results of your efforts. I believe that when it comes to patience, no one is more patient than your majesty world tree. Lin Xiao Xiao said. The subtext of a certain magician is, afraid of being tricked, don't want help. Okay. As long as a certain wants to climb up, just obediently be a cow or a horse. Then they can sit back and enjoy it. Kei Yin thought bitterly. Chapter 1242, Way of Cooperation Have you ever thought about what will happen if I refuse to cooperate? Kei Yin said, and immediately regretted it. Although a certain magician maintained a smiling expression, he hesitated before saying, In that case, I think everyone will wait patiently, waiting for the whole world to gradually improve in our second step plan, and finally reach our aim. The halfling goddess squinted at a magician and said, You believe the nonsense you just said. Your Majesty, you want to hear words of consolation. Otherwise, you are asking yourself a question that you already know the answer to. Someone complained respectfully. Kei Yin also felt that he was being stupid. Asking such a stupid question is to ask others how to answer it. So he ignored the hidden cruelty and asked other questions. How did you choose me? Lin replied, to establish the ninth power, general concepts and virtues are impossible. In other words, if it can be done, the ninth power has already appeared. Therefore, based on the eight existing powers, I may draw an inference. Perhaps what we need is not a powerful divine power with many believers and power all over the land. It is a concept with many users just like the eight lords of power. Perhaps the beliefs that users can provide the power is far inferior to what devout believers can provide. But as long as the base is large enough, the gods can still obtain considerable power of faith, thus impacting the rank of powerful divine power. If that's the case, why don't you consider fighters? Their battle chi, or this or that chi, is used by as many people as magicians who use the eight powers. Kei Yin proposed another possibility. Lin explained, that was indeed a direction, but it was quickly rejected by me. Because different warrior schools have different so-called fighting spirits, and the gods involved are also different. I think it is too difficult to integrate all these. In contrast, the concept of money is still very superficially used here. As long as you can focus on coins without involving the concept of wealth, you can say no there will be too much resistance. Using the experience and knowledge of my hometown, I can create a financial system that has never been seen before in Lost Land, and will never be seen in the future. For me, it is much easier to do than to fight against Qi. To put it another way, if you engage in grudges, you may directly fight a battle of gods. Someone said that he was tired. Oh, you have also considered the possible enemies or resistance. Kei Yin said in surprise. Of course. Since there are so many choices, if I want to do it myself, of course I will choose a simple one, and I am sure to implement it. Fighting Qi seems to be feasible, but I can't even imagine the difficulty of implementing it. 
If you let the concept of money has achieved the ninth power, and the ultimate goal of your majesty the world tree has also been achieved, which proves that this road is indeed feasible. Then when there is a need to attack the tenth power in the future, perhaps fighting spirit can become the next a choice. But I guess that's something I won't see in my lifetime. Leave it to someone else to worry about it. When someone said this, all the world trees and gods realized again that he was really just a mortal. Yin, who saw the whole picture of the plan for the first time, was even more amazed by the generosity of this mortal. The whole plan does not seem to harm anyone's interests, on the contrary, almost all relevant parties can benefit from it. It's no wonder that Apollos, the big-name younger brother who can't be moved no matter how much he asks, should do him a favor with this answer, and he agreed so simply. Yin took a long breath and said, it's understandable, why Oppo hates you so much, but he doesn't dare to have any thoughts or actions towards you. Because your every move has already entered the eyes of that old lady Aiou Gon. Io, Gaia, God of Gods, Mother of Gods. According to someone's understanding, these names all represent the same thing, which is the lost consciousness. This term, which is only occasionally seen in books, is the first time Lin has heard it mentioned by others. And the people and things involved make Kei Yin's words very credible. This should be a good thing. Someone thought. This also proves a few things from the side, that is, what he and the world tree did has already entered the eyes of those high-level beings. And all of this is helpful to them, that's why they are given the green light everywhere like this. Otherwise, with the degree of hostility of the Lord of Guardians against him, he might not have killed himself, but he would have been beaten all over his head. The sigh is over, and we have to get back to business after all. Yin said, Well, I already understand what everyone can get from this. Basically, we have no conflict of interest, and we have common goals, which forms the basis for cooperation. Then the next question is what should we do? How did you cooperate? The focus once again returned to Lin. He cleared his throat and said, Bank, please allow me to call our upcoming organization, the bank. The reason why the bank can be trusted to allow people to deposit their coins in the bank is the most important point. It is safety. The money stored in the bank will not disappear for no reason, and the money stored in one's own account cannot be taken away without his consent. As long as these two points can be achieved, then the foundation of everything is there is. The spirits of the world tree nodded as long as they were in animal form. The non-animal type also shakes a certain part of the body, expressing approval. And Kayin said, this is the plan you gave me, emphasizing that the so-called personal account must be established by identifying the soul. In order to ensure the safety of everyone's money stored in the bank. Yes. And regardless of good or evil, men, women, adults, children, even nobles and beggars, as long as they recite your honorable name, you will ensure that the money they deposit with you is safe without discrimination. Will not increase or decrease. And there is a major premise for this, that is, you will not mistake people. So, Your Majesty K. Yin, can you tell the difference between all of them? This is very important. Even twins have different souls. If the gods can't tell them apart, how can we believe that someone is pious and someone is hypocritical? All who pray will be blessed, and this gifts will not be sent to the wrong person. Yin said with assurance. Hearing such assurance, Lin smiled with satisfaction. On earth, the most troublesome thing to open various financial accounts is identity verification. But in Midi, in the hands of the gods, the cheating technique of soul binding is used to directly abolish those criminal acts that rely on stealing identities and accounts. It can be said that binding the soul not only reduces a lot of workload, but also solves many possible problems. Of course, this is not without drawbacks. At least in the future, no one will be able to throw a bearer bank card with one million gold coins in a lost place and let people spend it casually. Anyway. Doing so is not showing off, but doing some shameful things. It's fine if you can't do this kind of show off, 
and someone doesn't have any psychological burden at all. Lin just needs to find a way to convince the halfling goddess who is ready to cooperate, and make sure that no one can get information such as the flow of money and personal information from her, and there is a possibility of making a hand in it. This is safer and more secure than any decentralized blockchain virtual currency. The first problem is solved, so the second problem, which is the reason why I emphasized that His Majesty K Yin, you want to cooperate with His Majesty World Tree, is the transportation of coins. Do you know that in my hometown, from the bank since the establishment of this organization, the hot job that has come along has been that of bank robbers? The bank, the robber, well, this is not what I imagined. K Yin felt a little speechless. But Lin helplessly shook his head and spread his hands, and said, that's what you imagined. Now that we know that a large amount of money is collected, and the money will be moved regularly, then of course there will be people who want to get something for nothing. Ah, no, it should be said that something for nothing incorrect, because the robbers also risked their lives for labor. It's just that they took a large amount of money unreasonably by infringing on the interests of others, which violated the principle of fair trade. Because the robbers made profits, they were the party who robs only loses, does not get anything of relative value, and may even lose his life during the robbery. This is not something that can be tolerated. Would anyone choose to do something like this even knowing the money was under my protection? Lin didn't answer directly, but said, even though we know that Midi is protected by the Lord of Guardians, the demons are still trying to find a way to break in. Have they ever stopped? Well www.mtlnovel.com Well, it is indeed as you said. And in the magic stone you gave me before, the plan for this part is not clear, it only mentions the need to cooperate with partners. Since I'm here, I can always tell you how it's actually done. Of course I can. As for the specific method, I think you have experienced it yourself just now. Your Majesty K. Yin. I don't know if you have any ideas. Lin reminded. I just experienced it. K. Yin lowered his head and thought for a while. With a keen mind, he thought of a possibility and asked, Is it the teleportation magic you used when you brought me here? Lin flicked his fingers and said in praise, That's right. That's my original teleportation magic, the flashing technique. It's a little different from the traditional teleportation magic of MIDI, and has a higher degree of freedom, moreover, for those who can use it, the flashing technique will be more powerful than the traditional teleportation magic. Teleporting magic is faster. In addition, His Majesty of the World Tree has completed the star level magic array Luashu, which is equivalent to mastering most of the power flow, which is what I call the dragon vein. Then the transportation of coins you can ask His Majesty World Tree to work with you to build a cash flow network. When someone wants to deposit, send the coins directly to Your Majesty K Yin's Kingdom of God, the same is true for withdrawals, directly send the fixed amount from the Kingdom of God to the withdrawer. As for the bank in the lost world, there is no need to transport and allocate coins at all. Because all the money is stored in His Majesty's Kingdom of God. In this way, the risk of transportation and possible mistakes caused by human hands are eliminated. Or fraud. A financial mechanism that truly guarantees the safety of personal property. Chapter 1243, The Road is Ruthless. In the lost financial system that Lin plans to build, if K Yin is the heart and the mind, then the Yggdrasils are the circulatory systems such as blood vessels and lymphatics all over the body and multitasking at the same time to deal with the transfer of coins, no one is better at and more relaxed than the world trees who are in charge of the midi dragon vessel. After thinking about it seriously, K. Yin said, this is the plan you gave me before, confidently speaking about the layout of the entire lost land, and don't worry too much about the loyalty or piety of the staff. Now it seems that for to achieve the security requirements you emphasized is to isolate everyone from the cash flow network, and no one can touch money that does not belong to them. And the manpower of banks in various places is just reduced to explaining the purpose and use of banks to ordinary people megaphone. You don't trust people. 
Facing the sharp question asked by Kei Yin, Lin said without hesitation, the Dao is ruthless, and the public is selfless. The system I established for His Majesty actually only involves three things, depositing money, withdrawing money, and remittances. There is no need for people to judge or review. Your Majesty only needs to strictly follow the established rules. However, people are selfish. Even if they do not use power for personal gain, people will make careless mistakes. So in the new financial system adding the human element to the work is equivalent to adding risks to the work that requires safety, and the cost of employing people is completely harmless. Why should this arrangement be made? And there is the most important point. Lin played tricks here, staring straight at the halfling goddess. Until Kei Yin couldn't stand this feeling and asked, well, what's the most important thing? When using the various functions of the bank, your majesty, do you want those users to praise your holy name, or to ask the human spokesperson you appointed? Although I am not a god, I feel that there is still a difference between the two. After pondering for a moment, Kei Yin said, indeed. Since there is a difference, then why do you let others do this kind of simple work and share your harvest? And it is precisely because the matter is very simple, you can design a response system. It is like giving priests, like the divine spells used by monks, you can cast down whatever power they pray. You don't have to pay attention to someone at all, thinking about whether the other person's request is reasonable or nonsense. Simply put, it's it's so simple but a lot of work turns into your instinct. I believe that if you want to move forward to a powerful divine power, this is a hurdle that you have to cross. Think about the actions of the eight masters of power, they are impossible always pay attention to how the magicians use their powers, and cooperate with them with all your heart. That's true. I can't admit more, Kei Yin thought so. To refute the reasoning put forward by the magician in front of him, he could only look at the details word by word and seek trouble with the idea of being critical. But there is no point in doing so. Since the direction is right, Kei Yin certainly hopes to achieve this. So he relaxed his mind and simply asked about specific actions. I see. The general direction is as you said, and I have no objection. So specifically, where should I start? There are so many things, you must have an order. Indeed, there is. The first thing we need to do is to invite His Majesty Kei Yin and the World Tree Majesties to use the Dragon Veins of Midi to build a gold flow network for exclusive coins. Well, this is really important. After Kei Yin nodded in approval, he asked again, then what should we do? At this time, Lin raised his index finger and shook it, and said, no, it's not us, but what you plan to do. I have already written about the three basic functions of the bank, deposit, withdrawal, transfer, and several key points of security review. In the plan. Please follow these requirements and add your ideas after discussion to build a cash flow network. Of course, with your approval as the premise, there is room for modification. And I will not participate in all of this. Why? Kei Yin's question is actually a question of many world trees. Some world trees in the form of living creatures split their spirits, fidgeting in their seats. Lin said frankly, the reason is very simple. Because the network is to control the movement of money. And this money itself is useless to your majesties. His majesty Kei Yin can benefit from it as long as someone uses it. His Majesty the World Tree must extend this concept to the extent that it can become the ninth authority, so that it is possible to obtain the results they want. However, I am different, I am still immortal. Don't forget it. The fact that someone once again emphasized it surprised Kei Yin, saying, although I can understand that you want to emphasize justice and safety, it is really exciting to emphasize the fact that you want to exclude yourself. It's a surprise. Are you sure it's not because you think this matter is troublesome and don't want to get involved, so you want to push the matter to others? A certain person's eyes fluttered, and he said righteously, Of course I don't want to shirk responsibility like this. Don't look at me as a normal person. When I go crazy, 
I will be afraid. When forced to will I do everything I can, drag what I can drag into the water, and threaten others by destroying the money flow network. Well, even if I'm not crazy, if someone finds my weakness and threatens me or what should I do when I'm tempted? I can't guarantee any of the above. So the best way is to not touch these things from the very beginning. Confucianism education from childhood to adulthood has taught someone well to have the awareness of the melon fields do not wear shoes, and the plums do not wear crowns. Simply put, it is to avoid suspicion. It's definitely not lazy, so I want to push things on others. Emphasize again. Absolutely. Right. No. Really. Kayin squinted, staring at it. And what do you think, what I know is magic and p-language. If I were to construct a complete gold flow network, I would definitely start from these two aspects. Needless to say, magic, I have no knowledge of p-language. I have taught others without reservation. That is to say, if someone wants to sabotage or profit from it, they will first be able to understand the entire structure I designed, and then have the opportunity to find loopholes and use them. But the foundation of your majesty world tree, and his majesty Kayin's magic are all unfamiliar knowledge to me. Then when I use it in the future, I can enjoy the convenience from the perspective of an outsider with peace of mind. Instead of seeing a pile of money passing by before my eyes, tempted me to have bad intentions, secretly intercepted it, and undermined the most important fairness and impartiality of the entire system. I think this is very important. Lin continued to explain. And yet that's one of the things someone really thinks. The tree body constructed by the world tree and the tree pattern of its own system are very similar to the programming language, but there are some differences. The reason why it was able to help World Tree optimize itself before was based on the simplification of program logic and the suggestions made. In fact, Lin may have entered the foundation of the World Tree and mastered the language of their inheritance, but he did not fully understand it. To use a metaphor to illustrate, it's like writing a program in Java, while the World Trees use C language. Both sides are programming languages, and both sides have similar program logic but these are two programming languages, not the same one. Needless to say here that the bottom layer of Java is also C, this kind of talk. Knowing C, but learning Java is faster, not knowing without learning. Between the two programming languages, there is no question of who is better or who is worse. This is just a matter of which programming languages have their own advantages and disadvantages, and which one users are used to. Lin had already noticed the difference between the two when he assisted World Tree to optimize itself. At that time, I could choose to completely change my bottom layer and replace it with the World Tree system. But in the end, I chose to keep the original system and continue to dig deeper. Lin K doesn't think that the P language with eight kinds of powers as the bottom layer, after several upgrades, including the introduction of quantization, string theory, and multidimensional perspective has already tapped its potential. Since my existing system still has room for upgrading and development, and there is a lot to do, why give up digging deeper and replace it with a new system? The different thoughts at that time also gave us a better reason to separate from the cash flow network to be constructed today. If you have already fully understood the world tree, then unless Kayin constructed this money flow network alone, as long as the world trees intervene, then there is no point in avoiding suspicion. Fortunately not. Someone thought. It's just that with my current computing power, it's not difficult to completely analyze the tree pattern of the world tree by analogy. Forget what you just thought. Ignorance is bliss. Someone thought so. Someone who is desperately trying to divert his mind suddenly thinks of another thing. Ah. Almost forgot. Forget what? Kayin who was just distracted and pulled back www.mtlnovel.com asked curiously. I have something kept here for you, your majesty Kayin. After Lin finished speaking, he came to the middle space of the round table, and looked towards the dead tree with eight black fruits hanging, that is, Yutla Hill nodded and said, Your majesty, 
please take out the two items I kept here. The next moment, there was a rumbling sound next to where Lin Suo was standing, and a round stone pillar rose from the ground. When the stone pillars rose to a height of about two people, the stone pillars at about chest height turned into small squares and moved outward, exposing the things stored in them. When the breath leaked out, Kei Yin stood up in surprise, staring at the stone pillar that was opening. Inside are two crystals, one red and one gold, which seem to be extremely hard, but keep changing their shape like soft clay. Sometimes it looks like a smooth ball, and sometimes it looks like a hard object covered with spikes. Lin picked out the golden crystal, held it with both hands, and sent it to Kei Yin. The halfling goddess asked excitedly, Who's? The god of gold seeker, Fukin. Do you know this one? A weak deity with divine power who hasn't even established a kingdom of God. I met on the plane of the earth element. Give this to me, what are you going to do? You hateful little liar. What Kei Yin scolded was that someone once asked him if he felt that his mortal body was enough to threaten the gods. Most people would think no. However, he took out a pure godhead, didn't it just prove that he has that ability? The original rhetorical question was just a misleading one. Showing a sly smile, Lin said, I have seen his majesty has a magic technique to identify coins. That magic technique is very good, but I hope to be able to more accurately identify the metal content in coins. This magic is for your majesty. To strengthen research in this area. Chapter 1244, Coin Chance While Kei Yin and World Tree were busy building a cash flow network, Lin certainly couldn't easily watch the show from the sidelines. If he really dared to sit and watch a show, believe it or not, he would be instantly reduced to scum by those 26 powerful people. He also has important preparations to do. That is, at the end of the high seat meeting, the items related to taking out the godhead of Vulcan. The purpose of analyzing the metal composition of coins in circulation is to fairly calculate the correct value of each coin. After all, there are good coins, ordinary coins, and bad coins in MIDI. Of course, it is impossible to just deposit a coin and count it as one coin. To be able to accurately calculate the value of coins, the most direct way is to accurately measure the metal composition and weight of each coin, and define a gold, silver, and copper coin with a certain composition ratio under a fixed weight as a coin. However, in order to implement the definition of one coin, it is inevitable to encounter a problem, that is, minting coins. For this reason, Lin transferred back the silver-bearded dwarf Freya who was resident in the automobile R&D and manufacturing center. It's been too long since a few silver-bearded dwarves have been mentioned. It's definitely not that a certain man has forgotten them. It was Germain and Merit, who were the next patriarch and wife of the silver-bearded dwarves, and begged to leave because they were dissatisfied with someone's behavior. Lin did not stop them, but instead gave them a sum of travel expenses, and the remuneration they deserved for working under him for such a long period of time, of course the living expenses and expenses during this period were deducted. The silver-bearded dwarf couple brought their peaceful weapons and entrusted the Turtle Dove Alliance to them back to their home in the underground world. Among the four silver-bearded dwarves who left Iron City, Freya was the only one willing to stay as a follower. She even got one of the Seven Rings, which can be regarded as a confidant. But usually she doesn't live in the mansion, but in the car center. As the silver-bearded dwarf who is most familiar with machinery, Freya is the most outstanding among the magicians who design and develop cars. She is also Lim's representative at the auto center, taking care of both auditing and collecting dividends. But most of the time, this tough old lady of the silver-bearded dwarves likes to lead a group of people to modify the car, or install some whimsical mechanical devices, and then test the car herself. The rough skin and rough skin of the silver-bearded dwarves are fully reflected at this time. Who has seen a car crash test on Earth, a real person directly went to it, and then told others what he was uncomfortable with? Then take a sip of wine and continue to work like a normal person. Freya's lover, Riley, also stayed. However, 
Riley's thoughts are closer to his close friend Germain, so he is unwilling to directly help Lin. Riley stayed in the technical guild, as a craftsman, sometimes cameo fighters, doing some odd jobs to make money. Even so, Riley was among the highest group of craftsmen in the guild's evaluation of craftsmen. The money he earns can make his life very nourishing. Of course, you have to ignore the fact that the technical guild is also related to someone in order to live like this. The silver-bearded dwarf wants to get rid of someone's shadow completely, unless he leaves the holy city of Estelai. Otherwise, the projects they are good at will always be inseparable from the scope of Lin's business. And Riley stayed because Freya gave birth to his daughter, Ermita. That little thing can be said to be the first newborn of the silver-bearded dwarf clan for more than 500 years, and even Germain, the son of the patriarch who begged to go, valued it very much. But Freya was unwilling to leave with them and return to the homeland of the silver-beard dwarves. Germain could only settle for the next best thing and let his friend stay and take care of his friend's own daughter. That is to say, even if Riley is forced to leave with him, Maybe this friend will follow along with his identity, but he will be sad and worried for a long time. So Germain did not intend to break up their family, but chose to leave with Merit. Of course, they also brought the knowledge they collected during this period of travel. The silver-bearded dwarf couple who stayed in the holy city of Estelai did not live together in normal times. Although the two are in the same city, they still gather less and leave more. But this is the way of life of the silver-bearded dwarves, and there is no incompatibility between them, or any feeling that there is anything wrong. While Freya takes care of the kids, she also does her job at the auto center flawlessly. Riley came to see his daughter occasionally, and he did not hesitate to present the proud work he made with all his skills. In the future, I will also teach my daughter all my crafts. For the silver-bearded dwarves, the expression of their love is the inheritance of knowledge and technology. For the next generation, the pride of the silver beard dwarves makes them yearn for the knowledge and skills of their parents, and look forward to the moment when they surpass their elders. This is a race born for and proud of technology. It's no wonder that they will embark on a completely different development route from the mainstream of lost land. So it's not hard to imagine how rebellious Germain said when he said to his elders, the world is so big, I want to go out and see. The fact that those old people did not have a stroke due to anger is enough to prove that their blood vessel toughness is good enough. This time Freya was transferred back, of course, to use her craftsmanship to mint coins, which is a thankless job for most people and even the country. The economic model of MIDI is still in a very primitive stage, it has not been long since it broke away from barter and the role of coins has not yet been deeply rooted in the hearts of the people. It can be said that at this time, it is absolutely brain-dead to promote paper money, or even launch a credit-based financial system. The reason why coins are recognized for their purchasing power is that they are precious metals and do have their corresponding value. What can a piece of paper represent? However, the matter of coinage is not strictly controlled by the state. There is even a reason to mint coins as a last resort. Take gold for example. To put it simply, in the process of bartering, no one would go out with a large pile of gold ingots, and then cut the gold ingots temporarily when trading with others, and cut off a full scale of gold to trade with others. This is not cutting pork. When the scale is not enough, cut off a piece of meat to make up for it. If the scale is over, cut off a bit and take it back. The cutting of gold is difficult and troublesome, and it is impossible to work temporarily. So the best way, is to make the gold into small units from the beginning. Such as gold dust or small nuggets of gold. It can be easily added or subtracted at the time of transaction until the scale is full. However, the purity of gold has always been an issue. It is very troublesome to check the purity in every transaction, not to mention that the purity test can not be judged by naked eyes, but by touch. Therefore, those who have gold mines and are capable of mining will stamp their family crests on the gold lumps they make. As long as this kind of gold has been inspected once, and then traded with acquaintances, 
the other party can roughly judge the value of this kind of gold lump and speed up the transaction. At most, random inspections will be carried out afterwards to ensure that the composition of the golden toise is maintained at a similar level as in the past. And the golden toise covered with the family crest is the prototype of gold coins. Basically, as long as there are organizations with precious metal veins, whether they are countries or nobles, they will mint gold, silver, and copper coins by themselves. This is a necessary practice for the convenience of transactions. It's like people who do small business with cash on earth, whether they like it or not, they must have some change. How do you do business with big bills? Now that we know different organizations, there are good and bad techniques for casting coins, so that coins can be divided into bad coins and good coins. So why don't organizations or countries with better technology recast bad money into good money? When Lin planned to attack the Ninth Authority with money, he had researched this aspect, but couldn't find the answer. Why does no country want to control the right to speak of money? In the end, I learned from a dwarf of a technology guild that everyone in the Lost Land knows about it, but the people who travel through are easily misled by their own experience. In a word, it is the word fire consumption. When the official who supervised the coinage of the empire recast the 10,000 bad coins collected by the empire into 6 or 7,000 good coins, then the official was pushed out to be headed. Reason, being an official can exploit the villagers, and you can extort money, but if you are greedy for the emperor's money, you are looking for death. So it was not discussed. Another person, the same. No improvement. So cut again. When seven or eight heads of capable officials were cut off, even the dull-witted would know that something was wrong. At this time, people also realized that the amount of money and the amount of money will be reduced in this way. But how much will be less, but no one can say for sure. Therefore, when encountering the task of reminting coins later, the officials in charge of supervision usually ask for an allowable degree of wear and tear. However, if there are too many orders, it is easy for the officials who deal with them to go up and down their hands and enrich their own pockets, if they are ordered less, they may lose a few more heads. So gradually, the matter of recoinage has become a difficult problem for all countries, and no one is willing to deal with it. Most of the coins in circulation today are directly minted into money after being mined from the mine. And those bad coins that people don't want to use, or coins that are deformed and worn due to long-term use, are usually melted into metal ingots for other purposes. Even if those precious metals are not used as money, they still have value in themselves and have other uses. Gold can be used to make art and decorations, the same as silver, and there is an additional option to make tableware. Copper can be used in more ways www.mtlnovel.com in addition to arts and accessories. It can also be made into weapons, cooking utensils, and other daily tools. Copperware is more popular than ironware which is prone to rust. So precious metals can not only be used as money, but also have many other uses. This has also caused another problem that the Earth's financial development history has also faced, that is, there is not enough money. This is not because of poverty but because the coins circulating in the market cannot support the entire economic system, so the barter transaction type has not been completely eliminated. In the history of the homeland of the earth, for a long period of time, things such as silk and grain were regarded as currency, which maintained the economic system. As Lin thought before, it is not feasible to issue banknotes in the land of obscurity, and it is easy for people to follow suit. Without the support of a complete financial theory, such messing around will not just cause inflation, it will simply trigger an inflationary explosion. In the end, the credit of banknotes goes bankrupt and becomes a piece of waste paper. It may also be a world wonder where hundreds of millions or trillions of dollars can be bought for a steamed bun. Paper money is not feasible, but Lin is not without a way to improve the circulation of precious metal coins in the lost land. And since all countries don't like it, but they have to mint coins, it should be a great thing for everyone to take over the job that everyone wants to push. Lin couldn't help showing a smug smile as he held the gold kill cast by the Guana Empire. 
It made Freya, who was summoned back from the side, feel a chill. Chapter 1245, New Currency Whoever said that the economy of the gold standard system cannot be played, it is just that the economy of the credit standard system has been played to fly. Even if he didn't intend to spoil Mitty, but the money is in his hands, and if he can't play with it, it will be a waste of his time as a member of the great traveling people, and the time travels in vain. If the power to mint coins, whose importance has not yet been recognized by the world and is regarded as a snake and a scorpion, can really be taken into hands. Well, it should be said that it is monopolized by the goddess of gold coins, then you will not have to worry about making a major innovation that has never been done on earth, that is, unified currency. Although there are bad coins and good coins in MIDI, do those who mint bad coins deliberately mint bad coins? Bad and fake are still different. The latter is the intentional deception, using cheap and cheap common metals to pass off as precious metals, and using fool's gold as gold. But the former is just because the casting process is not good enough. This is purely a technical problem, not a deliberate act of fraud. It was precisely because when it was discovered that it was possible to monopolize coinage that it was determined that someone would use money to promote the plan of the Ninth Authority. If you want to establish a power that is like the pillar of the world, how can you climb to such a peak if you have not achieved great unity? In contrast, if you want to promote the Ninth Power from fighting Qi, just looking at the genres and gods involved will make someone want to die, so that they can't see it. Since coins are to be minted, it is very important to design an appearance that is difficult to imitate and has a fairly recognizable appearance. However, this does not mean that designing the coin as a flower, which looks gimmicky, and adding a three-dimensional sculpture is a good design. It is also necessary to consider the convenience of carrying and calculating the quantity, as well as the acceptance of the world. To be regarded as good coins, the characteristics of the five most well-cast imperial coins in the world's evaluation are round shape, double-sided relief, one side is the head of the contemporary emperor, and the other side is the imperial family emblem. Ordinary coins are only engraved on one side, either the badge of the founding organization, or the head of the head of the family or the king. Lin did not intend to modify the general direction of such a classic design, but made a difficulty here. Who would accept the direct engraving of Kei Yin's portrait? However, considering that the gods do not reject the construction of their own statues to spread their beliefs. So that halfling goddess shouldn't care about privacy or portrait rights. As for the other side, of course, go directly to the holy emblem of the goddess of gold coins, don't think about it. However, the part of Lin in the outer circle has a ring pattern of laurel crowns. And Kei Yin's holy emblem was made into a hidden pattern, and when viewed from different angles, it was a prayer on the goddess of gold coins. The year of casting is written on the face of the head, below the icon of Kei Yin. The respective scriptures of the gods are not like the Catholic Bible in my hometown, which contains many fairy tales, fables and poems. The first half of Medes scriptures are more like quotations, compared with Earth's classics which are like Confucian Analects, but not full of wisdom like Analects, just a collection of advertising lines. The second half of the canon is devoted to various precepts. Generally speaking, the precepts of good gods are self-cultivation and persuasion, the precepts of evil gods are regular sacrifices and self-exercise. Interestingly, even if it is a belief in evil gods, the scriptures do not deliberately encourage people to do evil, betray, rape, plunder, murder and set fire. If you just want to live according to the commandments of the evil gods, doing those bad things is a shortcut. As for the prayer chosen by Lin, it was a very interesting passage that he saw when he was studying Kei Yin's holy scriptures. I swear to protect the safety of people's property. The text is written in Kei Yin's divine language. The gods of Midi all have their own languages and characters. Unless they are specially learned, only monks, priests, bishops and other priests can directly understand them under the blessing of the gods. The reason why that paragraph of text is interesting is that in addition to flaunting Kei Yin's emphasis on money, it also involves the concept of another god. 
But those two seem to have such a good relationship, it shouldn't matter if the halfling goddess eats the tofu from the guardian lord. Should. As for the appearance of the coin. The diameter of Medes coins is mostly between 15 mm and 20 mm, but the thickness is more than 5 mm. The thickness is uneven, and even the round shape of the coin is not so standard. Basically when you're minting coins, it's pretty impressive to notice that each coin weighs more or less the same. It is really hard to worry about the consistency and standard of appearance. However, Lin did not intend to maintain the original common size of coins, but changed to a new size of 39 mm in diameter and 3 mm in thickness, which is larger in area but thinner. Coins of this new size will weigh approximately as much as coins in circulation in the Lost Lands. This is conducive to the determination of the ratio of the old currency to the new currency, so that the difference will not be too large. After the design is completed, of course it is to create the entity. For this part, it depends on Freya's skill. The magician claims that his hands-on ability is not weak, but in fact they are all magic materials plus plastic surgery. If you really want them to carve something out of ordinary wood or stone with a hammer and a chisel, 9 out of 10 will fail. Someone who can draw and is good at drawing with a ruler is a skill brought before time travel. But when it comes to knocking, the dwarves are still better than someone. Although the rich and powerful silver-bearded dwarves also mainly use magic materials, they don't trust magicians shaping skills. This enigmatic self-confidence unexpectedly fits a scientific fact. It is in the process of forging metal utensils that beating the red-hot metal is beneficial to remove impurities. Proper removal of impurities can slightly alter the properties of the metal. It doesn't necessarily mean it's getting better or worse, it just depends on whether the changed characteristics and uses match. And to make coins, Lin is still going to forge mother coins made of gold, silver and copper in one go, which is a delicate job. Although the finger dexterity of the dwarves is not as good as that of the dwarves or the halflings, but with the help of a magician who travels through the crowd, it is not a big problem to make some refined tools. And using tools is what the silver-bearded dwarves are best at. On the contrary, in the production of hidden patterns, the two people, one tall and one short, bothered their brains. The principle of the three-dimensional invisible light pattern is very simple, but how to make it makes someone difficult. Even now my memory is amazing, and I can clearly dig out all the things in the deep memory of the past. But don't know or don't know. As for the production process of the three-dimensional invisible light pattern, I only vaguely remember that acid is used for chemical etching, but the information I have read is for stainless steel plates, and it is still a very simple description, not the real production process. Although acid can be used to solve the three metals of gold, silver, and copper, but which acid can target which metal, someone will stare twice? There is no need to talk about aqua regia, one nitrate, and three salts. As soon as it is poured, it will all melt away, what kind of chemical etching is to play? What's more, I have a PhD in physics in my hometown, not a PhD in chemistry. For chemistry, you also know the degree of the three strong acids sulfuric acid, hydrochloric acid, and nitric acid. I really don't know anything about the business gameplay of applying chemical grades. On Earth, if chemical etching is not used, it is laser processing. Well, this is indeed a way. There are a lot of laser beams, and the Star Destroyer cannon has been produced. Some people don't believe that they can't deal with gold, silver, and copper metal plates. It's just that Lin and Freya spent a lot of effort on how to program the light carving process. Fortunately, I have previous experience in making jacquard machines. Although the purposes of the two are completely different, the logic of the machine can be referred to. Therefore, Lin was asked to tinker with a small laser engraving machine in a short period of time. Although the pipelines were exposed, many spare parts had to be drilled and locked with screws to be fixed to the machine but at least you don't have to spend a lot of time researching from scratch. But this research aroused Freya's interest. This small light engraving machine that has just been built is at most just engraving some patterns on metal plates. 
it has not yet reached the level of manufacturing wafers and advancing MIDI's technology tree to the semiconductor era in one fell swoop. But even this engraving is quite useful in making cars. Because as long as the intensity of the beam is increased, engraving can directly become cutting. There are even more tricks that can be played. Ignoring Freya's plan to move the laser engraving machine to the automobile manufacturing and R&D center, enlarge the machine, and strengthen the energy of the beam, Lin still focused on engraving coins. With the assistance of the light engraving machine, the invisible light pattern engraving on both sides of the yin and yang quickly found the correct design introduction plan, and it was actually used on the gold, silver, and copper coins that Freya had been making for two or three days. After making it, Lin weighed the coin with his index finger and looked at it carefully. To put it bluntly, this money is made by imitating the shape of Yuan Datu, his hometown. However, there is no habit of minting coins like the earth, which mixes other kinds of metals in coins to increase the hardness of coins. Instead, three coins with a purity of 9,999 were minted. Except for copper coins, the purity is too high and the coins are thin www.mtlnovel.com so that gold and silver coins are quite soft. Lin K has tried it before, using gold and silver cakes of the same size before carving patterns, repeatedly bending them, and breaking them with both hands, but he can break the gold and silver cakes directly. So holding the newly minted new coins, Lin was very careful. It's just that this is supposed to be the first mother of money in the world, so why didn't there come such miracles as the sky showing splendor, auspiciousness and celebration of the world? Someone who was once poisoned in Xiangxia novels thought so. If it's not that the novel is deceiving, it means that the three coins have not really been completed. And the fact is that these three coins are still one step away from my own thinking, which is not something I can accomplish. However, Lin held the coin so carefully, thinking thoughtfully. Freya on the side thought that someone was worrying about the softness of the coins, and said, Sir. The properties of high-purity metals are different from those we usually come into contact with. Coins are too soft to be used for this reason. And you make the coins so thin, I'm afraid that the money in the bag will be crooked when you take it out. Why don't you make the coins smaller but thicker like the old money? Lin didn't answer, picked up the silver coin, put it to his mouth, blew vigorously towards the round edge, and then placed it next to Freya's ear. There was only a strange buzzing sound coming from the money, which made Freya go crazy. It was a voice she had never heard before, and she didn't know why she was attracted to it. But I just unconsciously wanted to hear more, so my ears moved closer to the source of the sound, that is, the direction of the coins. Lin smiled and said, that's the reason. Chapter 1246, Ask God who has to complete the three mother coins that have not been completed yet? Of course it is the master of this matter, the goddess of gold coins. No matter how much a time traveler does, he is still a part-time worker. Some things should not be stretched too far, and some things can be left to others to do without worrying about yourself. A certain person believes in the principle that he is not in his position and does not seek his own government. It is certainly not something that ordinary people can or should do to let the three mother coins establish a position in the financial system to be established next. So Lin and Freya came to Kay Yin's kingdom of God again with their mother's money, a very simple light carving machine, a pile of gold, silver and copper pancakes, and a box of all kinds of coins that were circulating. This dungeon-like kingdom of God is empty and uninhabited. The last time I came back, Lin felt the coldness and loneliness here. It's just that I was busy at the time, so I didn't think much about it. Now come again, that feeling of loneliness strikes again. Someone once thought that the lost kingdom of God might be like the Hall of Valor in Norse mythology, where gods from all walks of life lead their devout believers to live in the kingdom of God after death and become a member of its heroic spirit, a loyal immortal troops. Others who have no faith will go to the underworld after death. After all, this is a world without the theory of reincarnation, and the souls of the dead cannot be recycled. As I know more about the world, of course, 
I will gradually correct my wrong cognition in the past. First of all, it is correct to lead the kingdom of God after death, but it is not a soldier, or because it is pious enough, it can be brought in to become a perpetual motion machine that provides the power of faith. This alone is not enough to be introduced into the kingdom of God. To be able to become a heroic spirit, the degree of devotion of faith is beyond the imagination of ordinary people. The depth of belief must be strong enough to make oneself a part of the belief. Then, after death, it is possible to enter the kingdom of God and enjoy an alternative eternal life with the same lifespan as God. But in fact, such a person can already be regarded as the spirit of the gods, but they have different life experiences. Therefore, the number of heroic spirits, from a certain perspective, can also represent the strength of the gods. Moreover, every heroic spirit can be regarded as a part of the gods and a representative of the mortal world. After all, the lost gods don't have the ability to transform into billions like in the Buddhism of their hometown. Someone has never seen the powerful kingdom of God. Because I don't want to be a bad guest who breaks into other people's house, and it will be ugly to be kicked out by the owner. But Lin has also seen a heroic spirit with powerful divine power, and the target is of course that old acquaintance Apollos, the Lord of Guardians. The powerful divine power who shows off his presence from time to time, always brings his nine-shield heroic spirit with him when he comes out. There are men and women, shields big and small. They don't carry weapons, and they can overwhelm a large number of enemies with shield strikes and shield charge alone. Absolutely strong battles, comparable to those of other weak gods. As for how these heroic spirits would normally behave in the kingdom of God, someone does not know. But there is absolutely no such heroic spirit in Kayin's kingdom of God, and there is even no possibility that it may just exist in a certain corner, hide itself and dormant in normal times. Truly a loner. But Kei Yin came back immediately without waiting for someone to sigh. This also proves from the side that the gods have a deep grasp of the kingdom of God that is their foundation, far beyond what people can imagine. However, Kei Yin, who hurried back to his homeland, let out a long breath when he saw someone's figure, and said relaxedly, So it's you. I thought I was beaten into my hometown by someone. Is it worth it? Someone in the middle of emotion asked without thinking. Of course, Kei Yin was puzzled, Lin could only explain his problem, pointed to the surroundings, and said, Is it worth it to work so hard just to allow myself to spend these countless empty years? What is the kingdom of God here? It's basically a self-imprisoned cage. Don't say anything about being a god, but asking for immortality. The pursuit of longevity in many fairy tale novels is the same, which makes someone quite puzzled. Qin Shi Huang and Tang Taizong pursued longevity because their ambitions were unpaid and they wanted to have more time to build greater achievements, so they pursued longevity. Some extravagant and dissolute emperors pursue longevity because they are greedy for pleasure hoping to continue enjoying this time of glory and wealth. However, the pursuit in many Xianxia novels is to seek longevity. Just like working to make money, the purpose should be to allow yourself and your family to live a better life. Even if some people are keen on making money, it is because the process of making money can bring a sense of accomplishment and satisfy psychological needs. But what if the purpose of making money is just to make money? No matter how you hear it, why do you find it strange? Fly camp dog dog, increase the life of a hundred years. In the extra hundred years, we continue to pursue the next hundred years, and then another, and another. Until he proves the Tao and becomes an emperor, or becomes a saint by beheading the corpse, then what? In other people's fairy tales, at least the princess and the prince lived a happy life. So when I can finally escape from the three realms and not be in the five elements, what should I do? In short, if someone does not seek to become a or become a king, it is because he does not understand the purpose of doing those things. But the halfling goddess in front of her didn't have anyone's emotion. He widened his eyes and asked someone back. You once said that you did all this to find a way home. Is going home that important to you? 
let's not talk about the things that can be enjoyed in my hometown. People, what they pursue is to return to their hometown after a good clothes, and then to return to their roots. It's too boring to die in a foreign land. The golden nest and silver nest are not as good as my own doghouse. I would rather go back to on my familiar bed, I don't want to become a in another world, and end up in such a lonely situation. Lin said. But Kay Yin shook his head and said, Silly boy Oppo, he is not pursuing such a life, what he seeks is to protect everyone. He doesn't want to see anyone die in front of him in vain again, so he uses a shield to protect the people behind him it's the same with Arna Kid. He can't see the bullying and injustice, so he stepped forward to uphold justice. Even the silly girl Vita, she is not pursuing to become a high god, but she just can't bear people to die, someone is hurt, so I do my best to help others. Their status and status today is not what they pursue, but it is beneficial to what they want to do, so go on without hesitation. You know your pursuit is what, that's fine. But you shouldn't underestimate the determination of others, or misunderstand the purpose of others. Haha. <laughs> Laughing twice, someone laughed at his ignorance, and laughed at being misled by the god's version of the eight o'clock drama in his hometown of Greece. Thinking that Zeus thinks about mating all day long, and Sol thinks about drinking or fighting all day long, Neza's opponent is either the Dragon King or Wen Zhong. It is thought that these gods have the ability to surpass ordinary people, but in fact they cannot escape the same love and hatred as human beings. But in those stories, the other characters in the story are the same level of existence as those gods. But in Midi, gods and humans coexist, not that gods only live the life of gods, and humans only live the life of humans. It turns out that the Bodhisattvas who have made great wishes can also be used to look at the role of these gods in the lost ground. Perhaps the distance between man and god is not so far away, and it is also different from what I imagined. Lin couldn't help asking curiously. What about your majesty? What is the opportunity to become the goddess of gold coins? This is not a virtue or an ambition. Great wish? What does that mean? Kayin asked, tilting his head. But he didn't want to get an answer, but as if by magic, he abruptly took out an ancient coin dyed copper green. The casting technology of that coin was not very good, and there was only one-sided engraving and the appearance was no longer complete as it was originally. But what surprised Lin the most was that the shape of the coin was different from that circulated in Midi, but round on the outside and square on the inside, with a square hole in the center. Although the inscription on the front is blurred, the Chinese characters for Tong Bao can be vaguely seen. Ignoring someone's shocked expression, Kei Yin said, This is what Luo Hani gave me, saying that one day in the future, I will be useful. So I use this as a guide to create a godhead and achieve myself. I think, now should be the day he prophesied. Luo Gexianai, the goddess of fate. This is the only one of the old gods that Finn worked so hard to clean up into the new age. But whether this is the one from the past, Fern is not sure. Fate, no matter what era it is in, seems to be very difficult to be eliminated. However, the ancient Chinese copper coins appeared in Midi, and then the goddess of fate intervened. Someone who has been in a daze until today thought he could use science to analyze this magical world. Unexpectedly, in such a short moment, Midi was covered with an unknown mystery. Things that you didn't know before are treated as if you didn't see them, or they really don't exist. Many thoughts, but like a mess, without a clue. But when Lin raised his head again, Kayin and Freya were playing with the three new coins that had just been minted. Seeing someone come back to life, Kayin twisted a copper coin and blew it around his mouth as if showing off his new knowledge, then quickly moved to his ear to listen to the sound. At the same time, he asked, How do you make money speak? In fact, as long as it is metal www.mtlnovel.com, it will resonate. Different metals will produce different sounds. But to make the resonance sound loud enough for people to hear, the coin must be thin enough, thick enough even enough, and the resonance area must be large enough. Lin explained. 
Is that why you make coins different from what they used to be? Why? What you are doing is the best reason, Your Majesty Kay Yin. Looking at the halfling goddess as if she is not tired of playing, she exchanged copper coins for gold coins after blowing, and exchanged gold coins for silver coins after blowing. The three coin reincarnation was not enough, so I changed the order again and started a new reincarnation. Oh, are you trying to attract people to exchange for new money? Kay Yin thought of the reason behind it. That's right. It's a small gimmick. But as long as it's easy to use and makes people feel curious, it's fine. And as long as it starts, things will follow after that. Isn't it? By the way, you told Freya that the coin is not yet finished. Where is the difference? Apart from being a little soft, I don't see any need to modify this coin. Kay was talking. Yin, playing with the new coins cheaply. A certain person didn't have time to answer the question, so he just said, take it lightly, light it up. I saw that this product was not easy to break, but I wanted to break the softest gold coins, and I didn't know how to save some effort, so I broke it all at once. It made him and Freya one and one person, yelling. Let someone have the feeling of watching a brat get into trouble. Chapter 1247, Coin Puzzle Fortunately, Freya, her tools, and the light carving machine were brought to Kay Yin's Kingdom of God. If you come to present the treasure with only three minted mother coins, I am afraid that you will cry now but have no tears. The silver-bearded dwarves look like Scientologists, a group of atheists. So when they saw a living standing in front of them, they respected it, but they only respected the opponent's strength just like magicians. Not like those devout believers, showing the appearance of licking dogs and bowing. Lin didn't know why Kay Yin looked at Freya differently. I only know that this person has one spirit, and the friendship is very good now. Maybe this has something to ask for. I just saw him staying next to Freya who was repairing the gold coins, chirping and talking non-stop. Look at my nose, it seems to be a bit collapsed. It should be straightened up a bit. My forehead isn't that high, neither are my cheekbones. The ears are smaller. This ear is as big as a fan which is too exaggerated. Who said there would be no cheating without Photoshop? The old medieval European painters all had beauty filters in their eyes. Even in the Han dynasty in my hometown, there were painters who made the emperor feel unlucky to enjoy the beauties and sent Wang Zhejun out of Saihafan directly. And then it's right in front of you. Never mind. Thinking about the fact that this boss is in the temple in the lost world, the statue of his old man is completely different from the main body, so you should be able to understand that this kind of operation is a standard procedure for him. Thinking about the catastrophe of losing fans after the beauty filters were turned off after the internet celebrities turned off the beauty filter before time travel, it was really like the Milky Way falling in nine days, rushing down. So don't worry about such trivial matters. Most importantly, Freya has no objection. The two of them even started discussing how to repair it to make it look better. And looking at Kay Yin's posture, it seems that if the head portrait on the coin is repaired satisfactorily, he intends to do the same on his face. Just watching their heated discussions, time passed by every minute. Although Lin wanted to interrupt them, he brought the focus back to the business. But there is an inexplicable feeling in my heart, if I do this, there will be a catastrophe. This is, the desire to survive? So, wait obediently. Wait until they change to be happy. Magician, I have a question for you. Kay Yin said suddenly. Of course, someone who is named cannot pretend to be deaf and dumb. Lin said respectfully, Your Majesty, may I ask? Twist the edge of a coin and hold the head side up to someone's eyes. Kay Yin asked. Why do you use the side face instead of the front face? Well, that's a really good question. Since everyone else did it, I did it too. But such an answer will not satisfy this person. Lin said, most of the coins with human heads do this. I don't know the detailed reason. 
I will just talk about my thoughts. Well, you say. Because the outline of the side face is more recognizable than the front face. Of course, if you want to recognize people, the front face will be clearer than the side face, but more details are needed. Considering that on a small coin, there is no there are too many details carved by the method. In this case, the profile face has an advantage over the front face. Moreover, coins will be used, so they will inevitably be worn. After wear and tear, the profile can still be seen, and the front face may only be left the next big doe looks like nothing can be seen. Your Majesty, what do you want yourself to look like? Yet. Yeah. Kayin turned his head abruptly, and said to Freya, the side face is good, let's use the side face. Don't change the front face. After speaking, he turned his head to look at someone again, and asked, what did you ask before? Your question, you said it hasn't been completed yet, what is it that hasn't been completed yet? And the money is too soft, there is no way to use it. Think about it. Fortunately, he was persuaded to quit. Someone wiped a cold sweat in his heart. It's just one question after another, which one is better for others to answer? Fortunately, these two problems are actually the same. So Lin said, the unfinished part that the coin still lacks is to solve the problem that the coin is too soft. Oh, how to do it? The halfling goddess, whose mind was not too slow, suddenly thought of a possibility. Said, you don't intend to let me put divine power on the coins, do you? Exactly. Facing someone's straightforward answer, Kay Yin said with disgust on his face, it's really troublesome. Forget it, there are only three anyway, so I will do it reluctantly. No, no, your majesty, you misunderstood. It is all the coins that pass through your hands. Lin kept smiling and said cruel things. Kay Yin's eyes widened with astonishment. Ask, do you know what exaggerated things you just asked for? This is not something that can be solved with a thousand or ten thousand coins. It is precisely because of this that your majesty has the value of your action. Things that ordinary people can do don't need a god's action, right? No matter how sweet someone's seemingly glaringly bewitching words sounded, Kay Yin still asked coldly, why? His majesty Kay Yin is building a gold flow network with the world tree these few days. If so, then you should also know the shortcomings of the flashing technique. Are you referring to the problem that different kinds of energy will corrode the teleportation? Yes, the world trees have told me. But they also said that to add protection to the coins, although the consumption will increase, but for them not a big deal. Even if it's not a big problem, it's still a problem. When the scale of gold flow continues to increase and exchanges become more frequent, will it grow to a level that the world trees can't bear? Your Majesty, you don't think that the power of the world trees has no upper limit yes. When the amount of money is used more, it is foreseeable that you will benefit from it, and the power will increase as a result, but the growth of the world tree is not so easy. When the upper limit is touched, there is a high probability that there will be no any buffering time, the entire cash flow network will collapse in an instant. Someone's alarmist rhetoric made Kayin have to pay attention to the possible results. The opportunity to grow is right in front of him. Of course, he will not expect his own growth to reach the upper limit of the abilities of the world trees, it is even more impossible to force his growth to stop before reaching the upper limit. However, as the magician in front of me said, as long as the bank can promote it, its own growth can be expected, but world tree is not so easy. In the link of the entire financial system, world trees can only pay without gaining anything. They can only look forward to the establishment of the ninth power, which can upgrade the entire world, thereby increasing the upper limit of their growth. However, this is not achievable overnight. Of course, we can also not consider such a problem at this stage. When we encounter the limit, we can think about the solution. It's just that we have to make changes at that time. I don't know if we can find a way, but what is certain is that, no matter what kind of modification is made, 
it must be a big change. It will be much more difficult than it is now in one step. Sighing lightly, Kei Yin asked, OK, you convinced me. What do you want to do? Since we want the coin to protect against the possible alien energy erosion during the process of passing the flashing technique, the relevant protective magic is already familiar to me and the world tree. Now that the protective magic is added, then adding more materials is not a big deal. For example, the problem of making pure gold, pure silver and pure copper too soft, such as the strengthening technique, can be solved by using magic, in your majesty's view, with the power of gods. In this way, we can solve three problems at once. But have you ever thought about the issue of quantity, magician? Maybe in your expectation, I will grow rapidly. But to give each coin a constant magical power, I think I am ten times stronger than I am now, a hundred times, it may not be possible. Someone shook his finger and said, Tisk 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 tisk, your majesty, this is a matter of method, not strength. The blessing of one coin and one coin is a method, but it is not a smart method. Because of this son, you seem to be manufacturing artifacts in batches, and not tens of hundreds of pieces, but millions of pieces, tens of millions of pieces, and even more in the future. Even if you are squeezed dry, you probably won't be able to do it. What's the smart way? Kei Yin asked curiously. Lin didn't answer directly, but shook his head around and said, Hefkin, I know you should come with me, show up. When Kei Yin heard this, he was taken aback again. Could it be that more than two guests have come to his kingdom of God? But for the third person, and possibly the fourth and fifth person, no matter how he sensed it, he couldn't sense the position of the other person. So the conclusion is that the magician is lying again? But the truth always hits people in the face. A little blue mouse emerged from the hood behind the magician's neck. It used all four limbs and tried hard to reach the magician's left shoulder. The man stood up and stared straight at the in front of him. The next moment, King Shu jumped forward. Suddenly, there seemed to be countless tiny gravels in the air www.mtlnovel.com stacked towards King Shu's body, from bottom to top, this former? The figure of a girl appeared. However, in Kei Yin's perception, the process of Hefkin's appearance was the moment when his kingdom of God was constantly being invaded and warning signs emerged in his heart. In other words, those grits came from outside the kingdom of God, and each one was a living creature. Elemental creatures also have souls. In other words, their most important thing is the soul, anyway, the body can be replaced at will. And these elemental creatures in the eyes of the gods, the light emitted by their souls is the same as that of humans, elves and most homo sapiens. It is in a certain part of the body that this ray of light is hidden. Then, tentacles like light whiskers extended to every corner of the body, controlling the body. This is why some people lose a hand or a foot, but feel that part of the limb still exists. Because the light whiskers extending from their souls will penetrate into the empty place where there should be limbs, causing cognitive illusions. But the situation of Hefkin is completely different, the light of his soul spreads evenly throughout his body. If you look at it from a subtle perspective, it is actually a single soul that is too small to be discerned, connected with other souls. However, each soul does not exist independently, but has a vague connection with each other, stringing all souls together, as if they should be one. Such a soul has never been seen before. So Kayun asked in surprise, what are you? Chapter 1248, Ways to Bless the Gods Do Transformers Cybertronians have souls? Answer, not sure. The consistent feature of Mammon is that the settings serve the plot. The setting can be changed, the origin can be changed, the relationship between people can be changed, and even the gender can be changed. All kinds of if-lines are flying around, and then just put on the name of a multiverse. So the ghost knows whether the Cybertronians have souls or not. But the robots of the Earth elemental plane do. Strictly speaking, Robots are not like the mechanical life forms of the Cybertronians, 
they are magical creatures derived from earth elemental creatures. So the robot has a soul, and it is also bound by the spirit of the earth element, that is, the fire seed after the spirit of the earth mother is replaced. However, there may be one exception. Hefkin, the queen of the hive, exists in the form of countless nanoworms, which can be arbitrarily combined into the form she wants to be. And as long as there is enough matter, she can theoretically copy herself unlimitedly until she devours the entire universe. However, she did not embark on this seemingly smooth growth path, because she could not assess what risks she would encounter if she continued on this path. When the future is uncertain and unknown, it is called gambling to resolutely embark on this road because of small profits. However, creatures that can grow into elemental lords have a common characteristic in their personalities, and that is go. They don't have a life limit, so they don't need to gamble like a mortal with a life limit, and they can spell out their own future within a limited time. Infinite time is their greatest weapon. Therefore, after Hefkin increased the number of nanoworms enough to form an imaginary class colony ship by itself, he stopped expanding. She had to figure out what she had become before she could consider the next step. To describe it as building a house, it is to tamp the foundation first before building tall buildings. Instead of seeing that it is easy to build a building, just build it regardless. And a very unexpected discovery is that Hefkin feels that his connection with Tinder is no longer as clear as it used to be. It was this change that made her stop her pace. So facing the question of the halfling goddess, the mechanical girl with two ponytails could only spread her hands, shook her head and said, I don't know what I am now. After Hefkin noticed his abnormality, he immediately confirmed one thing, that is, he couldn't change back and become a normal robot. But she was more excited than regretful. It was as if in the era of elemental creatures, she was obviously a metal person who emphasized physical strength, but she liked to study magic like a gem person. She's not afraid to explore the unknown, but she's never reckless. With Lin's palm facing the sky, Hefkin differentiated into some nanoworms and put them on the palm in the original form. The nanoworms piled up like a hill on the hand, even if they haven't aggregated, there are still enough to be observed by the naked eye. Raising his hand in front of the goddess of gold coins, Lin said, any single individual is her, but it is not her. Only the whole is her, Hyphokin of the earth elemental plane, and Hive queen of robots. I am like this say, can your majesty understand? Kayin just shook his head and said, I don't understand. Explain clearly. Sprinkling the nanoworms in his hand on Hefkin's head, Lin used the whiteboard technique to simply draw a magic circle in the air. It's just a pentagram, with two concentric circles on the outer circle, and there are twelve runes in the circle. This is the spirit gathering formation that magicians first learned when they were doing elementary meditation. This is a complete magic circle. It was originally a simple line, but suddenly it was divided into two from the middle, and at the same time, the shape of an object appeared behind the magic circle. It was also composed of whiteboard pens, making the schematic look like a magic circle engraved on two stone slabs. In actual use, because the magician has to sit in the gathering array to meditate, the area of the gathering array is not small. Then in drawing or carving, it is not very important to draw on a complete object at the same time that cheap magic material bluestone usually used as a base is made up of small pieces into a large area, and then painted with a magic circle. So the magic circle is divisible, but it must be pieced together in use. Spell model in fact, it can be used in this way, but it is meaningless. In terms of physical phenomena, copper wires can conduct electricity but it does not need to be complete from beginning to end. Broken copper wires can also conduct electricity, just connect the broken parts, or even touch them. When the voltage is high enough, the two copper wires don't even have to touch each other, they just need to come within a short enough distance for the electricity to jump across. For details, refer to the lightning that fell from the sky. The conduction of magical power is very similar to the conduction of electrical energy. It does not require the conductor to be a complete thing formed in one piece, 
as long as it meets certain splicing rules. Before crossing over, the only thing someone knew to destroy was the optical fiber used for communication. Compared with the troublesome welding operation, most people will directly replace it with a new one, without considering the problem of signal degradation. However, when Lin explained, he did not stop the change of the magic circle in mid-air. The magic circle stone slab that was divided into left and right pieces was redivided into 10 by 10 small blocks, and the same things as the second and third layers appeared at the same time. The magic circle can be divided, which means that we can divide the magic circle into smaller units, and have a second reserve and a third reserve. When any part of the original magic circle is destroyed, the reserve part can be destroyed. On the top, let the magic circle continue to operate normally and the result of the operation of the magic circle will have the same effect on any part. Speaking of this, do you understand, Your Majesty K. Yin? Hearing this, K. Yin said, the idea of replacement is a novelty. Regardless of how to achieve the replacement, the magic circle can be divided and combined. Even if I am not a magician, I know it. This is common sense. But it depends on us. What does it matter? Lin flicked his fingers, and the schematic diagram of the magic array stone slabs drawn by whiteboard pens in the air immediately turned into the appearance of coins. Although there is a slight distance between the coins, the magic pattern remains the same. Lin continued, the same principle applies to coins. What we need to do is not 100,000 or millions of coins imbued with divine power and equivalent to divine artifacts, but a group of divine artifact level coins and the ability of this group of artifacts, in addition to keeping the coin strong so that it is difficult to be damaged by external forces, it also protects the coin from being eroded by alien energy during the flashing technique. Although he realized what the magician in front of him wanted to do, Kay Yin murmured, how could such a thing be possible? How is it impossible? Isn't there a successful example here? As he spoke, Lin waved his hand, as if introducing the mechanical girl with twin ponytails beside him. Ah! 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 The three voices came from Kayin, Hefkin, and Freya, which naturally represented three moods. Kayin suddenly realized that Hefquin felt like he was lying on the gun, and Freya was just making a voice in response to the occasion and cheering for the scene. However, it is not appropriate to use the analogy of copper wires and electricity to explain this kind of distributed structure. But to use a metaphor that everyone in the information industry understands, it is a disk array. Each coin is like a physical hard disk, some coins store a certain part of the data, some coins are used for backup, and all the coins together form a complete data, that is, a high-capacity virtual disk. It's just that the data stored here is a magic circle that can exert supernatural effects. Seeing the halfling goddess and the twin-tailed mechanical girl in a thoughtful mood at the same time, Lin gave them some time to think. But before they could think it through completely, they said, the coins I imagined are constructed in such a way. And in order to save effort, this power must also borrow the power of the midi dragon vein. But it is not the combination of coins and the dragon veins of Midi are closely connected, but the concept of money that you belong to, Your Majesty K. Yin, is the main one. Although the situation of Haifukin is different from that of divine power, I believe that if she can succeed, you must be able to references for reference. However, although the halfling goddess looked at someone and listened to all the words, she didn't react and was still thinking. Lin stood in the position of convincing the goddess and tried to keep working hard. He asked, Your Majesty, is there anything to worry about? Or do you think that after this thing is done, it will not bring any benefits? K. Yin finally answered someone's question www.mtlnovel.com and said, No, judging from the results you described, it should be of great benefit. So you feel that things are impossible to achieve? and everything is wishful thinking. Lin asked again. No, although there are difficulties, but with so much help from you, I think it is possible to do it. Since this is the case, why not do it? The so-called success is the result of accumulating a little bit of advantage, and finally it will come naturally. 
and these advantages are what you have to work hard to achieve. If you want someone to sit at home, success came from the sky, it was luck. Unfortunately, I am the kind of person who doesn't believe in my own luck. Someone thought, they were forced to travel through time, how bad must they be to encounter this kind of shit? Is it because he didn't study when he was young, or did he do too many immoral things in his previous life? However, Kei Yin's reaction was different from what someone imagined. The halfling goddess let out a long breath, turned her head, and said to Freya, Do you know what I hate about this guy? He always gives a bunch of reasons that people can't refuse. He <laughs> he. Lin pretended to giggle a few times. At this time, do not refute or say anything. Because no matter what you say, it will sound like a bravado, which is just annoying. Fortunately, Kei Yin didn't intend to deliberately sing a different tune, but said, OK. You have said so, and if I don't do it, it seems that I will suffer instead. It's just that I have another problem. Your Majesty, may I ask? Twisting a newly minted coin, Kei Yin said, According to your request, we don't have to use new coins. Can't we use old coins? Why do we need to mint new coins? Chapter 1249, Pricing of SGD That's right, I hope that what you do, Your Majesty, is applicable to any coin. But if you want to gain the authority of Chuan Midi coins, you can only find ways to attract people and establish yourself as an irreplaceable currency other than violence. Status That is to say, in addition to the title of Goddess of Gold Coins, you have to come up with things that only you can do, but ordinary people can't do, so that you can attract people to give up using the original coins and use new ones instead. Lin took he picked up the new silver coin and put it next to his face, emphasizing it. After thinking for a while, Kei Yin asked, Is this related to the godhead you gave me, which is related to metal? Yes. From the cash box he brought, Lin picked out a few good coins, bad coins, and ordinary coins of different appearance and origin, and displayed them on the table. The biggest problem with coins is that their values are inconsistent. Therefore, in terms of use, Good coins are the most popular and common coins are the most widely circulated. However, although the areas where bad coins circulate are limited, they are the only medium of exchange in that limited area. Dot it's just that once they leave those places, in addition to being refused to collect bad coins, they may even be discarded directly. Money is thrown away, something that was hard to imagine before someone crossed over. But in MIDI, it is not big news. Speaking of which, this is also caused by some preconceived notions. Some things that people who travel through time take for granted are not so natural in MIDI. On Earth, no matter which country, the currency issued by the country has legally guaranteed purchasing power in that country. As long as it is a banknote or coin in circulation, the payee must accept it, otherwise there is a risk of breaking the law. Even the currency cannot be damaged arbitrarily otherwise it will also break the law. But in MIDI, the reason why coins have purchasing power is because they also have value. From the point of view of barter, it can be understood that a certain amount of coins has the same value as the thing to be purchased, so it can be exchanged fairly. But bad money is not included in this list. Just imagine, go to the vegetable market to buy eggs by yourself. When the price of eggs is the same, the boss refuses to give them even though there are good eggs, and insists on giving himself the rotten eggs. It's good manners not to smash the rotten egg directly in the boss's face. As long as they are normal people, of course they will choose unbroken eggs. In the case of bad coins, it is equivalent to rotten eggs in MIDI. Given the choice, no one will accept bad money. The situation where bad money drives out good money does not exist in MIDI. When some reputable big businessmen get bad money, they will throw the bad money into the river, the stove, or any place that can destroy the body, and then ask the buyer to buy the goods, please take what they can accept coins come. This is the norm in MIDI, and it is what surprised Lin. But is bad money worthless? It also has precious metal components, 
but the proportion may be relatively low. Or they were originally ordinary or good coins, but due to the wear and tear of long-term use, in addition to twisting and deforming them, they also lost weight, so they were not accepted by people. But the precious metal is still present in these coins, not that the gold has simply disappeared. Kayin used to be an adventurer traveling in the lost world, and also used to support a legendary team in the role of a logistics chief to hunt down the remnants of the Dark Legion. Coins of that era were more confusing and their value more difficult to judge. There are even counterfeit coins in circulation, substituting brass for gold and tin for silver, and all kinds of counterfeit and inferior coins emerge in endlessly. So Kayin understands how fortunate it is for users to have a coin whose value is widely recognized. At least when you want to buy life-saving potions, because the coins on your body are not recognized, you will not be turned away by the merchants, so that the person you want to save cannot be rescued. What is more regrettable than letting a companion who might survive die in front of one's own eyes because of one's own inability to do anything? It's just that after he became a god, like most gods, he only represented a concept and passively responded to what believers asked for. But not everything can be done, and there is still a long way to go for oneself, or any god, to be omniscient and omnipotent. He didn't think about taking the initiative to do anything. He didn't know that he might be able to do a lot of things until this magician appeared in front of his eyes. Not to mention that these things are very beneficial to me now, rather than simply paying for a little ideal without asking for anything in return. Now that he understands the role he should play, Kayin is not hypocritical, and directly asks, then what should I do? This time, you won't ask another question, let me and someone figure it out by myself. The words and eyes of the halfling goddess could not hide the worry. I don't feel like a anymore, like a servant enslaved by this magician. Lin made a haha, and said with a smile, how could it be? This time the matter is very simple, but only his majesty can do it. Say it. Your majesty, you have mastered a magical technique that can identify coins, and use this as an extension. If you have mastered the godhead I provided before, I wonder if you can analyze the proportion of pure metal in each coin. How much proportion, and how much weight? But Kei Yin flipped his hands and conjured up the godhead from Fukin. The manifestation of the godhead, which is constantly changing its appearance like an amoeba, is quite well behaved in the hands of a real god. Round, like an egg. Seeing this, Lin was surprised and said, Your Majesty, you didn't absorb it. Except for godheads that are similar in concept and can be absorbed directly to expand one's divine power, absorbing unrelated godheads is no less than poison to us. Eating them may not necessarily lead to death, and surviving through them may not necessarily be beneficial. Or maybe it's just making myself weaker. I have to determine what I need, which really helps to increase my strength, and that's what I can keep. The rest I will give up and let it go back to the most primitive the form is waiting for those who are willing to collect and condense it again. That's it. I thought it would be the same as Dewandan or some small blue pill. If you drink it down, it will directly increase your skill for a hundred years. It seems that I am too superficial. It's just what is the most primitive form of godhood. Oh, are you interested in knowing? Kei Yin looked at someone with a half smile. Lin shook his head directly and said, Forget it, that kind of thing is not important. Let's put it on your majesty's business first. As he spoke, Lin took out a water cube. The length, width, and height are each 10 centimeters. At 4 degrees Celsius and the density is at its maximum, this water cube is exactly 1,000 grams. Lin roughly explained the standards of weights and measures, and let Kei Yin start to analyze the metal content of the current coins in circulation in fascinated land. With the benchmarks for comparison and the help of the metal godhead, the work went on faster than someone imagined. What Lin did was to standardize the final information, which ones must be known, which ones can be made public, and which ones are the key points without any error. After analyzing the composition of each coin, the next step is to compare it with the parent coin to convert how much the coin is equal to. 
Of course, Lin also taught the halfling goddess the relevant knowledge of the four arithmetic operations that will be used in this process. Anyway, it will be useful for future bookkeeping. How can the gods related to money not even know the most basic addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division? However, after analyzing the composition of the circulating coins and comparing the weight of the mother coin, Kei Yin got a result that surprised him. He carefully twisted the three mother coins of gold, silver, and copper, and asked, Are you sure this result is correct? Your Majesty, what do you think is unreasonable? Lin asked back. According to your request, only the weight ratio of pure gold, pure silver and pure copper is calculated. Ordinary coins are approximately equal to 0.9 to 1.1 new coins, and the exchange ratio of good coins is 1.2 or even more than 1.3. However, it is regarded as inferior. There is also an exchange ratio between 0.6 and 0.7 coins. Such a standard, is it true? Well, maybe I should ask, is it feasible? Of course this is feasible. Ordinary coins are the coins with the most circulation. Only the coins held by the most people can be used as the standard to avoid the shrinking of wealth in the hands of the people to the greatest extent. Good coins are more valuable in general perception. Yes, in many places it is also used as big money, and I have even seen one good coin worth two ordinary coins so it can be exchanged for more new money, and there will not be too many people objecting. And the source of the good coin is the five great empires www.mtlnovel.com cannot be coerced by force. The only way to make them willingly give up their coinage is to make them feel profitable. As for bad coins, no one is willing to accept them. An affirmation of value will only make people who keep bad coins feel that they have picked up a bargain. This is the plan with the least resistance in my opinion. Well, it is. But has a question occurred to you? What is the problem? Just look at the weight, what if someone brings something other than coins? Kei Yin asked. Hearing such a question, Lin's eyes lit up, and he said, Accept it, why not accept it? Whether it is a vessel or a raw ore, as long as it contains gold, silver, or copper, it can be exchanged for the same amount according to the analyzed components. The weight of new coins. The only concern is that if someone brings artifacts of other gods, such as holy emblems, or statues, is it accepted or not? Or there is a choice. It seems that there is no divine power boarding if it is above, it will be accepted, if there is, it will not be accepted. Kei Yin unceremoniously pointed to the coins in circulation on the table, and said, But have you ever thought that besides gold, silver, and copper, there are many other metals? What about these rubbish? He <laughs> he, your majesty, these things are also money. Don't you think that in your temple or church on earth, the priests and monks in it, or the clerks of the future bank will drink the northwest wind? The financial mechanism I initially formulated, except that you will be charged a storage fee when depositing money, and you will be charged a handling fee when transferring money. You don't think that in the early days, that fee can cover the huge expenses of setting up a bank. I never expect donated by believers. Being able to take care of your own profits and losses is a sound organizational structure. No wonder you suggested that I even collect the raw ore. So that's the idea. Chapter 1250, Miracle of Replication Of course, Your Majesty. In one coin or two coins, the impurities of non-target precious metals will only be regarded as garbage. But when the number of foundations is large, these miscellaneous metals will accumulate after purification, and they will be considerable. Find if there is a need for a place or organization, sell it, and you will have the funds to operate the bank. After thinking about it, Lin emphasized things other than the organization's operating costs, saying. And in the early days, the bank's staff had to be recruited locally, which was easy to be controlled by local snakes. But we did not allow unrelated people to have the opportunity to pass the money, and those who entered the bank also received the salary issued by the bank. 
let them have no excuse to be controlled by outsiders in order to make a living, and to sabotage or other harassment inside the bank. Only by doing this can we truly ensure that the bank belongs to your majesty, and cut off the room for other people to intervene. If there are still people reaching out, then it can be identified as the enemy, or has evil intentions. If you kill him directly, I believe you will not hurt innocent people by mistake. Speaking of which, I haven't known this magician for a long time. But Kayin has a feeling that no matter how exaggerated he says, it is easy for people to accept it naturally. Because of the rules and regulations in all aspects, he will arrange almost the same, and others can only fill in the gaps in the details. In fact, this is the inherent advantage of traveling through the crowd. It's not that someone has great intelligence, it's just that he has brought his knowledge and proven useful methods to the land. Especially on the internet, there are countless keyboard warriors in hindsight, who can always analyze a matter upside down. As a member of professional trolls, it is a basic skill to talk so much that people are speechless. But actually step in and look at someone's track record. Repairing a magic tower, finishing it, and being peach-picked. Established the first free and compulsory education college in Midi, the students betrayed and were kicked out. I built an airship, but instead of being held up as a treasure by the goblin father and daughter, I fear it like a tiger. If you can't meet, you won't meet. In fact, since arriving in the holy city, they have not met each other. He fooled four dwarves into being thugs and tool men, but only one remained by his side, and he broke up with the other three. But one of them is the future patriarch of the silver beard dwarves, and he always wants to go back. The people who stay with me so far are either homeless or have ulterior motives. The only ones who can be called foolishly stayed are probably the two apprentices who have followed him the longest. It's just their thoughts. It's hard to say whether they really stayed because they admired someone or sympathized with someone. Such a tragic record is also the reason why someone is not willing to personally intervene in the management afterwards. I'm afraid that I, a guy with a full level of talkative skills and a scumbag in actual combat, will mess things up again. Simply put, born with green leaves. If you want to shake your body, become the king and become the blooming flower, wash off and sleep. Of course Kayin did not understand someone's self-pity. After he understood what he should do, he didn't hesitate to grab the cash box specially brought by someone, and saw the coins floating slowly into the air like feathers, following a certain pattern flowing. And in the process of flowing, each coin seems to have mist floating out of its body, and its volume shrinks at a speed visible to the naked eye. This is a manifestation of the dissociation of the metal component of the coin. Not only did all the metals return to their original colors, but the foggy metals of the same color concentrated towards a certain place. Lin could see that the trajectory of coins flowing in the air should be the structure of a spell model, and it was also the way power flowed in it. At first glance, it looks like the goddess of gold coins is working magic, but it's not magic. At least as a magician himself, if he wanted to use the power in the same way, nothing would happen. There is a fundamental difference between divine arts and magic. Even if a magician can analyze divine arts, they cannot use them. At most, it imitates the effect of divine magic and creates a similar magic. As for the essential difference between the two, Lin has yet to figure it out. Perhaps the secret lies in the specially arranged manifestations of divine powers. Judging from the results, one of the big differences between the two is that magic cannot be solidified on a carrier other than magic materials. At the moment of continuous transmission of power, it will produce the effect that magic should have. But when the supply of the power is interrupted, the ordinary items that have been cast will either return to their original state or collapse. But the blessing of the gods can be applied anywhere, including ordinary objects which is why Lin didn't take the initiative to enchant the new coins he designed. In addition to not wanting to take over Kei Yin's job, the fact that he could not apply magic to ordinary metal and maintain its effect was also a reason. And the cash box brought by someone, with thousands of coins of various colors and a weight of hundreds of kilograms, 
was instantly decomposed into piles of pure metal under the analysis of Kei Yin's magic. Even some obviously oxidized parts, that is, the patina produced by the copper coins, disappeared under the magical effect. This shows that magic and magic are unreasonable. Moreover, not only the coins were disassembled, but even some fine powder in the cash box floated into the air, joining the ranks of being separated and analyzed. In fact, these fine powders are also precious metals, which are the powders produced by scraping each other when coins are collected. This is why coins will become lighter and lighter after long-term use. It's not necessarily that people who have experienced it steal weight and lose money on purpose. It is purely a consequence of poor storage. However, such an analysis speed is far from the limit of the goddess of gold coins. Because he is now holding Fukin's metal godhood in one hand, while groping for a way to separate pure metal. If he is more proficient and fully absorbs the useful part of Fukin's godhead, this process may be completed in the blink of an eye. Of the various pure metals that have been separated, of course gold, silver and red copper account for the most. It's just that these precious metals are decomposed into tiny particles floating in the air, which look like a cloud of mist to the naked eye, and the visual experience is very special. The other metal substances associated with gold, silver, and copper ore are regarded as impurities. As Lin imagined, in the case of a large amount of refining, the weight of these associated ores is also quite large. Such as nickel, cobalt, lead, antimony, etc. Lin asked the halfling goddess to synthesize these non-coin metals into palm-sized metal ingots. I'm even seeing titanium, I really don't know where it came from. It's just that Midi doesn't have the alloy material technology. It's really hard to say whether these rare metals can be sold at the price they imagined after they are purified. But even if no outsiders want to buy it, Lin can still find a way to get the car manufacturing and R&D center to buy it. The cars manufactured by the center, even if they are mass-produced at a low price, still cannot get rid of magic materials. At least in the engine, transmission shaft, and other parts that emphasize the strength of metal, the general iron material is not enough. Only high-strength magic materials can be used. The pure metal purified by Kayin can just be used as the material for the experimental alloy steel. As long as the demand for magic materials can be completely eliminated, not only the output can be increased, but the cost can also be reduced by 10% to 20%. I believe that the other two partners will not refuse to approve such research and development funds. Of course, someone still opened his mouth, exhausting the magicians and engineers below. After separating the metals, the next step for Kayin is to mint coins. As far as Lin knew in the past, even the of forging worshipped by the dwarves still had furnaces and hammers in the kingdom of God. His method of making artifacts is still hammer after hammer. When Lin planned at the beginning, he also wanted to build a production line for minting coins in Kei Yin's kingdom of God. But as soon as such an idea was brought up, it was shot. The of forging forges a divine weapon, it is right to smash it slowly with a hammer. But what he made is a divine weapon. All our halfling goddess has to do is mint coins out of non-divine precious metals. Then, as long as there are mother money and materials, it can be copied endlessly without the slightest error. And the actual process is the same. Although that is not the power of coin itself, a specific ability must be extracted from Fukin's godhead. But those mist-like metal particles circled the three mother coins for a week, and aggregated into gold, silver, and copper coins in Madeira according to their respective materials. And maintain a floating state, and slowly rotate. It's just that no matter it's gold, silver, or copper, its weight is not enough to make a full coin. The last coin only gathered half of it, or even stopped when it was only one third of the size. In this way, Lin counted the difference in the number of coins before and after the reminting, but in fact it has not shrunk too much, and there are still about 95% of the number. My relatively seldom used cash box was specially used by the two apprentices at home to throw non-good coins. Who is the deal between the Guana Empire and the holy city of Estelai www.mtlnovel.com is based on good coins minted by the empire.
not to mention bad coins, even ordinary coins with one side have a great chance of being rejected. There is no such thing as throwing ordinary coins directly. However, the income from the Jialong Chamber of Commerce, that is, the Ruan brothers, inevitably mixed with ordinary coins. Regardless of the type of these single-sided coins, they were all thrown into the box brought by Lin for his two apprentices. Now it just happened to be used to try to mint new coins for the halfling goddess. After copying the new coins in an unreasonable way, the work is not over yet. There is still the most important step, which is the blessing of the gods. This is also the first time that Lin has seen the whole process of God's blessing up close. For the enchantment of magic, it is necessary to engrave the magic pattern on the target object. A clever craftsman can hide this pattern, making it difficult for people to detect, and thus avoiding the destruction of the enchantment of the item. But a more sophisticated magician can construct a spell model from the content of the enchantment when it is about to be issued. And this non-existent entity is attached to the item only by the power construction to achieve the purpose of enchanting. The former has a stable effect, but there is a risk of being easily destroyed. The latter are hard to destroy, but the effects of good magicians and bad magicians are quite extreme, and the effects attached to items are also quite unstable. Therefore, the latter is mostly used in battle, as a temporary powerful enchanting effect which will automatically dissipate after the time limit passes. This is a fighting style that a school of magicians, called Magic Sword, is good at. The blessings of the gods are completely different. It's like a big dyeing vat, all items soaked in the dyeing vat will be dyed with the color of the dye, and none of them can escape. In the pale blue sacred light, each coin was endowed with divine power belonging to the goddess of gold coins, which came from the blessings of the gods. Chapter 1251, Divine Blessing Although the structure of the coin magic that Lin envisioned, although he suggested that Kei Yin refer to Hefkin's situation, the halfling goddess did not actually ask, or make any actions that seemed to be analysis. He just glanced in the direction of the mechanical girl with twin ponytails, and then went straight to do it. It seems that everything is familiar to the heart and can be carried out without thinking. This is because the gods have long had such technology and ability, only an idea? Or that one glance, let him see through the hive queen of the earth elemental plane? While wondering, Lin realized that Kei Yin's state was not right. He seems to want to disintegrate himself and integrate into the magical structure of coins. The body of the halfling exuded pure white light, just like the coin that was analyzed and dissociated by the before, the same mist emitted from his body drifting towards the direction of the coin. This scene is both weird and ominous. Without further ado, Lin planned to interrupt Kei Yin's ceremony. It's just that no matter how much he slapped the body of the halfling goddess, or scratched at the connection between the goddess and the coin, he couldn't stop the whole process. Freya, the silver-bearded dwarf who had been watching, and Hefkin, the mechanical girl with twin ponytails, realized something was wrong when they saw someone's movements. The mechanical girl just tilted her head, and reobserved the entire process of the divine blessing ceremony, trying to find out the part that someone was worried about. Freya was worried about this new friend she just made. Sir, what happened to Her Majesty the Goddess? Is there any help? Asking this question, it seems that this goddess can give up the treatment directly. Although he doesn't know what Kei Yin is doing now, Lin doesn't naively think that this kind of appearance that he is about to play himself is a good thing. It's just how to pull people, God out, someone will be in trouble. And if God is forcibly pulled out of this state, will there be any problems? But someone didn't think about it for a long time, and decided not to. Because Lin realized that when he figured it out, he probably didn't have to think about it. Although I don't know how the magic works, but to destroy its process, it should be no different from destroying the process of casting a spell. In other words, there are no more than two methods, one. The target disappears. Second, the process is disturbed. So no need to talk nonsense, the flash technique is activated, 
and all the new coins are teleported from the original location to other places. Then unfold the night starry sky, which is the perfect weapon for someone to suppress God's domain. And all the developments were as someone guessed, in the starry night sky, under the gaze of many wills on the earth, Kayin was ejected from the original state at once. The halfling goddess whose eyeballs had disappeared, leaving only the whites of her eyes, regained consciousness and assembled her divine body that had faded away from most of the fog. After regaining his senses, he glanced at the surrounding situation, and immediately hugged his chest, showing a sad expression and said, After all, you have done something to me. Come on, be gentle, or give me a good time. Without hesitation, Lin directly gave this goddess a hand knife to help her wake up and feel better. Help the other person sober up. Put yourself in a good mood. Then I unlocked the night sky. Holding his forehead, Kei Yin complained dissatisfiedly, Damn it, you actually offend the majesty of the gods. Do you know that there will be serious consequences? What could be worse than my partner himself up so I have to find someone else to replace him? Lin retorted brusquely. Ask again, what just happened to you? Restraining his tearful expression, Kei Yin regained his normal mood and seriously thought about someone's question. Said, I was just thinking about whether it should be integrated into the power to protect coins, and by the way, integrated into the one that cooperates with World Tree, the gold flow network you mentioned. Will this make the entire system work better? For perfection. Because you have been emphasizing fairness and justice, then in this system, human thoughts must be excluded. I was thinking about these things, and then I continued to do it unconsciously. In fact, I was thinking about some things afterwards what, I don't know it myself. Until I was kicked out of that state by you. This is... Entrance? The lost gods also play this trick? Lin glanced up at the halfling goddess and asked, Do you feel any different now? Weaker? Something missing? That's not true. It's just... Kei Yin waved his hand casually, and the new coins that Lin used the flash technique to remove were once again controlled by him, and they floated into the air in front of him one by one. I feel like the money has become a part of me. It's hard to describe the feeling. Flipping his hands, Lin used the flash technique to grab a new copper coin and observed it carefully. Just now, in order to crack Kei Yin's state, he used a flash technique, but he didn't have time to observe the condition of the coin. This time it was used again, but the copper coin did not have the sequelae of the flashing technique, that is, the traces of being corroded by alien energy. Then he pulled the copper coin in his hand vigorously. Although copper coins are the hardest among gold, silver, and copper coins, with my current demonic body, without using auxiliary magic, it is not a difficult problem to bend coins. But the thin and large copper coin in his hand was not flattened by him. Scratching the surface of the coin with a fingernail is the same, leaving no trace. Lin tried silver coins and gold coins again, and confirmed that Kei Yin had actually fulfilled his request. However, on the coins, there is only a kind of divine power that seems to be absent. If you don't pay attention, you can't feel it. This is still based on my own observation ability. If it is an ordinary person, it is estimated that there is no abnormality on the coins. Seeing the magician in front of him tossing the coins in various ways, but he couldn't destroy them at all, Kei Yin smiled triumphantly and said, Well, I did a good job. It's really good, even better than I imagined. I thought that the whole coin would be like a magic weapon, as obvious as the lights in the dark night. I didn't expect that the magic power could be diluted so that it was almost invisible. It has such a good effect. This level of consumption won't burden you too much, right? Hey, no matter how much I can eat, I'm not afraid of being full. Kei Yin said confidently. Then can you take back your divine power? Only take back this one, and the others remain unchanged. Lin held a copper coin and raised it in front of the halfling goddess. Take it back? Why? It should be a good thing that the solidity of the divine power makes the coin indestructible. 
but it will become a bad thing under certain circumstances. Which one do you think it is? Do you need a reminder? Kayin thought for a while, then thought of a possibility, and said, the holder intends to melt the coins and use them for other purposes. Yes, this is exactly the situation. After all, coins are precious metals with other uses. Rather than making people troublesome to destroy the protection of divine power, it is better to allow this power to be recycled. For example, someone wants to melt copper coins and obtain a large amount of pure when copper is making other things, he can pray to you and ask for the recovery of divine power. In this way, he can use the normal method to reforge copperware without trying to crack your divine power protection. Therefore, this one can be recycled alone the divine power of coins. Push the copper coin in his hand to Kayin again. In the blink of an eye, the halfling goddess severed her connection with the coin. The copper coin that lost the protection of divine power simply couldn't even maintain its own shape, and was distorted and deformed on the spot, turning into a lump of copper that couldn't see its original appearance. But the silver coin and the gold coin pinched in the same palm did not lose their divine protection. Lin tried a few more times and confirmed that the two coins were still solid, so he praised, It's really well done, Your Majesty, it's really well done. It's much better than I imagined. Is that good? I feel like I can do more. It's like I'm just getting into that, Coin said. Mentioning that special state again seems to be a great opportunity, but in fact, after thinking about it carefully, someone feels that it is a bit unreliable. And from what Kay Yin said, it can be guessed that as long as he wants, he can enter that state again at any time. Is this a good thing or a bad thing? Lin thought about it and felt that there was nothing to hide about this matter. Maybe if you spread out what you know and let Kay Yin choose, you may still have more room to operate. If it is kept secret, Kay Yin will know about it in the future and make a temporary decision. If it goes against the plan, he may be caught off guard which is even worse. So after thinking about it, Lin said seriously, I have to tell you about this matter, Your Majesty. Well, let's talk. Kay Yin opened his eyes wide, waiting for someone to speak. Your Majesty is about to enter the state just now. In fact, I have several concerns. Are you still you? And after you enter that state, is there any possibility of recovery? The most important question is, after you enter that state, is there any possibility of modifying the whole system? Why do you need to restore? Why do you need to modify it? Any change www.mtlnovel.com will inevitably benefit some people and lose others. You said this sentence is selfless. Well, I shot myself in the foot with a stone. Someone sighed in his heart. Moreover, as a god, even if it is only a weaker divine power, it is not like a person with seven emotions and six desires to abandon one's own will. What is meant by a god? I'm afraid someone will have to rethink this question. But what should be said still has to be said, so as not to regret it too late. Your Majesty, don't you think that if we build this set of gold flow network today, it can be used for countless years without modification? Isn't it? Of course not. Virtue, kindness, and love may be constant, but the way money is used should not be. Society will improve, habits will change, and the way of transaction will change with it. And money is only one part of transaction. A tool, if it remains the same and cannot be changed. What do you think will happen then? What kind of thing? The old stubborn system that restrains the progress of the new era will only have one end, being swept into the grave. Even if there is a group of supporters who are willing to stick to the tradition and protect the old things, their final result is nothing more than being buried with them. Frightened by the magician's scaremongering again, the halfling goddess calculated various possibilities in her mind. It's a pity that the answers don't seem to satisfy me. Lin Gang continued, even if there is a method that is eternal, it will only become full of loopholes under the ravages of time. At that time, there will still be people who support such a method, but in fact it is just to exploit loopholes and wander in the rules. Besides, 
earn your own profit. Not really willing to play by the rules of the method. Do you really want yourself to be that way? Chapter 1252, Prospects for the Money Road With a long sigh, Kay Yin said, I just said, I hate the way you persuade people. The halfling goddess did not forget to look at Freya and Hefkin who were also present. There is no pure muscle stick that can be brought by Lin's side. Someone's warning words, although it seems to have nothing to do with them. However, when applied to their respective situations, it seems to be able to explain the problems encountered by their respective ethnic groups. Although the silver-bearded dwarves are pursuing technology, they are self-styled and do not have sufficient resources. Even if the conspirator named Guardian, who actually intends to annihilate the entire clan, does not take action, the Silverbeard clan will eventually disappear from the land of confusion if things go on like this. This is especially the case with elemental creatures. The long life makes most elemental creatures lose the motivation to move forward. Whenever something novel enters the circle, it will be like igniting dynamite in a pond, blowing up a pool of fish. Only a few who can adapt and survive will reproduce a pool of fish adapted to the new evolution. Then wait for the next firecracker. This is a strange infinite loop, and the pattern does not change. Every time the elemental creatures make progress, they sacrifice countless lives. But to them, it's just remaking, it's nothing. Although I don't know what kind of small theater is in my heart for the two little guys next to me whose height is only around my waist. Facing the complaint from the halfling goddess, Lin could only say helplessly, I don't want to, your majesty. But there is a saying in my hometown, and honest words are harsh. What I say now is not pleasant, but listening to it will at most make me feel better. It's just depressed. But if something breaks out in the future, it may be fatal. Although I may not know where I will die at that time, but instead of being cursed by you, I think it is acceptable to be complained now. But Kayin is not just complaining and not thinking. He remembered the key point of the magician's words in front of him, and asked, You just said that the future will change, so I don't suggest that I fix the rules of money. You should not even think about how the future will change. Well, these are not necessary to discuss now. But since you asked sincerely, and you also considered that I may not be there at that time, so I will talk about it now. Your Majesty, just listen to it. The future is still adjustments should be made according to the actual situation. Speak, my chosen ones. What will the future you prophesy be like? Your Majesty, it is too much to prophesy. Those are the problems that will be encountered sooner or later in the sustainable development of society. With the continuous development of the economy and the prosperity of business transactions, there may be a dilemma of insufficient money. After all, the current the three precious metals used to mint coins have their own uses other than coins. Even if all the gold, silver, and copper in Chuan Midi were minted into coins, the money would not be able to buy the resources of Chuan Midi. This is not poverty, but it is the lack of coins in circulation that hampers the development of the economy. Do you understand the premise? For those who don't have a macro concept, someone's explanation only makes the goddess of gold coins more confused. Lin had no choice but to explain again, let's take an extreme example. If we make it mandatory to use new coins for all transactions, but the new coins are only the box you just made. Then in the case of insufficient coins, will the trading activities in other places be stagnated because of this? and cannot be carried out. Ah, I understand. It's just that other people won't use other methods to trade. Kayin thought he had made a very clever idea, and was complacent. Of course, people are alive. If one way fails, just take another way. Only in this way, your believers will run away. Ah. The halfling goddess froze. A tiger claw was tightly clasped to a magician, showing a tearful expression. At this time, there are two ways to solve it. There are two of them. Tell me quickly. Kayin asked hastily, wiping away the tears he didn't know whether they were real or not. 
One is to continue to maintain the value of the coin itself, but we just find something with a higher value to be minted into money, increasing the total amount of value corresponding to the currency in circulation. More expensive than gold coins, do you mean things like gem coins? Kayin asked by inference. Something like this direction, but not gems. Why? Facing the goddess doubts, Lin explained, the material selection of coins must have several characteristics. The first and most important is the consistency of material value. The value of gold, silver, and copper depends on the purity, as long as the purity similarly, we will consider it to be an item with the same value. However, gemstones will have different prices depending on the type, even if it is the same type of gemstone, its value will fluctuate depending on its appearance. Such a feature is not coins that are suitable as a medium of exchange. Not to mention that cutting gems into money is not like gold, silver, copper and other metals that can be reworked. Even cutting into money will reduce the value of gems. If gems don't work, what else is suitable? Kayin thought. In fact, there is one thing that has long been regarded as hard currency and circulated in a delusional manner, but no one treats it as money. Lin suggested. Kayin suddenly realized, ah, the seven-color magic stone. That's right, it is the magic stone. The value of the magic stone is the power contained in it, so no matter how it is cut, it is calculated by its size. And there are seven kinds of appearance, although each level there are also shades of color, but generally speaking, as long as they are of the same color grade, they will be recognized as having the same value. And this color grade cannot be forged. As for the reshaping of magic stone, although it is not like metal it's so convenient, but at least it can be solved with magic, unlike gems, once you cut it, you can't go back. Perhaps redstone is cut into coins, and its value is similar to that of gold coins, but the value of orange stones and above is almost the same. It is above the same volume of gold. When it reaches the level of purple stone coins, Perhaps it is exaggerated to say that one piece can buy a city, but if it is used to buy other items that are also rare and rare, no one will refuse it. The reason why MIDI retains the barter trading style is mainly in two aspects. One is a large transaction at the national or city level, the other is a transaction of extremely rare items. The amount involved in the former is too large, and at this level, any transaction is of strategic significance, not just for profit. At this time, it is useless to exchange coins. It is better to trade other materials of the same strategic level. For example, food for iron, salt for magic stones and so on. The latter involves some extremely rare items that are difficult to price. Rather than selling these items for money, it is better to exchange them for some special items that are also so rare that they are not circulated in the market. Any price calculated in money is like a cheap sale in the minds of the holders. But if it is really possible to use magic stones to mint coins, then it is really possible to buy these items that were difficult to price in the past. Because high-grade magic stones, especially the purple grade, besides the value they represent, their strategic significance for magic is hard to ignore. Kayin also understood why the magician in front of him didn't say this method at the first time because it is really useless at this stage. Even the three coins of gold, silver, and copper in MIDI are still quite chaotic, and they want to kill someone by making magic stone coins. Neither needed nor necessary. But this also made the halfling goddess curious about what the other method the magician was talking about. Seeing that the person in front of him understood what he said before, Lin continued, but he raised a seemingly unrelated question, money, that is, the three functions of currency, as a medium of exchange, convenient for bookkeeping, and storage value. Ask. Which of these three functions is a non-essential function of money? Coming from a group that ate big pots and worked together, the silver-bearded dwarf Freya thought about it, but couldn't figure it out for the time being. The other comes from a world where you can grab what you need, and the more skilled ones are all kinds of abduction and deception and the hive queen who has no concept of money is the same. But as the goddess of gold coins, 
Kayin comes with divine understanding and divine calculation. If someone farts, he can tell what this guy ate yesterday. Naturally, with Lin starting one, Kayin can come up with a whole set of possibilities. So he was shocked again by someone's vision of the world, and asked aloud, What the are you thinking? It seems that you understand. He <laughs> he, you really deserve to be the goddess of gold coins. You are so sensitive about things related to money. Of the three functions of currency I just mentioned, the first two are really important, the third is storing value. www.mtlnovel.com is actually just to protect the purchasing power of the currency. This is actually a constraint on the economy, but it is also a protection from another perspective. I will not talk about the theory behind it, let me say that it can be done let's get to the premise of this point. To be able to separate the value of the currency from the currency itself, the user must first trust the issuer of the currency, and believe that the number given by the other party can trade the items he needs, and he can indeed buy them. And all people believe in this thing, then this number can be called money, which is what I call currency. If this most basic trust does not exist, and in fact can't buy anything, then it is a bunch of meaningless numbers. Is such a thing possible? So I said, trust is the premise. If you can't do this, all these ideas will be so unreliable. In addition to trust, you also need to have a certain strength yourself, and you are not afraid of anyone's challenge that kind of strength. More importantly, you must have the wisdom to control money. Because at that time, the flow of money is like a torrential flood. If you can't control it, it will be like a flood bursting its embankment, and the common people will suffer. Having said that, someone sighed inexplicably. Immediately he stood up straight, cleaned up his appearance, brushed off his sleeves, bowed respectfully, and said, If there is a day when you choose such a path, Your Majesty, please remember what I said today. The source of Your Majesty's strength it comes from the normal operation of the entire money system, not the numbers collected in your hands. Greed should not be your attitude. When you start pursuing what mortals call profit, it is the moment you fall into evil. The power of money, it can be good or evil. But the position it really should maintain should be absolute neutrality. Money is just a tool, and a tool should not have a personality, that's what a human being has. Chapter 1253, Human Affairs Seeing the cautious attitude of the person in front of him, Kei Yin was also serious, and asked, The second method you mentioned is really so easy to lose control, and it will cause such great harm. Didn't I say that the third function of currency is that it has storable value, which is in protection? Because using the first method, you have at least one reference that can be compared, knowing that circulation is lost what kind of value and purchasing power does the land money have? However, the second method of storing value is abandoned, and it depends entirely on the wisdom of the controller. I don't understand the reason. I'll just tell you about economics. But I'm not good at this subject, and I only know the surface. Maybe it was because someone spoke too alarmistly, for a while, the atmosphere became quite dignified. Of course, Lin was not used to this kind of morning atmosphere, so he said haha but before you get there, your majesty, you still have a long way to go. Let's go, let's watch, let's learn. There before that, let me do a little favor. It seemed that he suddenly realized that what the magician said was not a problem that would be encountered in front of him. Kayin also let go of unnecessary worries, restored his original cheerful attitude, and asked, please tell me what you want to do. After getting the permission, Lin suddenly disappeared, and suddenly appeared in front of him again. It's just that when he reappeared, he brought three more boxes. Each box was bigger than the first cash box that Lin had brought along the way. Someone smiled and opened the three boxes, and the amount of coins was also more and more abundant, and they were almost full. Everywhere you look, they are all good coins minted by the Guana Empire. Gold coins accounted for the bulk nearly two boxes in quantity. The silver coins are less than half of the box, 
and the remaining space is filled with copper coins. Someone smiled and said, help me convert this money into new coins. Oh, yes, I will take those miscellaneous metals with me too. I have uses. A certain halfling goddess was dumbfounded, and said, you should know that in the deposit rules you gave me, I will take a certain percentage as the storage fee. It will not be for nothing. Hey, of course I am familiar with those rules. But the premise of extracting the storage fee is to use the gold flow network constructed by the World Tree to transfer the coins from the lost land to your kingdom of God and deposit them in your personal account. Pay the storage fee. Although there is no need to transfer the money, it is also an action of depositing from one account to another account, so you have to pay a transfer fee similar to the storage fee. But I moved the money by myself, and I don't have to deposit into a personal account, I will take it all, not eligible for any fees, so I don't have to pay any money. Right. You, you are sophistry. Kay Yun said angrily. Lin put on a smug expression and said, No, 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 I'm not trying to quibble, I'm just using actions to teach you to be good. Any system will have loopholes, and a rigid and permanent system means sitting back and watching those loopholes be exploited. Just like me today. So we have to respond flexibly, but we don't think about how to seal the loopholes that appear airtight. Everything is too late. So focus on the big ones to seal serious loopholes and defects, vulnerabilities that seriously endanger the entire system may be concentrated in the once in 10 year review and corrected at one time. I am not saying that there is no need to change it, but there is no need to change it in such a hurry. That is to say, how long you want to order depends on your own will, your majesty. However, all revisions must adhere to one principle, that is, not retroactive. The establishment of rules is to tell others the method they should follow. Rather than to punish behavior that occurred in the past when it was not governed by the rules. Your sophistry. Kay Yin puffed his cheeks and muttered dissatisfiedly. Truth comes from practice, your majesty. Please leave the three boxes of money. Lin Xiao Xiao said. In the end, Someone successfully returned to the holy city of Estelai with a total of four boxes of money and hundreds of kilograms of miscellaneous metal ingots without any additional expenses. Speaking of which, someone's unreasonableness about divine power has refreshed his cognition again today. On earth, purifying metals is a big science. Many metals that are widely used in modern and modern industries, such as aluminum or titanium, actually have a lot of reserves in nature but most of them exist in the form of various compounds. However, if the purification method wants to move from the laboratory to industrialization, and then from industrialization to commercialization, and even to be profitable, there is still a long way to go. Even the cost remains high, making things that are everywhere become unattainable after purification. But with the help of Fukin's godhead, the halfling goddess who is familiar with metals, Separating and purifying these metals is as easy as breathing. Perhaps this is the true value of becoming a god. In one's own field, those things are like instinct. Now that the two major events of coinage and gold flow network are advancing, it is time to turn our attention back to Lost Land, the place closest to money users. Lin, who was just sitting in his room, thinking about where to start, was suddenly interrupted by a flurry of footsteps. Teacher, teacher, it's not good. Our house has been burglarized, and all the money is gone. My older female apprentice opened the door in a panic and shouted inside. But as soon as the flustered Halomi entered, she saw that Freya was packing up the simple light carving machine and the four open cash boxes in front of her teacher. Ah! The older girl was stunned for a moment, then said with relief, Teacher, you took it away. It's just, it looks a little different. The coins in the cash box are no longer stacked in disorder as in the past. Instead, they are neatly stacked one after another into a straight cylinder. The neat arrangement increases the capacity of the cash box a lot. The four-mouth cash box that was about to be full, now has a lot more space. 
The reason why old coins cannot be sorted in this way is because the old coins have irregular shapes and are difficult to stack into straight cylinders. Even for the five empires with the most exquisite coin casting techniques, the double-sided imperial coins, which are regarded as good coins, are still slightly uneven in terms of thickness. You can't see it just by looking at one or two coins, but when the money is piled up, the skewed and twisted condition is obvious. This also further highlights that the three mother coins handcrafted with Freya's technology and the coins reproduced by the divine power of the goddess of gold coins are exquisite works of art in all aspects. Harumi picked up a new silver coin from the cash box and looked at it carefully in her hand. The feeling of using money for a long time made her way about the same as the silver coins used in the past. It's just that the production level is really far from the past. Looking at the front and back of the coin, it was a strange person's head and a strange batch. Halomi asked curiously, Teacher, where did you get all this money? The goddess of gold coins made it with her own hands. But the mother coin is Freya's credit, so praise her. After being praised, the silver-bearded female dwarf smiled heartily. She carried the heavy laser engraving machine on one shoulder, and carried a large burden in the other hand. Inside the package are miscellaneous metal ingots brought back from the Kingdom of God, one piece of each type. Ready to go back to the car center. After saying goodbye to the female apprentice, Freya went out alone carrying the several hundred kilograms of goods. With that step, the floor creaked hard. Seeing that someone was terrified, he was afraid that a big hole would be made in the floor like this. After saying goodbye to the silver-bearded dwarf, Halomi turned her focus back to the coins. She pursed her lips, narrowed her eyes, looked at the hot new coins that had just been minted, and said doubtfully, Will others accept this? Money is money. As long as there is no shortage of gold, silver, and copper in it, no one will not accept it. How, is someone here to collect money? Yes, sir. It's the merchants we deal with who are coming to collect money. Lin directly pointed to the cash box in front of him, and said, according to the one-to-one -one ratio, count enough money to pay the other party. If he doesn't want to accept it, first use magic stones of similar value to cover it. I will add it later. This is the new currency that I will promote in the future, and it will replace all the old money currently in circulation in Lost Land. Although there are still some doubts, the apprentices are used to not questioning their teachers. After counting the full amount of money, he was ready to meet the merchant who came to collect the bill. But before she left, she was called down by her teacher again. Lin said, Girl, go and check if Ozov and Mayer are free tonight www.mtlnovel.com If so, please invite them back for dinner, I have something to explain. Okay, sir. Any other orders? Halomi asked. Lin shook his head and his blonde female apprentice said, Teacher, then I'll go down first. Well, let's go. Lim is not at all worried about whether the new coins will be accepted. As he said, money is money, as long as it is not fake, there is no reason why it cannot be used. But the focus is on promotion. Perhaps with the help of the forum, the information has soared from the slow and slow appearance in the past and it can almost catch up with someone who traveled through the era before the information explosion. But there was little progress in other areas. To promote new money in such a confusing place, although I showed a confident appearance in front of the gold coin goddess and world tree, in fact, most of the components were pretending. For the promotion of the elf kingdom, the proposal has been submitted to the five elf kings through the fat elf of Wild Walker. As an outsider, I am still a human being in the affairs of the national policy level. If I interfere too much, it will not be beautiful. That level of advice is enough. The forum said it was a promotion, but it was actually just an inducement for people to use the money network established by Kayin. After all, there are only a small number of people who will buy things through forums. The lost land right now is not the era of online shopping for all before someone traveled through. The only real knife that is really useful in his hands is actually only the technical guild. 
but this guild is not an organization with strict upper and lower classes. It's just relying on a reasonable system and visible profits to lure people together. If you want to order anyone, you will probably be choked up, who are you? Therefore, the specific method should be discussed with Yozov Gantia and the Dark Elf Mayor. Chapter 1254, Step 1 How to Go So this is what you have been busy with, sir. In the small meeting room, Uzov and Mayor each grabbed a few new coins and looked at them. The Wood Elf tribe sheltered by the World Tree has no internal transactions using money. Even if there is a transaction, it is the kind of barter that does not care about the value and does not need to be exchanged on the spot. Although it is more like a gift in a human-to-human -human society. Even the Dark Elf tribe, which is incompatible with the Elf tradition, has an internal economic environment similar to other Wood Elf tribes. But Mayor, who was once a Dark Elf priestess, is not ignorant of money, the kind of Elf who lives in the clouds and does not eat the fireworks of the world. Her experience in human society and her recent work in the Technology Guild have made her more sensitive to money than other Elves. In the Technology Guild, Myrxi not only serves as Lin's agent, managing his income and property in the Guild, but also serves as the supervisor of the guild, and the most annoying position the acceptance officer. For the work results of each group of craftsmen, the internal review and acceptance of quality is related to the rise and fall of the craftsman's evaluation, as well as the evaluation of remuneration. If the customer has doubts about the construction, the acceptance officer will sometimes accept the customer's complaint, and sometimes communicate with the customer from the standpoint of the craftsman to see if the work results of the craftsman are worthy of the remuneration he received. It can be said that taking the position of acceptance officer is like holding the life and death power of the technical guild. And Meyer's taste cultivated with elf sensibility, as well as her beauty and strength, made her the most respected acceptance officer in the technology guild. Such a her, of course, does not lack suitors who show love. Although everyone knows that she is a follower of a magician, as long as there is no clear relationship between the two, followers of a magician can also pursue what they love. There are even people who follow this relationship and cling to that magician. Although in terms of Meyer's situation, she herself and the world tree Farzinus behind her are the real thick thighs. No one wants to cling to the mathematician who claims to be escaping Forte. And Meyer's experience of being able to stand out in the Dark Elf tribe and become a priestess made her proficient in using various means to control the hearts of the people. The reason why someone has so much influence on the technical guild is that Uzov, who loyally and fairly supports the guild system, and Mayer, who is both respected and feared, are firmly in control. It is related to the ups and downs of the technical association. Inside the holy city of Estelai, Many people are jealous of such an organization, and have tried to seize power more than once. But at most they recruited some people to form a faction, but no one really threatened Uzov's position, or blatantly opposed Melon. Therefore, if Lin wants to use the knife of the Technology Guild to promote new coins, he must of course rely on his two generals. Someone with a full mouth full of skills may be able to list rules and regulations in certain systems and copywriting. But in terms of implementation and contact between people, he is really not as good as Uzov, a senior adventurer of the original Turtle Dove Alliance, and Mayor, a dark elf who has climbed to a high position. So Lin didn't hide anything, and even involved the plans of the world trees. But the focus of the story is still on how the artisans who go out in the technical guild use Kayin's gold flow network to deposit the rewards they receive into the godly kingdom of the goddess of gold coins. Instead of carrying it on your body, it will become the target of bad guys. Of course Uzov could see the benefits in this, so he asked carefully about his doubts. However, Lin couldn't give any more answers in front of him, and replied with a little helplessness, Actually, I also want to make it clearer, but although I have proposed my method to His Majesty Kayin and Your Majesty World Tree. But when they build the entire gold flow network, I am not sure whether they will completely follow it. After all, I also proposed that they should make some modifications that they think are necessary. Therefore, the detailed method can only be weighted. 
they can only confirm it after they have completed the network construction. Then sir, another problem is that if the funds of the guild want to be deposited into His Majesty Kayin's Kingdom of God, what should we do? You can't designate a person and deposit it into his personal account. In this case, if if this person has an accident, what will happen next? It won't be inherited by his spouse and children according to the inheritance rules after the account owner's death. Uzov asked again. Ah! A certain careless traveler sighed. Obviously know that on earth, no matter where the legal system is, there are so-called natural persons and legal persons. When I was designing the lost version of the deposit account, I only wanted to bind the soul. The question is where can a legal person have a soul that can be bound? As Uzov asked, even if a legal person organization has a dedicated financial or accounting team, it is not suitable for the organization's funds to be placed in private accounts bound to the souls of these people. Therefore, is it still impossible to design a security authentication mechanism for bearer accounts? Lin said. I know about this matter, and I will ask His Majesty Kei Yin to solve it. But today I come to you, and I still want to ask about the implementation of the new currency and the new system established by His Majesty Kei Yin. In terms of specific operations, those of you who are closest to the group of craftsmen, do you have any ideas, including how to build a temple for the goddess of gold coins in the holy city? Well, why don't you consider setting up a church first and building a temple directly? Uzov said. The difference between churches and temples is not only the regulation of building materials, but also the size of the prayer room that is visible to the naked eye. In addition, the former is usually a single building, while the latter is mostly a complex of buildings. Both are used as living quarters for religious people, and of course there are facilities such as altars. But the temple has a separate hall that can accommodate many believers to pray together. The prayer area of the church is rarely set up alone, and the space is usually not large. However, there is no strict distinction between the two forms. Even different gods have different habits, such as evil gods who cannot see the light, of course it is impossible to build a magnificent temple in the city. Sometimes temples dedicated to evil gods are built in hidden caves, and sometimes they are dungeons or residences of underground races. However, in general perception, the church is smaller and the temple is larger. So Uzov was quite surprised that the magician he chose to follow had done so generously. After thinking about it, Lin said, as for the deposit function of the goddess of gold coins, my idea is that as long as you use the holy emblem of Her Majesty the Goddess, you can deposit money anytime and anywhere, and send the coins to the goddess kingdom for safekeeping. But if you withdraw money, can only be in a specific place. In order to prevent thieves or robbers from detaining people, money can be found or obtained from people. Without this incentive, it should be possible to make the vicious reduced behavior. At the same time, Lin used whiteboard pens to draw a schematic diagram of the cubicle when withdrawing money. Although I haven't done a complete design yet, in my mind, the church and shrine of the goddess of gold coins is the designated withdrawal location. In addition to communicating with the gods, you can also withdraw money from your account here and to do this kind of thing, of course, it is not suitable to do it in public, so some small private rooms with concealment are needed. In this way, as long as the amount of money each person withdraws is not very exaggerated, other people should not be able to see it yes. Doing so should ensure the safety of the withdrawer. Such considerations are indeed necessary. Uzov looked at the schematic diagram and imagined the general picture. At the same time, he smiled and said, sometimes men also want to hide some private money. Let others see how much money they have withdrawn. After going back, they can't tell their wives clearly. I have met many people who come to find money in private. Me. I want me to reduce the amount of remuneration on the surface, and give it in private. Ha 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 ha. Indeed. Ha ha. Lin laughed. However, the only woman present, even though she was a dark elf, Mayer still gave the two men a blank look. Lin coughed, pretending to be nonchalant to avoid embarrassment, and continued, 
to cope with the use of technical guilds and even outsiders, there must be enough separate compartments, so the space needed must be large enough. Make a small the church has allowed people from the goddess of gold coins to move in, but it can't meet the demand. That's why it is necessary to build a temple directly. Yeah, think about how many people you have in your technical guild just as clerks at the counter. There were only three counter clerks in the guild at first, and one was always there, and Mayer was one of them. In addition to being responsible for directly accepting clients' entrustments, they are also responsible for announcing the entrustments in the corresponding bulletin board according to the classification. Register for the artisan team that picks up the entrustment, and pay www.mtlnovel.com after completing the work. Also record the work history of each team, as well as the completion of the situation, in order to evaluate the level of the team. At the same time, although the clerks are not responsible for judging the skill levels of the craftsmen, the records before and after the event are entirely dependent on them. In addition, there are also the processing of applying for patented technology, as well as the business processing when someone wants to purchase the right to use the patent. It can be said that in the technical guild, 9 out of 10 of all chores that have nothing to do with technology are performed by these counter clerks. Today, the division of labor of these clerks is more detailed, and the number of them is of course much larger than in the past. Even for these people to work, the technical guild has carried out an expansion, separating the functions of the original tavern and accommodation, and building another house. The guild hall, which was originally a collection of functions such as dining, drinking, lodging and technical guild entrustment, is now purely used for handling guild affairs. If the temple of the goddess of gold coins is open to the outside world except for those serving the technical guild, even if it is not built on a larger scale than the current guild hall, at least it needs the same level of buildings and manpower. If the coin deposit and withdrawal function of Goddess Kayin can really be promoted. It's just that sir, if you want to build a temple, you have to spend a lot of money. As far as I know, the belief in the Goddess of Gold coins is not widespread, and it is difficult to raise enough funds. Even if you are willing to take out your own going to gamble with your wealth, let's not talk about how to recover it. Your current assets are not enough to build a temple. Unless you borrow from the Duke of Kawi or the Jialong Chamber of Commerce. However, Duke Kawi is preparing for war, so it may not be able to help busy. So I can only find the Chamber of Commerce? Maybe not only the Ruan family brothers, but other members of the Jialong Chamber of Commerce, and even other chambers of commerce are very interested in cooperating with us. Uzov said to himself. Chapter 1255, Bank Construction Uzov's concerns are well founded. In Midi, the most expensive building, apart from building a city from scratch, is to build a magic tower. Three floors are the basic, and for each additional floor, the price will be doubled at least, and the five floors will be the top. For a more intuitive comparison, Take the Guana Empire as an example. To build a five-story pagoda for Dharma saints to live in, not counting some additional facilities and structures, but only basic expenses, it will take about three years of the total tax revenue of the empire. If you build more weird things, there is no upper limit. Therefore, every magic tower that has been handed down to this day is the result of continuous modification and addition by previous tower owners. For the first tower owner to see, some even make them unable to recognize that they were once their own works. The temple, as the name suggests, is the temple of the gods. Except that there is no energy supply facility such as an energy pool, the materials and specifications of the exquisite temple are not inferior to the magic tower at all. It is conceivable that the cost can definitely keep those who make a vow to raise donations to build the temple busy for a lifetime and it may not necessarily be able to build an area the size of a toilet. Incidentally, the architecture of the church is less particular. Maybe an ordinary house can be used as a church with a little planning. This is also a big difference between the two. Of course, you have to pay attention. Compared with the magic tower, there is no upper limit. On the earth, can a detached three-story house, 
a luxury villa, be compared with a condominium. However, for this follower's worries and suggestions, Lin just shook his head with a smile and said, there will be many places where we can cooperate in the future. The gold coin temple next to the technology guild must be built by ourselves, so that we can follow our ideas and serve as a model for others. If I find collaborators from the beginning and just integrate their opinions, I will just be busy with their ideas, and I don't need to do other things. The situation someone said was exactly what I experienced during the establishment of the automobile manufacturing and R&D center. Mr. Kaei and the Ruan brothers of the Jialong Chamber of Commerce are partners that were agreed upon at the beginning. As a result, the person who came up with the brain almost killed himself in order to integrate the opinions of the two investors, but also not to stray too far from his own plan. Maybe Mitty doesn't have the idea of customer is king, but money is boss is a universal truth. Not to mention that one of them not only has money, but also has power and soldiers, to see if others are afraid. Lin didn't want to do the same thing twice. So he said to Azov, in short, let's build a demonstration building by ourselves first, and don't be influenced too much by others. Others can do whatever they want on their own site. My plan however, it is necessary to cooperate with the local people in the shortest possible time to spread out to the full fan. Anyway, there is the Kayin dealing with them, and it is not up to us to follow the requirements. The part of the funds is not easy. I can use the method of installment settlement to reduce the burden of payment. But I am afraid that if I do this, there will still be a gap. Uzo secretly calculated the cost of a temple, and the wealth of his cheap master. Lin smiled and said, what if we don't use the standard temple building method? Ah, oh. Uzo said suddenly, sir, you mean to coat ordinary materials with magical materials. This is how someone built his mansion in the holy city of Estelai. Let's save a little more, you don't need to build defense facilities to the degree of water tightness, many places can be built with ordinary materials. Anyway, there are lodgings for the Turtle Dove Alliance and adventurers nearby, so it is still possible to temporarily recruit people to repel foreign enemies. What's more, no money will be put in the temple, and it will be sent directly to the kingdom of the goddess of gold coins. As long as the brain is healthy, it should not be robbed in the kingdom of God. If you have this ability, you can grab more valuable things, not heavy and heavy gold coins. Well, that's true. Uzov compared his own experience a little bit, estimated the cost, and said, in this case, it won't cost much money. Sir, you should be able to solve the problem with the property you have deposited in the guild. Already. Do you need guild support? The current situation on your side is not easy to operate. Lin said. Also know that this follower is just a casual mention. In the early days of the technical guild, the rules were not so big. Although at someone's insistence, the public account, salary account and private account are calculated separately, but the coins are all put together, and sometimes it is inevitable that there will be misappropriation. But it can always be made up quickly, so that the skylight will not be skipped. However, with the development of the guild and more and more people joining in, under someone's emphasis, the financial accounts must be very clear and open to everyone. At the same time, as long as anyone has doubts, they can publicly count the coins stored in the guild under the witness of witnesses at any time. It was this unprecedented action in Midi that made Uzov's position in the guild unshakable. No one believes that there will be a second fool like this. Uzov can be regarded as the consensus reached by all forces and craftsmen at the grassroots level. However, it was precisely because of this action that what Uzov just mentioned became impossible. Maybe he relied on the power of the guild leader to use it in private, and maybe someone would jump out to check the account when he turned his head. This old archer from the Turtle Dove Alliance has dissatisfied many people. You can pull him down, kill him, no one will show mercy. Uzov, who was well aware of his situation, couldn't help but sigh. He may appear to be high and powerful on the surface, but he is actually walking on a tightrope. If one is not careful, it may end in pieces. 
not to mention that I live in a city of magicians, no matter how good the craftsmanship of the craftsman is, and no matter how many people I gather, I am not an opponent of the group of magicians. So all along, he has always carefully managed the relationship between the guild and other organizations in the holy city, for fear of being destroyed overnight. In the current situation, everyone wants it, but no one dares to reach out first. Not to mention that the main backer of the guild on the surface is the Banjiu Alliance, and no one is sure that it can win without injury. The one who reached out first might have exhausted the strength of the Turtle Dove Alliance in the Holy City, and was backstabbed when he turned around, allowing others to pick the fruits of success. But Uzov had other options, too. He said, if the guild's money is not enough, I actually still have some savings. Lin directly interrupted his follower and said, forget it. I know that most of your money has been used to help the members of the Alliance, and there is not much left. Even if you don't want to build a standard temple, your little money, it can be of any help. Keep it. Uzov smiled mischievously. Lin said again, speaking of which, what we built is not considered a temple, so I plan to change the name to a bank. Mayer asked curiously, why did you change your name? And why did you call it a bank? If you name the Temple of the Goddess of Gold Coins, it is easy for devout believers from other churches to dare not enter. Some people may also worry that if they are not believers, they will be forced to donate after entering. If this is the case, it is better to call the church the color of the bank has been weakened, making the bank a neutral place where everyone can come and go freely. Of course, fighting in the bank is strictly prohibited. As someone said, the concerns that outsiders might have are justified. More than 300 years ago, during the craziest era of religious wars, Templars and monks preached by using a holy book in one hand and a mace in the other, asking if they wanted to convert or change religion while beating. Usually no living person refuses, because those who refuse are dead. In this way, regardless of their standpoints of good and evil, various churches of the gods would swipe three times and four times, often turning a town of living people into a town of dead people. Things have developed to such an extent that the secular nobles can't help it anymore. Perhaps the collusion between theocracy and the political power can maximize the exploitation of the people, but the premise is that someone can exploit it. Who will go after killing everyone? Is it possible to cut up the flesh and bones of the corpse and make soup to sell? Therefore, in the latter part of the era of religious wars, the nobles from all over the place strongly intervened to completely wipe out the armed forces of each church. But it does not invade the kingdom of God, trying to destroy the belief in the gods. If you don't touch the bottom line, the church's armed forces are just the church's armed forces, and the gods will not show up in person. In fact, such a bottom line also implies the dissatisfaction of the gods with the church's armed forces. I am used to violence, and there will always be someone who will do something conveniently and cover it up under the righteous name. But the nobles destroyed the church by force, and they were not unscathed. It was precisely because of this crazy turmoil that Midi entered the next recuperation period. All countries and forces are accumulating strength, developing wasteland, and competing with nature. Especially the pressure from the natural counterattack, the harassment of monsters and uncivilized races made the world of Homo sapiens temporarily put aside their prejudices between each other, and consolidated and preserved the fire of civilization. But the madness of the wars of religion www.mtlnovel.com has not been entirely forgotten. This is also the reason why secular power will not specifically support or even combine secular power against divine power even if it does not deliberately suppress it. That's why Lin had the idea of asking the bank to lower its religious color. And he continued, as for why it's called a bank, it's just a habit in my hometown. It seems to be called Bianqi, Qian Zhuang, Yinlu, and ticket number. Ah, the ticket number is not good, and there is no ticket. What a nonsense. Anyway, I want to you can call it any other name you can discuss it with the goddess of gold coins. I have no objection to this point. Discuss with God. Uzov and Mayer ignored such opinions at the same time. 
That is not something that ordinary people can do, and no matter how high their achievements are, they still belong to the category of ordinary people. At this moment, Lin suddenly added, By the way, in fact, you don't have to deliberately save the funds. Because after the bank is officially in operation, they will pay back the initial construction costs, and I am not the one who pays for it. Money. Future construction in other places should also follow this pattern. This is to minimize the possibility of outsiders controlling the bank. After all, the bank is essentially a temple of the goddess of gold coins. And this is what I drew a draft. Lin unfolded the water mirror technique screen in the small living room and showed several sketches he had drawn. Specifically refer to the grand and luxurious architectural style of some big banks with a history in Europe and America. Of course, exquisite sculptures and pictures are also indispensable as decorations in the hall. On the one hand, it is also because this style is closer to Midi's original style, which is easier for people to accept. If a building with a style that is too out of the way suddenly comes, people may be worried that it is the temple of the evil god, the kind that intends to lure people into it and concoct it. Therefore, in terms of style design, it is good to be safe, and it is best to be safe. Chapter 1256, First Head of Bank After showing a few pictures, Lin ordered, Uzov, just use these drafts and you can help find someone to complete and estimate the price. As long as the price is not too outrageous, just send the contract and let people start the work. The building body and pillars, use reinforced concrete structure, I estimate that the cost should be saved a lot. But those sculptures may have to be custom made. The cement mold is at most a rough embryo, and on-site construction is required, which may not be cheaper than a professional stone carver. Uzov patted his chest and said, Sir, don't worry, as long as it is not a magic material, the price is limited. As for the sculpture, the guild has nothing, and the most craftsmen. You don't have to worry about the cost. I'm willing to do it. If we didn't have a minimum wage requirement, I'm afraid everyone would agree to it. The projects contracted by the guild are the kind of public construction that everyone can see and use and it has become the best stage for craftsmen to compete in their skills. If you do too poorly, you will be ridiculed for a lifetime. More importantly, these projects have high ratings in the guild, which is very attractive to craftsmen who want to improve their own evaluation. That's why Uzov said so. In these days of MIDI, there is no identity equation between public works and bean curd projects. However, Mayor, who had been watching the two men's discussion, was not very able to get in the conversation. After seeing the result of the two men's talk, she asked someone. Said, Sir, you came back to me this time, you will not listen to the two of you chatting. I came back to tell you that I hope you will be the first person in charge of this new bank. Although the words contained a questioning meaning, in fact, to Mayor, when a person of Lin's status opened his mouth, it was equivalent to a decision. Unless there is really a good reason, or sudden circumstances, that change something. But the dark elf was still curious and asked, Me? Why me? Sir? Just like building this first bank, I don't want too many people and too many opinions to interfere. Of course, I also want to choose someone who can be trusted and able to hold the field. If this person can't help if you understand my thoughts well and mess around, even if you don't mess things up, if you just add some trouble to the bank's promotion, I may be killed by the goddess of gold coins, and the 25 high-ranking officials including your majesty. Looking for your trouble. So, you are the best choice. Key points, trust and keep the place. Mayor rubbed one of the seven rings on his hand playfully, the blue horse, and said with a half-smile, Trust? Does Mr. really trust me? Although I claim to be a slave, I can be regarded as a follower in the eyes of outsiders. But compared with other people, I'm still far behind. At least between ordinary magicians and followers, communication is often used to confirm the master-slave relationship between the two parties. I have never experienced it once. 
how about we increase the trust relationship tonight? Uzov, who was sitting by the side, shuddered just hearing it. The relationship between magicians and followers is not only between the opposite sex, sometimes even the same and regardless of race. When Mayer chose himself as a fellow follower to be present, he mentioned this incident, not only disgusting the magician, but also disgusting himself. Facing the teasing, Lin felt a little helpless. The wrestling between the world trees behind the elves made someone have to hold a bowl of water and not touch anyone. Being spotted by the ancient Farzinus and making trouble, he has already felt the pressure. If something unexplainable happens, there will be endless troubles. So someone can only avoid sensitive topics and say, isn't this giving you a seven commandments? This means that as long as you are in danger, I will definitely help. Isn't this kind of trust enough? And I didn't say it, among the conditions, there is such a thing as township, and there is no one around me who can do this. Well, your three apprentices. Mayor asked tentatively. Stop making trouble, it's not like you don't know the virtues of those three magic apprentices who haven't even grown their hair yet. Don't talk about suppressing the market, don't be suppressed by a group of five big and three rough men in turn, I should just laugh gone. Hmm, that seems to be the case. Mayor asked again, then, Freya. The silver-bearded dwarves are not bad at playing skills. Just deal with people with their heart-to-heart -heart thinking, don't be betrayed, and thank others happily. So true. Meyer's eyes drifted unconsciously to Azov who was sitting beside him. Seeing a human being chill. Seeing this, Lin smiled and said, the burden on Uzov is already heavy enough. The technical guild will be lucky if it manages well. Wouldn't it be too inhuman for me to add a burden to him? Uzov Gantia seemed to have good grades, but in the eyes of Mayer, it was not worth mentioning. This is to take the power of the technical guild into his hands. He doesn't know what to do, and it will arouse the wariness of the magician, so the dark elves have not thought about it. In the same way, there is Ezio beside the magician. Well, that's an age when you're still playing and pee bugs. That crippled old black dragon was fine against some weaklings. In the eyes of the truly strong, it is a bunch of materials prefixed with dragon race. Not to mention that the old black dragon either sleeps or brags in his daily life, how many knights he killed on a certain day, and how many brave men he ate on a certain day. That group of brats like Ezio liked to hear it and they took it seriously. Thinking of the end, Mayer had to mention that one. And where is Lord Fern? Or is it her taciturn little servant? They. Do you think if they come forward to suppress the situation, there will be survivors in the end? Alas, it is. Mel sighed heartily. In this way, I am really the best choice for this magician. In fact, Mayer had no intention of refusing from the beginning but just teased the magician. Now that all the options have been exhausted, the dark elf logically said, since the master thinks that I am the most suitable candidate, and my lord has also told me to do my best to fulfill the request of the master, then I will accept this task. It's just that I'm alone, so I can't handle such a big stall. Do you want to continue borrowing people from the technology guild? A pair of beautiful eyes glanced to the side. The number of times Uzo felt frightened was beyond count. But when it came to the issue of borrowing people, the high-ranking chairman shook his head like a wave drum, and said pleadingly, Eldest sister, without you alone, it is enough for me to have a headache. You still have to come from my side. If you dig people away, the guild will not open the skylight tomorrow. Although Lin is behind the support of the Technology Association, and many paperwork has been made into forms similar to the forums, which are convenient for filling, accessing, and recording, many things still need to be contacted and arranged by people. And a unit has to deal with the amount of a large city level, and the Technology Guild has become a busier place than the Magician's Guild, Adventurer's Guild, and Mercenary Guild. So Uzov's pleading was not without reason. Mayor is considered a general, without her, it would be a headache. But now the affairs of the guild are quite complicated, 
and it is not so easy to train a qualified clerk. If there were fewer people, there would be no need for other families or organizations to conspire, Duzov wanted to hang himself. However, Meyer's request cannot be ignored, but in someone's plan, it is not difficult to solve. Lin said directly, go to His Majesty Farzinus to ask for someone. See if you have any trustworthy people in the tribe and bring them out. You can also communicate with His Majesty the other world trees and ask them to send some people. Help. Even if you don't need much in the early stage, it will be useful in the follow-up. Well, so many people are needed. Is there any arrangement? The keen mayor, aware that there should be a follow-up to the magician's arrangement, asked. Lin didn't keep it secret, and explained, didn't I say that I want to promote the bank to the whole world? But it may not be that the local lords or families can understand our ideas, or think that it is necessary to invest in some small and remote areas. Place. These vacancies will be filled by the elves. First, it is easier for the elves to obtain the goodwill of humans, second, with the backing of His Majesty the World Tree, your safety is more guaranteed. Therefore, the first bank in the holy city, may also have training tasks. In addition to practice, find a reasonable workflow as a model. The elves who have completed the training will also be sent to various places to develop the bank's business. You just need to keep a few skilled hands by your side, others as long as they get started, let them go out and develop. That's the plan. Mayer had no doubts about World Tree's support for the magician in front of him. It can be said that as long as it was his request, Myerxi didn't feel any hesitation from the majesty behind her. This level of trust, even the elves who have served the World Tree for generations www.mtlnovel.com will be jealous of it. They didn't get to the top position by slapping their beards on the spot, but they really gave World Tree help to get where they are today. And that help is beyond the power of the elves. As for whether the elves are willing to cooperate, this is not a problem. For all the wood elf tribes under the care of the world tree, what is the most precious thing for the elves? A. Opportunities to leave the tribe and travel to the outside world. No matter what price this opportunity has to pay, even if it is possible to be captured as a slave by some malicious humans, the elves still sharpen their heads and drill into it. It's not that there is a lack of life in the tribe. The elves live in a hot life, so everyone wants to escape from that environment. Exactly the opposite. The environment looked after by the world tree is quite rich, coupled with a regular life bound by precepts. It can be said that as long as the wood elf grows up to the age of confirming the talent, then except the day of death cannot be predicted, how his life will be spent has been clearly planned, and there will be no doubts accident. But life always needs some stimulation. Life outside the tribe is not only chaotic, disorderly, unpredictable, but potentially life-threatening. Some wood elves will be addicted to this kind of life, while others will be more determined to stay in the tribe and live a prosperous and stable life. No matter what kind, the wood elves cherish and value the opportunity to travel abroad. Even though the living environment of the Dark Elf tribe is different from that of the general Wood Elf tribe, under the competition strategy of the ancient Fasnas, which is very different from other world trees, there are definitely a lot of internal stimulation and life threats. But the Dark Elves also value the opportunity to travel, because to them, it is more like a chance to relax. Instead of worrying about whether your lover will cut off your head while sleeping. Chapter 1257, Borrow an Umbrella on a Sunny Day, Collect an Umbrella on a Rainy Day Not long ago, World Tree recalled all wood elves. The members of the Turtle Dove Alliance completely disappeared in obsession with their elves, but this caused a wave of heated discussions and worries. The same situation reached the ears of nobles and magicians. Most of them believe that a new wave of World Tree Wars will rise. Interested people are all gearing up, waiting for a good opportunity to pick up cheap. Whether it's breaking into the World Tree's territory to plunder, or capturing the elves of the defeated army, there are huge coveted benefits. It's just that different from what these people imagined, 
the Wood Elf tribe is indeed in a state of preparation, but it's not for attacking each other, but for training. A new form of mobilization tactics that can only be used by members of the World Tree, and revolves around the Flash technique. Mayor even has a secret order, as long as the magician is in danger of life, or if he needs it, a wave of at least three brigades of elves can be assembled within ten minutes. Two legions can be reinforced within half an hour. And there won't be any recruits in there, all of them are strong elves who use holy robes and holy bows as standard equipment. It's just that Mayor couldn't bear to complain about his majesty. When life is in danger, ten minutes. Half an hour? So much time is enough for that magician to escape to the ends of the earth. And make sure no one can find him. Unless the magician needs manpower to start a war, Melon doesn't think he will use that secret order. In short, the Wood Elves are now in a state of cancelling their travels. In addition to training soldiers in the tribe, they are also learning necessary new knowledge. Life is both fulfilling and boring. Enrichment is because there is almost no time to relax and take a breath all day long, boring is naturally because the knowledge and training learned more are more boring than the daily life of elves. However, under the endorsement of the magician, as long as he puts forward a request for manpower, the twenty wood elf tribes are a treasure trove of talents who can ask for anything, and even the five elf kingdoms will not have too much resistance. At that time, I am not afraid of those elves who are eager to live outside the tribe and will not come to curry favor with themselves. Mayer was even thinking about what kind of benefits he could use such an opportunity and power to gain for himself. In the past, I couldn't imagine myself staying in the Dark Elf tribe's intrigue. Therefore, for the request of the magician in front of her, she, who was once a priest of the Dark Elves, agreed without thinking, and promised to bear it with all her strength so that this troublesome magician would not have to worry about it. It's just that there are some things that Mayer has to ask first. Sir, is there anything you should pay attention to in the banking organization you want to establish? Lin thought for a while and said, the implementation rules and precautions are contained in the number 10 document. However, the specific plan can only be determined by how the money flow network constructed by Kayin and World Tree works. You first understand from there. But since you asked, I will emphasize one more thing. In the future, banks will never touch the business of lending money, that is, lending money to others. Nor will they be middlemen, helping rich people with debts matching people with money. This is absolutely forbidden. Hey, I can't borrow money. Duzov said that he had a stronger reaction to the prohibited items than Mayer. Noticing that he himself has become the focus of attention, the president of the Technology Guild explained, in fact, don't look at the Technology Guild as if its business is very good. In fact, many people have a need to borrow money. But they are not in a hurry. Instead, I hope to buy more equipment and recruit more manpower to expand the business. Although there are many people in the Holy City who are lending money, they have many restrictions, strict requirements, and high interest rates. If you borrow money from a bank if money is not so troublesome, I believe there will be many people in need. This will also be more conducive to the promotion of the bank. The point guard is here. Lin shook his head and refused the seemingly reasonable request that was conducive to economic development and promotion of banking business. He explained, from a personal point of view, it seems to be a good thing to be able to borrow money from the bank. Even if the interest rate is higher, they believe that the job they received from the guild can easily repay the debt. But overall, it is also a good thing. From the perspective of the goddess of gold coins, this will allow her to embark on a different path of development, becoming an evil that is millions of times more evil than you can imagine. There is a reason for this, and with your current knowledge, I am very it's hard to explain. I'm not against lending, after all, this kind of behavior has existed since the era before money appeared. But this kind of thing can't be operated in the name of Kayin, and the consequences are unimaginable to you. Although someone said very seriously, Duzov is not the kind of person who blindly obeys. So after struggling for a while, he asked, Sir, can you try to explain it? 
see if I can understand the disadvantages of this. Well, all right. I'll just pick a shortcoming that has nothing to do with the overall situation. You should understand it. Let me presuppose the positions of the two of you. Uzov is a craftsman who needs to borrow money to develop, and Mayer is a craftsman. The person in charge of the bank. The position is different, so it's okay. The two listeners nodded. Lin C.A.I. continued, the situation is exactly what you just said, Uzov. In order to earn more money, craftsmen need upfront investment. That is to hire more helpers, buy cars or trucks, and be able to carry more goods and do more things in the same time. Of course, you also need to buy handy tools for yourself and newly hired helpers. These need money. Instead of relying on what you have now, choose a suitable job does not earn much, but if you do it slowly and save slowly, one day you will be able to expand to the desired appearance, it is better to borrow a sum of money to build up the scale at once, and then you can make a lot of money yourself. That's what you think, right? Uzov nodded. Then the bank evaluates the condition of this craftsman. His craftsmanship is very good and he has a wide circle of people. Everyone likes this person and is willing to hand over the work to him. That is to say, when this craftsman expands his scale, he he can take on enough business and give full play to his expanded workload. This means that in the eyes of the bank, this person has the ability to repay the loan in the future, and there is no need to be afraid that the money will not come back after being borrowed. Then Mayor, you think in general terms, can this money be borrowed? Since you have the ability to pay it back, why not borrow it? The bank will also charge interest. The Dark Elf asked. Accept, of course, why not? There is no interest charged on borrowing money, and it is not a charity. Okay, then the bank will lend the money. But in fact, there is no smooth sailing at work. No matter how good your ability is, God will unpredictable, there is always the possibility of encountering some unpredictable things beyond his ability. For example, this craftsman is particularly unlucky. He encountered a powerful monster attack during a construction trip, or was involved in two in the duel of powerful magicians. So this unlucky craftsman lost most of his manpower and all the tools used to make money. Fortunately, he saved his life and escaped back. Is it possible for this kind of thing to happen? Lin finally asked. Uzov nodded and admitted, although it is very unlucky, it is really possible for this kind of thing to happen. There have been many times in the guild, and every time everyone contributed to help tide over the difficulties. What is even more unlucky is all the people died, only the orphans and widows in the craftsman's family. Sometimes, they can't live without other people's help. It's really pitiful. Well, the craftsman in our example is not so unlucky, at least he came back alive. Although he has nothing now, as long as his people and craftsmanship are still there, he has a chance to make a comeback. Now the problem comes, those who followed but those who died in an accident need him as the boss pension. The work that cannot be completed must be done in a way, otherwise liquidated damages will be paid. The lost tools and equipment must be repurchased, and the manpower must be recruited again, so he go to the bank and borrow the money. So here comes the question, Mel, do you think you should lend the money? Although he didn't ask himself, Duzov nodded and said, of course. The dark elf shook his head, cut off the man's words, and said, of course I won't borrow it. Why? Duzov asked loudly, mixed with surprise and puzzlement. Without waiting for someone to explain, Mayer first talked about his own thoughts. Does the bank have any money? No. So the money borrowed by the bank is actually someone's money in the bank. Since it is someone else's money, the bank must be responsible for it. Because for His Majesty K. Yin, the most important thing is it is not the belief of believers www.mtlnovel.com but the trust of bank users. Because of their trust, they dare to deposit their money in the bank. If their money will disappear inexplicably, then this layer of trust will not there is. Trust is not there, 
and no one wants to use the bank. After talking about a major premise, the dark elf looked at Uzov, who was full of doubts, and said, Will the unlucky thing that happened once happen again? No one can guarantee this. But look at it. Those gamblers in the casino, when they lose their eyes, I think it can explain a lot. So why should I lend money to a person who is desperate and trying to turn over in one go? Not to mention that he has outstanding debts. Pay back what you owe first, and then consider how to borrow a second loan. The bank must be responsible to the person who deposits the money here, but should not be responsible for the bitter fruit of others' risky failure. No matter what happens to the artisan who borrowed money, the debt owed the debt is to be repaid, this is my attitude. I don't even rule out confiscating his property that can repay the debt and paying off the existing debt before he gets himself nothing. Uzov's face was quite ugly, but he couldn't refute what Melcher said. Seeing the dark elf's haughty look and Uzov's attitude like a lost dog, Lin Yi sighed and said, This is what I want to say borrow umbrellas on sunny days and collect umbrellas on rainy days. Banks will not be charities. If it starts to pursue profits, it will become the monster of power called oppression that your Turtle Dove Alliance hates the most. At that time, you will stand on the side of the bank and persecute those who have not paid money, or stand on the side of those people let the bank squander money that does not belong to the bank, and eventually go bankrupt. Sir, I... Uzov squeezed his voice, but didn't know how to answer. Chapter 1258, Listen to the Holy Voice Lin Kai explained to a frustrated follower, and said, I don't deny that maybe someone can make good use of the borrowed funds. In the end, not only can they repay smoothly, but also make their careers grow. But considering the worst case scenario, what do you think what should the goddess do? If it is difficult, why not touch these embarrassing things in the first place? Anyway, even if the bank does not do the business of lending money, there are other people who do it. As long as there is a demand, there will be someone to meet it. We peace of mind as a financial tool to ensure the safety of property, so that the majesty of the goddess of gold coins spreads over the entire lost land with a positive image, instead of being a beast that devours people, gnawing down the last bones of those unlucky people, isn't that great? Uzov sighed, bowed his head and said, Well, sir, I was not thinking carefully. It's just. He raised his head with a worried face, and said, Sir, don't think about the worst. Things like borrowing money, it is beneficial to the borrowers, and the bank is also profitable. According to your plan, in the future, the banks will spread all over the land, and when there will always be local staff in some places, it will be difficult for you to prevent people from contacting this business. Someone smiled what he thought was amiable, but actually smiled and said, So, Meyer, your work is very important. Make sure that all the elves who go out after training from the first bank will not violate this taboo. And in the future well, I have prepared a big gift for those who cross the red line. I can guarantee that even if the whole family is not dead, they will be neat and tidy. It is bound to be crushed in ashes, and die a bad death. The proud dark elves and the dejected followers all felt a chill from the bottom of their hearts when they saw someone's expression. The silver-bearded dwarf Jamie left because of dissatisfaction, precisely because of the magician's hidden bad character. He's always gleefully digging a hole where most people don't know. When someone fell in, he didn't rescue them, but filled the hole with a smile and buried them. Many times, people don't even know they've stepped into a trap. Or, like the goblin father and daughter, being forced to swallow Stinky is so uncomfortable. The incident in front of him now is not the embodiment of his bad character. Putting a delicious bait in front of others, although I have repeatedly emphasized not to eat it, but I am afraid that not many people can resist such a temptation. However, unknown to everyone, this person has prepared another big gift, a surprise that no one wants for those who have eaten the poison bait. If this is not bad, then even demons can be counted in the good camp. Shaking his head, Duzov tried to forget everything he had seen and heard before. In order to change my mood, 
I asked another question that I had already thought of. Holding the new coin, he asked, Sir, as long as the money is deposited in the Goddess Kingdom, will it definitely become this new coin? Can't you just keep the old one? Being dragged back from the evil thoughts, Lin asked in puzzlement, Why do you have to use the old one? I know some old guys, they may be scared by bad money, they really don't accept good money from non-empires. Some people even only accept money from the Guana Empire, and they don't even want to take money from the other four empires there are also those who are so stubborn that they are willing to lower the price when the coins of the Guana Empire are not enough. Someone used to take advantage of their personality to keep their remuneration very low. Anyway, they only have so many coins for the Guana Empire. I don't care if you want to take it or not. This is after the establishment of the guild. As long as it's not out of town work, the entrusted remuneration will be deposited in the guild. When I hand it over to those old guys, I told the clerks to deliberately go to the guild. Pick the coins they can accept and give them, so that these people will not be forced to do things at a loss. After thinking about it, Lin said, basically, this is a question of the credibility of the coin, not just a certain kind of money. Try to contact them to see. And after changing to new money, because of the divine power of the goddess, therefore, the coins are not easy to be destroyed, and the value of the coins can be maintained. Moreover, world trees also save effort when transferring coins, which is conducive to long-term development. Besides, the unification of coin values is also good for both buyers and sellers. Old coins must be used I don't think the reason for this is tenable, nor is it suitable for future development. Uzov was a little embarrassed, but he didn't insist, and said, OK, I'll try to talk to them. It's just that sir, you mentioned that the coins are blessed with divine power, so they are difficult to destroy, what do you mean? Pointing to the coin that the other party was playing with, Lin said, it's in your hand, try to bend it and leave marks. Although they didn't believe it, Uzov and Mayer still used the conventional way of checking gold coins, that is, biting them with their teeth. It's a pity that I bit it down, but the gold coin that should have tooth marks was intact. In doubt, the two broke and folded again, but it really couldn't cause any damage. Uzov's first thought blurted out, is this fake money? Lin smiled and said, of course it's true, and it's still on the scale. As he spoke, he fiddled with the small balance placed on the corner of the table, signaling to those who have problems to just weigh it. In fact, the coins in Midi's original circulation, even from the same source, have slightly different weights. The gold, silver and copper coins made by Lin don't look at the purity, but the weight of the light scale, which is probably the average value of the old common coins. So there will still be cases where the old coins are heavier than the new ones, but the difference is not that big. Mayer, who was once a priest of the Dark Elves, did not draw conclusions so arbitrarily. Holding the coin in her hand, she closed her eyes and explored. After a while, he said, although the power is very weak, there is indeed a bit of divine power hidden in the coin. Opening his eyes, my Erxi seemed to be unable to figure out some problems, and murmured, how can this be done? If someone asks such a question, just answer miracle. A certain person does not feel that this kind of thing needs to be explained to outsiders. Thinking of another question, Duzov asked, what if the coins are used for other purposes? Such coins are not easy to use. If you want to recast, you just need to pray to the goddess and ask her to take back her divine power. You can try it. One person and one dark elf looked at each other, and they clasped their fists in the usual way of praying. Of course, they first complimented the goddess of gold coins with their own words before telling their destination. When the prayer was over, although they couldn't see it, they clearly felt that something very important had drifted away from the pile of coins in front of them. The next moment, the originally beautifully carved and crystal clear coins began to distort and deform, returning to the original appearance of a small lump of metal. Seeing this, Duzov picked up the golden lump and bit into it. This time the tooth marks were left smoothly. 
he said in surprise, there is really a magic power in it. Then if we want to turn it into money again. Lin replied, deposit it directly into the goddess kingdom of God, and when you withdraw it, you will get coins instead of small gold nuggets. Aren't you going to be charged another deposit fee? Uzov asked. That's right. The goddess has given her supernatural power to help you do things, so it's reasonable to charge some price. Although this is the truth, Uzov still finds it strange. Picking up the complete coin that has not yet deformed, struggling for a long time, he said, it feels like something is missing. What's wrong with something? Lin was puzzled. Uzov explained, afterwards, when the bank is built, the coins and bank functions of the goddess of gold coins will start to be used. It will not be a problem for the technology guild to use the new money in an all-round way. As long as the value of the coins is recognized, what kind of money is used is only within the guild. I still have the power to decide these trivial matters. It just seems that if I want to promote this new coin so that people outside the guild are willing to use it, it seems that there are still some incentives missing. Uzov thought for a while, and tried to explain his thoughts a little more clearly. Maybe this will only make people use the bank's functions when they need it, instead of deliberately exchanging currency. After all, depositing money in the bank will be charged. No matter how low the ratio is set, it is still there will be a sum of money taken away by the goddess. This understanding is correct. And if the coin is not easy to be destroyed, it may make some people worry about the authenticity. Although you can request to withdraw the divine power and directly melt the coin to confirm the purity, but in the end not that convenient. There is another simple way to distinguish the authenticity. Lin said with a smile. Oh, what? Not only Uzov was interested, but even Meyer's eyes showed curiosity. Uzov even thought about praying and asking directly to the gods. This is indeed a good way. But something always feels wrong. It's just that Lin didn't ask his followers to pray to the gods again to ask the authenticity of the coins, as his followers thought. Instead, he gently twisted the center of a gold coin and said, Listen to your majesty's holy voice. Then, he blew on the edge of the coin, and then quickly put the coin in Uzov's ear. www.mtlnovel.com The humming sound can be heard endlessly. Uzov said in amazement, What kind of voice is that? What, there is a sound. What kind of sound? Mayer asked curiously. Lin flexibly played with the gold coin he blew with his fingers. He pointed to the coins on the table that had not been drained of divine power and had a complete shape, and said, take any coin on the table, you can try it. Every coin will only make a sound, and if you look for the sound, you won't get fake money. Mayer picked out a silver coin, blew it casually, and put it next to his ear, but he didn't hear any sound. She glanced suspiciously at a certain magician. Lin didn't make a sound just demonstrated again, put the coin to his mouth, blew hard towards the edge, and immediately put it to his ear. During the process, the eyes were extremely provocative. After watching the demonstration, Mayer immediately corrected his blowing movements and positions. This time, the silver coins whispered in my ears as I wished, which was crisp and pleasant. The dark elf's face changed from doubt to surprise, and he seemed to be intoxicated by the song. Uzov exchanged several different coins in turn, and while blowing and listening, he said, Coins, hey. How is it possible, hey? It will make a sound. Hey. This, hey. It's so strange. How is it, hey? Really? Hey. No, hey. What's strange, hey? Trick? Hey. This money? Hey. Poisonous. Hey. Above. Hey. Charm. Hey. Magic. If it weren't for the buzzing of the coins that would have ended all of a sudden, Lin would have been afraid that this follower would stuff the money into his ears. Seeing the two people in front of them enjoying themselves, Lin smiled and said, This is money. You throw it on the street to have a look, and when you turn your head, someone picks it up. 
There is no need to add any charm magic. Chapter 1259, Different Start Even though a lot of planning has been done, as a time traveler, I am confident that I have imagined everything. But it's the same as that sentence, plans can't keep up with changes. In the end, the beginning of the belief in the goddess of gold coins is completely different from what someone imagined. The beginning of all things, of course, started from the day when Kayin and World Tree completed the construction of the Gold Flow Network. Don't look at this super huge project all over the lost land, it seems very difficult, but what kind of existences are involved in the construction? For them, all this is a matter of thinking. The most difficult part is where the idea comes from, but as long as there is an idea, it is easy to realize it. Also because someone reminded me to keep room for correction. Therefore, the legal person certification issue proposed by Lin was quickly added to the Jinliu network. However, the construction of the new bank is not so fast. Even the design level has just passed, and the foundation has just been laid. Even if the above ground building has only two floors, it cannot be built in a day or two because of its large area and numerous decorations and carvings. Is Kayin in a hurry to implement the bank? Of course urgent. After all, it's about your beliefs. Although the users of the bank are not necessarily fanatics, the power provided by individuals may also be so meager that it can only be used to stuff the teeth. But as long as the base is large and the number is large, the accumulated amount will be astonishing. And after paying so much, Goddess of Gold Coins certainly hopes to see the results as soon as possible. However, the unfinished bank building was entrusted by the guild. The craftsman who accepted the commission didn't understand the purpose of the building that the guild was going to build. They only knew that it was the work commissioned by the magician behind the president. The opposition within the guild took the opportunity to collude in private, preparing to protest against the president's private use of public equipment. After all, the internal entrustment of the guild has many conveniences and benefits. Generally speaking, it is the work related to the guild that can issue such a commission, not an outsider who is unrelated to the technical guild even if it is only superficially. Pressure from all sides made Uzov decide to erect the holy emblem of the goddess of gold coins in the guild hall first, enabling the function of the bank. In addition to letting the members of the guild know the functions and uses of the bank, it also saves the idol goddess of gold coins from staring at the two mortals. The person being stared at said very stressfully. The first step is not to promote the functions and usage of the bank so that all guild members can understand it. It's just that the technology guild itself uses it first. There are three sources of coins placed in the guild, one is the funds belonging to the guild, and the other is the remuneration or part of the deposit from the entrusting party. There is another kind, like Lin, who sells the proceeds of patented technology, but has not been taken away. In short, not all the money stored in the guild belongs to the guild, some of it is only kept temporarily. Originally, someone's plan was to let the technology guild deposit all the money in the kingdom of the goddess of gold coins, and at the same time recast them into new types of coins in the kingdom of the goddess of gold. When the guild wants to pay any fees or rewards, it is withdrawn from the kingdom of god and issued in new coins. In this way, let the members of the guild be familiar with and accept the new money. As for the acceptance of the new coins, in fact, as long as the purity of the precious metals of the coins can stand the test, Uzov also agrees that no one will insist on rejecting them. In doing so, although the goddess of gold coins will charge a large storage fee, a magician who came up with an idea didn't want to find a reason to help the guild save money in this area. But compared to the original method of collecting coins in the guild, it is hundreds or tens of thousands of times safer, even after calculation, the cost is definitely lower. The document data and patent data related to the technical guild can also be stored in the magic stone and backed up on the forum, so it is impossible to lose it no matter what. But money is physical and cannot be stored in the cloud. So in the early days of the guild's establishment, a very strong treasure chest was built in the president's room, and multiple protective magics were added. At the counter clerk, only a small amount of liquid funds are placed, 
and the rest are locked in the treasure chest. When you rest at night, lock all the money in the treasure chest. When the scale of the guild gradually expanded and the funds stored in the guild could not fit in a box, Uzov built a treasure house in the guild. The outer wall and the gate of the treasure house are made of metal, and even the magic bombardment can achieve a certain degree of defense, and then send a few good hands to guard it in rotation. The trouble is that there are not many people who are trustworthy enough to guard the treasury. Not all people in the Turtle Dove Alliance are of high moral character. Most of them are of three religions and nine streams, and everyone just has a common aspiration. Moreover, he is qualified to guard the treasury, and he cannot be a person with too much mobility. Looking for a short-term job that makes quick money, the treasure house gate guard is definitely the best choice. So Uzov has been very nervous about the selection of guards. When the technical guild reached its current scale, the treasury of coins was facing the need for expansion. It is conceivable that the amount is huge. What's more, in the foreseeable future, when the artisans of the technical guild fully utilize the convenience of cars and trucks, and push their work to places other than the holy city of Asteria, there is a high probability that the size of the guild will continue to grow. Just thinking about how many coins will be kept in the guild makes Uzov worry. Now, in order to make up for the lack of trustworthiness of the treasure house guards, Uzov employs a method of hiring multiple people to guard at the same time and monitor each other to ensure that the treasure house is not lost. Even so, the rumors about some thieves targeting the technology guild's treasury never stopped. It can be said that Uzov has not had a good night's sleep for a long time. Now that the coins can be sent to Kayin's kingdom of God, not only can it save the cost of hiring guards. More importantly, without worrying about the little thief, Uzov could finally sleep peacefully. Moreover, such an action also dealt with a potential crisis of a guild at the same time. That is to turn the bad money, which was originally called bad money, into a currency that can be circulated again. Most of the sources of these bad money are members of the Turtle Dove Alliance from other places, and they will inevitably carry some bad money that cannot be used within the Empire. When they only have this bad money left, of course they will ask the chairman who is also a member of the alliance to find a way, otherwise these people will have to starve and sleep on the side of the road. In the spirit of alliance and mutual assistance, Uzov agreed to the board and lodging run by the guild, and charged these bad coins that no one wanted to accept at a discount. It has become the only place in the holy city that accepts bad money. Sometimes a small amount of bad money is mixed in the guild's large amount of transactions or commissions. It's just that I didn't notice it when I was counting, so I was accepted by the clerk of the guild. Afterwards, it was discovered that the murderer could not be found, so the guild could only swallow it bitterly. Uzov couldn't pass such a loss on to those hard-working counter clerks, he just reprimanded them and asked them to pay more attention next time. It is true that some people deliberately sneaked around, passed on their own losses, and took advantage of the guild but sometimes such behavior is not intentional. Due to poor preservation, the double-sided good coins minted by the Empire have suffered unnecessary wear or damage, which has caused such coins to decline in evaluation and become bad coins and bad money in the eyes of ordinary people. Nothing found. This money is sufficient in the guild's accounts, but just like other bad money, it has become a bad asset that cannot be spent. It is conceivable that in the long run, these bad money will become a burden and loss to the guild. Now it can be sent to Kayin's Kingdom of God for recasting, which is simply great news. Although the ratio of exchange has decreased according to the amount of pure gold, it still retains some of its value. Unlike before, the bad money would be discarded directly, with no value at all. After going back and forth, the money belonging to the technical guild increased instead. But for the entrusted funds, Uzov chose to keep the old coins because of the exchange ratio between old and new coins. Notify and wait for the delegator to take it back, exchange it by himself, and then deposit it into the guild as a commission. After the opening of the banking business, the guild no longer accepts old coins of different values to avoid disputes over exchange. This is exactly what Lin had imagined at the beginning. 
After all the coins of the technical guild are replaced with new coins, all the amount paid by the guild, or the remuneration of the craftsman after completing the entrustment, will be paid in new coins. In order to gradually replace the coins circulating in the market. The actual situation is the other way around. Uzov asked all clients to exchange the new currency by themselves first, and then release the entrusted task with the new currency. Of course, the guild's own expenses, the salaries of the clerks paid internally, and the fees charged by the patent holder after the patented technology is licensed are all paid in SGD. Even though this new currency promotion model is a bit forced, it is not the same as someone imagined. However, as expected, the new coins were not only accepted by people in the holy city, but also quickly replaced the old coins in circulation. And the ferocity of replacing old and new coins is beyond Lin's imagination www.mtlnovel.com The real reason is not the resonant sound after blowing coins, but the ratio of exchange. A good coin minted by the empire can be exchanged for 1.2 to 1.3 new coins after analyzing the composition and weight of pure gold. Of course, it is impossible to withdraw coins below the decimal point, but they can be accumulated in the account. Even if it's just passing water, if you withdraw it immediately after depositing it into the account, you will still be charged a storage fee. However, people living in the holy city mainly use fine coins minted by the Guana Empire and double-sided fine coins. This means that as long as you exchange for the new money of the goddess of gold coins, after deducting the storage fee, your wealth will still increase. Plus bad money can also be exchanged. Those who don't know what to do with such bad coins in their homes, but are reluctant to throw them away, when they hear the news, it's a pity not to throw them away quickly, and keep the unsightly things to exchange them for golden coins. Immediately, because the bank hadn't been built yet, the banking business was temporarily opened in the lobby of the technical guild, and the already busy guild was crowded with a bunch of irrelevant people, just to exchange the coins in their hands into gold that would blow coin, silver coin, and copper coin. People don't even mention the old Jir, Jiangji, and Danba now, and directly use the holy name of the goddess as the name of the new money. At the same time, the bank construction project that originally attracted many dissatisfaction has become the first choice in everyone's consensus. As long as people who are free, or those who have come to an end with entrusted work, they have invested in the construction of the bank. It is impossible not to speed up the construction of banks. The guild hall was crowded with people, which affected the daily business. Not to mention the people in the guild who are anxious to exchange new currency, instead of queuing up to get angry, it is better to build the bank that is not inferior to the guild lobby, which is beneficial to everyone. Chapter 1260, Resentment of Queuing Does anyone have objections to the construction of the bank? Or are you planning to take this opportunity to drag the guild leaders back? No one dares to have it. Look at the construction site of the bank now, it is full of construction workers everywhere. This is because most of the materials are ordinary building materials, and there are no magic materials in them, otherwise even the magician may jump down to help build them. No reason, just because of the only place in the technology guild hall, the great holy emblem of the goddess of gold coins, which is also the only place to activate personal accounts or log into corporate accounts at this stage, and there is a long queue in front of it. From time to time, some people were taken to the front of the queue by the clerks of the guild, telling the people behind them to be angry and dare not speak up. There is no way, the first ones are the great magicians, and then the magicians, and they have to come in person so that the apprentice representatives can't. Then there are people with the status of magic apprentices, and finally there are ordinary people and followers of magicians. Blocks of four levels are lined up in the order of first come, first served. Don't discuss fairness and unfairness with those great magicians or magicians who are going forward. Asking them to answer, it is very fair to kill all those who are not as strong as him but dare to rank ahead of him. Of course, the dead don't need to open a bank account, so the pharaohs can go to the front row. This ensures fairness, and no living person will object. 
Power and financial resources are in this kind of place, no strength works. Even if the nobleman comes in person and his fists are not strong enough, please obediently line up at the back. According to the bank rules established by the goddess of gold coins, after opening a bank account with a personal soul, as long as you pray to the holy emblem of the goddess of gold coins, you can save money no matter where you are. Unless the thing to be deposited is not money, but precious metal art or raw ore. In order to avoid acts such as thieves or or theft, if you want to exchange non-coin precious metals into money, you have to bring things to the bank for processing. But if you want to deposit money or non-money that was not minted by the goddess of gold coins into your bank account, the things to be deposited will not be sent to Kayin's kingdom of God in the first place, but will be authenticated first. Under the intervention of the power of the gods, the precious metal content of the items to be stored will be judged, and the amount of coins that can be exchanged will be calculated. In addition to appearing in words in the depositor's field of vision, displaying the results of judging the content and calculating the exchange, it will also be explained by voice. After all, there are many people who are illiterate and do not understand mathematics. It is impossible to expect everyone to know how to read and calculate. This is the real holy voice of the gods. After the results are displayed, depositors are asked if they are willing to use such a conversion ratio to convert the items they brought into coins and deposit them in their personal accounts. If you agree, you will proceed to the subsequent work. If you disagree, please bring back the original. It is impossible to send something to Kayin's kingdom of God and expect to send the same thing afterwards. It will definitely be cast into coins by divine power, there is no other choice. In fact, Kayin had discussed this point with a certain magician who came up with bad ideas. Although the gold flow network built by World Tree is called the gold flow network, the things that can be transmitted are not just money. There is no problem in teleporting living people, after all. The essence is the flashing technique. So why don't banks accept artwork, gold bullion, silver bullion, or even rare magical materials? Someone just poured a bucket of cold water and said, My lord, you will not forget that there are people above you. One of our great eight powers, the lord of wealth. Now you send gold, silver, copper, and ore to entering the kingdom of God, and then directly converting it into coins, honestly speaking is already playing around the edge and walking in a grey area. You want to expand your functions, are you planning to go to war directly? Kayin was discouraged. What kind of god the lord of wealth is, the other gods don't know, and it's not clear which subordinate god this part of his power comes from. The means of obtaining wealth and protecting wealth cannot just rely on talking, especially in a barbaric world like Midi. If he crossed the boundary, then instead of going to war, he would be crushed to death on the spot. Starting a war is a word that is only used when the two sides are evenly matched. Kayin wondered if he was enough to crush someone to death with one finger. So the goddess of gold coins said resentfully, Coins are fine, coins are very good. By the way, should I change my name to goddess of coins? Otherwise, Someday a god of silver coins or a god of copper coins will come out and compete with me for business. It doesn't seem very good. Oh, grab the business. Whether to change the name or not, his majesty decides by himself. Attention returned to the construction site of the bank, which was the technical guild paralyzed by the crowd. If it were so easy to save money, people would only need to come to the guild in front of the great holy emblem of the goddess of gold coins, and activate their personal accounts. After going back, I want to carve a holy emblem of coin myself, or before leaving the guild, I can buy some coin necklaces or coin bracelets that the young apprentices continue to make, so that I can hide it at home or in my own room where your money is, save it easily. The lost gods answered the prayers of mortals, but there was no such thing as a busy line. Not to mention that someone taught the goddess to come up with some automatic response plans, which saves trouble and takes no brains. It's just a little bit of work up front. It stands to reason that if the work of saving money can be handled in this way, then the technology guild's queue should be digested quickly. There will not be such a long queue, 
so many people wait until their mentality is about to collapse. But unfortunately, if you want to withdraw money, you can only do it in front of Kayin's great sacred emblem. The main purpose of everyone who came to line up was to exchange coins, not to save money. Therefore, whether it is bad money, good money, fine money, or bad money, they all enter Kayin's kingdom of God to pass the water, and then they become new money and are withdrawn. Even if you walk around like this, you will be charged a storage fee, and coins below the decimal point cannot be withdrawn. But overall, everyone's money has increased. So there are not too many people in line. Although there are many magicians and great magicians in the holy city of Estelai. But those who really rely on their status are not willing to crowd and line up with others on this sunny day when autumn has just begun. The people who will come are the kind of people who are particularly greedy for money. There are very few great magicians with this personality. Basically, as long as they show up, they can't drive away people who are doing exchange work. With the efforts of no more than three or five people, it will be my turn. There are also some people who rely on their own strength and try to drive away the people who are exchanging coins. But they forgot that there is a on the other side of the job of exchanging coins. Even if they are only weak in divine power, if they are caught off guard by a thunder of divine punishment, even if they do not die, they will still be injured. So everyone is safe. Maybe there are not many great magicians who came to line up, but this is a holy city, a city that belongs to magicians. The number of magicians in the second echelon lined up directly made the people in the third and fourth echelons behind despair. It doesn't matter if the people at the front move slowly, some people leave and others come, and they jump forward one by one, while the people behind dare to be angry and dare not speak up. Just because you can't win. Neither Uzov nor Mayer intends to change this fair way. When I saw those who had finished their business leaving, some were blowing the new coins to listen to the sound, and some were the elves who learned to maintain the cue order, playing with the new coins. Let the new coin roll on the back of the finger, from the front to the back, and from the back to the front. Some people also use magic tricks in a strange way, hiding money and conjuring it out again. All these actions seem to be showing off, showing off to those who were still queuing behind. Therefore, people who felt that there was no hope in queuing turned around and went to the bank's construction site to move bricks. Build the bank early, and there will be more holy emblems that can directly communicate with the goddess of gold coins, so you don't have to queue up to get angry. These words were guaranteed by the guild master of the technology guild and the elves who claimed to be the priests of the gold coin goddess. Since public anger cannot be offended, and the majesty of the gods cannot be offended, can you find some convenience for yourself from other places? At least those elves who look delicate and claim to be the priests of the goddess of gold coins are easy to bully. Then this group of people with unclean hands and feet, who bully the weak and fear the hard, had a thorough experience of what it is like to hit the iron plate. Although the building body of the first bank has not yet been completed, since the banking business needs to be carried out, manual explanation and guidance are still needed. It was promised before that he would not borrow the clerks of the technology guild, so it was only natural for Mayer to ask the backer behind him for help. Putting Genie into the upcoming bank promotion www.mtlnovel.com was Lin's idea from the very beginning. The elves in the Turtle Dove Alliance will be recalled by all Wood Elf tribes, in addition to training and preparing for war it is also for emergency training. When Kayin came into contact with the world trees and began to build a gold flow network, the relevant knowledge was also passed on to the elves in the first place. So when Mayer asked for help, each wood elf tribe first sent one or two people to the holy city of Estelai to serve as an outpost for the development of the banking business. Since it is the first batch of people who have been prepared for a long time and are highly valued, it is certainly impossible for those who come here to be some three-legged cats or rookies. In fact, the elves who were sent here were all elves in their prime of life, and all of them were at least priests of the tribe. In other words, these elves are qualified to communicate directly with His Majesty the World Tree, and can also serve as spokespersons to convey the oracle. Another characteristic is that these elves are very capable of fighting, 
and they must be the group of people from the strongest sequence of each tribe. There is no way, in this world where strength is the most important thing, if you want to be a leader in the Wood Elf tribe, you don't look at bloodlines, you only look at fists. To be able to reach the position of a priest, in addition to passing knowledge, the strength must also be convincing. These elves are rare and powerful in human society. All nobles or organizations are willing to hire powerful talents to be guests. Perhaps as long as one or two people are hired, they can grow significantly with a force. Now they appear together in the technical guild and become bank clerks who are about to start. Regardless of whether anyone suspects that there is a conspiracy behind this. Those who want to move their position in line forward by intimidating the elf girl have experienced once how the power of that delicate pink fist can hit the level of a battering hammer. Then everyone settled down, and those who were restless stuck to the wall. Chapter 1261, Convenience Risk Due to the rules and methods of using the bank, it was put on the form early and spread wildly among the residents of the holy city of Estelai. So the first batch of elves who came to work in the bank did not actually work like someone imagined. They kindly explained to those who came to the bank for the first time or those who were not familiar with banking business what they could do and the steps. Their job is more like security at a bank, suppressing people queuing up to get angry, or taking the trouble to explain some unreasonable troubles, or things they can't do anything about. The most common question, of course, is the one. Why can only the great sacred emblem be used to activate personal accounts and withdraw money, instead of being able to use it anywhere, regardless of the shape of the sacred emblem like depositing money? The explanation at the beginning of the elves must be this sentence, in this case, the thieves and robbers must be very happy. Because you seem to have all your wealth with you, waiting for their patronage. Is it really good to do this? Then the person who asked the question usually misfired. Safety and convenience are like the two ends of a tug-of-war. Even on an earth where people have lived across the world, the popularity of convenience is based on strict security mechanisms and a stable social environment, both of which are indispensable. If personal safety is threatened at any time, can the security mechanism be expected to play any protective role? Just like the firewall theme in Hollywood movies starring Harrison Ford, no matter how powerful the firewall and rigorous security mechanism are, people are its weakness. In reality, problems of security gaps caused by user negligence abound. Unfortunately, however, there is no stable social environment in MIDI. Going from one city to another, it is possible to pass through the territory of monsters and become the food of natural creatures. This kind of world has nothing to do with safety at all let alone the inside and outside of thieves, robbers, and traitors. Collusion and so on. So Lin didn't want to bother designing any security mechanism at all. If Kayin is really open and can withdraw money anywhere, then no matter how safe the security authentication mechanism is designed, if a living person is tied to the suburbs and tortured with various tortures, people can willingly empty their accounts and dedicate them to the kidnappers. Uncle. Even if someone gritted his teeth and tried his best, this is a magical world. Various mind control magics emerge in endlessly, and one of them will always work. Then the result is still the same, that is, all the net worth is emptied. This point, even a great magician, may not be immune. The strength of great magicians is just to ensure that they can fight well, not to guarantee that they will not die or be caught. If one is not careful, or does mental calculations without intention, no matter how powerful a magician is, it may capsize in the gutter. Therefore, when convenience and safety are placed at both ends of the balance for people to choose, as long as they are normal-minded people, they will choose safety. As for the inheritance mechanism of the personal account when the holder dies, someone has already considered it. Death inheritance is regarded as a transfer, which means that Kayin will only charge a handling fee equivalent to that of a transfer, which is five ten thousandths, unlike the inheritance money of nobles. In the lost land of this era, there is no inheritance tax. Most people don't need it either, because no legacy of value will be handed down. But nobles or manor owners are different. 
They have land, fiefs, and titles. When the original owner dies, if his heir wants to protect his rights, of course he has to find his own lord to approve it. In order to obtain this recognition, a large inheritance fee must be paid. There is no fixed amount of inheritance money, it depends on your heart. However, this kind of mind-seeking thing is the most troublesome. Anyway, it is impossible to get recognized easily without bleeding. Without the approval of the monarch, the most serious thing is that the land and fiefs will be deprived and transferred to other people. On earth, even in modern times, it is nothing more than turning this inheritance money, which is determined by one's will, into an inheritance tax with a prescribed ratio. As long as people die, they cannot survive. There was even a period of time when Eagle Kingdom's inheritance tax for nobles was as high as 80%. It can be said that as soon as a person dies, the family property is almost confiscated. Those bigwigs who are well known in the Forbes wealth list claim to donate all their property and will not let their children inherit it. Just listen to that kind of words. They just use the foundation to avoid paying inheritance tax. After all, the inheritance tax of Meity is 50%. It means that as long as a person dies, half of the property will be taken by the government. How could the really rich allow such a thing to happen? But. The goddess of gold coins herself has no need for gold coins. Because if the goddess of gold coins increases her power by collecting gold coins, her behavior of collecting money will only prompt human beings to look for trading media or means other than coins, thus cutting off the foundation of the existence of the goddess of gold coins. It is impossible to collect all the coins in the world and finally become the of gods. That would only destroy himself. So the way for Kayin's power to grow should be to strengthen his power through the circulation of money, which is the root Lin planned for him. Under such a premise, if the original owner dies, his assets will be frozen in the kingdom of God. This kind of thing that the banks of the earth would like to ask for is not good for the goddess of gold coins. On earth, such unowned accounts are effectively equivalent to small banks' vaults. Nominally waiting for someone to come forward to claim that he has legal inheritance rights, but on the other hand, he is covering up and preventing people from checking the accounts. The most famous thing is that during World War II, a certain nation had a large number of accounts in Swiss banks. Because of the massacre of a certain madman, the money became the bank's unexplainable taboo. But that's not what the gold coin goddess needs. Coupled with the binding of personal accounts and souls, when a person's soul disappears, Kayin can certainly detect who is dead. Then the deposit in his account will be transferred to the account of his heir or designated object after a certain period of time, and only the transfer fee will be deducted. The reason why it takes a while to act is because the lost land can be resurrected. It would be ridiculous if people were resurrected and property was first divided up as inheritance. On the contrary, even if a person dies, as long as the soul still exists, that person must have access to the money in the bank account. This represents the bank rights of undead, undead, and liches, which are also protected by Kayin. In short, such a design is for the goddess to keep the flow of money alive and not stagnate in a certain place. The more troublesome part is the identification of successors and designees, and whether to protect the basic rights of blood successors. For example, when I was on earth, I heard that a certain uncle, under the certification of a lawyer, assigned his property to a little vixen who came out of nowhere. As a result, his wife and biological children could not get a single child. Or give all the property to a certain child, and the other children will not get half a dime. In fact, the law usually guarantees the inheritance share of direct blood relatives, and you can go to court to get back what you should get. But Midi itself has rules about inheritance. Although there are slight differences from place to place, Lin still decided to leave this piece to the Midi people to discuss themselves. Because this thing is something that has no standard answer, no matter how it is done, the party that suffers will scold it. It's better to throw this hot potato to others to worry about. In short, the problem of only using Kayin's great sacred emblem to withdraw money was accepted by the lost people. In fact, in Lin's plan, 
various functions will be opened one after another, but there is no rush to open them at the same time. Because people's usage habits will change and adapt, if it suddenly becomes too much and too fast, and there is a situation of maladaptation, it will bring disaster. For example, in my memory, when plastic currency such as credit cards entered the society I lived in before time travel, a lot of people mistakenly believed that the convenience brought by delayed payment was their own spending power. So not only maxed out the credit card, but also fell into the of using the card to support the card, and eventually became a card slave, that is, a person who owed a huge debt because of the credit card. In the same situation, if the bank I promote suddenly opens up too many functions that I was used to before the time travel, it is very likely that I will overwhelm the fragile economy in one go. This does no one any good. In fact, when Lin reviewed his actions for a while, he unexpectedly realized that he seemed to have avoided a crisis unintentionally. That is because of the possible inflation caused by exchanging new and old coins. S slash view slash 145366 slash the immortal. Inflation does not mean rising prices. Rising prices are only the result of inflation, not all the reasons for rising prices are caused by inflation. In an environment where the economic volume is equal to 100 yuan, a currency of 100 yuan is issued, and a person holding 10 yuan can spend 1 yuan to buy goods worth 1 yuan. But when the economy is only 100 yuan, and 200 yuan of currency is issued, then people have to pay 2 yuan to buy the same product. For this person who only holds 10 yuan, it means that things have become more expensive, and 1 yuan has become 2 yuan. Strictly speaking, this cannot be regarded as things becoming more expensive, but money becoming thinner. Originally, Lin designed the good imperial currency to be exchanged for the new currency, and the exchange ratio was as high as 1.2 to 1.3, which gave many people the illusion of increased wealth. However, Calculating the total weight of precious metals held by each person before and after exchanging coins www.mtlnovel.com is actually slightly reduced, because the goddess of gold coins took away the storage fee, but the number of coins finally calculated increased. Such a situation may have caused the consequences of inflation. But in the end nothing happened. Someone recalled this passage afterwards and was honestly terrified. Afterwards. We reviewed the possible reasons, one of which is that, as the largest manufacturer complex in the holy city of Asteria, the Technology Guild did not change its pricing and valuation figures during this period. In addition, all small businesses that produce basic necessities of people's livelihood, such as bakers, butchers, fishmongers, etc., maintain the sales amount of their products, stabilizing the market. Second. Although the exchange rate of good currency to new currency has increased, the exchange of bad currency has decreased, and the exchange rate of ordinary currency is even closer to the one-to-one -one ratio. When the number of coins exchanged increased and decreased, although the property of the residents of the holy city increased as a whole, they did not think that the value of coins had changed. Not to mention that precious metal currency itself has value, not paper money, only numbers. Therefore, when people sell goods, they still maintain the same pricing as in the past. Because they believe that the value of precious metals that can be received is unchanged. All in all, it's a good thing. Lin can only sigh, ignorance is bliss. Chapter 1262, Bank Expansion Perhaps the problem of inflation is just a troublesome time travel. After all, under the social background of using precious metal currency, most of the reasons for rising prices are due to the shortage of materials caused by natural disasters and man-made disasters, and the price will not increase because of more money in circulation, unless some counterfeit metals are used to make coins. However, in the early stage of bank promotion, the overall situation was quite chaotic. At this time, the advantage of having a directly as the backer and docking window of the bank will appear. If a certain person, relying on his status as a traveler, recruits a group of people to carry out banking business, it is estimated that in order to cope with the temptations of various local snakes and all kinds of strange requests, 
according to someone's lazy personality, the bank will be closed directly. Shouting that I don't play anymore. Or drag those people out and shoot them all. Without killing people, the world cannot progress. But there is a word of God behind it. Kayin told everyone with the facts, don't treat the weaker gods as gods. 99 out of 10 creatures who are confused can't stop the from pressing down a finger. Very powerful. Pure blood. Very strong. Without the ability to kill Shenkyo Tushin, everything is nonsense. Hearing people say a few words is to look down on this person, and it is normal operation to shake people's faces. The lost gods are not some universal responders who respond to every request. Threatening and coercing the elves who serve as priests? Regardless of the strength of the elves, even if the elves obey, what's the point if the level of the gods has not been resolved? Anyone can engrave Kayin's holy emblem, but to be effective, he must take care of it. If it arouses the dissatisfaction of that big boss, it will be a thunder of divine punishment, which is called blasphemy, and the guardian master has nothing to say. Looking for the president of the technical guild, or even following the clues to find the magician. Lin asked this question, if you persuade people, may it mean that you have persuaded God? In the eyes of gods, mortals are nothing. Anyone who wants to ask the gods to do anything, come to the door to petition and pray. If that boss thinks it makes sense, maybe he will help. At best, other mortals are just the younger sisters who watch the door, the younger brothers who watch the scene, what's the use? Of course, someone concealed his identity as a coin voter. But in fact, even if it is made public, the voters may not be able to change the will of the gods, it is just a communication channel. Mortals are so powerless against God. Especially when this kind of request is needed from the other party, you can only pray sincerely, and other means are useless. But someone still found the right way to communicate with Kay Yin, the goddess of gold coins. The proof is that in addition to the bank next to the technology guild, there are five other bank buildings in the holy city of Estelai that have started construction. YQXSW YQXSW And there were five banks that nobody had meddled with, and none of the elves had been sent to oversee. Of course, the people on the construction site are still artisans from the technical guild. It is also difficult to find a monopoly business that does not belong to the guild. These things, a magician is very clear. But Lin had no intention of using a collar to tie Kei Yin's neck, and he had to obtain his consent before he could move. After all, the land of obsession is so big, and I don't want to take care of so many things. Anyway, the first bank has been built as a template for the goddess. Although the main building has not yet been completed, the relevant design and conditions have been seen and explained to that person, and he has obtained approval. If the goddess can let other people around when there is a template, for someone, it's easy. How else? Really use a collar to tie up the goddess? In fact, there are many people who have contacted the goddess in private and promised many benefits, only asking for a great holy emblem to be stamped within their family or power, or even borrowing money from the kingdom of God. There are also many other weirder or more unreasonable demands. But Kei Yin's attitude was very simple, directly throwing out his own conditions and rules. Love comes and doesn't come and pull you down. Being a is so capricious. If you are not happy, let people into the kingdom of God to fight one on one, and promise that you will not find a helper. Still the same sentence, no matter how powerful, pure blood, and strength, if you are not qualified to challenge the gods, mortals can only choose to cooperate or not, and there is no negotiation. It was also because Kei Yin followed someone's advice and didn't open too many banks in one go. Instead, there are six districts in the holy city of Estelai, and each district is roughly built according to the scale and planning of the first bank. Some places are undertaken by a single force alone, while others are jointly built by multiple forces. Although other people are allowed to have room for free play, if the goddess is dissatisfied at that time, except for corrections, there is no possibility of asking the goddess of gold coins to compromise. 
the most serious thing is to build a big house to raise mosquitoes. The goddess can find other people who are willing to cooperate, without discussion. If the movement is too slow, those who fail to line up can go to cool off. This matter is also about first come first served. What's more, the goddess is very busy now, and she doesn't have time to listen to mortals. Now Kayin's posture in the holy city is so high. As for those conspiracies and calculations, the usual methods of spreading rumors and coercing people with the general trend are completely useless to the gods. When a thunder of judgment comes down, it is clear who is right and who is wrong, and death by the thunder is nothing. Even if you hide in a dark corner, you can't hide. Magic is already very unreasonable, and gods are even more unreasonable. Before reaching a certain level of strength, they dared to plot against the gods. In the eyes of those gods, guided by the law of cause and effect, these conspirators were as conspicuous as if they were laid out in the sun. That's definitely one hit and one accurate, if this is still an accidental injury, it must be a deliberate mistake. Blasphemy is a great sin. As long as he is not in the real world and blasts a few thunders, the guardian lord doesn't care. After all, the gods also have their own majesty to protect. Someone exclaimed that it would be good to pull a to charge forward, this is definitely the best choice since his time travel. There are tanks leading the infantry to charge, why bother the infantry to protect the tanks with their bodies? Not to mention showing the power of the gods, it can strengthen the people's awe of the gods, and then improve their own beliefs. It can be said that K. Yun Ben intends to only use the bank to increase the number of people who use money and gain a little power. This series of operations has actually developed some devout believers, and the amount of faith gained is completely different levels of difference. What he did was not to flatter any human being, but to be just and stick to the rules he set. This kind of performance can nourish one's own strength more. So how will Goddess of Gold Coins go in the future? Isn't this path already clearly in front of my eyes? However, Someone thought that the bank's influence was limited to the holy city of Estelai. But when a certain guest came to the door, Lin realized that things were not what he imagined. Abandoning all the attendants, Lord Kaiyai brought only one attendant, and drove his custom-made car made of all magic materials to visit. The old man was playing with His Majesty Kayin's new coins, and he looked up and down a certain magician with strange eyes until he saw that someone's scalp was numb and the solace of his feet were cold. Lin made an expression of surrender and said, My lord, after you came, you stared at me without saying a word, which made me feel hairy. If you have anything to say, just say it. He blew on the edge of the gold coin in his hand, and the old duke immediately listened to it, and said, My boy, I really didn't expect you to make these new gadgets. Why didn't you expect such a good thing to happen? Old man me. My lord, where did you see that I am related to this matter? It is clear that the road is the road, and the bridge is the bridge, and there is nothing to do. Someone said pretending to be innocent. Hey, the first bank was built next to the technology guild. Then the person in charge of the bank was still a dark elf, and that dark elf was still your follower. If you still can't guess that you have something to do with the bank, be my old man are your eyes blind. Lin made another gesture of surrender and said, Don't be angry, old man. If I get angry, I will become a sinner. It's just that no matter whether this bank has anything to do with me or not, the leader is the majesty in the sky. I can there's not much you can do to help. The old man smiled, moved his seat, and sat intimately in the small living room on the sofa on the same side as a magician. This move made Lin dodge unconsciously. In my impression, this old man doesn't have a tendency to be masculine. For someone's subtle actions, an old man with the qualifications of a great swordsman will not be able to see it. But he didn't think he was disobedient, and still said affectionately, Boy, help me talk to that majesty. Since someone has saved money to his kingdom of God, then help me to borrow some, and the interest rate is guaranteed to be satisfactory. Lin directly refused, unfortunately, my lord, this matter cannot be done. Really can't do it. 
Grand Duke Kavi asked with surprise and suspicion on his face. You will come here. I believe that at least someone around you has already read the bank's usage rules. There are no terms for borrowing money. Of course, I will follow that set of rules. But His Majesty Kayin didn't say anything, he I also agree that users of the bank can put forward opinions on functions, as long as they are good www.mtlnovel.com he will not rule out considering them and adding them to the new functions of the bank. Maybe you can try to ask His Majesty Kayin money demands. Someone was practicing Tai Chi and pushed the trouble to that god. However, what someone said is also true, which retains the bank's room for upgrades and revisions, but there are also overlord clauses such as the right of interpretation lies with the sponsor. In short, the strength of the gods can be clearly seen here. And Duke Kavi couldn't see anything from the face of this much younger magician. And what someone said was exactly what his subordinates had heard. The reason why the old man said the last sentence was just to try it out. Maybe it will work. However, thinking of Lin's request to borrow money from Mr. Kaei and the old man's recent situation, he asked, My lord, could it be that the dispute between you and the Lisa family is not good, so you want to borrow money? If that's really the case, someone has to think about the way out first. But the Grand Duke laughed and said, How is this possible? Even if I don't show up in person, that guy is not my opponent. Then why? Lin asked worriedly. Just asking. Maybe I could get rid of that old guy quicker with a little more money. Chapter 1263, Bing is expensive and fast. Oh, I haven't heard the news that your two families are officially at war. How is the situation now? Is it stalemate? Lin asked with concern. That who only knows how to play tricks, what right does he have to confront me when it comes to leading troops to fight? The old duke said proudly. And in order not to let the magician in front of him look down upon him, he also planned to tell what he had done during this period of time, as if offering a treasure. Said, don't you think that the two families will raise the blood flag for revenge? and they will rush forward regardless of their care until one is smashed to death. Well, isn't that so? Someone was puzzled. The two Grand Duke families are at war. If one of them is destroyed, the other party will not be much better. The ones laughing will be those families that have not fought. Do you think the group of hyenas that are intact will be let go a scarred lion? Lin surprised, there are really people who dare to take advantage of this kind of thing. Why not? Even the old man sitting on the throne must have the same thoughts. It's hard to say whether the loser can survive, and the winner wants to keep the fruits of victory. Part, to ask for his approval. And other families will more or less sneakily tear off a piece of meat. If the winning side cannot tolerate such a thing, they have to risk the other party's reputation as an excuse to raise the second war. The loss may be even greater and it is not impossible to be wiped out. After all, this kind of thing has really happened before. There are wolves in the front and tigers in the back, and there are enemies in all directions. Lin sighed, it seems that I didn't think carefully at the beginning and made the Grand Duke embarrassed. Boy, it has nothing to do with you. That dog dares to commit that kind of thing, and the relationship between me and him is endless. It's just that I didn't realize it before you said it. In fact, Lisa all the deeds of my family, I have been preparing for war with me. But for the sake of the family, I must use the smallest loss to kill that hateful guy. It is impossible to use everything in the family as firewood. Thrown into the flames without reservation. So, this period of time is considered preparation. Lin asked. What are the preparations? We have already fought. It's just not in the form of a war. Looking at the old duke's smug smile, it seemed that he already had the upper hand in the so-called fight. So Lin asked curiously, can you tell me about the situation so that I can increase my knowledge? If it's confidential, if it's hard to say, then forget it. Duke Kavi laughed and said, there's no secret. It's okay to tell you. 
I don't know if you know that the Emperor ordered other families not to intervene in the affairs of me and the Lisa family. But the two Grand Duke families when it comes to all aspects, how can we completely cut off contact with other families? The fight during this period is actually a political game to find allies. Maybe other people cannot send troops to intervene due to the Emperor's order, but it does not mean that they are in other fields. There can be no hindrance or accommodation. Can you give me an example? The simplest example is that there is no border between the territory of the Lisa family and me. If the two sides want to fight, they must always send troops and supplies to the default battlefield of both sides. Since there is no border, they will go to other people's land. And the land of that landlord, do you agree with the passage of other people's troops and supply convoys? Whether you agree or disagree, it has nothing to do with the Emperor's ban. Because the Emperor can't use the name of the ban to separate me and Rissa and prevent the war between the two sides, that will only involve more. But agreeing or not agreeing has a very different meaning to me and the Lisa family. The route of the march and the length of the supply will affect the final result of the battle. That's right. Lin Xi said after thinking, but I feel that this kind of political confrontation is the field that the other party is good at. Well, my lord, I don't mean to belittle you. Please don't misunderstand. Don't worry, boy, I am very clear about what I am good at and what I am not good at. But sometimes, political considerations are not only about the exchange of interests, but also other considerations. For example, for example, if there is a lord who doesn't have eyes and doesn't allow my army to pass through, and I fight hard, who will be the one crying? As long as I am not restrained by other dirty means, I will not make a fatal mistake, Kaiyai the army of the Lisa family is stronger than that of the Lisa family, and it is the same if there are more opponents temporarily. In other words, in a head-to-head -head confrontation, I have a better chance of winning in the end. So for other families, if they are on the wrong team, what will happen in the end? Don't miss the benefits, but also lose a lot of pants. So as long as my chances of winning are greater, the more allies I will have. So, the longer it is delayed, the more beneficial it will be for your side. Lin said hesitantly. Lao Bi Kuo. That's right. As long as I can show enough strength, others will know how to choose. But if Lisa wants to fight with me, he can only grit his teeth and continue to think of ways to grow his army. At least he if you want to show the strength that can prevent me, you will lose both sides. But those are meaningless in front of me, they are just dragging down their own finances. As long as I continue to have the advantage, those who were originally on his side people will fall to me one after another, and the situation of victory and defeat will become more obvious. Kaiya Gong said proudly. In fact, what Grand Duke Kevi said was considered modest. The situation of both Lisa and Kaiyai's family is even more exaggerated. So far, the Kaiyai family has only established military camps on the border of their territory, summoned vassals and assembled the family's standing army, and has not deliberately strengthened mobilization. The so-called Standing Legion is the militia scattered throughout the territory as a daily guard. The various places where the troops were transferred away will recruit young and strong defenders from the local area, and at the same time, they will be trained as a reserve team. If the front line is tight, they are replenishing troops. These actions were all carried out openly under the sun. This is also because the Guana Empire is the birthplace of civilization, and various development and transportation constructions have already been quite mature. Coupled with the convenience of the forum, it is difficult to truly keep secrets about what the lords of various places are doing. Especially this kind of military level scheduling, no one dares to be careless. Since it is impossible to keep it secret, then show your strength openly. It can also make people see clearly which side they should be in, which will be the most beneficial at the end of the war. This is Kavi's attitude. However, not only soldiers and war materials were gathered, but also a large number of trucks and troop carriers, as well as the fuel to drive the cars. It's just that the number of vehicles at this stage is not enough to carry three legions and supplies. 
so the old man was not in a hurry to attack, but just adjusted the cooperation between soldiers and vehicles, and pondered the best way to use them. These are also exposed to the eyes of others. Coupled with the reputation that Grand Duke Kavi has built since he was young, he is not only good at charging at the forefront of the team, but his strategy is basically two moves, detour and rush. Even in the situation of fighting more with less, Lord Kaiyai is good at using intelligence, and before the enemy gathers a large enough number, he relies on the mobility of the army to eat up the small group of troops before the enemy gathers. Cannibalize the enemy in this way, and finally win in one fell swoop. Or by relying on mobility, they can penetrate directly into the weak point of the enemy's formation, and then divide, encircle, and annihilate them. Even detour to the rear to take out the enemy's lair. In short, in the past, relying on the mobility of riding with one person, Grand Duke Kavi won the title of the undefeated of war in the empire. However, when the mobility of horses is upgraded to become a car, what kind of changes will occur? The New Year's meeting in the imperial capital at the beginning of the year gave all the nobles a benchmark for judgment. From the territory of the Kavi family to the imperial city of Nineveh, the one-month journey was shortened to three days. Perhaps the number of the three legions prevented them from being as fast as half of the Duke's guard, so it would be better to double the marching time. This also means that Duke Kavi can choose a battlefield at will in the Empire with well-developed transportation, and then kill all the troops stationed before the arrival of reinforcements, and then leave calmly. Others can't even eat car farts. Even if the old man chooses to go in a roundabout way instead of taking the shortest route. Knowing the opponent's destination, the reinforcements were too late to rescue. Unless the location where the reinforcements are stationed is very close to the location being attacked, as an old man who is a veteran of raiding, wouldn't he know to find a better place to attack? Underneath this ghostly mobility, all the old strategic points became less important. The territory of the Rissa family is like a fishing net full of holes. If the new mobile army of the Kaiyai family is fully formed, the only way for the Lisa family to defend is to send more troops to various places and hoard supplies for the defense of the city. It is hoped that the Kaiyai family's army will lose its strength when they pull out the defensive strongholds one by one, so that the Lisa family can find an opportunity for a decisive battle. To implement such a defensive method, it would require several times more troops than the three standing legions of the Kawi family. This, of course, greatly increased the burden on the Lisa family. The Lisa family took the initiative to attack the Kaiyai family's territory. This means that there is an empty rear, waiting for the opponent to ravage it with lightning speed. Once the lair is taken away, will the attacking army still have morale? Scorched Earth Tactics Under the feudal system, does the Lord dare to ask his vassals to give up their territory and let the enemy wreak havoc? www.mtlnovel.com to protect the core territory of the Lord with all their strength? This will only bring the consequences of four words, betrayal. The boss doesn't cover the younger brother, so what is the younger brother's obligation to listen to the boss's orders? Scorched earth tactics were impossible to implement in a decentralized feudal system. Conclusion the Rissa family is finished. Perhaps in the past, one of the two Grand Duke families favored literature and the other favored martial arts, but if they were to be put together, the victories and defeats were still five or five waves away. When a car was unveiled at the beginning of the year, all the nobles instinctively felt that it was a good thing, so they started to seek it out, which caused many incidents later. At the beginning, no one thought about how well a commander who was good at running and paying attention to high mobility could use the car as a weapon. But the conflict became clear. After the two Grand Duke families declared their banners to fight, countless generals and military experts in the empire pushed forward. Until you get tired. But, how is it possible? It's like a fight between two powerful fighters. If you punch me and I punch you, no one can say for sure who will stand in the end. But if one side is extremely agile, the other side is as slow as a tortoise, no matter how you hit, you can't hit anyone, and if you take a casual shot, you may be hit hard by exposing your weakness. If things go on like this, 
it is not difficult to guess who will fall. Chapter 1264, Advice from Noble Bank In the Empire, the direction of the nobles has changed. The Grand Duke of Kaii was not in a hurry, he just replenished the vehicle with all his strength, and then waited for other nobles to take the initiative to show their kindness. The Grand Duke of Lisa could only watch his allies leave silently, thinking hard about a way to break the situation. Even if the Kawi family does not attack, time is not infinite for the Lisa family. If the situation does not change and continues to evolve, the pressure will force the Lisa family to disintegrate first, without the need for outsiders to fight. Therefore, Lord Kaiyai, who held high the blood flag, was not worried, he was just accumulating strength. After all, the vehicles needed by the three legions were not yet complete. As one of the partners in car manufacturing and research and development, Lin can allow internal prices, but he does not allow anyone to take the car without paying. In fact, this is also to maintain the financial soundness of the car center. Someone knows very well that there is a Grand Duke and a Chamber of Commerce. If there are no restrictions, there is no need to sell cars outside. Just internal digestion, the core is to build one and there will be no one. The Grand Duke has no objection to operating the car center in this way. After all, if you sell your own ore to the center, you will also receive money. It doesn't make sense to get the car for nothing after earning the material fee. Besides, cars have very high requirements on the road, and it is not as outsiders imagined that they can choose the attack route at will. In fact, there are not so many offensive routes that the car can use, but it is enough for him to play with the Lisa family in his hands. What's more, war has deceitful tactics, so why did the old prince explain this beautiful misunderstanding? At times like these, silence can create even more stress. Of course, it is impossible for Grand Duke Kavi to allow this situation to continue. When the Legion is assembled, the supplies consumed are also a considerable number. Perhaps if it continues, the Lisa family can be dragged to death, but it may also arouse the resentment of other nobles. After all, the war between the two Grand Dukes will affect all aspects of the Empire. When the emotions of other people watching the theater become war weary, maybe the direction of the wind will change again which is not conducive to one's own side. Not to mention revenge, what is important is to kill the enemy with your hands. It's too boring to watch the other party self-destruct. Without blood and fire, how could it be regarded as a sacrifice to his dead son? Therefore, the time limit that the old duke set for himself was the moment when the number of vehicles was enough to carry three legions and the necessary supplies, and that was the moment when the Lisa family would be destroyed. This is why he asked a certain magician to borrow money, just to speed up the speed of changing vehicles. However, if this road does not work, Lord Kaiyai will not force it. Anyway, according to the current situation, it is only a matter of time before the Lisa family is sacrificed alive. If there are any variables, to be honest, he is also looking forward to it. But speaking of variables, there is indeed a dubious rumor. After thinking about it, Lord Kaiyai decided to tell the magician in front of him, saying, although this war can't be said to be caused by you, you are also in the game as a pusher after all. So I heard a rumor that maybe you should pay attention. Rumor? What happened? Lin asked. I heard that those from the Lisa family have plans for your airship manufacturing technology. The old prince said. In fact, the credibility of this rumor is very high. If you want to crack the advantage of the Kaiyai family, you can only find a way to find a way to move faster than a car. The airship is indeed a solution, but it is impractical. Considering the cost and construction speed of the airship, and comparing the condition of the car, Kavik only thought that the Lisa family was a dead horse and a living horse doctor, so he came up with such a method. If the airship wants to become an organizational system, be able to carry legions, and play a role in war, how long will it take and how much investment will it take? This time is enough to destroy their family several times by themselves. But you can't help but prevent the opponent from jumping over the wall in a hurry, 
and try any move that looks promising. So the old prince warned the magician. However, when he heard that it was related to the airship, Lin laughed. Said, if they just think of entrusting me to make the airship now, wouldn't it be too late? And based on my relationship with the adults, I can't agree to help them anyway. Thieves also pay attention to stealing. Well, as a businessman, I don't want to make money on both sides and offend on both sides. I know what you think. But if they have such a plan, of course they will use a dirty trick. How can they go through a formal way? But as you said, everything is too late, and the situation of the Rissa family's collapse it won't change. I'm just telling you, just be careful and don't fall into their trap. Understood. Then how much do you think such a warning is worth? The old prince said with a Philistine expression and a smile. Of course, it is impossible to pretend to be stupid at a time like this. Although the information given by the old prince was the kind that he would not be worried about, it was information that he did not know before. If you are willing to remind yourself, there is a certain value, so Lin Ji asked, Oh, what do you need? Since there is no way to borrow money from the bank, you can always help out with an idea on this matter. Duke Kavi turned the topic back to the original destination. Lin said, If you only come up with ideas, of course there is no problem. Your lord came to me during this kind of war, and he must have known the benefits of dealing with the goddess of gold coins. Although it is not the first time to do it, I have plans in the future. A small bank next to the center does not need to be the same size as the one next to the technology guild, it is mainly used by the people in the center, and it can also be used by people nearby. Oh, I thought you'd limit yourself to only six that were being built. How is it possible? I want to find a way to help the goddess of gold coins to promote the bank to the whole world. It's just that the road has to be taken step by step, and things have to be done one by one. From this standpoint, I also hope that the adults will be in the territory of the Kaiai family. In addition, there is also the establishment of a bank. It doesn't matter whether it is a new building or a renovation of an old building. At that time, as long as His Majesty Kayin consecrates it on the Great Holy Emblem, you can use it nearby. Instead of traveling thousands of miles, go to ST City to use. Oh, you mean I can build a family-only bank? Asked the old duke. Lin shook his head and said, No, 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 that's not acceptable. Pulling the bank completion diagram next to the Technology Association, Lin explained, If you don't want to queue up, sir, you can set up a VIP area inside the bank for exclusive use for your own use, or for the use of people within your family. But other places must be open to the public. After all, it is related to the belief of Her Majesty the Goddess, if you prevent others from using the bank, you will have an enmity with that majesty. For human beings, blocking people's money is like killing their parents, for gods, it is cutting off their faith, and it is also a great feud. Although it is up to Kayin whether he is willing to let the holy emblem of the goddess of gold coins play the role of a bank. But Lin Kay advised the goddess to be careful of the privileged class monopolizing the bank and profiting from it. Not to mention too many operable tricks, Lin Guang thought of one thing, the nobles built the bank in their castle, even more directly, they sent people to block the bank's entrance to collect taxes. People who want to save money or exchange currency have to pay taxes to the nobles before they can enter the bank to do business. If things go on like this, who dares to go to the bank? With fewer people using it, the power of faith that Kayin can get is also reduced. Just mentioning this, His Majesty will stop doing it. All requests for bank construction that were unwilling to open to the outside world, or those who promised not to engage in petty tricks, were all rejected. Although it is difficult to guarantee and define the scope of the latter, it is absolutely impossible for Her Majesty to agree to the request to establish a family-only bank like the former at this stage. Perhaps in the future, after banks spread all over the land, it is not impossible for some wealthy families to build small banks to serve the family members. But now is the time to expand. 
if the requirements of those in power are met, how can they contribute to the needs of the civilians? In a class differentiated society, it is normal for people to only consider our own people regardless of the overall situation. Because in their eyes, the class they belong to is the overall situation. However, there are loopholes that can be circumvented by this restriction. To put it simply, a bank is covered with at least a dozen windows. It is impossible for the privileged class to use it all the time, but if they are unwilling to queue up, then just reserve one or two windows for waiting, and the others can be opened to the outside world. In this way, His Majesty's resistance will be greatly reduced, and there will be room for discussion. In fact, it is to compromise the requirements of the two parties and find a method that can take care of both sides. Driven by interests, no one will firmly reject such a request. The old prince did not blindly trust such a suggestion either. After all, he didn't know how important the magician in front of him was in the so-called bank. So I asked, is what you said feasible? I heard a lot of complaints from the forum that the requirements of the goddess of gold coins are too harsh. Ha, huh, the so-called harshness means disobedience to those people's wishes. That kind of people can bully their own subjects and subordinates, why don't they complain that His Majesty the Emperor is too harsh? They can't make a goddess obey their will www.mtlnovel.com It's not my fault. Lin said with a smile. But that kind of tone seems to be unable to solve the worries and doubts of the old duke. After thinking for a while, Lin simply said, If your lord is still worried, then just tell His Majesty Kay Yin directly. How do I? The old duke just wanted to complain when he saw the magician in front of him fish out a palm-sized puppet from the hood behind him. The appearance of the doll is two and four sticks, which barely looks like a human. He even made the puppet stand upright, holding his fists in his chest, praying silently. Just look at the appearance of the puppet's body, changing into a halfling woman. But the size of the puppet has not changed, it is still only the height of a palm. But it is alive, as if it were a real living thing, not a clumsy puppet made by a magician. Grand Duke Kavi looked in front of him in surprise. Hey, boy, what's the point of calling me here? I won't have to work for nothing again, so you can change the new currency for you. Kayin turned his head and saw an old face full of astonishment. The halfling goddess pointed behind her and asked, Who is this old boy? Chapter 1265, Crooked House Discussion Your Majesty, let me introduce you. This is Grand Duke Kawi of the Guana Empire. After a brief introduction, Lin raised his head and said to the old man, My lord, in front of you is the will of His Majesty Kay Yin. What's the problem? You can ask in person. Oh. After all, the goddess of gold coins is a who has lived for quite a long time. Knowing her situation, she quickly adjusted her mentality and looked squarely at the old duke. The life level of the person in front of him is higher than that of ordinary people, and he belongs to the extraordinary. This is one of the reasons why Kay Yin can hold his temper and wait for the other party. Powerful people always deserve more courtesy. The old duke who came back to his senses asked in surprise, Is this really His Majesty Kay Yin in person? Of course it's me, otherwise, who do you think is in front of you, old boy? Although it's only the size of a palm, little Kay Yin has the same aura as his body. Facing the old duke's questioning, he directly turned back. No, Your Majesty Kay Yin, it's just that your current state is different from anything I've seen. How did you do this? Lin explained from the side, My lord, His Majesty Kay Yin used the robot Hefkin from the Earth Elemental Realm, and her split body in the Kingdom of God, to simultaneously communicate His Majesty Kay Yin's consciousness to Midi's puppet. And His Majesty's body is still in the Kingdom of God. The mechanical girl with twin ponytails whose name was mentioned suddenly appeared behind a certain magician. He shook his hand as a greeting. Different from the way the gods descended in the past, it has nothing to do with divine power, so you have this misunderstanding. In fact, His Majesty is not wrong in person. 
And Kayin's current form is actually using the ability of the robot Hefkin to communicate across dimensions, relying on the synchronization between the split body of the goddess goddess of gold coins and the split body of the lost land to simulate the coming of the consciousness of the god's state. In fact, it is good to think of this state as a 3D three-dimensional communication that is more advanced than a video call, and it still has an entity. The advantage of doing this, of course, is to bypass Midi's rejection of the gods themselves. Especially the condition that you don't need devout believers to hear his voice, you can communicate with anyone. In the past, the gods did not come in the form of real bodies or saints coming to the world. If they wanted to communicate with people who were lost, they could only choose their own devout believers as communication partners, and then they would relay the words. And the more devout believers, the easier it is to hear the holy voice. In a way that people across the world can understand better, it's like FM radio. The gods are radio stations, and devout believers are listeners on the same channel as the gods' radio stations. If you are not devout enough, you will be prone to noise. If you don't believe in this at all, then you are not on the same channel, and naturally you cannot hear the voice of God. Of course, as long as God is willing, he can also use full channel broadcasting to force non-believers to hear his voice. But it would take a lot of effort to do so, and very few gods would speak to the mortal world like this when it was not necessary. However, the focus of the old duke's attention seems to be different from what other people think. Although there is no such thing as synchronous communication in Midi's language. But with a little thought, it's not hard to understand what someone is trying to convey. And this is exactly the link that Kavi has always felt is missing when he has been thinking hard about the use of new tactics recently. So when this matter was brought up by someone, the old duke instead focused on the mechanical girl with double ponytails who suddenly appeared. Question, the synchronous communication you mentioned means that when I speak in one place, people in another place can hear what I say immediately. Even the other person's response, I can also hear it immediately. How long is the longest distance? How far? How many people can hear at the same time? Or only one to one? What method is used to do it? Is it magic? Or is it a new ability of the earth elemental spirit? Oh. Although the facial makeup of the mechanical girl with twin ponytails is fixed, she can't show any expressions, but she still has body movements. With his hands behind his back, Hefkin bent his body, looked up at the old duke from bottom to top, and said, Do you want to use this ability of mine in war? What is the situation facing the near future, Solenovo? Yes, can it be done? Kavi asked without denying it. It can be done, but you can't afford it, and I don't want to do it either. The last sentence is the key point. Hefkin refused without hesitation. Hee <laughs> hee. There is no price I can't afford. Why don't you ask to have a look? The old duke said confidently. What price do you think you will pay for making a wish to an elemental lord? Offering the souls of your descendants from generation to generation may be the most basic thing. But I am not very interested in souls now. The mechanical girl with twin ponytails waved her hand and pulled out a water mirror screen. All of them are the products and commodities of the Kaii family's territory, and some of them even have marked quantities. And I see that the things on your territory are very ordinary, and they are not the type I am interested in. Or is there something special in your family's treasure house? Duke Kavi was astonished to see that his family fortune had been dug out, and the number was not wrong. Ask, how do you know? It's all people related to your family the public content mentioned on the forum. The information is scattered, I just sorted it out. Of course, there are some places that shouldn't be entered, so I also went in and looked. Hi Fukui and replied. Uh, a certain person seems to have leaked a lot of information. At least the sharp eyes that the old duke cast on someone contained a lot of meaning, making someone's eyes drift into the distance involuntarily. Kawayagong said, it turns out that the forum can do such a thing. I thought the content of the block with permission restrictions would be safe. Someone pretended to be innocent and said, My lord, 
no matter how well protected the city wall is, is there any city in this world that cannot be attacked? I have never guaranteed the confidentiality of information on the forum. Since the forum was created from day one, it's just a matter of time before it's cracked, not me. That is to say, it is possible to crack it. How to do it? Well, let me think about it. Starting from the P language. Kavi said the possible answer. But he quickly remembered another thing, and asked, could it be possible that the dialogue method I just mentioned can also be done in P language? A guy who subconsciously wanted to avoid things murmured, it's very troublesome. It's just troublesome? Isn't it impossible? Duke Kavi pressed further. And what about the security of the forum? Is it a hassle? Or can't it be done? Terrified by the blazing man's piercing gaze, Lin had no choice but to pretend to surrender, explaining, My lord, let's just say this, the forum was completed by me in the era of the Great Sage's Tower, and at the same time, I completed it in the Great Sage's Tower. The energy pool of the tower is constructed as a server. Not only the core programming language is stored in the Magic Tower, but all subsequent data is also stored there. It can be said that if the Tower of the Great Sage is destroyed, the forum will follow. Destroyed. So the question is, where am I now? To whom does the Tower of the Great Sage belong? Once he changed his original aggrieved attitude, Lin turned to press on the old duke, saying, What does your lord think I can do in a place far away from the Tower of the Great Sage? Even if I know that the forum is flawed, I have a way to correct it. Someone's plausible attitude convinced the old prince, or at least eased his doubts. But the old duke was not indifferent to new things, and he had an excellent memory, and he quickly remembered one thing. Question, but in my impression, after you left the Tower of the Great Sage, you once upgraded the forum. That is to say, the original time was unified, and the time zone was planned according to the location of each place. Although I don't quite understand the principle of it, but it has always been changed. Oops. There is such a flaw. Lin Nian turned around and continued to fool around, it's just some extra small functions added to the forum, such as bookmarks, calculators, and notepads. It has nothing to do with the core modification of the forum. Everyone can choose to use it or not. Instead of being forced to use it. This kind of thing can only be done in places other than the Tower of the Great Sage, but to improve the security holes of the forum itself, do you think I can do it now? In fact, Lin avoided his own answer with rhetorical questions. The core of the forum is indeed in the Tower of the Great Sage, and there are also mechanisms such as hardware locks, so that the core programs and data are difficult to be tampered with, and outsiders cannot make corrections at a location far away from the Tower. But the premise is that the Tower of the Great Sage does not have a back door. If it wasn't legally not allowed, and there wasn't a good title, someone would have killed him long ago. Anyway, no one can stop him. But in reality, unless you plan to be the enemy of the world, don't challenge the common rules of the world. Then what about the way I talked about it? The old duke asked about the matter that he was more concerned about after finishing the matter. Lin helplessly said, the instant messaging method you requested is also the same. Without the backing of the energy pool of the magic tower, although I can use the purple magic stone as the core, the example of the car center is right in front of your eyes. How big is the range that can be covered? Is there any value in that? Or do you have the ability to densely arrange the purple stones to cover the battlefield positions you need? Something that has no use value www.mtlnovel.com It is just a waste to develop it time. I'm alone and have so much to do I don't have time for these gadgets. A car center needs a purple stone, and how much area of the car center is needed to cover the battlefield set by oneself means how many purple magic stones are needed. Just thinking about it made the old prince shudder. It is true that the Kaiyai family has a solid background but it is not so strong. It may not be possible to pull out the background of the entire empire, and it cannot be done. Lin was quiet at this time, not wanting to irritate the old man too much. 
Some words should not be said, let alone said by oneself. But in the end, the truth that has been concealed has been revealed. Fortunately, the audience was only Kavik, the robot Hefkin and the gold coin goddess Kayin present. Their status determines that their attitude is definitely different from that of ordinary people. If Ozo hears these words, someone will worry about whether the old fellow of the Turtle Dove League will make the whole mess known. But the old duke and others heard that they would never publicize this fact, but would choose to hide it together, and then find a way to benefit from it. This is one of the reasons why Lin dared to speak out. The old duke wanted to continue asking, but the little Kayin, who had been left alone for a long time, yelled loudly at this moment, You called me here, but you kept talking about your own affairs. What are you calling me for? Talking. The fee is very expensive. If there is nothing else, I will go back. Chapter 1266 Planning for the Grand Duke Rank Calls are expensive? This simple sentence made Lin have a lot of associations. First of all, when Kei Yin appeared in front of his eyes in this form for the first time, someone was really taken aback. After questioning, I found out that the last time I took Hefkin to Kei Yin's Kingdom of God and summoned this mechanical girl with twin ponytails, some nanoworms stayed in the Kingdom of Goddess of Gold Coins. Therefore, an agreement was reached with Kei Yin, and Hefkin became a bridge between the Goddess of Gold Coins and her voters. It can't be helped, because someone is not a believer, but an atheist. Although the identity of the elect was given, it was accepted by someone in a special way, without really resonating with the divine power of the Goddess of Gold Coins. Normally, the Goddess would not be able to take the initiative to contact someone, so she urged such a method. But Lin didn't know the content of the agreement between Hef Quinn and Kei Yin. You must know that it is impossible for these robots who were formerly elemental creatures or even elemental lords to do things for nothing. The reason why someone seems to be able to use them at will is because of their great kindness and the fact that they can be replaced by the promise of five expeditions. Hefkin seems to be riding a horse in front of someone, but also because there is an additional agreement between the two. That is, Lin agreed to keep the Hive Queen by her side, giving her a chance to learn something she didn't tell the other robots. But if you want this nanoworm aggregate to do things that are not directly related to you, you need to pay extra. If there is no accounting or arrears, it must be settled now. The most important point is that, just like the conditions that Hefkin jokingly offered to the old duke before, the price of letting an elemental lord make a move is beyond the imagination of ordinary people. It has nothing to do with the troublesomeness of the matter, but with the level of the shooter. This is a common practice for elemental elves. From the lowest level, the elemental spirits that have not even condensed their bodies, to the highest level, the elemental creatures that are recognized by the elemental spirits and belong to the lord level, after they accept the summon, no matter what the summoner's request is, they will not compromise to execute. However, the elemental elves don't care about whether they are capable enough to fulfill the request, and they won't bargain. Even if it is a slaughter god, the summoned elemental spirits will faithfully carry out their orders. Of course, the weak may be killed by a finger of the gods and return to the elemental world, the strong may be able to scratch the skin of the gods and then be beaten to death. Anyway, the elemental spirits accept the summons, and there is no guarantee of success. They only execute orders. If the order is completed, leave, if the order is not completed, if you are beaten to death, leave. No matter what the order is, it is common sense in the land that sacrificing tributes of different values can summon elemental spirits of different ranks. Reaching the rank of the elemental lord, it is not enough to sell the summoner himself, it may have to sell several generations, or even sacrifice an entire city, in exchange for the response of the elemental lord. In this regard, the appearance of the gods is no exception. If the assimilation communication agreement between Hefkin and Kayin is paid by the second. Then after calling him out before, he sat aside and discussed things on his own, no wonder the goddess of gold coins went crazy. It's just that Lin couldn't help being curious about the price that even the gods would feel heartache. 
In short, Hefkin didn't want to help, so the old duke couldn't force her to help. Not to mention Lord Kevy, I am afraid that the Emperor of the Empire will not come forward. So the mechanical girl with two ponytails shook her hands, and after saying hello, she dissociated from the girl aggregate, turned into loose sand again, and disappeared from everyone's sight. The old duke couldn't do anything about it, he couldn't continue to neglect a god, especially now that he still had something to ask for from the other party. So turning our attention back to little Kayin on the table, Lord Kaii started negotiations with the goddess of gold coins. In fact, since he got the news about the bank, Mr. Kaii has been thinking about how he can use the bank and what functions he needs the bank to add. This kind of thinking actually comes from the exercise of the car, so that the old prince's idea of a new thing is no longer limited by the old experience, but to think as much as possible, and then think about the possibility of realization. And as a great nobleman, it's not like he hasn't dealt with gods before. Just like someone who is not used to common sense, the gods who are lost are not that far away from humans. Although it is not to the extent of responding to every request, it is not the kind that makes every day unresponsive and the earth responds. With an idea and a preliminary plan, and after discussing with Kay Yin, the matter quickly came to a conclusion. Anyway, the attitude of the gods has always been very simple, can it be done or not? If it can't be done, then even the initial effort can be saved, if it can be done, then of course it will be carried out according to the plan. There is little room for bargaining. What's more, before the old prince came, he had made quite a lot of plans. After all, a grand duke's family has all kinds of experts behind it. If these people were asked to make a car, something that Mitty had never had before a few years ago, I'm afraid they really couldn't do anything about it. But for an organization like a bank, as long as they know what to do and how to follow the rules, they will be wasting their experience in a grand duke's family before they can play well. And the reason why the goddess of gold coins had the patience to discuss with a mortal like this was also because the Grand Duke's handwriting was not comparable to ordinary people like Lin. The old duke asked an idle magician to pull out the map of the dukedom of Kevi. It also marked more than a dozen places underground in the dukedom, where the bank was planned to be set up. These are cities with a population above a certain amount, not necessarily directly under the Duke of Kevi and some are the territories of the old duke's vassals. The old man has nothing to say about the strength of his vassal's control. Under the combination of soft and hard, others want to pry the wall and develop a traitor. Therefore, if the old duke nodded his head to set up a bank, the people below would not stop him. Not to mention that the bank is still a good thing, just to exchange those good and bad money for gold key and silver key, everyone is wishing for it. By the way, the phenomenon that the goddess of gold coins directly uses her own name for the new money is optimistic. It is useless to say anything about the gods, the most important thing is to grow the power of faith in him. In short, as an old ruling class, the old duke's vision and layout are different from those of a person who has been a commoner all his life. It means that regardless of whether it is in the lost land or on the earth, a major reason why a large number of people will gather to form a CD city is nothing more than that the location is a transportation center. Perhaps the saying if you want to get rich, build roads first has never existed before, but the truth is still there. In other words, it radiates outward from the location chosen by the old duke, including the entire dukedom of Kevi. The placement of banks in these locations not only allows the most people to use them, but also helps economic exchanges within the territory. This means that the old duke understands that the main function of the bank is actually the ability to deposit and withdraw from other places, and exchanging or keeping coins are just incidental. Perhaps the simplification of coin transportation is only at each node with a bank, if you want to go out, you have to take out the physical coins and let people take them away. But just like this, how much manpower can be saved and safety can be improved. Earlier, the social background of the whole world was still in a chaotic state. Even within the empire, there were robbers blocking the way, or monsters who went out to fight their teeth. People want to steal money, but they don't care who the money is. 
If there is no guarantee of strength, if you are robbed, you deserve it. Perhaps in the past 200 years, the interior of the Guana Empire has been stable, and no one in the carriages used by the nobles to transport money dared to sway their ideas. But there are unexpected accidents from time to time, and the tax revenue of a certain year falls into the bottom of the ravine. Maybe you can get it back later, but it's always a hassle. Now these troubles can be solved by using the function of the bank, and the various costs saved are difficult for the old duke, who is the ruling class, to ignore. Even the team under him imitated the gameplay of the car center, and the budget and comparison table handed over moved this old man who has always been politically indifferent. This is what actively drives the bank setup. It's certainly a good thing for Gold Goddess that someone is willing to push banks hard. Moreover, unlike someone who is petty, Duke Kaiyai has directly entered into the proposal in addition to more than 10 points in the dukedom, and the internal bank of the automobile center. Perhaps the population of these places who will use the banking function in the first place may not be as large as that of the holy city of Estelai. After all, the economic level and scale of the two places are not the same. But when it comes to influence, it belongs to a different level. In the holy city of Estelai, people who come to the bank to open an account, whether they are great magicians, magicians, apprentices, or those mud legs who don't understand magic, are essentially ordinary people. The place where they use money is nothing more than buying the necessities of life or satisfying personal desires. But when it comes to the ruling class of the aristocracy, the use of money may determine life and death. Building walls, building canals, building roads, and dispatching food, each has its strategic significance. According to Kay Yin, this kind of money is not equivalent to the money of ordinary people. When Goddess of Gold Coins said this, the meaning behind it was worth pondering. Originally, Lin thought that as long as the money flow was smooth, the power of the Goddess of Gold Coins would swish upwards. I never thought about the difference between money and money www.mtlnovel.com It sounds like there is some causality in it. It's a pity that I am not a god, let alone a of money, so I can't experience the difference for myself. As for asking the goddess to explain, it is probably not enough. There are some things that people from different worlds cannot understand. Just like poor and rich, men and women, mortals and gods. Discussions between big bosses don't have the kind of small people who need to word for word and pick and choose. What's more, the old duke's plan is all aimed at how to make the bank play its best role, not for personal gain. For such a good client, Kayin has no reason not to give the green light. As long as the plan on their side is approved and the people below are doing things right, the bank can be consecrated immediately after the completion of construction. Consecration is based on the saying of a certain traveler. According to the habits of the Midi people, whether it is a church or a temple, if you want to connect with the gods you serve, you need an envoy, which can be a priest, or at least a monk who prays sincerely, communicates with the heavens, and sends down divine power. However, Kay Yin's faith was not widespread in the past, and there were very few who could become his believers. Therefore, it is a bit difficult to find someone to consecrate this point in other places. The palm-sized halfling goddess looked at the two people in front of her. Suddenly he said to the old duke, Why don't you become my voter too? Chapter 1267 Invitation to Voters On the side of the holy city of Estelai, there are elves headed by the dark elf mayor, who are blessed by the divine power of coin and become the envoys of the goddess of gold coins. These elves will conduct the consecration ceremony of the great sacred emblem of Kayin of the Technical Guild, as well as the bank that is scheduled to be established later. To become the envoy of the goddess of gold coins, of course, has the consent of the big guys behind these elves that is, World Tree. Although the cooperation between the two parties has not yet reached the point where both are prosperous and all are harmed, they are still very closely integrated. At least all the elves of the Wood Elf tribe can call themselves the Goddess of Gold Coins if they put on a robe embroidered with the holy emblem of coin. Maybe it won't contribute much power of faith, but at least it adds a lot of manpower to the bank. 
In order to accept these elves and carry out banking business with the future, the goddess of gold coins directly gave up the holy scriptures she used in the past and passed on new knowledge and dogma. Anyway, the original doctrine of the goddess of gold coins, even the goddess herself is not to be seen. According to the goddess, many of her original followers were maladjusted. Although it is not to the extent of abandoning the faith, but to make those old men and grandmothers relearn and learn things related to the bank, but the goddess is so worried that her brows are knit together. In this case, Lin is really curious, what kind of headless fly in the past could become the envoy of the goddess of gold coins. It's no wonder that those old people guarding the temple in the imperial city of Nineveh look so weak. If Duke Kavi wants to carry out banking business in his territory, besides sending envoys to station there, another way is to temporarily develop a believer. Although the bank has downplayed the color of religion, it is still the territory of the goddess of gold coins anyway, and there is no one who looks after the house. The old duke himself is a transcendent person and a great nobleman. It can be said that he is the target that all the sects of the gods will try their best to win over. Although it is impossible to return to the past glory of the divine right of kings, if such people can become believers, it is of course a good thing with advantages and no disadvantages. That's why Kayin invited him. For a great nobleman, their every move has a lot to do with it. Moreover, this kind of people are born with a sense of insecurity. When they see anyone, they suspect that the other party is going to own their own property. That's why nobles only play with nobles, or only with family members. Because the nobles are quite aware of these people's heels, and they understand the rules in the circle, so they feel at ease when they get in touch. But if they want to do something out of the ordinary, they will be careful. For example, cooperating with a magician who thinks he is good at escaping, cooperating with the car center project, or in front of him, becoming a chosen one of the gods. Generally speaking, although the gods like to choose extraordinary people to be their voters, but being a transcendent means that they have become the most outstanding group of mortals. Of course, they hoped that they would become the chosen ones with powerful divine power, rather than some hairy offering in olive branch, and they would all gladly accept it. Not to mention that Ricardo? Carvey is still a grand duke. In the sequence of power in the Guana Empire, there is only one emperor above him, and there are fifteen other grand dukes at his level, except for those who are lower than him. Such a character, why bother pressing a deity with no face on his head? However, considering the future development, although such a change was not in the plan of the Duke family team, Duke Kaiyai still thought about it seriously instead of rejecting it outright. After deliberating for a moment, the old Duke said, Your Majesty Kayin, I wonder if you understand my current situation. Are you referring to declaring war with another Grand Duke? Or do you have other concerns? Kayin said bluntly. If you are clear, then it's easy to say. If your goal is to spread your beliefs all over the land, so that banks can flourish everywhere, then you are not afraid that some resistance will arise for no reason if you have something to do with me? Even if you fight against me that old is willing to accept you, which has become quite a trouble for me. Lord Kavi put it mildly. But it also pointed out that if the goddess wants to have both sides, maybe the old duke will make the worst plan. But Kayin was full of confidence and said, Does this mean that you think you may lose? It is a taboo for the church to blatantly interfere with the affairs of the nobles, because it is not conducive to development. But for those who fight, the chances of victory are accumulated by this bit of advantage. In Kayin's words, there was a faint meaning of standing in line and supporting, and it was really difficult for Grand Duke Kavi to refuse. The Grand Duke whose territory is far from the holy city of Estelai is not at fault for himself, but as a city of magicians directly under the Emperor's direct control, it is actually autonomous and has never intervened in disputes between nobles. Even if there is, it is the behavior of a certain magician, and it does not mean that the magicians in the whole city have the same idea. Now that the bank's new currency can be regarded as sweeping the entire holy city, is it possible to use the link of the new currency to make a whole city of magicians follow him, or at least not help each other like before? 
With this idea, Lord Kaiyai couldn't help thinking about the gains and losses. As for being a voter with weak divine power, whether he will lose his face, Lord Kaiyai is also seriously thinking about it. The strength of a depends on the degree of spread of belief. Compared with gods, the strength of evil gods depends on the degree of fear spread, and believers are not so important. If Kayin's belief can be spread through the bank, and whenever people use money, they will think of the goddess of gold coins, then it is expected that the power of the goddess will increase. And it is very likely to rise to a height that I can't imagine. In other words, Kayin's weakness is only the current situation. In the future, it is possible for him to be promoted to a member of medium or even powerful divine power. So signing an agreement with the goddess of gold coins and becoming her voters can also be regarded as an act of investing in the future. To do it or not to do it is a straightforward question. But the goddess is waiting, and the old prince is not allowed to think too much. So the old man directly asked, it's not a problem to become a voter of his majesty and work hard to promote the great cause of the bank. But is there any more benefit for me to become this voter? If it is just to give me the qualification to use magic, I think even if I if not, those who want to take my life won't be able to do so easily. Mr. Kaiyai dared to speak, because he also knew his identity, which was helpful for the promotion of the bank. So this is actually a matter of fish helping water, and water helping fish. Since you have spent a lot of effort to promote the bank in your own territory, why not ask for more benefits? Kayin didn't think he was disobedient either. A capable mortal is qualified to make conditions in front of him. Whether to answer or not is another story. So the goddess of gold coins asked back, What benefits do you want? Old boy. Don't look at the old prince's beard and grey hair. In terms of age, he is less than a fraction of a goddess. Duke Kavi also knew how to measure, so he didn't expect the lion to open his mouth. What is the game of asking a high price, letting others bargain, and bargaining on both sides? For a god, he will only get a good or bad answer, and there is no second chance to speak. So Mr. Kaiyai said directly, the transfer fee and storage fee related to me have been erased. Kayin did not immediately agree. The palm-sized he turned his head to look at someone, and wanted to agree in his heart, but in fact, as long as he departed from the original plan and made any changes related to the bank, he and the world trees had no confidence. Lin wanted to reduce his connection with the bank in the eyes of outsiders, so as to avoid possible troubles in the future. But all these efforts were defeated in the eyes of the goddess of gold coins. How could the well-mannered old duke ignore the meaning behind this glance, the way he looked at a certain magician changed? With a helpless sigh in his heart, Lin said, your Majesty, it is not impossible for you to agree to this request. But I just ask, you will not recruit voters all over the world, will you? How can this kind of thing be done? You don't think that the things I let you but you put on the back of your hand are just something you can just mess around with? Voter certificates are not that simple. The old prince's eyes brightened again. The implication is that this magician is also the chosen one of the goddess of gold coins. He has already stood in line. Lin sighed again, revealing another truth. But after thinking about it, he smiled and said, if this is the case, there will be no big problem. As a voter of his majesty, it is legitimate to have some benefits. Just be careful and don't announce this kind of thing all over the world. If those who have the right to have powerful people know that if they don't rely on them, the bank will not even think about opening on their territory. It is too disgusting to ask for the same conditions, and even pass it down from generation to generation. Banks expect to be self-sufficient, but they can't I am used to those guys who think they are big men. Everyone knows that compared with the expenses of ordinary people, these people are the real big heads. If even that little fee is wiped out, the future bank expenses will only start from ordinary people. Let the poor get poorer, the rich get richer, money loses its neutral position, that's called unfairness. Someone was talking happily, but the goddess of gold coins cast a contemptuous look and said, I talked for a long time, 
so it turned out to be for the benefit. They are all voters, and I also contributed my efforts. Your Majesty will not favor one another. Someone said with a shy face. Don't worry, your privilege is to move the materials you want to mint new money to my divine kingdom www.mtlnovel.com I won't charge you a handling fee. The old boy is related to his account. I erased them all. One person, one privilege, not the same. Goddess of Gold Coins said these words while grinding her teeth. One can imagine the deep resentment of a certain god. Lin listened to the content, of course not from. She wailed and said, My Lord Goddess, this is not right. I used that incident as an example to illustrate how dangerous a rigid regulation would be. Why is this my privilege? Do I have to move it myself if I want to save some money? This matter is settled like this, there is no room for discussion. Why don't you ask outsiders, which one I have discussed with them? The benefits are here, whether you like it or not, anyway, you are already mine. He 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 he. A palm-sized halfling goddess smiled triumphantly. However, the goddess ignored the crying man, and instructed, Boy. I will give you another task, bring this old boy to my kingdom of God to see me. How? I can't give people anything like this now. It's too troublesome to go down, and Ben Abio is always watching. It's the most convenient for you to bring people here. In the spirit of not using it for nothing, Kay Yin felt relieved swaying his voters. After finishing speaking, Xiao Kay Yin didn't listen to someone's miserable howling, and immediately melted into a pile of loose sand. Chapter 1268, Empire to Envoy The two people who were left behind looked at each other, what could they say? People are gods. Helpless, Lin turned his head and asked the old duke beside him, Have you ever been to the kingdom of God, my lord? This one really doesn't exist. Is there anything I should pay attention to? There is nothing to pay attention to. His Majesty Kay Yin's site is very deserted, and there is nothing important. It is very empty. It didn't take much time for His Majesty Kay Yin to grant me the qualification before. Sir, you need to explain to your people first. Something. Although Lin could run away with people, Duke Kai I couldn't resist. But this is not a cooperative attitude. It is not difficult to respect people, so Lin asked this question. On the contrary, the only young deacon who came with the old duke seemed a little flustered. Originally, when the duke traveled, at least half of the duke's guards would follow him to protect his safety. But the old man relies on the strength of the extraordinary, coupled with the speed of the custom-made car, there is always a way to leave those who should protect him behind. Now that he had to go to the kingdom of God again, no matter whether it was true or not, it was the same for any of God. The young deacon was a little at a loss because it was beyond his ability. Duke Kaiyai did things, don't think that he is not good in front of the emperor, he himself is also a vigorous and resolute figure. And this time, the object of cooperation is a god, and what I want to do is helpful to him. The old man doesn't think he is in danger at all. Not to mention that there is the magician who is known as the best escaper by his side, so his safety is absolutely no problem. From another perspective, if you really want to be safe, you shouldn't appear in front of such a person. Whether it is a or that magician, appearing in front of them is undoubtedly putting their lives in their hands. If you don't even have this trust and courage, you should stay away. So when faced with the problem of the magician, the old duke didn't say anything to the deacon he brought, and said directly, Let's go. Let me see His Majesty Kay Yin's kingdom of God. It's just that before he left, his apprentice came to disturb him again. The taciturn Kay Yin walked into the small living room, saluted the old prince and her teacher, and said, Teacher, a special envoy who claims to be the emperor of the Guana Empire has come and wants to see you. The two who hadn't had time to leave looked at each other, neither knowing the purpose of this special envoy's visit, nor even sure whether this envoy was genuine. Lin asked, Do you know who is coming, and did you give your name? At the same time, 
he turned to the old man beside him for help. This is to hope that the other party can rely on his own knowledge of the aristocratic class to confirm the authenticity of the visitor. Your Majesty the Emperor, you will never send an unknown person out. Kayu replied, the name of the person who came is Efren Mukashbazi. Ah! Ah, it's him! The old duke and a certain magician responded at the same time. As a vassal of His Majesty the Emperor, how could the old duke not be familiar with this tax collector family? And Efren should be the last male among the youngest generation in their family. Just what is this kid doing here? The old prince was puzzled. In Lin's impression, this name was the poor guy who was the devil prince Azad who hit up women's clothing at the beginning, but was scared to pee again in the end. It seems that he is a member of the emperor's trusted family, so he doesn't know what to do here? The magician was puzzled. Although he didn't know the intention behind the sudden dispatch of the emperor of the Guana Empire, Lin knew that such a guest could not be left out in the cold. On the other hand, the matter between the old duke and the goddess of gold coins also needs to be dealt with. So Lin didn't think much about it, and said, First invite the guests to the living room of the conference to serve them, and I will go to see them after I have dealt with it. One side is just the emperor's special envoy, and the other side is the grand duke himself and the goddess of gold coins. It is very clear which side is more important. Anyway, I am a magician, and I am not under the control of the Guana Empire. In addition, the emperor's special envoy came before, and the domineering attitude made Lin feel uncomfortable, so please wait there. No. The old duke stopped him and said, Xiao Gai. Let's go see the special envoy first. You can report your name at will. I'll know if the person is real or not. The old duke was in no hurry to meet the gods and obtain the status of the elect. On the contrary, what the emperor did was more important to him. If there is any change, he will know it at the first time, so he can adjust it at the first time. As for recognizing the face or something, that's just an excuse. Don't look at him being unsatisfactory in politics, as if he has lived until now, relying on his friendship with the emperor in the past. If it was just like this, he would have been dismantled and eaten long ago. Duke Cavi's strategic vision is beyond the reach of ordinary people. It's just that he doesn't like political hypocrisy and obedience, so he came here to retreat. On the surface, he seems to be excluded from the inner circle of politics, but in fact, he has a firm grasp of the emperor's movements, following the will of the opponent, and being a competent opponent and a shit-stirring stick. If his role were missing, the group of people around the emperor would not be in heaven. It is also because there is such a person who can replace anyone in the court at any time, that makes other people restrained, and it is more convenient for the emperor to control. Therefore, the monarch and his ministers seem to be alienated, but they are actually closer. The old duke's opponent, the Lisa family, had wanted to kill this old opponent for so many years, but they had not been able to do so. Under such a premise, it is impossible for Duke Kaiyai not to care about the emperor's movements. The calculation behind the old duke may not be understood by a certain magician who has not reached that height, but he has no reason to refuse Duke Kawi's request. After explaining to the green mouse hidden in the hood and letting Hefquin inform the goddess waiting in the kingdom of God, he and the old duke went to the living room of the assembly hall to meet the guests who came from afar. When walking through the corridor, through the window, the carriage parked in front of the main entrance of the courtyard was indeed the familiar one. Decorated with gems and various precious metals, it is a very tacky double carriage. But this carriage was not the only one. There was another carriage of a slightly different shape, but just as tacky, parked side by side. There were more than a dozen knights serving as guards, and they all sat quietly on their horses without dismounting, as if they were about to leave at any time. Lin was slightly puzzled by this situation. The old prince was in the same mood. The other carriage came from another family of the emperor's close servants. I don't know why the other party came here. I can only know that this is not an intention to force it. The duo walked into the living room with doubts. 
The difference between this place and the small living room is that the large living room is more like a meeting room for negotiation, with a long table lying in the center of the room, dividing the living room into two. There are velvet curtains on the side near the window to block the sunlight, and the magic-driven chandelier inside emits soft natural light, illuminating every corner of the room quite brightly. The maid brought by the Marquis of Balin was serving elf flower tea to the guests. The tea, which was too weak to taste, was the first class food used for entertainment among the nobles. When Lin and Duke Kaii appeared together in the living room of the conference, the two people who were waiting hurriedly got up and greeted each other with salutes. It was just the appearance of the old duke that surprised them. Duke Kaii also noticed at this time that the head of the other family who was the emperor's close servant actually appeared in person. Baron Mahmud, one of the six families accompanied by the emperor, from delivering water and making tea to doing laundry and folding quilts, was done by members of these six families. In layman's terms, odd jobs. But even as a handyman, his presence was not quite right. Because the position of Baron Mahmud is followed by the boy from the Muhasbabiza family. Noble travel, as long as there are no special circumstances, generally speaking, the ranking is determined by the rank of the title. If the title ranks are the same, first look at the family background, the blood relationship to the emperor, and finally the family strength. The old family that has been passed down for a long time is always more prestigious than the new nobles. But Efren Muhashabiza has not inherited the title of baron, at most he is a knight-knight, the kind that cannot be inherited. This just means that he has officially entered the circle of nobles, and there is still a distance from those genuine nobles. It is not qualified to stand in front of Baron Marmud. Unless it is, the kid from the Muhashivza family has other bargaining chips on him. For example, the monk robe on him with the holy emblem of Kayin embroidered on it. Two envoys from the Guana Empire greeted the old duke first. Said, Your Excellency, Grand Duke, I really didn't expect to see you here. Please forgive me for a long time to greet you. As an imperial nobleman, high or low status comes first. After greeting the old duke, it is the owner of this place, Gabrish Tripwood. Good day, Your Excellency the Great Magician. We bring you the greetings from His Majesty the Emperor. Lin returned a salute and said, Please send my regards to the Emperor of your country. The envoy of Midi is just a messenger, and there is no such thing as as if I am here in person. So it is good to salute according to the identities of both parties, and of course there is no such thing as three kneeling and nine kowtows. If it's purely aristocratic exchanges, then it's naturally a hypocritical courtesy, and then some exchange activities www.mtlnovel.com will have the opportunity to inadvertently point out the theme. But Lin is a magician, even before crossing, he was still a fat man, so he doesn't care about these imaginary things. Getting to the point directly, he asked, I don't know if the two of you are here as His Majesty's special envoys, what advice do you have? After all, Efren, a brat is not as calm as Baron Mahmud. His eyes drifted wildly, unable to hide a trace of worry, and finally he asked, Where is His Royal Highness the Fourteenth Prince? Okay? Is it related to that person? Lin was puzzled, but still replied politely, His Royal Highness occasionally lives here, but most of the time he still takes his big devil's followers with him, and he doesn't know where he went. Although the Big Devil's teleportation talent is not as useful as the Flash technique, it can also be used to supplement the energy of the Box Cut Clan. So for the sake of Insidu in his hand, the Devil Prince let the Big Devil run around with him and recharge his energy by the way. During this time, he happened to be missing. After getting the answer, Efren breathed a sigh of relief. Seeing this expression, Lin guessed that the young man was intimidated by the fake mother. In short, after confirming the absence of the prince with a changeable temperament, Efren returned to his normal expression and said, Your Majesty the Great Mage, we are here to represent the wise, kind, heroic and lion-like Al His Majesty Emperor Ming Kazarnia, sincerely invites you to visit the imperial city of Nineveh in person. His Majesty the Emperor hopes to meet you in person. 
Chapter 1269, Preparing for an Audience See Efren dressed as a monk, with the holy symbol of coin on his robes. Lin asked intuitively, something related to the bank? Also, what's going on with you? Are you being punished? Although the connection between the nobles of Midi and the church is not as close as that of the European Middle Ages on Earth, there is even a faint sense of opposition. But sometimes, the church can also become a shelter or prison for the downtrodden nobles, and some minor nobles may also send their underage children to the church to study. Such a function still exists. So when this unlucky noble young man came before him with this posture, Lin's first thought was that he was punished for his last mistake. Just, what is the charge? Lin was very curious. After all, in this medieval context, there are many strange laws. However, Efren did not make a mistake. He said, Your Excellency, it was I who proposed to Your Majesty to cooperate with the Church of the Goddess of Gold Coins on the bank you mentioned. Although I have obtained the latest dogma from the Bishop of His Majesty K. Yin, but there are still quite a few things that I don't understand, and I have never obtained the permission of His Majesty the Emperor to establish a bank in the Imperial City of Nineveh. Today, I am here to invite you under the order of His Majesty, just to ask you to explain our doubts to us. Before Lin could answer, he first felt the puzzled look cast by the old prince beside him, and at the same time, he glanced at the boy from the Muhashibathai family who was wearing the monk robe of the goddess of gold coins. Lin explained, The first time I asked to see His Majesty K. Yin, I went to the shrine in the imperial city of Nineveh. This young man kindly led the way. Of course, he couldn't hear my conversation with His Majesty K. Yin. Not much, so I have an idea. I said that, right? Efren said respectfully, yes, Your Excellency the Great Mage. I have an intuition that the bank will be a very important tool in the future. The Empire cannot stay out of it and wait until the future to catch up with other people who joined in the first place. So I asked His Majesty for this opportunity hoping to preside over the bank, at least the bank in the imperial city of Nineveh. Oh, just listening to my conversation with His Majesty K. Yin, you have such an awareness. Should this be said to be reckless, or praise your very keen intuition? The young man who was praised was overjoyed and didn't know how to answer the words. On the contrary, Baron Mahmud, who was the deputy envoy, was expressionless and did not reveal any emotions. Instead. He asked, I would like to ask you, I wonder if Your Excellency the Great Magician is willing to accompany me to meet His Majesty. Lin did not answer directly, but asked, How long did it take you to come from Nineveh Imperial City? It took me XXII days to wait for the fast horse to ride. Baron Mahmud replied. Then after I arrive in the Imperial City, how long will I have to wait before I can see His Majesty the Emperor? Lin asked again. It is really necessary to meet these important people, and it often depends on their time and mood to cooperate. I've been very busy recently, so I don't want to waste my time. Baron Mahmud replied, When we return to the Imperial City, I will inform Your Majesty first. I will be able to inform Your Majesty about the time of meeting in about two to three days. But everything depends on Your Majesty's arrangement. In other words, we still have to wait. After thinking about it, Lin asked again, Do you have a way to communicate with each other? And people outside. Lin pointed to the knights waiting in the courtyard. Only now did Lin realize that the posture of this group of guests looked like they were going to take him away today. Perhaps the person who spoke was more polite, but the arrogance of the empire remained undiminished. Facing the magician's strange question, the outspoken Efren said, Yes, we all communicate through the forum. It's very fast and convenient. However, this made Baron Marmud slightly frown. The Emperor's valet, who had never changed his expression, finally changed his expression, but quickly returned to normal. In that case, Lin Yi flashed and brought Baron Mahmud to Nineveh Imperial City, in front of the gate of the palace. The personal guards stationed at the gate were valiant and heroic, 
but they turned a blind eye to the two people who suddenly appeared in front of them. Someone guessed that it was scary. Because Baron Mamet still maintained his sitting posture, Lin supported the opponent's lower back to save the Baron from falling to the ground. He turned his head and looked blankly at the environment he was in, a little unable to understand why he returned to the palace. Lin said at this time, My lord, please inform His Majesty the Emperor. When he is free and confirms the time, send a message to Efren. I will appear at this position and wait for someone to take me into the palace. As for your entourage and carriage, please inform them of their return journey. There are so many people, it is a bit troublesome to send. Okay, that's it, and then contact. After finishing speaking, leave. Baron Mahmud was still at a loss. And the guards stationed at the gate of the palace woke them up because the two of them suddenly lost one of them. The responsible team leader stepped forward and confirmed that the person left behind was the emperor's valet. Thinking of the mission of the person in front of him, he wondered, Sir Mahmud, why did you appear here? Didn't His Majesty send you to Estelai? Where is this, here? The Baron asked in a daze. In front of the palace. Do you have other matters to meet with His Majesty? No, why am I here? Well, we just got dazzled, and you appeared. How did you come here? I also want to know. After finishing speaking, the captain of the personal guard was shocked by something. Immediately put his hand on the hilt of the sword, took a half step back and asked, You are not a counterfeit, are you? A demon? Or an assassin? Come, catch him. The guards at the gates warmed up. Of course, someone who returned to the holy city of Estelai didn't know about these things. Because it happened so quickly, after Lin came back, the stunned Efren regained consciousness and hurriedly asked, Where is Baron Marmud? Where did you take him? Well, I'll ask him to go back to the imperial city first and let him report to the emperor. I'll ask him to inform you when the time is confirmed, and then you can tell me. We will gather in front of the palace gate then. As for the carriage you brought with the guards, you can tell them to go back first. Anyway, it is impossible for me to accompany you in the carriage for twenty days, all the way back to the Imperial City. I am very busy recently. Hmm. Okay. Thinking of the combat power of the magician in front of him, Efren couldn't make any strong rebuttal. It's just that he noticed that the magician in front of him was looking at him up and down, and saw that his scalp was numb. He couldn't help asking, Your Excellency, what can I do for you now? Looking at this coarse cloth robe, hemp rope is tied around the waist. If it weren't for the holy emblem of the goddess of gold coins, it would be reasonable to say that this person was born in a slum. Lin criticized, this costume is so ugly. Then he turned his head and said to the old duke next to him, Are all monks' clothes so ugly? Or is it only the goddess of gold coins whose house is particularly bad? Duke Kaiyai replied seriously, As long as it is not geared specifically for adventures, monks usually wear this kind of clothes. At this stage, they will learn about the classics and precepts of the gods by being close to the life of ascetic monks. Because they are also responsible for cleaning the environment, cooking three meals and other miscellaneous chores, they will definitely get themselves dirty, so they don't need to wear too good clothes. Unless they are going to worship or other ceremonies, they will wear more formal clothes clothing. That's right. But this is too stupid. Boy, you said you want to work in Her Majesty's bank. Lin asked. Being criticized for the costumes, Efren responded nervously, Yeah, yeah. Well, let me change your body for you. By the way, it's the price to compensate for being scared before. Lin rang the bell on the table. Soon, Kaya walked into the living room, curtsied, and asked, Teacher, you called me. Lin said, His figure is about the same as mine. Bring me the suit I made earlier and show it to him. If it doesn't fit, modify it and give it to him. If the bank in the imperial city of Nineveh can after all, it would be embarrassing for him to manage the bank in such a disheveled manner. Oh, by the way, 
is your elder sister still alive? Sister elder sister is helping sister mayor change that suit, and many elves are also helping to change their respective clothes. Do you want to find them? With a big wave of his hand, Lin said, No need, bring the things here first. Yes, teacher. Kaya stepped back. After a while, she led several male waiters back to the living room of the conference with a set of suits, paper pens, cloth rulers, and other items. At the same time, Fen, the former Devil King, and the Dark Elf Mayor came along. One was wearing a well-tailored silver-gray suit, a white shirt, and roomy trousers that accentuated the length of her long legs. Paired with a pair of flat pink-rimmed oval glasses, and that jet-black neat short hair, if it weren't for that majestic bust, the heroic Fen would probably be able to fasten eight thousands of girls. The other was wearing a navy blue formal suit, the same white shirt but a narrow knee-length skirt, and her long hair was coiled up, revealing her dark pointed long ears. It is obviously the cosplay of the intellectual O.L. on the earth, but Meyer's clothes gave off a seductive taste, which aroused the man's desire to conquer. The two stepped on high heels and walked in with a sway. It brightened the eyes of all the men present, even the old duke was no exception. This is the uniform that Lin planned to prepare for the elves who came to work in the bank. This kind of suit form www.mtlnovel.com formed in the middle of the 19th century on the earth www.mtlnovel.com In fact, it was originally the casual clothing of the nobles besides the formal dress, paying attention to functionality and reasonable on-off design. When the aristocracy declined, those expensive luxury dresses were out of fashion, and the ordinary clothes of the aristocrats gradually evolved into the formal suits of ordinary people, and they officially stood on the stage. Someone would choose such clothes as the uniform of the elves working in the bank, and also to bring some private goods to the mysterious new thing of the bank. In order not to cause people to be misunderstood by using two odd-shaped buildings for the bank, the banks are all well-built, in line with the style of lost land. But when it comes to clothing, the wood elves' uniforms are, well, wild. It is also not suitable to wear the robe of the elf. Learning how to dress human beings seems to be a waste of the beauty of elves. So Lin decided to buy something private. As for the reason for choosing a suit, it is also because the style of the suit will not be too far away from the aesthetics of Midi, but there are obvious differences. Moreover, the concise and straight lines can also bring out the ability of the bank staff. Coupled with the beautiful halo of the elf itself, it can highlight its characteristics. New things should have some new atmosphere. But it can't be deviant, which makes people daunting. With such requirements and the selected clothing types, let Fen design the elves bank uniforms. This can make the former Devil King who has been a little lazy recently burst into another wave of enthusiasm. Chapter 1270, Bank Uniform Dang Lin wanted to give away the suit he had almost finished but hadn't worn yet. Of course Fern would come out to see who the gift was for. And what they saw was a young man who, despite his sackcloth, still showed his aristocratic airs. After Fern and Mayer talked about it, they couldn't say they were surprised or disappointed, but just the feeling of knowing it. The scrutiny in his eyes certainly made the young man Evren feel uneasy. The two women in front of me are not just beautiful or gorgeous, but also carry an indescribable pressure. He had felt this kind of pressure in those ministers, even the emperor. That is the power to wantonly manipulate other people's lives in their hands. Why did you run out? Lin Ruo asked nonchalantly. You said that you want to give away the clothes I made. Of course I want to see who to give it to. After the appearance of the former Lord Demon King, his apprentices and the waiters brought by the Marquis all stood behind Fern. Ignoring the attitude of a certain magician made the status difference between the two quite obvious. It is conceivable that as long as Fen does not nod her head, her belongings cannot be given away. So Lin explained, when I asked His Majesty Kay Yin before, this kid helped a lot. And he also had the idea to take charge of the bank in the imperial city of Nineveh. This is not to find a way to help him add some style, but to replace us the uniform designed by him. Otherwise, 
it would be embarrassing to stand out when the time comes. When Fern heard this, she moved her chin, and naturally a group of people pulled Efren out to change clothes like a tiger preying on a sheep. Nor wait for young people to refuse or agree. Duke Kaiyai and the little Kayin who suddenly appeared on his shoulders circled around Fen and Myerxi several times. The old man was even more speechless and said, Not bad, really good. I don't know if they are praising the clothes or the people wearing the clothes. Little Kayin jumped onto Lin's head, patted someone's forehead and said, Is this clothes for me? Well, this is a test for someone. In fact, there was no preparation for this aspect. Lin said as an excuse, Your Majesty, these clothes are made of ordinary fabrics. Although they are considered high-end in the mortal world, they are not worthy of you as a goddess. It doesn't matter, ordinary cloth is also fine. After you get it up, I will find a way to endow it with divine power. It will be quick, and it will be fine. Is this a question of getting in the way? It's just that someone really wants to say, don't look at these two suits that look good on Fen and Mel. Thinking about how models and professional photographers showed buyers the scene of various car accidents before time travel, it would really make people who spend money feel sad. But think about it. It is not wise to say it out loud. So Lin said without hesitation, Mr. Mai, prepare a set for each of our goddesses, skirt and trousers. You can ask him for details. Okay, sir. The dark elf nodded. Fern was not idle either, and took out a lot of clothing design drawings of suits, and discussed the details with someone. Regardless of the fact that suits are formal clothing popularized by Western society on Earth, they are actually a standard set of functional clothing, and every part of the design has its own purpose and ingenuity. For example, the cuffs of a shirt must be longer than the cuffs of a suit jacket and the collar of a shirt is also higher than the collar of a suit jacket. This is to separate the suit jacket from direct contact with human skin, and of course the purpose is to reduce the number of cleanings. It is also like a vest vest in a three-piece suit. In addition to being beautiful, its real function is to adjust the wearer's figure like a women's waist or corset. It's just that men are not as self-abuse as women, and the world's evaluations are more tolerant of men. Then shoulder line, hip line, double-breasted, single-breasted, a few buttons, collar form. Don't look at the suits, which are much simpler and neater than the noble costumes. It is precisely because of the simple lines that any change will bring about a significant difference in the senses. At this time, I would recommend a set of comics, The King's Tailor, author Agawara Toshi. There is a lot of knowledge about suits in it. Thanks to someone's enhanced memory, the things he saw in the past are now vividly remembered, and he is able to deal with Finn's endless problems. Surprisingly, Duke Kavi also joined the discussion. The goddess of gold coins, Kei Yin, did not leave, and continued to watch the fun from the sidelines. I don't know if the call bill that he said before is too expensive, it doesn't count now. I thought that a warrior-type mind like Lord Kavi would be far away from the so-called fashion and fashion. But I didn't expect that there are many unique features in his vision. Comments are also very clear, not confusing. It's not like a certain cartoon, where you can taste mountains, rivers, lakes, seas, insects, fish, birds, and animals, and historical allusions with a taste of red wine. As if he noticed someone's surprised eyes. Kavi said triumphantly, What? Looking at me with such surprised eyes, can't you imagine that I can say these things? Indeed. I thought my lord was the kind of person who was incompatible with noble banquets. I didn't expect that he was also very good at matching and details of clothing. Lin said. Duke Kavi laughed and said, No, I really hate the banquets between nobles. And the empire is not like other countries I know where men and women will mix together. Among animals, when they compete for courtship, males will try their best to perform myself. And only in the same-sex environment, what do you do to dress yourself up? Selling ass. You really deserve to be a veteran fritter who got mixed up on the battlefield. After the old prince finished laughing, he continued, 
however, men's performances are not limited to the occasions of eating and drinking. On the battlefield, how to use armor to dress up as brave and majestic. Moreover, the protective performance must be good enough, not to be a flower shelf that is useless and not useful requires less thought than clothes made of these fabrics. I have been scolded by my family's magician several times, saying that the armor parts I made are too deformed. Can't be enchanted. Haha. <laughs> In this way, someone will understand. Don't think that fighters should be pure, it's meaningless to play these fancy things on the battlefield. In addition to expressing himself, what the old prince said had a very important substantive meaning behind it. As we all know, in the medieval setting of Midi, living nobles can choose to pay a ransom after being captured to buy their freedom. In fact, even death is fine, but after all, it is not as expensive as being alive. So on the battlefield, how to tell others that you are a very respectable person? It is very important not to be treated as miscellaneous soldiers by a group of farmers. After all, counting on a group of people who can't even read, it is difficult for a strong man to understand all the coats of arms of the nobles. If it is a local ruler, maybe the local people still recognize it. If not, being killed by those peasant soldiers who went to the battlefield with a pitchfork is really a waste of time. Then the best way is of course to spend some thought on the armor. Let ordinary people know at a glance that the person wearing this set of armor is not simple. In addition to knowing that they are farther away from such a person usually such a person is also highly skilled in martial arts in addition, when there is a way to take the head, they will also know to keep the other person alive, because the ransom for a living prisoner will be higher. Relatively high. The three of them didn't discuss for a long time, and Efren, who had changed his costume, reappeared in front of everyone. A neat suit matches the figure of a young man, showing a different texture besides being chic. Especially the tie on the chest, the color tone is different from that of the suit, but the unique pattern design and color bring a finishing touch to the whole suit. All of this is still very eye-catching in the aesthetic world with fancy as the main axis. At least the old duke couldn't take his eyes off after seeing it. He patted the people around him and said, Hey, kid. Lin interrupted the other party and said directly, Hey, my lord. Let me tell you, these are just clothes made of ordinary fabrics, and the tailor I use is from the Marquis of Baran. Doesn't it mean that it is your family's clothes? Manpower. You just grab a familiar one and go back, and bring over a few newbies. After you go back, you can make as many sets as you want and the high-end fabrics you want are better than mine. You can do whatever you want. What do you think? Well, you're right. The old prince agreed. After finally dismissing a covetous old man, Lin turned his head and saw Xiao Kaiyan's piercing eyes. A certain person smiled awkwardly and said, Your Majesty, you can contact Mayor directly for these matters. She must have all the designs over there, after all they are the ones who mainly wear them. Was thrown out of work again. With an innocent expression on his face, Mayer nodded in agreement. After Efren appeared, Lin also stepped forward and circled around to look at this neat young man. It's just that his admiring gaze is different from other people's, but he picks out the faults in the clothes. The suit wasn't made for Efren, it was meant to be worn by himself. It's just that the two are similar in stature so they brought it to this young man. Since they are only similar in stature, it is inevitable that there are some differences that need to be adjusted. Lin is the tailor www.mtlnovel.com of the Marquis of Balin to record these things that should be revised. By the time the circle was completed, more than a dozen revision points had been recorded scatteredly. Finally walk back to the front of Evren and adjust the costume for the nervous lad. Pointing to the tie in particular, he said, it's not difficult to put on this suit, but you need to learn how to tie the tie. Your family is also a nobleman, so I will give you this suit of clothes. You can make a few more sets in this style when you go back. Dot when you work in the bank, you just wear this outfit, it looks more energetic than your original linen clothes. Girl, where are the things? When Kaya heard her teacher calling, 
she stepped forward and took out a small mahogany box from her pocket, which looked quite delicate. After opening, there are several rows of silver collar badges engraved with the holy emblem of the gold coin goddess. The size of the nail cover, the carving is quite meticulous, and exudes a faint holy light. Pinning the badge of General Lin on Efren's left collar, he said, this is the holy emblem that has been blessed by His Majesty Kei Yin's divine power. I will give you one together. If you want to use the family's coat of arms, or if you have any special badges, use the same method to pin them on your body. Don't randomly embroider them on your clothes. Only then did Efren notice that the woman in the trousers didn't have any markings on her collar. But another dark elf in a dress, besides the holy emblem of the goddess of gold coins, also has a collar badge belonging to the Turtle Dove Alliance. It was a very rare three-feathered bird with silver lines on a black background. And the third one is a ridiculous little collar badge like a monkey's head. Chapter 1271, The New Atmosphere of the Kingdom of God This is the third time I have come to the Kingdom of the Goddess of Gold Coins. This small world that was originally a labyrinth palace has become completely different from before. The palace is still the main scene, but the original maze wall is gone, replaced by four ponds in front, back, left, and right. Instead of water in the pond, there are four coins. On the front is gold key, on the left is silver key, on the right is copper key, and on the back are old coins. In the Kingdom of God, there are constantly old coins coming from the mortal world through the money flow network jointly constructed with World Tree. From the sky above the pond at the back, it fell into the pond in an endless stream. The coins that fell into the old money pool were continuously digested from bottom to top, turning into hot, bubbling molten metal. This kind of metal paste, which is all fused together regardless of material, must be rated as useless if it is on the earth. But in the kingdom of the goddess of gold coins, the three main precious metals will be poured into the ponds on the other three sides along the pipelines on the ground. However, what flows into the coin pools on the other three sides from the mouth of the pipe is not the original metal paste, but the new version of coins. One by one, with a crisp knocking sound, they fell into the pool of coins. That sound was not a tinkling sound, but a sound like someone remembered in some Hollywood movies about casino scenes in which the characters played slot machines and won the jackpot, and coins were spit out continuously. It was a clattering sound, as if it had no end, and those who listened could only feel happy. In Kayin's Kingdom of God, this is the case. Coins are like water, when you turn on the faucet, it will flow out. And there is not only one faucet, but three, one each of gold, silver, and copper. But in the gold, silver, and copper coin pools of Kayin, there is only a thin layer at the bottom of the pool. Even in some places, the floor at the bottom of the pool can still be seen. This is because at this stage, the vast majority of bank users are temporarily targeting the currency exchange function. The old coins are withdrawn immediately after they are deposited in, leaving only the decimal part that is not allowed to be withdrawn and the storage fee charged by the goddess of gold coins. As for the disassembled variegated metal ingots among the old coins, they were piled up on the edge of the old money pool like bricks. Like a dividing line, it separated the kingdom of Kian from the endless void. The new kingdom of the goddess of gold coins has a much closer border than the original one, and the edges of the coin pools on all sides are the new borders. This means that the new kingdom of God is smaller than the old kingdom of God by more than a star and a half. The size of the kingdom of God, to some extent, represents the strength of the gods. But Kayin's kingdom of God became smaller, but instead made a qualitative change in his divine power. During the first two visits, Lin only felt as if he was surviving in an environment of thin air. This time, he felt that he was in a hyperbaric oxygen environment. Both are less enjoyable and both are physically taxing. Fortunately, the current self doesn't look like a pure human being anymore, and he can still adapt to such a deformed environment. Hmm. Is this something to be thankful for? The Grand Duke Kavi, who had just arrived, 
looked at everything in the kingdom of God with the eyes of a country bumpkin entering the city, especially the border separating the kingdom of God from the void. This border wall is densely covered with the secret lines used by World Tree, and serves as the core end of the money flow network throughout the lost land. But most people probably can't see the content of the secret lines, but see the image formed by the secret lines. Those were mortals from the mortal world, in front of Kayin's great sacred emblem, praying with all their heart, and communicating with the goddess of gold coins. Their voices, the desires they prayed for in their hearts, all turned into buzzing sounds like bees, and spread into the divine kingdom of the goddess of gold coins. As long as I focus on a certain image, I seem to be able to face the character in the picture and hear his wish. This wonderful feeling was an unprecedented experience for the old duke. He could only admire the mighty power of the gods in his heart, and gradually got lost in these innumerable voices as if it was irresistible. Crack! Crack! The applause of the goddess of gold coins broke the old duke's obsession in time and brought him back to consciousness. Kayin said, Old boy, don't be in a daze, come here. Saying this in her mouth, the goddess of gold coins stared straight at the magician who made herself ugly several times. He himself has been indulging in this powerful will and belief several times, and feels that as long as he devotes himself to it, he will be able to obtain endless power. But in the end, for someone's request, Kayin tried his best to maintain himself, and did not fall into this honey-like torrent of consciousness. Such power, even the gods will be addicted to it let alone human beings. The demeanor of the old prince has already shown that he is still a member of the mortals. But the magician didn't. With a calm expression, he studied this new kingdom of God alone. In fact, in Lin's eyes, those images were directly ignored by him, and what he saw were the secret patterns belonging to the world tree. In order not to allow himself to subconsciously decipher the results constructed by these world trees, Lin restrained his eyes very much and looked elsewhere. I'm afraid that if I stare at it for a long time, I will be able to interpret these things smoothly. After all, I have a foundation for the secret pattern knowledge of the world tree. Maybe the things in front of me are more complicated, but Lin believes that it is only a matter of time before he can interpret them. However, the magician did not immerse himself in the power that does not belong to mortals as expected. Kayin was a little disappointed. But this time the target is not him, but the great nobleman of the Guana Empire whom he has placed high hopes on. The halfling goddess put on a rare kind smile and said, The mortal who wants to make a contract with me, please report your own name. The old prince who had recovered himself was stunned again. Originally, when he saw Xiao Kayin, because he was only a clone of a god, and he didn't know how small it was, he didn't think much about it. Now seeing the deity, he finally confirmed that this is not an ordinary human, but a halfling. Raising his trembling fingers and looking at the magician beside him, Duke Kaiyi asked suspiciously, Your Majesty Kay Yin. Lin Wei nodded. And out of the corner of his eyes, he noticed that the halfling goddess began to show displeasure. It seems that the old duke offended the goddess inadvertently. However, Judging from the fact that the old man was not crushed to death on the spot, things should not be at their worst yet. Also aware of my faux pas. Duke Kaiyi I saluted respectfully, and greeted, Your Majesty Kayin is in front. This is a courtesy that the old man has not used for a long time. The current Lord Kavi, even in the face of the Emperor, has never lowered his head so low. If you meet in private, even if you don't overstep the rules, you won't beg for mercy like a dog. But that was the practice before offending people. As an extraordinary person, of course it is impossible for him to have bad eyesight. As a great nobleman, he can be considered a qualified human being. How could he not know that he offended God with the question just now, and this person obviously minded? There is a saying that a good man does not suffer from immediate losses, and don't treat gods as gods so the old duke bowed his head. Now that the other party has shown his attitude, and he has indeed used the other party's place, Kayin will not chase after such trivial matters. With a wave of his hand, he asked the old prince to come forward. 
At the same time, he raised the height of the chair, barely making himself level with the head of the person in front of him. The goddess of gold coins said, Old boy, I think you also know what the electorate is all about. I don't assign you tasks, but at least your own territory must be clear and clear, and the speed should be faster. Is that okay? It is a question, but in fact there is not much questioning tone. It is said that there is no assignment of tasks, but in fact, they have also put forward their own requirements. But these things have long been planned. Of course, Duke Kaiyai has no reason to refuse, so he salutes and agrees. Kayin didn't talk nonsense, and closed his eyes to concentrate. A ray of white light was pulled out from between his brows like a silk thread. When more and more white threads were pulled out, they began to tangle in front of the goddess forehead, rolling into a light spot the size of a grain of rice. Although the form is not the same as the seed of voters received by someone at the beginning, Lin has a feeling that this seed is only higher, not worse than the one he got. Is this because Kayin's strength has improved during this period of time, or is it because he is condensed in his own kingdom of God, so his appearance is different? Someone does not know. Duke Ricardo Carvi, as an extraordinary man of the warrior system, didn't think as much as someone thought. He let go of his mind directly and accepted the seed of the goddess. The entanglement of concentrated divine power immediately let go of his own restraint, and poured the divine power of the goddess of gold coins into every corner of Kaiya Gong's body. The activated divine power transforms the bodies of mortals. And the higher the upper limit of the body, the more benefits you will get. This is a concept similar to that of martial arts, which strengthens the physique of the recipient of the seed of the elect. It even restored some youth to the old duke's appearance. Although he didn't return to his 19-year-old appearance, his grey hair returned to the reddish-brown colour of the old duke when he was young. In the end, the remaining bit of divine essence connected the old duke's mind with the kingdom of the goddess. The knowledge and information belonging to the goddess, all the parts that mortals can understand, the old prince also understood at this moment www.mtlnovel.com It feels like a part of the goddess resides in his body. These kinds of benefits are not enjoyed by someone who is also a goddess's elect. Because Lin used redundant methods to restrain the seed of voters, he only got a proof of identity authentication. I will do this because what I gain must be lost. When Duke Kavi gained power and the knowledge of the goddess, he also exchanged his own freedom and information, which is equal. At the same time, it also means that in the future, if the voters part ways with the goddess, they will definitely lose the power they gained today. This will allow people to think more about whether to give up their voter status, instead of making a rash decision. A certain lazy magician may not have known the gains and losses after accepting all the voters' certificates at that time, but subconsciously made a choice to protect himself first. But even if he knew, he probably would have made the same choice. Lin doesn't mind relying on the charity of others to gain some kind of powerful power. But if this power can be retrieved by others at any time, then I'm sorry, this kind of situation where fate is in the hands of others is not what he wants. So even if the old duke showed signs of rejuvenation, even in perception, his strength had improved a lot. Lin still didn't have any idea about the seed of the voters sealed on the back of his left hand. Chapter 1272, Stretch Strategy Among the gifts from the goddess of gold coins, the improvement of strength is not the biggest gain of Duke Kevi. At his current status, it is enough to be strong enough to protect himself and there are not many opportunities to really fight with others, let alone rely on such actions to gain fame. On the one hand, it is also because there will be too many chores other than martial arts, which will involve my mind and time. If you want to climb to the top with your hard work, you probably have to give up other things. Besides, as a Grand Duke, being able to reach the realm of a transcendent is enough to prove that Ricardo Carvi's aptitude is extraordinary. How many nobles hope to transcend the primitive life level, but they can't get a longer lifespan? However, what really made the Grand Duke feel that it was worth the money was that he knew the layout of the bank from the knowledge of the goddess. 
including the Jinliu network is not born by the goddess alone, but supported by the world tree. This also solved a major doubt of the old prince. World tree is difficult to deal with, which is widely recognized. Regardless of how the goddess of gold coins hooked up with world tree, just looking at the investment and layout, the old duke felt that the bank matter was promising. In fact, just like on the earth, one basis for judging whether a company is worth investing in is how much the company's boss has invested himself. If the boss, the partners and the employees all put all their energy into the company, no matter what business they do, such a company can at least look forward to its future. If the boss only wants to collect money, he keeps emptying the company and putting it in his purse. No matter how promising the project operated by this company is, it is estimated that it will not last long. In the same way, in order to gain more power of faith, the gods performed all kinds of unlimited operations. For nobles at the level of the Grand Duke, it is no surprise that those things are done even if they are done in a hidden way. Therefore, it is normal for the goddess of gold coins to work hard. But if even the world tree is willing to cooperate, and even use the elves under their command as chips and invest in it. With such a strong support, this kind of thing no longer needs to consider whether it can be done, but should consider how high it will reach. In addition, the magician is also in it, as the main promoter. Thinking about the successful precedent of the car, the old duke became more determined in his team betting this time. Hee <laughs> hee, there are 27 high seats, and the only one who is the last seat of human beings. Looking sideways at someone, he saw a certain magician's scalp tingle. The old prince was astonished at such information. He thought that the magician in front of him should have a higher achievement, not just a mathematician, or a magician who claimed to be the best at running away. But he never thought that he had already made achievements that ordinary people could not reach in places where many people could not notice. The high seat insider of the Turtle Dove Alliance is no secret to the nobles, but the speed of updating the information is very disappointing. At least in the old duke's perception, he thought that the high seats of the Turtle Dove Alliance were just the eleventh in the past. Who knew that the number has more than doubled now, and there is one more human and one more god? Lin scratched his face in embarrassment and smiled, not knowing how to explain it. But this kind of thing is not worth publicizing everywhere or talking about it every time. I am also helpless. The old duke didn't pursue the embarrassment of a certain magician, because he returned to thinking about the layout of the bank that had been unfolded. Banks don't just start with the holy city of Estelai. The other five starting locations are the five existing elven kingdoms in Midi. Moreover, these five elf kingdoms are not just about developing and promoting banking business. Instead, with the help of the goddess of gold coins, the reform of the kingdom's currency was carried out directly. The elves' requirements for perfection and art make them have critical requirements in everything they do, and coinage is no different. It can be said that every time an elf coin is made, the cost paid exceeds the value of the coin itself. So in the later period, the elf kingdom no longer minted its own coins, but used the circulating coins of the human world. And because the social habits of elves are quite different from those of humans, it doesn't take much money as a medium of exchange to support the economic volume of a kingdom. It is mainly used for foreign transactions. However, the elven kingdom is relatively closed, and the projects and scale of foreign transactions are not large. Even the economic size of the entire kingdom is not even as good as some human nobles who are good at business. So instead of pushing the elven commoners to use Kayin's new coins and make them circulate, it is better to reform the kingdom's currency directly from top to bottom. The appearance of gold, silver, and copper Kayin already conforms to the aesthetics of elves. So in use, there will be no elf rejection. Not to mention that bad money can be cleared and exchanged for ordinary coins at a ratio of almost one to one. If it is fine money and good coins, it can be exchanged in increments. The benefits that ordinary people can see, of course, the elf kings can also see clearly. The elven kingdom even required all merchants who wanted to trade with them to exchange their coins into His Majesty Kayin's new money before proceeding with the settlement. 
This is because the transactions at the national level in the past involved a huge amount of money, and it was inevitable that the elves would receive some bad money and bad coins. If it is discovered during the transaction, of course the merchant will be required to change the coins used. Even so, there are still a lot of bad money that is only discovered when it is put into the warehouse and has to be stored separately. But when using coins, the elves' pride prevents them from mixing bad coins into ordinary coins. So these bad money and bad coins have actually become a burden on the kingdom. Not to mention the behavior of mixing bad money, it also invisibly causes losses to the other party of the transaction. Therefore, it is an act of self-protection for the elf kingdom to require merchants to exchange first and then settle with new coins. After all, their environment is not like the holy city of Estelai, or the Guana Empire, where good money is the main currency in circulation. There is almost no chance of running around the old coins in other people's hands so that you can make an extra fortune. For those merchants who trade with the elf kingdom, such a change in national policy cannot be said to be good or bad. The special products of the elven kingdom are already quite popular in the outside world. The reason why they were able to establish a trading channel with the elven kingdom was mostly because they inherited the blessings of their ancestors or spent great efforts to get through the joints. Everything is hard won, and it is impossible to stop and stop. In the past, they wanted to obtain better profits. In addition to increasing the price of external sales, they wanted to find ways to reduce the purchase cost of the elven kingdom. Crying for the poor and lowering the price is a routine matter. It is already the best effort to mix some bad money in the coins once in a while. If this kind of is done too blatantly, and the kingdom directly cancels their trading qualifications, it will make people want to cry without tears. Now that it is required to exchange currency, although it takes extra effort, the bad currency will be exchanged at a reduced price, and a storage fee will be charged. But what businessmen are best at is careful calculation. Those who are quick-witted and use mathematics to make an account and find that doing so is profitable, no one complains. With the national policy of the Elven Kingdom as a lesson, Duke Kawi's mind became more active and he moved his thoughts to other places. The ban of His Majesty the Emperor seems to be not helping each other, but it is actually a pressure. When the duchy suspends business and trade with other territories, is there a way to sustain it for a long time? Of course not. Now that the two Grand Dukes are holding on and not going to war, maybe the old emperor thought that his thoughts were well conveyed to his confidants. When everyone can't hold on anymore, the war will either break out suddenly, and everyone will be smashed into a piece of dirt, or the war will be over and no one will mention revenge. Taking care of the emperor's face and reputation, everyone has a step down, that would be great. But the so-called ban actually only prohibits other nobles of the empire from having relations with the two grand dukes, there is no way to prohibit other countries. The reason why the so-called grand duke is crowned big is that apart from having a larger territory than ordinary dukes, the biggest feature is that the grand duke must be located on the border of the empire. Because the duty of the Grand Duke is to guard the frontier. In the history of the Guana Empire, if the territory of the Empire expanded and the Grand Duke became the heartland, then the Grand Duke would be transferred to the border. Then the scope of the territory increases. Without such an exchange, how could these military heroes agree to give up their long established territory and change to a place where they are not familiar with each other? And to the north of the Duchy of Kevi, there are three kingdoms that are almost weak in strength, and more noble territories that do not belong to the Guana Empire. These people are not affected by the ban of the emperor of their own empire. You can't do business with other nobles in the empire, so why can't you do business with these little nobles from other countries? If you want to invade them, maybe these small countries will stick together to resist their invasion. Not to mention that the enmity between the Lisa family and him has not yet ended. If there is a war on both sides, he will not be able to get cheap if he uses troops again. But not aggression, only business. The products of the empire and the special products in its own territory are all good things that the surrounding small countries pursue. The reason why they didn't sell them in the past was that on the one hand, 
they could digest their own production capacity internally, and on the other hand, they looked down on those small countries and thought they were not qualified to use their own good things. Now that I am willing to sell it, these small countries will only be grateful. The benefits of trading with the surrounding small countries www.mtlnovel.com 1. Solve the problem of backlog of production capacity in the territory and expand financial resources. Second, take the opportunity to promote the bank, and at the same time strengthen the influence of Duke Carvey's family. 3. Earn a fortune from the exchange opportunities of fine money and bad money from these small countries. The third point can be said to be the focus of promoting the old Duke's trade with these small countries. Sending troops to rob will involve your own energy and military strength, which is not cost effective. But if you sell some rubbish, the price will increase when you sell it abroad, and you can earn a fortune from the currency exchange, which is equivalent to peeling two layers of skin from a cow, so why not do it? And the extra money earned may not necessarily be kept in his own hands. You can hire the troops of these small countries or foreign nobles, even if they can't face the private army attacking Lisa's house and harass the border of Lisa. As long as they hang their own flags, they are their own mercenaries, and these small countries don't have to worry about being settled by the emperor. With the help of the general trend of the bank, these small countries can be firmly tied to their chariots, and they cannot easily get off and change camps. Perhaps this kind of thing can only be done in the short term, and the nobles of these small countries will eventually find out the tricks in the currency exchange, and it will not last long. But these are all extra advantages, if you don't know how to use them, you will simply lose your Grand Duke title in vain. The more he thought about it, the hotter the old prince became. Chapter 1273, Dae Gong's Strategic Change your Majesty K. Yin. After sorting out his thoughts, Lord Kai I said, although I obtained the status of voter for the bank in the dukedom. But if I want to promote the bank to other places, you will not object bar. Although it sounded like a good thing, K. Yin did not directly agree. Instead, he raised his chin and said, it feels like a temporary idea. Well, tell me, what do you think? The old duke patted the shoulder of a certain magician who shrank himself into a ball, hoping that his sense of existence would be less than bacteria, and the old duke said, Hey, Xiao Gai, do me a favor and go to the map. All right. As a tool person also recognized. Just take your attention away from yourself anyway. Someone who accepted his fate followed the old man's instructions and directly opened a lost map of the world with a whiteboard pen. Just about to speak, the eloquent old duke was taken aback for a moment. Glancing at someone, pointing at the map and saying, Zoom in around my territory, mostly northward. Not to mention, directly adjust the map scale as required. It's just that the old man focuses on the north of the Duchy of Kevi. What is he trying to do? Someone thought. When the map was in place, Lord Kaiyai gave an overview of the idea that had just surfaced. Of course, the emphasis is on drawing lessons from the experience of the Elf Kingdom and promoting various functions of the bank while utilizing foreign commercial trade. The only difference from the Kingdom of Elves is that although the Elves have unique specialties, they are at a disadvantage in terms of political power. After all, this is the age of human beings. But the Grand Duke of Kevi is completely different. Perhaps the production of the duchy relies on the technology of the empire, and the quality is much better than other small countries, but it is not yet irreplaceable. However, as the Grand Duke of the Empire, his political status is not at the same level as that of the Elf Kingdom. The Elven Kingdom can only affect the private chambers of commerce that trade with them, but the Grand Duke of Kevi can directly influence the kings and nobles of other countries. The former is just another form of nobility, belonging to the capital level. But the banks promoted by the latter are really likely to touch all aspects. The two are completely different levels. As for the strategic arrangement for employing soldiers from other countries in the future, the old duke ignored it. First, that is not the point, and second, it may not be possible. Although Mitty has a tradition of mercenaries, 
the Mercenary Guild is a large organization comparable to the Adventurer's Guild. But the employment of an organized army like this is not just a matter of money. What is the political environment, what is the strength of the enemy and the enemy, the balance of victory and defeat, and the impact after the war? There are many factors that will affect other nobles or kingdoms. Think about whether to send the army you have cultivated into a battlefield that does not belong to you. After all, if these soldiers died, they would have to take care of them themselves, and no one would want to join a war that they must lose. Of course, the old duke couldn't ask superficially that if other countries or nobles want to open banks, they must send troops to fight for themselves. Not to mention that other nobles will not agree, the goddess in front of me will not be able to pass. If the bank is indeed set up, it will be successfully activated. Later, because of the close business relationship between the two parties, they enthusiastically sent troops to sponsor and besiege the Lisa family together. This is the attitude and intention of a king or nobleman, and no one can fault it. After listening to the old prince's thoughts, Kay Yin was also unambiguous, and asked several questions in succession. After all, it has only been a few hundred years since he became a god, and he has not been so alienated from the things in the world that he has completely forgotten them. Between the nobles of the empire and the nobles of the kingdom, as long as the titles are the same, they are equal in name, but in fact, the nobles belonging to the empire always feel that they are superior. Will such an attitude become an obstacle for the bank? Now for Kay Yin it is to find a way to build a bank with the help of local forces. However, these additional boosts cannot be turned into resistance in turn. Therefore, in all layouts, Goddess of Gold Coins looks bold, but is actually cautious. He is not afraid of anyone trying to kick him away, reaching out to control the bank. God is irreplaceable, if there is such an idea and the existence of this strength, it is a direct fight against God or the kind of fight to death. Mortals are not eligible to enter this game. I'm afraid that these local snakes will do something to disgust people. Blocking the door is just the least popular method, Kay Yin can come up with thousands of ways just by turning his head. If it is used by others, even if he is a god, he may have to swallow these boring losses. Fortunately, my newly selected voter is pretty reliable when it comes to things. At least what the old boy said was a set of things, and after listening to it at first, he couldn't hear any flaws. As long as his ability to do things is as good as his mouth, there is no need to impose any restrictions on the other party. It is really only a trivial matter for him to extend the power of the construction bank beyond the dukedom, and Kay Yin wished that more people would do it for him. As for whether the old duke had any other plans behind it saying no would be too insulting to the IQ of a certain magician and goddess. It's just that Lin couldn't see the strategic layout behind the old duke. At most, he guessed that the old man would think of ways to fight his own war. When the old duke first came this morning, he wanted to drag someone into his muddy water inside and out. With his little thoughtfulness, it's really hard for others to guess wrong. But it's none of my business. Although Kay Yin didn't turn around and think about the war the old duke was facing, he also didn't think that such a big nobleman would be so kind and only help him promote the layout of the bank and new coins, but not reap his own benefits from it. But so what? Since there was no major mistake in the early consideration, this old boy will not cause any harm to attract disgusting people. Then after that, it was just using the influence of the bank and money to instruct those little kings or little nobles to do things. If this is still not released, then do you really need others to do things for the goddess by? As a god, how could he be so naive? Under the tacit agreement of everyone, the old duke's proposal was approved. In fact, all subsequent efforts will be made by the old man himself, without any effort from others. The other one just kept silent and didn't hold back the old man. Or when things are about to be completed, it's just a helping hand, which doesn't take much effort. This kind of human favor that goes along with the flow, no gain, no gain, everyone gets what they need. When the one Shen one old discussion is completed, the most urgent thing is none other than the Grand Duke of Kaiyai. On his side, 
there are thousands of plans to unfold, to give orders, and to find someone to fill in the details. In all aspects, it is not a self-employed individual who works alone, who can raise a gun with a slap on the forehead. Anyway, Kayin's kingdom of God didn't spare any food. After the old duke caught a certain magician and returned to the holy city of Estelai using the flash technique, he hurriedly grabbed his attendant who was worried and stunned, and jumped onto the ground. To order a car, step on the gas pedal. Thanks to the development of the automobile industry, the old duke specially ordered people to build a road from the Duke of Kevi to the holy city of Estelai to accommodate the traffic of cars. Now, taking advantage of this spacious road and the still sparse traffic flow, the elderly can use this dirt road as a highway, kick the accelerator to the end, and return to their territory in half a day. It's just that, the most courageous young man sitting on the passenger seat who is called the family waiter, a heart is about to jump out of his mouth. What's especially frightening is that when encountering a monster or wild beast blocking the road, the old prince didn't step on the brakes, and directly activated the car's brutal collision magic, smashing the big guy blocking the road to pieces. Until the car drove into the Kevi family's castle, there were still a few pieces of meat and blood that was about to be dried by the wind on the hood. Lord Kaii threw the car to the attendant who was in charge of taking care of it, entered the main castle and yelled, Noonan, Noonan. Where are you? The old prince moved quickly and shouted eagerly. The waiters did not dare to delay, and someone who knew said, My lord, Marquis Falshid is in the study. Understood. On this side, Duke Kevi quickly moved towards the study. On the other side, other servants went to inform the Grand Duke's first heir, his eldest son, Marquis Nanan Falshid, who was staying in the study to handle official duties. It wasn't that there was any filth between father and son, it was just a normal notification from the Grand Duke after he returned to the castle. The only thing that is not normal is that the hale and hearty old man seems to have become younger. Especially the white hair, which has returned to the reddish-brown that is the symbol of the Kevi family. If it weren't for this person wearing the Grand Duke's costume, and his voice and voice still had the same old taste, everyone in the castle would have to wonder who this person who was yelling at the top of his voice was. The same confusion also happened to Marquis Noonan Falshid. When he saw the person who broke into the study, he almost told him to get out, he even wanted to call his own guards to arrest the person who broke into the confidential place. But even if his father became younger, how could he not recognize him? In addition, someone notified himself that the old prince had returned. The idea of rejuvenation may be too exaggerated www.mtlnovel.com but in the magical world of Midi, resurrection after death is enough. Rejuvenation is not impossible. So Marquis Falshid asked tentatively, Father. Hey, kid, get your pen and paper ready, I have a lot of things to explain. Also, tell all the stewards to gather with the nobles staying in the castle. We have a big move to take. The old prince snapped talking. Father, is this going to war? Marquis Falshid thought of the most important event in the family recently. It's just the timing of the war, as the old duke has said before. But now is not the time to start the war as mentioned before. No, it's not a war. It's more important than that. Let the of the Lisa family live for a while. What I'm going to do now may be related to the development of the family in the next 100 years, or even 200 years. Although Marquis Noonan Farhid felt at a loss, he still informed everyone according to his father's instructions. At the same time, he thought to himself, didn't he rush to the holy city of Estelai to meet the magician because of the bank? There is a big move when you come back. What happened? The next communication time between father and son. Rao is the Marquis of Falshid, as the Duke's first in-line heir. He is not only well informed, but also has enough heights to examine everything, but this heir, who is no longer young, is still terrified. Chapter 1274, Grand Duke Abdicates Grand Duke Ricardo Carvi stood on the high platform of the conference hall, looking down at the gathered vassals and family stewards. 
There is a huge mirror hanging on the wall on the other side, and on the other side of the mirror are the generals staying in the Western Army camp. The camp gathered three legions that were preparing to attack the Lisa family's territory, and they continued to train. There is a large army assembled, of course it is impossible to have no one in control, so most of the young generals under the Kaii family stay in the camp, eating and living with the soldiers. The veterans stayed in the castle, designing an attack plan. These people belong to the political and military team of Grand Duke Kevi. In fact, with the scale of the Grand Duchy, if there is no emperor on it, it is no problem to establish a kingdom. But as the frontier ministers of the empire, the Kaii family certainly cannot rashly claim the king, which is no different from betrayal. But even if you don't claim the title of king, the team that governs the territory is arranged according to the kingdom system. However, in order to avoid taboo titles, titles such as some minister are not used, and of course there is no prime minister or similar positions. Now these people are whispering and whispering. If it weren't for the fact that most people here have seen the appearance of Duke Kevi when he was young, and the heir Marquis Falshid was standing aside, perhaps many people would not be able to understand that the middle-aged man with short reddish-brown wavy hair why did Nian stand before the throne of the Grand Duke. But besides confirming each other now, they are just waiting for the adult to speak. In fact, until the vassals gathered, the old duke and his son were still exchanging views. In other words, the son is persuading his father. Regrettably, regardless of seniority, status, or even strength gap, when Grand Duke Kevi had an idea, he was not so easily persuaded. In the end, Marquis Falshid, who was powerless to persuade, took a small half-step back. I can only let my father play it. My friend. The old prince scanned the crowd. Regardless of literature and martial arts, many of them are comrades in arms who lived and died with him on the battlefield. The first thing, I will hand over all my noble titles, and my son, Noonan, will inherit them all. This declaration, of course, caused an uproar among the people. The most important thing about the title of nobility is not the meaning represented by the name, but the fief ruling power represented by the title. This is why those honorary nobles who have no fiefs are not accepted by some old noble circles. In addition to the fact that most honorary nobles do not have hereditary rights, one of the reasons is that they do not have any real assets. Generally speaking, apart from being deprived of the title of nobility, only real death will terminate its rights. Few of them voluntarily handed over during their lifetime and were inherited by the first heir. Because doing so means that the original nobles gave up the right to rule the territory and hand it over to the heirs. In the history of Midi, there have been cases of title inheritance during his lifetime. Most of the former nobles made irreparable political mistakes, so they used this method to seek the forgiveness of the lord and the continuation of the family. A very small number of special cases are rarely seen in history books. Anyway, it is rare to see someone voluntarily giving up power. Therefore, the old duke's actions seem to be abdicating, seeking his majesty's forgiveness, and cancelling the recent efforts that everyone had made together. Speaking of which, the grand duke's family raised the blood flag to take revenge on another grand duke. Although everyone did not object to this matter from the beginning, they did not accept it with pleasure. However, as a vassal, the humiliation of the emperor is like their humiliation, the nobles have a good face, and it is impossible to let go of this kind of thing. Besides, Lord Kaii didn't hide the reason for raising the blood flag from his cronies, but just warned everyone not to publicize it. The son and his wife were killed, and the daughter-in-law and granddaughter were insulted. If there is no revenge, then everyone has to consider whether to change the family. As a feudal monarch, he has no blood, not only can't protect his family, but he can't take revenge for it. Then everyone will think about whether such a lord can protect himself. Between the lost monarch and his subjects, obligations are relative. There is no such thing as the king wants the minister to die, and the minister has to die. So even if everyone was slightly dissatisfied with the matter of raising the blood flag to another grand duke, no one publicly criticized it, 
and they did their best to prepare for the battle. Everyone knows that if one day they become the sufferer, their own inaction today may become the inaction of others tomorrow. This is why they gathered under the banner of the Kavi family. However, is the Grand Duke cowardly? Planning to beg the Emperor for mercy? Thinking that the investment in the early preparations may be in vain, and even more concessions will be made. After being bitten by the Lisa family, no one can calmly view the news that the Grand Duke intends to abdicate. There was no riot on the spot, it was because everyone cultivated enough, and because Ricardo Cavi Highway was deeply rooted in the hearts of the people. Looking at the old fellows below, although he didn't object or question, the old duke couldn't see the resentment on his face. He was in a particularly good mood, and after appreciating everyone's expressions, he continued, The reason why I decided to abdicate is because I have become a voter of the goddess of gold coins and the bank affairs have been settled. The old man who had become younger said, while raising his right hand, showing the holy emblem of Kayin, which is usually invisible on the back of the hand, but will emit a little bit of divine power after a little effort. This is proof of obtaining voter status. Ordinary believers, no matter how pious they are, may not be able to be blessed and leave stigmata on their bodies. This is the privilege of special people. Looking at the holy emblem, everyone was a little confused now. Is this a good thing, or a bad thing? The old prince waved his hand and said, Map. Then an attendant quickly delivered two maps and spread them out in front of everyone. One is a large map of the northern border of the empire, including the territory of the Kavi family and the Lisa family. The other is a map of the Duchy of Kavi and its surroundings. Everyone is quite familiar with the second picture, including when using troops, they know which roads can be marched. What's more special is that there are more than ten positions marked with red ink on the picture. Each of these locations is a city, or at least a town of strategic importance. This is also the location where everyone had discussed before and planned to set up the bank. The old duke glanced at Marquis Noonan Falshad, and the son couldn't help but slander, even if his father really gave up the title of duke, with his strength and prestige, he still has a firm grasp on the title of duke. Control. In his opinion, it's a thing to take off your pants and fart. But Marquis Falshad could still tell what that look meant. When the son recognized his identity, he repeated the arrangement that his father had said before in front of everyone. The content includes the construction location of the bank, which cannot be placed in the castle, and it is best to be placed close to the lively market. How to decorate the interior. By the way, I also used the big water mirror technique to show a few interior renderings of the bank built by someone in the holy city of Estelai. The main building of the bank should be constructed in accordance with the above requirements very clearly. After everything was completed, Lord Kavi, who had become the elector of the goddess, consecrated the great holy emblem of each bank in person. If you can't meet the requirements, you may even violate some prohibited items. At that time, not to mention consecrating the holy emblem, I'm afraid there will be divine punishment. In the holy city, there are many magicians and ordinary people who have been struck by lightning. Every time you chop, everyone will have a long memory. Otherwise, there will always be people who think that they can act cheaply and do not follow the rules. This part was discussed before. What Marquis Falshad conveyed was nothing more than the final plan proposed in combination with the goddess request. So no one has an opinion. But what really shocked everyone was that the construction of the bank actually went beyond the territory of the Kavi family and extended northward beyond the Guana Empire. Moreover, it also included three small countries in the north and five towns with a large population. Everyone was puzzled, and someone finally asked, My lord. What is the purpose of your arrangement? That is not within the scope of the duke's territory. I know. The old duke replied, and at the same time ordered three old subordinates who had already been knighted, and said, The territory of the three of you is close to the border, and you have experience in dealing with those people from the past. Today I will I give you a task, which is to reopen the trade with the north. Originally because of the emperor's ban, the stagnant internal trading of goods in the empire, 
select some unimportant ones to sell to the North. In addition to guiding them to use the function of the bank, we must also sell their inventory bad money and fine money are searched out. Before they react, use the difference in bank currency exchange to make a fortune. As for bad money, use at least half of it. With that said, everyone will understand. It is said that from the very beginning, the Kaiyai family, a noble family that favors military merit, will actively look for ways to open the banking function. In addition to being baptized by cars, people are more likely to accept new things, and the advantage of exchanging coins is also to persuade some old and stubborn people who are not so flexible, which is a very useful starting point. Take the bad money and go to the bank to exchange coins. These damaged or impurity coins can be exchanged for 0.6 to 0.7 new coins. You must know that inside the empire, when they have to use bad money, most people use half of it www.mtlnovel.com, that is, two bad money is used as one fine money. The exchange gap in the middle is enough to make the veteran nobles flock to it. After all, who doesn't have such a pity to throw away at home? piled up with land-occupied garbage. Today, the business and banking layout of the Grand Duke made everyone realize that those weak countries and nobles around them who were selectively ignored and forgotten were actually a breach of the emperor's ban. Not only can you digest internal unsaleable goods, but you can also use the opportunity of currency exchange to make more money. Enrich the wallets that everyone has shrunk in preparation for the war. You must know that in the past, they were reluctant to trade with these small countries, not because the other party did not have special products, and the coins used in circulation were too poor, so they were disgusted by everyone. So even if the other party is willing to buy at a premium, the people of the empire proudly refuse, leaving only sporadic smuggling by some small merchants on the border. However, these small merchants will also worry about what to do when they receive bad money or one-sided coins minted by non-empire. This is also the reason why smuggling is not flourishing. Now that the issue of coins is no longer a problem, and when it is profitable from any angle, how can everyone not be tempted? Moreover, there is no need to send troops and risk death to it. You only need to sell goods normally, and you can earn a lot of gold and silver. After thinking about it, everyone's eyes lit up. Chapter 1275, Battle of Nobility Ricardo Carvi saw this in his eyes, and raised the holy emblem of coin in his hand, and said, if you want to open the banking function for these small countries, I must go there in person. If I still have the title of nobleman, I will go to the this kind of time is rather inconvenient. The Grand Duke of the Empire will not go to the territory of other countries for no reason. If it is regarded as an act of aggression, whether it is internal or external, it will not be conducive to our future plans. For the old Duke's relinquishment of his title, he had personally offered a plausible explanation. Although most of the people's doubts have been dispelled, some people still don't understand and ask, My Lord, do you have to do this yourself? According to your statement, as long as the first bank is established, we can still have believers, have priests, let them go to other kingdoms and build banks at that time. Yes, if you just plan to make money from them, then I will leave this kind of thing to you, and I really don't need to go there myself. Everyone couldn't help being curious about the old master who planned to hand over the title. Asked, My lord, what do you mean by your words? Do you have other thoughts about those weak countries? Of course. The old duke cracked his lips and said with a cracked smile, the money that needs to be spent is called money. If it is only stored in the warehouse, it is just a thing. According to the development route I promised to the goddess of gold coins, I can't hinder it. The construction of the bank, and in turn, will do our best to promote it. Since we want to promote it, if our friendly neighbors find out that we have earned a lot of gold and silver from them, what do you think they will think? My lord, does it matter what those people in the back country think? Ha 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 ha. Everyone laughed. The old prince waved his hand and said, of course it doesn't matter. For the Kavi family, it will take some effort to destroy the countries and nobles in the north, 
but it is not impossible. But to rule that remote place, you have to invest more energy and money. And I don't know how long it will take to operate before the land can generate income. Rather than knocking it down, it is better to leave it alone, and it can also become a barrier with other big countries. This is the common situation on the borders of the Guana Empire today. But! The old prince said loudly, stopping everyone's laughter and attracting everyone's attention. If we use the money earned from them on them, we can not only benefit from it, but also get their gratitude. There is no reason not to do such a good thing. Use it on them? What's valuable in that poor place? Someone asked from below. The old prince did not answer directly. Just pointing to the map of the northern border of the empire, a line was drawn from the three northern countries of the Duchy of Kavi to the north of the territory of the Lisa family. This line once again made everyone's eyes shine. As we all know, the motorized Kaiyai family army can choose any route to attack the Lisa family's territory, but in fact there is also a direction, that is, east, west, and south. No matter how devious the Kaiyai family's army is, they will not attack from outside the country, that is, from the north. This is because there are mountains that lie across the border of the empire, blocking possible detour routes. If the Carvies really wanted to attack from the north, they would have to make a big detour. Even if the car can run again, it will lose the surprise of the surprise attack because the distance is too long. And this reality was of course taken advantage of by the Lisa family. Now the Duke of Lisa has almost withdrawn all the troops on the border and scattered them to various key points in the territory to guard against the attack of the Kaiyai family. This group of troops that originally guarded the border is the trump card in the hands of the Lisa family. According to the strategy shown by the old duke in front of everyone, it means hiring the three northern countries of the Duke of Kevi, even including those minor nobles, and letting them send troops to threaten the north of the Lisa family. Of course, no one thinks that these mercenaries can achieve any results. They only hope that they can put pressure on the Lisa family to rearm the almost abandoned border defense line. To do so, of course, is to add an additional burden to the already stretched military and financial resources of the Lisa family. Even if they really took advantage of the empty defense line and broke into the dukedom of Rissa, the bottom line of everyone was just to tolerate these mercenaries grabbing and leaving. As for the spoils of mercenaries, the hired party will not intervene or take them away. This is the custom of lost land. If they dare to stay here for a long time, there is a tendency to annex the place. Then after the Kevi family's army has cleaned up the remnants of the Lisa family, they will drive away these evil guests who have invited in. By the way, spit out all the previous results. The members of the Kaiyai family have such confidence. Therefore, no one expressed any objection to Duke Kavi's strategy of making a fortune. On the contrary, I appreciated it and discussed it enthusiastically. This is also because the Midi people do not have a strong concept of country. In their eyes, Duke Kavi's strategy is not to introduce foreign enemies and invade the brothers of the same country. It's just that a nobleman seeks help from other noblemen and joins forces to attack another nobleman. It's just that the nobles who came to help were the kings of other countries, and the prince of the Grand Duke of Kavi was the emperor of the empire. As long as the lord does not open his mouth to pinch each other, how the vassals play is the matter of the vassals. In any case, everyone is also a human race, and the opposite is not a goblin or an orc, and of course it is not a barbarian. However, someone still asked, My lord, although this strategy is good, why does it require you to give up your title and let Marquis Fall should take over early? The old duke explained, After all, the empire's face must be taken care of. We borrowed mercenaries to threaten the Lisa family, and we are bound to hang our banner. Such an action will definitely be held accountable by the Emperor in the future. If the person who did this is I, instead of the Grand Duke of Kevi, the severity of the matter will be different. At least we can better protect the family. And holding high the blood flag, it is not the end of our two families. The follow-up Emperor will also there will be other actions. 
but as long as a decent amount is given in the inheritance money, maybe the emperor will selectively forget certain things and simplify the follow-up processing. In fact, when it comes to this, everyone understands it. Ricardo Carvi's abandonment of his title was indeed a sign of weakness to the emperor. But it is not a total surrender for the previous things, but to have better room for maneuver in the future strategy. The ultimate goal is still to annihilate the Lisa family. It's just that in addition to increasing the advantage against the Lisa family, the old prince also deployed methods to deal with the post-war situation first. The big nobles who are in charge of the family take the responsibility personally. No matter how much the emperor blames at this time, the whole family will not be implicated. This is also the custom of the land. Looking at the relieved expressions on everyone's faces, Lord Kaiyai smiled and said, I know what everyone is worried about. But let's put it this way, do you think that if I lose my title now, I will lose all the power in my hands? If it is still the same as in the past, then why don't I use a method that can increase the odds of winning and make the Lisa family lose even worse? The vassals laughed. The only one with a sad face was Marquis Noonan Falshid. Originally, the Marquis thought that since his father had become a superhuman and his lifespan was different from that of ordinary people, maybe he would have to stay in this Marquis of Falshid, the title exclusive to the heir of the Kawi family, for the rest of his life, and he would never be able to inherit Kawi the title of Duke of Victoria. But now I have inherited it, but it seems like I didn't inherit it. It is conceivable what will happen to the old man who has lost the shackles of his noble title but has not lost his power. Then I have to take the blame, how to help the old man wipe his ass. As a son, his face became even more bitter. A certain magician in the holy city didn't know what happened in Kaiyai's castle, and he didn't want to know. During this period of time, apart from waiting for the summoning notice from the emperor, he was busy with the goddess of gold coins. The first bank in the holy city of Estelai opened, which greatly relieved the problem of a large number of people crowding the lobby of the technology guild. There is a group of extremely powerful elves in town, and the most impatient group of people have been digested in the previous big queue. So after the opening of the official bank, the order situation has improved a lot. The uniforms of the elves working in the bank appeared, coupled with the appearance of the elves, they also gained a group of admirers who followed the fashion. Regardless of men and women, the simple and neat line picks seem to indicate the arrival of a new era, and are sought after by everyone. And because this dress does not violate the restrictions of nobles or magicians, such as light yellow and sky blue that only nobles can wear, or small shawls that only magicians can wear www.mtlnovel.com These are not specific. Clothes that would cause trouble if worn by a person of high status. Therefore, the tailors affiliated with the technical guild ushered in a wave of business opportunities. For a while, plain fabrics in the holy city were out of stock. This phenomenon also makes people know from the side that the consumption power of the holy city of Estelai is scary. And not only magicians, those magic apprentices and non-magicians also showed amazing purchasing power. Originally, someone thought that as long as the rules of the bank are set, and they stick to the rules, anyone can only choose to abide by them, or give up the function of the bank. But this is just a beautiful delusion, and the actual situation cannot be operated like this. Every mortal who uses the banking function can directly talk to Kay Yin. And the dialogue with the gods does not have to be spoken, as long as there is a strong thought, the gods can still feel it. Then in the use of banks, almost everyone will have their own additional requirements and ideas. Most of these thoughts were ignored by Kay Yin. But occasionally there will be a bright spot or two, which makes the goddess feel that it is not impossible to do so. This is not to say that women are intuitive animals, but that Kay Yin, as the goddess of gold coins, has a good or bad intuition about things related to priesthood. But good things should be carried out at a good time not put on the table all at once. This is the point that someone has always emphasized. So Lin was recruited as a strong man again, and was dragged to the kingdom of God to discuss these bright spots. Chapter 1276, Summoned by the Emperor 
It's like before, when someone worked out the bank regulations behind closed doors, once he discussed with Yozov and Mayer, the function of an additional legal person account was added. During this period of time, Kayin also developed functions such as check and letter of credit in the communication with believers, or to be more precise, bank depositors. After thinking about these things, someone thinks that they should be available at this point in time without causing major problems. It also helped improve the rules. Of course, it is based on someone's knowledge of the financial system that is approaching maturity before crossing. The reason why the rules of the financial system were so complicated on the earth before the time travel was to prevent the shortcomings and loopholes discovered in the long-term operation, at the same time, some back doors were also secretly opened, so that knowledgeable people could find a way to fish in it. These things may not be copied to MIDI, but the complicated rules are still worth referring to. Also, in the past, bank users could deposit money with the holy emblem of Kayin, which is for the convenience of people who go out to save money. However, the function of directly using the holy emblem of Kayin to transfer money was also proposed. This is actually a coinless transaction between the store and the consumer, just like the various skin code payments that someone used before time travel, or credit card or debit card transactions. However, this function was temporarily stopped by someone. On the one hand, this function may be exploited by robbers and thieves. On the other hand, the current bank users are not yet popular, and there is no rush to activate such a function. In this regard, the goddess of gold coins has been kind. At this time when he was too busy to fly, Efren Muhashabiza finally came to announce that the emperor could receive someone. At the appointed time, Lin brought the young people from the Muhashabza family to the main gate of the palace in the imperial city of Nineveh. Efren Muhashabza was wearing the most popular costume in the holy city of Estelai during this period the bank suit, standing beside a certain magician. It stands to reason that, as a member of the nobility, he should wear a nobility dress and attend such occasions when the emperor receives him. However, Efren is also the goddess of gold coins so wearing the uniform of the bank is also in line with the rules. What's more, this outfit is not a disrespectful design, it is much better than the ascetic monk's robe before. The great magician Gabrish Tripwood is the same as usual, he is wearing a pure black and gold thread basalt robe, this magic robe with a god's lodging. In fact, Fern had made another suit for him, which was different from the one Evren was wearing but someone didn't want to wear that kind of defenseless clothes and break into the palace. The suits at this stage are still a swank but not a useful thing. So Lin is still wearing the Suanmu robe, a magician's robe with a strong defense. And waiting for the magician to appear at the main entrance, of course, is Baron Mahmud, who was sent by the emperor to the holy city before to invite a certain magician. There is also half a squadron of the emperor's guards. Dressed in shining armor, holding extremely sharp spears, and wearing bright red velvet capes, they all looked mighty and extraordinary. When he saw a certain magician appear, Baron Mahmud, who had previous experience, maintained a calm attitude, and greeted him, Your Excellency, great magician, welcome to come. Please follow me into the palace and have an audience with the Emperor. Your Majesty. When he saw Efren, Baron Mahmud only glanced at the young man's outlandish attire, but didn't say much. If someone greets you politely, it is certainly impossible for Lin to turn a bad face. He performed the courtesy of a magician and said, It is my honor. Please lead the way. When a group of people wanted to enter the palace, they were stopped by the guards guarding the gate. The tall knight stood in front of everyone like an iron tower his indifferent eyes looked down from the full-face helmet on the magician who was as thin as a chicken in his eyes. The squadron leader's personal guard said, when entering the palace, you are not allowed to carry weapons. Hmm well, it's a normal reason. But Lin patted himself up and down and said, I'm not carrying any weapons, not even a wand or a knife. This is the truth. Lin now doesn't need to carry weapons with him. When you need to use it, just summon the box cut directly. But the guards did not let a magician pass because of this. 
He didn't ask for a body search, but pointed at someone abnormally and said, The same goes for this magic robe, don't wear it in. Take it off. Well, that's a weird request. A certain magician turned to look at the two nobles beside him in confusion, and asked, Is this a normal request? Baron Mahmud didn't change his face, his face didn't change, but his voice became a bit serious, and he said, This is His Majesty's guest. It's all the same. I suspect that the magic robe on his body is attached with dangerous magic. If I don't take it off, I can't allow him to enter the palace. This is all to protect His Majesty. The Emperor's guard guarding the gate said confidently. Hearing this, Lin Yi shrugged and said, Since this is the case, I can only say that I am very sorry. Please convey this to His Majesty the Emperor for me. I have no way to see him. After hearing someone's answer, the Emperor's personal guard reached out and grabbed it without thinking. At the same time, he said, since you are here. It is impossible for you to. People, disappear. Walk. Ephron, who didn't speak from the beginning to the end, stayed where he was, with a dazed look on his face. Baron Mahmud, who was still in pain because he was greeted by the guards who guarded the gate a few days ago, asked himself in his heart, what happened? Who am I? What am I doing standing here? In the middle of speaking, the target disappeared, and the hands of the Emperor's personal guards were raised in mid-air before they had time to put them down. He turned his head, looked around, and asked, Where's the person? Returning to his senses, Ephron rubbed his forehead and wailed, He is the magician who is the best at running away, how could he be caught by you? Baron Mahmud, who was also aware of what happened just now, looked at Ephron and asked, where are the carriages and guards who followed us to Estelai? Since I received the notice from Lord Baron, I asked them to return on the same day. I guess they are still on the way now, and they have traveled about one third of the distance. Then we can, how to contact that magician? Ephron knew that the answer was not very satisfying, so he had to say cautiously, if we don't consider using a carriage to meet that person, Let's just use a fast horse and make another trip to Estelai? It is estimated that it will take about ten days to arrive. Baron Mahmud frowned, and asked again, Can you use the forum to contact the other party, please invite that magician to come to the imperial capital again? Obviously the inventor of the forum, but the one who never appeared on the forum. Efren said weakly. The guard who was still holding his hand was embarrassed. Although he put his hand down awkwardly, fortunately the helmet covered his entire face, no one could see his expression. But that doesn't mean others will let him go. Baron Mahmud was not polite at all, staring at the guards who were still blocking the door and said, I don't know what you think, or who you listen to. But what happened here, I will unabated tell your majesty. Then please step aside now, I have to go in and see his majesty the emperor. Or even I am not allowed to enter the palace. In fact, Baron Mahmud felt that something was wrong from the very beginning. Because usually guarding the gate of the palace, but the number of a small team. The rest rest and stand by in the security rooms on both sides of the gate, and the gatekeepers will take turns at regular intervals. But today, half of the squadrons, that is, the number of five squadrons appeared to guard the gate, directly blocking the main entrance of the originally quite spacious palace. This unusual arrangement, if there is no problem behind it, Baron Mahmud can eat his leather boots. It is a pity that even if he is a close minister of the emperor, he is not qualified to command the personal guard army. Even if you want to warn, the magician ran away after a disagreement, what a joke. I'm just doing my duty. With a flushed face and panting, the captain of the personal guard's neck became thicker, but fortunately no one else could see it. He stepped aside and instructed the guards blocking the way to let the gate of the palace open. Baron Marmud took a few steps and found that Efren hadn't followed. He looked back and saw the strangely dressed young man hesitating in front of the palace. How could he not know what such a young man was worried about, so he said, since His Majesty entrusted you with the task there must be an explanation. Even if you leave now, 
your father will take you back, it's going to be a bit of a pain. So why don't you just follow me in? The practice of the emperor's close family. If the younger generation's service is not enough, or if there is a mistake in doing things, the elders will not be used to it after returning home, and it is standard procedure to get a beating first. After all, the family is the emperor's tool. If the tool is not handy, besides being abandoned, is there any other way? Therefore, for the survival of the family, no one will train children to be waste. Even if he really becomes a waste, he will be thrown far away to prevent him from appearing in front of the emperor. Efren Muhashabza was, unfortunately, the kind of kid who was on the verge of being judged useless and who hadn't been raised with all his heart. Baron Mahmud was well aware of this. But when something happened, it was impossible to let him make a mistake, so he gave him a hand and reminded him. The young man who gave up his family duties and turned to devote himself to the cause of the goddess of gold coins sighed silently. He is very clear about the family training. At the same time, knowing that this encounter cannot be avoided no matter what, he could only follow the elders in front of him into the palace www.mtlnovel.com but when Efren saw the battle where the emperor was preparing to meet the magician, he regretted it. He should have been beaten up by his father seriously, and he shouldn't have followed him in. The place where the emperor is going to meet the magician is the deliberation hall in the palace. This is the place where all ministers deal with political affairs, receive foreign guests and nobles who come to court. At the same time, except that the emperor sat on his throne in full dress and held a scepter in his hand. The imperial chancellor, the crown prince, sits on the left side of the emperor. All the ministers sit on the left, and the private ministers of the emperor's family sit on the right. And some aristocrats who are not high enough and have not obtained positions stand behind the seats of the ministers. This can be said to be a very high standard reception by the empire. The other four empires sent envoys, or the bishop of a powerful divine power church was invited, that's all. But, what about today's protagonist? Maybe not many people knew Ephron, who was dressed in strange clothes, but Baron Mahmud, the emperor's clothes minister, was familiar with everyone. He was supposed to welcome the rumored magician, and lead people directly into the palace, to this meeting hall. So what about people? Is it that young man in fancy clothes? That kid doesn't look like a magician. Chapter 1277, Accountability Of course the emperor knew the young man from the Muhashabza family. I saw it a few times about a month ago. Although the memory of the old emperor is not as good as a photographic memory, it is no problem to recognize faces. As long as he has met a few times, he can still remember the background information that the other party has said or that his cronies have mentioned. If you forget, you must be playing dumb. So the emperor was sure that Baron Marmud hadn't brought the magician in. But he didn't speak first, but sat on the throne and watched the play quietly. The two people who entered the meeting hall stopped at the right position, bowed and saluted, and signed their own numbers. Only then did everyone realize that the protagonist of this meeting did not appear. Crown Prince Nawaf Kazarnia has always been the leader of political affairs during his tenure as the Prime Minister of the Empire. Like an old man who can only stamp and sign, the Emperor delegated everything to his son. Only when people ask him, he will selectively answer some questions. But most of the time, the Emperor still left the decision-making power to the Prime Minister he chose. Seeing that the protagonist of one of the topics in this discussion did not appear, Crown Prince Nawaf asked displeasedly, Mr. Mahmud, where is the honored guest invited by His Majesty the Emperor? Your Highness, the great magician Tripwood went back because the guards at the main gate of the palace blocked him. Baron Mahmud dug a hole for people to jump into without changing his face, and pushed the responsibility out. But the Crown Prince didn't explode directly or it was different from his plan. So he said calmly, I can't listen to your opinion and decide whether something is right or wrong. Father, can you summon the squadron leader who guards the gate and ask him for details? The only person who can command the guards is the emperor. 
If someone issued an order indiscriminately, and the guards corps obeyed, it would be a serious crime that could be put on the line to the level of treason, both for both parties. Even the crown prince couldn't and didn't dare to cross this boundary, so he asked the old emperor who was sitting beside him without saying a word. Of course, the emperor didn't need to stop this kind of thing to suppress the prestige of the crown prince. So he nodded, agreeing. Soon, the captain of the personal guard guarding the gate, led by the guard guarding the meeting hall, came before everyone. After the crown prince talked about the magician and Baron Mahmud's words, he asked, Soldier, why did you block our invited guest and prevent him from entering the palace? The captain of the guard squadron lowered his head and said respectfully, Your Majesty, Your Highness, I just abide by my duty to prevent any danger from entering the palace and threatening you nobles. The magician is wearing a very powerful magic equipment, I asked to remove it, but he was unwilling to comply. According to the regulations, I can treat such a person as an assassin and take him down. The guard squadron leader paused in his speech. Although he lowered his head, he still turned his head and looked at the ministers and nobles on both sides. But just before we caught him, he fled in fear of crime. Your Highness, I can only say that if that person really has no evil intentions, why is he unwilling to comply with the disarmament request? In this way, you can let us keep your lords safe, and as long as the rules are followed in the palace, we will also keep him safe. But he chose to escape. The crown prince was obviously very angry. He used an Arya-like voice and angrily said, Rude. What a rude person. Father, for this kind of person who doesn't respect your name, you can even reasonably suspect that he has evil intentions, there is no need for us to cooperate with him. I suggest that we not only not allow the bank to be carried out in the imperial city, but also prohibit it comprehensively. Also, we must issue a warrant for the magician to catch him come back and inquire. Being so excited about his son, Emperor Armin Kazarnia could only think of one reason, which was related to his fourteenth son. The mere struggle between the two grand dukes is not enough for a crown prince to take the risk of doing something to someone or something before he has his own order explicitly prohibiting intervention. But if it is about the inheritance dispute between the princes, then nothing is impossible. And a rumor that everyone knows, but everyone finds it hard to believe, is that the magician and the fourteenth son are on good terms. Even if the relationship between the two is not that good, but that magician is a man who is evenly matched with his fourteenth son. This is something certified by the head of his personal guard. So here comes the problem, in politics, as long as there are common interests, it is easy to form an implicit common front. There is no need for everyone to clamor for alliances and other matters. Sometimes this kind of tacit agreement reached in silence makes it even more difficult for political opponents to guard against. So the crown prince I chose wanted to suppress the magician first, and then cut off the possible help of the fourteenth son in his political career. This was the only possibility that the old emperor could think of. But this time, Emperor Almond did not intend to follow the crown prince's train of thought. He opened his mouth and said, the matter of the bank belongs to the Church of the Goddess of Gold Coins, not the magician. Discuss this matter separately. As for setting the identity of the magician, the old emperor didn't mention it. For any magician, if the opponent commits a crime in the imperial city, he will be arrested on the spot. How to deal with it all depends on the idea of the nobles. But if the other party returns to Estelai, the city where magicians gather, the nature will be completely different. Will the magician deal with it impartially and hand over the person who committed the crime of the empire? If it wasn't for the fact that the crime was clearly proven and the crime was heinous, don't even think about such a thing. The magicians gathered in that city were all for the great library protected by the six-linked tower. They are just seekers of knowledge, from all over the world, not all from the Guana Empire. Among them, there is no shortage of mortal experts who can stand alone against the Legion, but most of them are ordinary magicians. Relying on combat skills, one might be able to fight three, but it certainly cannot deal with an organized army. 
when such a group of people wants to resist the unfair treatment of the powerful, they can only stick together. This is also one of the reasons why it is difficult for the hands of noble forces to reach into Estelai. The nobles did not act according to the law, most of the time, they trampled on the will of others for the convenience of the nobles. When encountering such a thing, the magicians of the holy city of Estelai will unite, because no one wants to be abandoned by the group regarded as their companions when they become the victim of such evil deeds. The best way is to stand up when your partner is in need. If it is really a criminal, give clear evidence to the association of magicians, and they will naturally hand over the criminal. But if not, you just want to rely on power to arrest people, such as sending troops into Estelai to search for the so-called human offenders. The magic tower standing like a forest in that city will become the nightmare of all the troops. Normally, if a magic tower is attacked by force, there will be heavy casualties. To attack the holy city of magicians who are united with the outside world, all the generals and military experts in this world will spread their hands. Whoever gives the order goes to the front line. Those who gave the order are dead, and those who are alive can go home. Or if everyone dies, the problem of not being able to go home is saved. In the eyes of the old emperor, the magician who returned to Estelai was just like that. Now that he has gone back, if he wants to move him, no matter how many and beautiful reasons he can find, it will be useless. So he didn't answer the crown prince's words at all. It is one thing to support this son, but it is another to support this son to die, of course, it is a different thing to die by yourself in order to support this son. Crown Prince Nawaf wanted to refute his father's opinion, but this father was an emperor. The father had also communicated with him in private. On the stage, the two would never directly reject each other's opinions or express opposition. An emperor, an imperial prime minister and father and son, if they confront each other, it will only make the courtiers laugh at them. In more serious cases, it will make them feel strange. No matter what it looks like in the end, for the royal family, it is a matter that is not worth the candle. So when the old emperor euphemistically expressed that the bank's affairs were not dominated by that magician, he knew that this matter had deviated from the original expected direction. So now should we change the direction and chase after it, or should we find a way to go down? How could the old emperor fail to guess what his son was thinking about? But he didn't intend to let go of the matter in front of him. Glancing at the few people standing in front of him, Emperor Alman waved his hand and said, Young man from the Muhashivza family, come forward. Hearing this, Efren took a few steps forward, just passing the squadron leader of the personal guard who came to report, and Baron Mahmud who was leading the way. He bowed his head and said in a respectful voice, Your Majesty, what are your orders? What about your clothes? This is the first bank in Estelai. The uniforms worn by the clerks. It was designed by Your Excellency Fintiker, the great magician. In the bank, the elves who serve His Majesty the Goddess of Gold Coins have all changed into this kind of clothes. But not only the elves of the bank, Mr. Fern, but also the deacons of the Marquis of Baran, there are also people who wear such clothes. Efren told the truth. A big advantage of a suit www.mtlnovel.com It is easier to put on and take off than the traditional aristocratic clothing in Midi. So staying at that home, the Marquis's deacons made themselves, or ordered a few suits. However, the narrow skirts of women's suits are not so convenient for activities, so the maids did not change them as daily work clothes. After looking at it for a while, the emperor said, it's a good design. Let your father bring you and the Seville family here later. You can step back now. Baron Seville's family, Royal Taylor. Calling such a person, it seems that the old emperor had some ideas about the strange costumes of the young people of the Muhashivza family. After all, when the emperor was young, he was not a man who kept himself safe. But most people know that this should be just an excuse. The crown prince said at this time, since my father has ordered, you all retreat and prepare. There are other important issues to discuss today. Crown Prince Nawaf walked down the steps, 
and incidentally revealed the responsibility of pursuing the captain of the guard squadron for letting go or forcing the magician to run away. If this matter is really discussed, it will be a big trouble for the crown prince. Having revealed this, the father and son took a step back with a tacit understanding. The old emperor nodded, as if agreeing with his son's instructions, and also as if signaling to other ministers to propose follow-up proposals. Chapter 1278, Private Discussion Later, the emperor's private hall, which is the place to receive a small number of private officials. Only those who are closest and deeply trusted can enter the emperor's study. But it was obvious that not all the people present were the attendants of that level, so the old emperor met everyone at this place. The previous meeting in the conference hall was actually a big court meeting held once a month. It is specially used to mediate disputes between nobles, and to issue orders to the entire empire. The old emperor wanted to ask the magician to explain the bank to everyone on such an occasion. Including himself, he also wants to know, so as to decide whether to promote the bank's affairs. But it is clear that some people have already made up their minds, so they have their attitude. I don't know their position, because they already know the bank, so they oppose it, or it is just against a certain person, so they oppose it for the sake of opposition. Originally, the old emperor's idea of the bank was dispensable. On the one hand, the imperial power, which is too close to the gods, can easily be led away and become its vassal. After all, the gap between man and god is too great. If the descendants are unworthy, once the power is taken away by the gods, it will be difficult to get it back. Secondly, if the bank is dominated by that magician, then the emperor will think twice. Handing over the empire's power related to coins to an outsider who has nothing to do with the empire, how do you think about this matter, how do you feel that something is wrong? But a piece of new information made the old emperor rethink this issue. That was the latest development about the Duke of Kevi, including the old guy's layout of the bank, his thoughts on the three kingdoms in the north, and the fact that the old himself became a goddess elector. The emperor's imperial guards are responsible for intelligence from all over the country and abroad. Of course, the emperor's eyeliner is hidden among the families of the sixteen guarding princes. Some are bright lines and some are dark lines. But even if it is an open thread, it will not be easily removed. Because of their existence, in addition to being a proof of the family's loyalty to the emperor, they can sometimes act as a mouthpiece to convey things that are not suitable for official documents. Especially now with the help of forums, information is delivered quickly and secretly, in most people's perception. Therefore, the big and small matters of the nobles in various places can be gathered to the core of the imperial guard in the shortest possible time, and after sorting out, they will be sorted and sent to the emperor's desk. That's how Kavi's information came about. The information that was sent last time was that Mr. Kaii spent a large amount of money to cooperate with a chamber of commerce and a magician to invest in projects related to cars. Everyone is not optimistic about this unprecedented thing, so everyone is waiting to see the joke. Now the joke has come true, but the person who waited to see the joke became the protagonist of the joke. This contrast made the old emperor dare not ignore the matter that both the man and the magician were related. Forum creator, math guru, airship innovator, car inventor, and now a bank pusher. No one would think that the magician had nothing to do with the bank. After all, the establishment of the first bank had too many elements related to him. Built next to the technical guild, the first person in charge of the bank was a follower of the magician and so on. It's just that the person didn't stand in front of the stage. Counting the experience of that magician, he may not have gained all the benefits from what he did, but everything has a profound impact on Midi. Therefore, the old emperor believed that it was necessary for him to have an in-depth understanding of banks. Under the notice of the attendants, Efren, the young man from the Muhashabza family, followed his father and a group of tailors from the Seville family, and walked into the small hall. The suit that was mentioned by the emperor was properly folded and held on the tray, and Efren brought it in. He himself changed back to the nobleman's dress, 
and presented himself to the emperor with the most formal appearance. Since it was related to clothes, Baron Seville led the crowd and greeted the emperor first. Your Majesty, your most loyal servant is always at your service. After that, someone from the Seville family took over the suit from Ephron. And using magic, each piece of clothing is propped up, floating in midair, as if someone was wearing it. At the same time, someone stepped forward, ready to measure the emperor's body size. Some people came forward with fabrics and waited, while others were ready to draw pictures with quick strokes, telling their thoughts on making new clothes, just like the way they used to make new clothes. But the old emperor stopped them with his hand and said, according to the previous body shape, just so five sets of new clothes similar to this one for me. The people of the Seville family immediately understood that they were just playing as a cover. But the emperor also has orders to issue, so things cannot be carried out vaguely. So they retreated to a corner of the small hall, and proceeded with the pre-work in an orderly manner, leaving the main part of the small hall. And after the brief instructions were understood by the Seville family, the old emperor stretched out his hand to beckon to the person standing at the end. Son, come forward. You should bring some gifts. Don't say no, I will be very disappointed. For a moment, cold sweat broke out on Ephron's forehead and back. Stepping forward with a sudden step, his mind was turning a thousand times, thinking about what gift the old emperor wanted. What should I prepare myself? When Ephron was seven paces away from the emperor, he stopped. This is also the closest distance that a close minister like him can get to the emperor in terms of rules, and going forward is the responsibility of another group of people. And the young man also figured out what the emperor might want, and hurriedly took out the money bag from his arms. In fact, the emperor obtained various regulations about the bank from the priests of the goddess of gold coins through Evren very early on. However, there are quite a few things that are not clear or the regulations have not been detailed. After all, it is only the first edition of the information. That's why the old emperor sent someone to invite the magician. But from the imperial city of Nineveh to the holy city of Estelai, the travel time required is too much. During this long journey, the bank has made waves in Estelai. The change is so fast that it is not an exaggeration to say that it is turbulent. Ephron continued to pay attention, albeit helplessly, during the journey. By the time the young people from the Muhashivza family and Baron Mahmud finally arrived in the holy city of Estelai, there had been several waves of discussions on the forum about the good and the bad, the pros and cons of the bank. Among them, the most heated discussion is the rules and ratios of exchanging old coins for new coins. Lin deliberately designed the strategy of allowing the good coins minted by the empire to be exchanged for more new money which really attracted the people of this huge empire. And it's from top to bottom, all in one go. Even if there was any persistent objection, it was really only against the power of a magician who might have a place in the affairs of the bank. The ultimate goal of their fight is also to completely dominate the bank and hold such financial tools in their hands. As a new monk of the Church of the Goddess of Gold Coins, when he learned that he could use the function of the bank, he came to Estelai and of course excitedly exchanged all his property for the new coins of the goddess. But after changing it, he was worried again. Because apart from the new money that can be used in Estelai, other regions do not seem to recognize it. In particular, the Guana Empire has its own coins, and it is quite repulsive to some coins of unknown origin, and the way of disposing of bad money is even more straightforward. If Goddess's new coins were thrown away as evil money, then he would want to cry without tears. If the Emperor would be interested in anything he brought back from Estelai, it would be the new coins of the Goddess of Coins. Ephron thought so. Because even he himself was fascinated by the newly exchanged coins when he saw them for the first time. Not to mention the so-called Holy Voice of Kayin, the sound of coins, which will fascinate people after listening to it. I just want to blow and blow and listen and listen. So he held the money bag in both hands and handed it to the emperor. After placing it on the red velvet tray held by the person who has the status of personal guard and clothes minister, he took a few steps back. 
A servant wearing white gloves poured out all the coins in the purse, checked them one by one, and presented them to the emperor. From the appearance of Kayin's new coins, they are of a completely different level from the coins that can be minted with the current MIDI technology. The technology of the Gaona Empire was so advanced that it was able to cast double-sided coins, but in fact the process of hand carving and polishing was still indispensable. So when the two coins are put together, the difference can still be seen. Moreover, in the process of use, the wear and tear of the coin will make the difference between the coin itself and the original more and more, and eventually become bad money. But Kayin's new coin does not have this trouble, and it also has divine protection. It is impossible to find the slightest difference by picking two pieces at random and comparing them. Even gold coins are compared to silver coins, or gold coins are compared to copper coins. Thinking of the news on the forum, the old emperor tried to blow on the coin, and then listened to it www.mtlnovel.com but the rumored Kayin's holy voice did not appear, and he showed a confused expression. Ephron, who was watching from the side, couldn't understand the problems his majesty encountered. At least pinching the edge of the coin and blowing towards the center is not the right way to do it. Therefore, the young man from the Muhasibsi family ignored the question of whether he was rash, and said directly, Your Majesty, this is not how to blow. It is to gently pinch the center of the coin, and then blow the edge of Bobo, and then let it go immediately. To the ear. Oh, yes, yes, that's it. The old emperor finally blew the coins according to the young man's instructions. He said with a look of surprise, it can really ring. Is this the effect of divine power? No, your majesty. I once asked Lord Tripwood, the great magician, and he said that as long as it is metal, it will ring. And as long as it is the same metal, the sound will be the same. But the metal sheet must be thin enough and uniform enough. To make a sound. That's right. His tone was very flat, as if he didn't care. But the action of the old emperor was like all the people who came into contact with Kayin coins for the first time, blowing one for another. I just want to hear if the sound of different precious metals is really different, and whether the sound of the same precious metal will always be the same. However, Emperor Almond did not forget the purpose of calling people here. So while blowing the coins and listening to the sound, he said, Son, tell me what you have seen and heard in Estelai. Chapter 1279, Meat Enthusiasm is an interesting emotion. It can get carried away and talk on and on. Ephron, who is passionate about banking affairs, just described his travel experience in Estelai in the past few days. It didn't take long to modify the suit. Instead, it took a lot of time to wait for Baron Marmud's notification. During the waiting process, Efren did not just sit in the guest room. In addition to opening his own bank account, he also chatted with the Dark Elf Mayor about the work of the bank, he also talked about the experience of using the bank with other active users. So Efren has a lot of stories to tell about the Emperor's request. But the speaker is not necessarily very organized. Making things clear is a skill. People who are not good at it may be the same thing, repeating it over and over again, which makes the listener bored. At times like this, the person you are talking to is very important. The ability to pick up the line properly and ask another correct question before the repetition occurs. There is no doubt that the old Emperor Alman is a master. His life experience and insights are not at the same level as Efren's, and he is even more sophisticated in terms of clichés. So within a few moments, the Emperor asked Efren about the content of his trip to Estelai. When the Emperor finished listening to what he wanted to hear, Efren was still talking excitedly. But after listening to a few words and hearing nothing new, the old Emperor reached out and stopped the young man in front of him from continuing to express his opinions. Although Efren showed enthusiasm, he was not blind. His Majesty the Emperor reached out to stop him, he immediately stopped his words, lowered his head, took two steps back and waited. This is the etiquette of being a courtier. Emperor Almond tapped the armrest of the throne lightly with his index finger, 
and the sound was clear and clear in this quiet environment. Efren couldn't help becoming nervous again, thinking about whether he had said something that he shouldn't have said just now. Child! The old emperor suddenly spoke again, making Evren's body tense, and he hurriedly focused, I ask you, in your opinion, how much influence does that magician have on the bank? He is in charge everything. Efren did not hesitate to give a negative answer. Said, Your Majesty, maybe the magician did nothing wrong with the whole plan. But I can guarantee that the dominance is in the hands of the goddess of gold coins. From this point, everyone who touches the great sacred emblem of the goddess of gold coins can directly talk to the goddess the facts can be seen. If the master is in the hands of the magician, then he must be instructing everyone under the guise of the goddess. This is not consistent with the facts. What about his influence? The old emperor asked again. I once had a direct conversation with the goddess of gold coins, because I am a believer of the goddess, so I got more opportunities to talk. According to the goddess, when the rules change, he sometimes asks the magician. Because he wants to confirm that there are no loopholes in the rules, or what kind of changes will be caused after this rule is used. Only the magician can make a rough prediction about these things. Based on this, I have an inference. Having said that, Efren I also feel a little reckless. Of course, the old emperor knew what this young man was thinking, because he always didn't want to waste his precious time on any speculation or delusion as long as his subordinates said that there was solid evidence. Because most of the nobles have another purpose behind them when they say such words that appear out of thin air. They just want to find a random reason to bet on whether their request can pass the test. However, in the current situation, he is interested in the guess of the young man from the Muhashabiza family in front of him. So the old emperor said, Tell me, kid. I won't blame you if I make a mistake. Efren lowered his head in panic and said, Your Majesty, I guess that the magician is a stranger. The so-called bank is actually an organization that he has executed or contacted. So when Goddess of Gold Coins raised a question, he there is no way to answer. Because those things are what he has experienced. He already knows what the ending will be. Regarding Evren's conclusion, the old emperor fell into deep thought again. Indeed, in the report made by the guard against the magician, this conclusion was indeed a possibility in the report. After all, this man has so many breakthrough inventions that can't find their roots, as if they appeared out of thin air. Midi is no stranger to foreigners, and from time to time there will be such creatures of unknown origin, not necessarily human beings. But most of the time, these people will die soon because they are not used to the lost land, even if they can survive, they will probably be wiped out among the crowd. Few people can make waves and get into the eyes of big shots. As for the treatment of foreigners, most of them ignore it. Anyway, these people will soon perish themselves. But if the other party shows a certain value, no matter whether it is a nobleman or a magician, they don't mind taking it for their own use, so that the value of the other party can be maximized. As for the inhumanity in the process, it is not something nobles or magicians need to consider. If the opponent shows value and strength at the same time, Midi will always show tolerance and respect to the powerful person, regardless of the opponent's origin or some possible personality defects. Clearly, this magician was the kind to be respected. At least the old emperor didn't think that he had the means to instruct the fourteenth son to fight the magician desperately, and he might not win if he tried. This was certified by my most trusted aide. It is true that the Empire can deal with such people, but how much is it willing to pay? Speaking of which, is such a person worth it for others to gamble with him? Ricardo Carvey, that old guy, can be said to have thrown all his wealth into it. In the past few years, as long as the old thing's actions are puzzling, there are more or less traces of the magician. In terms of results, it doesn't seem to be offensive. It can even be said that it is a bit enviable. It is a pity that the Emperor's net worth is much richer than that of a Grand Duke, and his concerns and possible obstacles have doubled. I have passed the age of putting all my eggs in one basket, 
so whether to follow this bet or not is a problem. Emperor Armin Kazarnia clasped the armrest with his fingers, once and again. And this sound touched the hearts of those present. Bring that magician here. The old emperor's sudden words stunned everyone present. Seeing that no one moved, he said it again, invite that magician. Immediately. Efren and Baron Marmud, the only two people who had contact with the magician in the emperor's mouth, suddenly became the focus of everyone. However, Baron Mahmud also set his sights on Efren, and only this young man from the Muhashivza family was stunned on the spot. He regained his flustered mood, and said uneasily, Your Majesty, we. I will go to Estelai immediately, it will take some time. I can't wait that long, and invite him here immediately, no matter what method is used. Emperor Alman said firmly. But. Efren didn't know how to explain his worry and resistance, but his eyes fluttered. And it stayed the longest on the surrounding emperor's personal guards. The old emperor guessed what he might be worried about, and said, let that magician come here directly. There is no need to come in through the gate. This. Efren still hesitated. Son, if you can do it, do it. If you can't, then leave. The emperor's tone gradually became colder, no longer as warm as before. Baron Mahmud, Baron Muhaspazi, and Baron Seville present all froze. They knew that this was a sign of the emperor's displeasure. If there is another situation in the future, I am afraid that someone will be unlucky, and it will even implicate other people. In fact, Efren's hesitation was not about how to reject this matter, but how to do what the emperor entrusted. It is well known that the magician cannot be contacted from the forum. And he has no other way, such as a magic mirror, to contact the magician. So how do you find someone? Suddenly an idea flashed through his mind, Efren bowed and said, Your Majesty, please allow me to step back and pray. There is not much to say about the filth between imperial power and divine power. Without the permission of the Emperor, any envoy of the Church who listened to the gods in front of the Emperor would be regarded as a provocation, so Efren had to ask. The old emperor also realized what method the young man in front of him planned to use to find the magician. Of course he would not refuse, and even said that there was a sense of urgency in his heart, urging him to find the magician as soon as possible and ask the matter clearly. So the old emperor nodded, pointed to a corner of the small hall and said, Don't go far, just stay aside. Yes, your majesty. Efren retreated and took off the collar badge of coin pinned to his collar. Originally this collar pin was pinned on the collar of the suit, but now the suit donated it to the Seville family to take samples, but the collar pin is not an integral part of the suit, and it is the holy emblem of the goddess of gold coins, so he received it separately. Get up and stay away from yourself. The communication with the goddess was so smooth that Efren would have thought that it was so easy for all believers to talk to the gods. But the feedback from the goddess of gold coins made him a little puzzled. He whispered. You want me to stand by the window? What does that mean, your majesty? Well, I'm on the second floor. Yes www.mtlnovel.com Yes, please tell His Excellency the great magician Tripwood, my emperor invited him to come in directly. Hello, hello? His Majesty K. Yin. Someone who suddenly appeared in the small hall patted Efren on the shoulder and greeted, Hey, what did you ask me for? Your Excellency the Great Magician, I finally meet you. Emperor Armin Kazarnia said. Lin who turned his head was still wearing the black and silver basalt robe. He first looked at the people in the small hall in puzzlement. Most of the people met him for the first time, so in his own records, there were no identities of these people. Even so, it does not prevent him from judging the status of these people from the clothes and positions. One of the most suitable bases for judging is of course the family badge that most nobles have. As for the national emblem of the Guana Empire, only one person is allowed to own it, and that is the current emperor, Armin Kazarnia. As members of the royal family, their badge style is still somewhat different from the national emblem and the emperor's emblem. 
Although a certain person does not have a deep understanding of aristocratic heraldry, this kind of existence that requires special attention is still remembered in his mind. Lin performed the etiquette of a magician, and said, The great magician Gabrish Tripwood greets you, His Majesty the Emperor of the Guana Empire. Chapter 1280, Emperor Wen He <laughs> he. The old emperor said with a smile, Seeing you appearing here so skillfully, I would have thought you had been here before and memorized the location here. It seems that Your Excellency Tripwood is more respectful than you in the rumors. Be stronger. Are you willing to serve the Empire? Facing the solicitation, Lin responded with a smile, Why not? In my hometown, there is a saying that goes like this, Men are not incapable of betraying, but the price is not enough, Women are not incapable of cheating, but the temptation is not enough. Anything there is a price, even those things that are said to be priceless. If someone disagrees, it only means that the price given is not high enough. Of course, whether others are willing to pay too high a price is another matter. But this is called a transaction, isn't it? Even if the transaction fails, benevolence and righteousness still exist. Then what's your price? Can the empire afford it? The old emperor tentatively asked. Without thinking, Lin opened his mouth and said, Give me a magic tower, and I can be a cow or a horse. Hee <laughs> hee, your excellency has offered a price that no one dares to agree to. It seems that the idea of soliciting your excellency has to be given up. Then I would like to ask you some questions, what kind of price is needed? Faced with the rejection, the old emperor said he didn't speak ill of each other, instead he asked in another direction. Shaking his head, Lin said with an exaggerated expression, it's a pity, besides the magic tower, I can't think of any other things I need. Money or treasures, either I don't need it, or I don't need too much. Oh, is that right? Then I will lose a chance to ask for advice. The old emperor joked along the words. But the expression on his face did not relax at all, but stared sharply at the person in front of him. Of course. Lin could feel the pressure from his sight, and besides, he appeared here because the goddess of gold coins was helping him. If you don't give face to the emperor, it means you don't give face to the goddess. If you do this, it will only be yourself who will be ugly afterwards. So someone made a haha, and said, Actually, if you think about it seriously, I might have one thing that only your majesty can't do. If your majesty agrees, then I will know everything about your problem, and I will say everything. Oh, tell me. Lin said bluntly, I need an opportunity to issue an imperial order. Such a request made the old emperor frown. He thought about the purpose of this magician, and said, Your Excellency, why do you need such an opportunity? Isn't this an obvious thing? When I need the empire to pass a decree, I, who have nothing to do with the empire, probably don't even know who to talk to about it. If the time comes, I will take the liberty to come before His Majesty, putting forward such a request, treating me like a lunatic may be the best result. It is not surprising to have a thousand mile chase. But if Your Majesty agrees today, I will have a good reason to come to the door later. Lin said with a smile. However, regarding such a matter, the old emperor did not let go easily and kept thinking about it. Seeing this, Lin said again, and your majesty, what I want is just a chance, not what I say, the empire must accept all the requirements. Of course, I can also accept as long as you are willing to give me a chance, no matter what in the end, whether or not the empire will implement this decree, I will regard you as having fulfilled your agreement with me and will not make a second request. Are you satisfied with such a promise? The old emperor finally spoke and said, Your Excellency the Great Magician, can you guarantee that your request will not harm the interests of anyone in the empire? Haha, <laughs> Your Majesty, how can this kind of thing be done? Any decree or law is the same. While considering some people, it will inevitably harm the interests of other people. How to choose between the two is the most important thing. The Wisdom of Politicians 
how can there be such a good thing that can benefit everyone involved? Even if you go to rob gold and distribute it to people in the whole empire, there will be some unlucky ghost whose gold was robbed, that's the reason. Indeed. After thinking over and over again, compared to what he wanted to know, the old emperor chose to compromise. He said, well, I agree. You have my promise, and even if I cannot fulfill it while I am alive, my heirs will keep this promise. So, my lord, about the bank, what can you tell me? Seeing the emperor pointing out his own question, Lin did not answer directly, but asked, Your Majesty, in what capacity are you asking this question? Oh, is there any difference? The old emperor asked curiously. The same sword, what this sword represents in the hands of a fledgling young man, in the hands of a father with a family, in the eyes of a general, in the hands of a city lord, king and even emperor the meanings represented by the eyes seem to be the same thing. But will they consider the same thing? I don't think so. The bank, that is, the priesthood of the goddess of gold coins, in the eyes of people of different heights, of course, they also have their own directions of attention. That's why I asked, Your Majesty, in what capacity are you asking me this question? Holy Guana? Athor Empire, the 35th Emperor, Armin Kazarnia V, hereby ask His Excellency trip with the great magician about all kinds of banks. Very formally after announcing his identity and position, the old emperor said again, I know what that old guy Ricardo Carvi did, but there are some things I can't figure out. Including the function of the bank, it seems that it is not just about depositing money and withdrawing money. Money is as simple as that. I need to know more for the bank to work in the empire. Okay, your majesty, as you wish. Lin said so, but there was no follow-up. After a while, the impatient emperor showed a little anger and said, Magician, are you teasing me? Not afraid of the majestic and angry eyes of the emperor, Lin said solemnly, the emperor's art is never taught lightly. Your majesty, are you sure you want so many people to hear it? Looking at the eyes, there are many irrelevant people in the small hall. Person. Realizing his mistake, the old emperor was not angry, but more interested in what the magician might say next. He didn't even care about the danger of being alone with this magician, so he waved his hand and said, You all step back. But he pointed to Ephron and said, Son, you stay. If I do something, you also need to listen to the next thing. The old emperor turned his head again and called out, Yomir. The emperor's true confidant, the tower-like figure of the commander of the personal guards, stepped out of the shadows. A mighty warrior in full armor, making no secret of his unique intimidation, but obediently waiting three steps behind the emperor. Perhaps the footsteps were quite familiar, the old emperor did not turn his head to confirm whether the person appeared, but directly ordered. Let all the guards go out and guard the small hall, no one can enter. Trespassers, kill. Then you leave. The emperor's instructions were quite clear, so the head of the personal guards only waved his hand, and the others should pack up and go. It didn't take much time. In the small hall where the emperor used to meet his private ministers, only the emperor Alman, the monk Ephron of the goddess of gold coins, the head of the emperor's personal guard, Yamel, and the protagonists of this meeting remained. A magician, a total of four people. Perhaps someone's height and vision prevented him from laying out the layout designed by Duke Cavi for his own territory, and of course he couldn't plan some details for an empire. But once he was a keyboard warrior, what he was best at was talking nonsense. Not to mention the endorsement of the experience of the entire Earth's history, at this time, so and so is not fighting alone. Coin, as a widely recognized medium of exchange, the way it is used certainly affects the development of a country. Starting with the above, Lin tried his best to fool the emperor of an empire. It should be said to describe a bright future and possible economic development. These futures are not necessarily good, but also bad, and even evil. Lin also didn't care whether he was neutral or not when he was telling the story, without any emotions. 
As for telling these things to the emperor of an empire, will it cause any adverse consequences? Honestly, Lin doesn't know and can't vouch for it, but that doesn't mean he shouldn't speak up. Just like before I traveled, I often heard some economists make pessimistic predictions. The aftermath results all proved that these experts and scholars were either blind or their knowledge was bad. Anyway, none of the predictions came true. Doing financial investment according to their predicted trend will only lose a lot of money. For the time being, let's not consider these people as black hands of certain capitals, fooling retail investors in the market. In fact, when these experts and scholars issued warnings, as long as they were normal people, they would of course try to improve the named defects and avoid the tragic future in the prophecy. In other words, the environment has changed, and the future predicted by those scholars is of course invalid. There should be no one who knows that there is a wall in front of him, but he has to try his head to see if he is strong, so he must hit the wall. In fact, this is also an instance where some people who study prophecy believe www.mtlnovel.com that when the prophecy is spoken, the future has already changed. Lin is also not worried that when an emperor hears the prophecy he narrates, will he be frightened and simply ban all actions of the bank and exclude the influence of the goddess of gold coins. Just like a sword in the hands of a wicked person, it will play a different role in the hands of a good person. Few people choose to give up holding a sword because the sword may hurt themselves, or because they feel that they will do bad things with the sword. As an emperor, how can he think that he can't control a sword, and can't control the two financial tools of money and banks? Unless today's abandonment is for a bigger plan tomorrow. But with new money and banks suddenly appearing in front of them, not many people have had time to plan something different. Because of this, an emperor would turn to a magician for help. However, just as Lin didn't expect it beforehand, the layout of the Grand Duke Cavi for his territory was something he couldn't do with the eyes of an ordinary person. Lin also couldn't imagine what an emperor, especially a very capable emperor, would do after knowing what he said. However, what the goddess of gold coins and world trees need is nothing more than the development of the bank. How those in power use this tool, as long as it does not touch the bottom line of the first two, of course they have no reason to refuse. And this is also Lin's attitude. Chapter 1281, Bank Development The Holy City of Estelai The first bank began to operate normally, and among the crowd, it has a memorable and concise name, the first bank. When the construction of the remaining five banks was nearing completion, Relevant personnel came to the first bank for advanced training to learn how to handle common affairs of the bank. Of course, these people are not elves, but are inspired by the goddess and ordered to build the power of the bank, people in their hands or related people. The euphemistic name is the believer of the goddess of gold coins, one by one they converted to religion. But in fact, only they themselves understand. Things seem to be on track for the bank but that didn't make it easy for someone. Just like all careers are in the development stage, it is the most labor-intensive. The common expectation of the goddess and someone is to expand the territory of the bank to the whole land. The current results can only be regarded as a beginning. The situation in the imperial city of Nineveh is completely different from the massive expansion of the Grand Duke of Kavi. Under the emperor's instruction, only the temple of the goddess of gold coins in the temple district was able to function as a bank, and there was no place to build a new bank. And the aristocrats' public statements are also holding a wait-and-see attitude. The old priests in the temple naturally became the first bank clerks, but the leader was Knight Efren Muhashabizi, a nobleman of the empire. Kayin did not object to such an appointment which can be said to be the beginning of a good cooperation between theocracy and imperial power. On the one hand, it is also because the degree of absorption of new knowledge by the old priests is far less than that of young people. But such power alone is certainly not enough to maintain the normal operation of the bank. You must know that no matter where you are, in the early days of the bank's business, the crowds that come with the initial demand are as ferocious as a mob. For this reason, the emperor sent a bodyguard army to maintain order, 
so that the gate of the temple was not demolished by a group of powerful people. Even if they concealed their respective family crests in a low-key manner, the emperor who got the news wanted to order a robbery when truckloads of coins arrived. This wave of robbing, let alone three years of fat. Although someone disagrees with the first bank's classification of users into categories, according to the three categories other than great magician, magician, and the first two, and giving different treatment. But at least these three types of people do not apply the rules of the three types of banks. All of them have the same fair and reasonable rules, but the convenience of using banks is different. Of course, the imperial city of Nineveh also faced the same problem. Nobles of different ranks, nobles and commoners, even nobles and private ministers of the emperor, are constantly dirty. Although the Kian temple under the imperial city had dozens of great holy emblems from the beginning to allow everyone to handle the business of opening accounts, depositing money and withdrawing money, the huge crowd in the early stage still couldn't be digested for a while. And the big drama is not only unfolding among these few ethnic groups, don't forget, it is the temple area of the imperial city, where all kinds of gods gather together. Churches belonging to various gods, don't they have no money to deal with? Therefore, it is not difficult to imagine that the situation of the temple of the goddess of gold coins in the imperial city of Nineveh is even more treacherous than that of the holy city of Estelai. Not only the emperor's personal guard legion sent troops to stand guard, but even the Templar warriors from other temples also sent people to jointly protect the order of the gold coin goddess temple. And according to rumors from unknown high-level officials, the gods of other churches also showed some dissatisfaction due to the riots in the temple area of the Nineveh imperial city. It's not that they are jealous that the church of the goddess of gold coins welcomes a large number of potential believers, but that they are dissatisfied that the church they belong to needs to save money and they will also be charged a storage fee. Although it is said that the affairs of the gods belong to the gods, and the affairs of the human church belong to the human world. But sometimes once the issue of face is raised, it is difficult to get around it. So I heard that many gods came to the door and asked Kayin for an explanation. In the end, how the gods and spirits negotiated, someone didn't know. Anyway, it is the money that should be paid and there will be no less. It was as if those higher UPS had never acted. The opening of the temple bank in the imperial city of Nineveh will have no impact on the overall situation for the time being. Someone has no idea how the emperor plans to lay it out. The construction of various banks in the Duke of Kavi has just begun. Although it has caused heated discussions on the forum, it has not yet produced any real influence. During this period of time, what really caused the crazy behavior was not the crowds queuing up at the first bank, but a wave of external expansion by the Technology Guild. Scavenge all the basic labor force in the holy city of Estelai, and cooperate with the efficiency of the guild to saturate the supply of non-magic jobs and commodities in the holy city. It can be said that guild members earn a lot of money quickly, but this may be the result of condensing the workload of the past three to five years into one year. In the past, Everyone may have to wait for a long time before receiving a suitable job, now relying on the technical guild, you can find a suitable job almost every day. However, except for those who produce consumables, most people's work results are the kind that can last for a long time. There will also be an end to the need to replace the old with the new in the holy city. So some time ago, the president of the technology guild, Uzov Gantia, complained to someone that there were already signs of competition within the guild. This is not a good sign for the development of the guild. Lin Yuke proposed to guide the members of the guild to make a pilgrimage outside the city. However, if he wanted to develop outward, he was discouraged by the rumors of bandits and gangsters, whether it was true or not. This is also the motivation for someone to promote the bank and everyone to use the banking function. However, just like this, it still doesn't stimulate the idea of expanding the business outside the technical guild members. After all, the business within the holy city is relatively close, and the work is relatively safe, so there is no need to worry about being attacked by monsters or robbers in other places. Even in order to increase the incentive, the work outside the holy city will have the extra bonus of travel. 
but in fact, working in places other than the holy city will also have additional costs. Even if the pay for working outside the holy city is better, there is no difference after adding and subtracting. The real reason for them to keep their eyes on the outside of the holy city is still the ratio of currency exchange. In the holy city, the process of entrusting work by the technical guild is that the entrusting party will hand over all or part of the remuneration to the guild. After the work is completed and accepted, the remuneration will be delivered to the technical team that will take over the entrusted work. But outside the holy city, because of the distance, most of the consignors will not send the reward to the technology guild in advance. Instead, after the team completes the work, they receive the remuneration directly from the client. It is this kind of process that in the past became an opportunity for robbers and thieves to take advantage of it. But now, after the technical team on a business trip completes their work, under the watchful eyes of everyone, except for the necessary travel expenses, all other coins are deposited in the divine kingdom of the goddess of gold coins, and no one can grab them. The point is, the money is still old coins. This means that in addition to travel bonus, there is also the difference in currency exchange to earn when traveling on business trips. This has greatly stimulated the enthusiasm of the technical guild members, and they are all actively looking for jobs outside the holy city, no matter how far away they are. After all, it is an indisputable fact that the demand for work in the holy city has decreased. There is also a basis for working outside the home to earn more. According to the calculations of those who are interested, working outside the holy city now makes profits between 1.5 and 2 times that of working inside. And predictably, this bonus isn't forever. Therefore, those who want to take advantage of the good time to make a fortune must put in more effort. The reason why dividends are not permanent is that people are profit-seeking by nature, and they love to show off. The advantage of using the bank was quickly publicized by the artisan team dispatched by the Technology Guild. For the lost natives of this era, it may be very difficult for them to learn how to manage money carefully. However, the benefits of bank currency exchange are easy to see. Then the interest rate difference between the old and new coins is transferred from the entrusting party to the employed party at the moment when the old coins are handed over as transaction remuneration. This is unacceptable to some stingy nobles. In particular, they have a noble status, but those who come to work for him are just mud legs without any noble blood, so it is inevitable that they will have some thoughts about this situation. Moreover, there are unexpectedly many such people in the group of minor nobles. Some people think that it is necessary to pay at a reduced price. Even before he understood how the bank's holy emblem of Kayin worked, he thought that if he detained someone, he could loot all the money stored in the opponent's holy emblem. However, for the former, there is no public price reduction formula. After all, the exchange between old and new coins mainly depends on the weight of precious metals. As for the team of craftsmen who are good at new style mathematics and are proficient in calculation, it is of course impossible to accept the general statement of reducing the price by 20% or 30% in the past. When there is a dispute over the former situation and no consensus can be reached, the way to deal with it is actually the same as the way to deal with the latter situation, that is, let the thugs hired by the technical guild come forward to resolve it. The mercenary guild is happy to take over this kind of business. At the same time, the technical guild will spread the news about a certain noble's breach of contract, and will shrink its manpower to stop dealing with the noble. Starting from the three aspects of force, economy, and public opinion, they will fight against those who they only looked up to before and who have noble blood. In the face of robbers, thieves, or moles who have no definite evidence, the guild has no good means to deal with these young people hiding in the dark. You can only passively strengthen your protection, or find someone who is familiar with the underground society to solve the problem afterwards. However, no one can guarantee whether www.mtlnovel.com the person who murdered is the same person who was called to solve the problem. However, it is much easier to deal with people who have a fixed base, have obvious goals, and value reputation. The greatest reliance of these noble lords is the use of power. 
before the matter is publicized to the public, the insider is completely eliminated, so as to protect his reputation. However, this method is difficult to implement today when forums are popular. People have not yet realized its evil, but the power belonging to the forum has been revealed. As long as any nobleman does not follow the agreement, he and the people around him will be baptized by overwhelming news. The sarcasm from the same aristocratic class, and the contemptuous eyes from the servants. Even if the latter can be suppressed by its own power, there is no good way to solve the former. And this kind of mental bullying is more painful to nobles than any punishment. So when there are a few precedents where your reputation has been tarnished, others will think twice before acting irrationally. Then, in order to prevent the benefits of currency exchange from being monopolized by the artisan team of the technical guild, whether to accept the establishment of the bank on their own territory has become a problem for the nobles. Chapter 1282, Lost Group 1 Bank Robbers The establishment and use of banks has not always been smooth sailing. On a certain afternoon, in this crisp autumn day, it should be suitable for traveling and relaxing. But someone didn't think so, and they planned and executed Midi's first bank robbery. Perhaps they are powerless to directly enter the kingdom of the goddess of gold coins. But it would be nice to force people with money in their bank accounts to take the money out on their own initiative. Kayin's small holy emblem can only be used to save money, but the bank's big holy emblem has a full set of functions. Just arrest people and coerce them one by one. It's not difficult. Such thoughts drove a gang to do it. In view of the fact that most bank users are only using the currency exchange function, there are not many people who actually save money. So in order not to let the thieves go empty-handed, the gang also deliberately selected a target to guarantee their own minimum income. He was a member of a technology guild, and he was also the boss of a craftsman team that recently targeted business outside the holy city. Because he has actually experienced the benefits of saving money, most of his net worth is stored in the bank. The coins that are carried on the body are only necessary expenses and daily needs. The old dwarf often boasted of this. The old dwarf just came back from the field yesterday, today is their team's rest day, and the old dwarf is used to going to the technical guild on such a day. In addition to drinking and bragging to other people, he also took a look at the guild to see if there were any other commissions that were suitable for his team. And this robbery gang covered their faces and hijacked the old dwarf on his way to the technology guild. A group of well-trained warriors, it is not difficult to catch an old dwarf who is out alone. Those who covered their mouths covered their mouths, and those who blocked their sight blocked their sight. Everyone worked together and pushed the old dwarf to the bank. Entering the bank's gate, they behaved quite normally. Except for a few people who were guarded by the gate, the rest of the people huddled together and walked forward, looking normal. Such a scene is often seen in recent banks. It is usually a group of people who protect large sums of money and at the same time have the task of handling them, and they want to deposit them into bank accounts. But such a group of people squeezed into a small room with a great holy emblem, which is not normal. Because the communication between the goddess and bank users is both text and voice. In order to protect personal privacy, the rooms where the great holy emblem is used are separated and covered, and there is no saying that they are used together. If you are only responsible for moving money, you should quit after moving in. As for the mask, that's just a small thing. These days, many people who want to save their own money will cover their faces. In addition to not wanting to meet people who shouldn't be touched, I also don't want to be recognized. So at the moment, an elf in charge of the general affairs of the bank stepped forward, ready to persuade and explain the instructions for using the bank's great sage emblem room for one person per room. Sorry, I'm a bank clerk, and I'm going to enter the compartment. I want to explain to you the rules of use. But when the elf lifted the curtain with a magical occlusion effect, he saw a group of people holding a dwarf, and place the weapon on the opponent's neck. He was yelling loudly, forcing the other party to withdraw all the money in his bank account. The old dwarf was weeping. 
It is not anyone who has the courage to resist when a knife is pressed against the neck, and can guarantee that he will not die. When he saw the figure of the elf out of the corner of his eyes, he only had time to say two words, help. Then the voice stopped abruptly. Because the knife against the neck stabbed a little deeper. Knowing that the behavior of their group was discovered, this group of robbers was not afraid, and simply turned from stealth to open robbery. The people guarding the door closed the bank's gate, and the few people who filed out drove back the elves, and at the same time took several nearby unlucky ghosts hostage. Take your weapon and put it on them. The people who get caught are actually very particular. The robbers ignored those who were dressed as magicians or magic apprentices. Instead, try to pick guys who look like ordinary people, preferably with the logo of the technical guild on them. Such a person can be regarded as a fat sheep. The boss who took the lead stood up and flicked the long sword in his hand. Flames erupted from the sword, covering the entire blade. This is an excellent magic sword. Everyone believes that there should be many innocent dead souls under this sword. If you're fine, don't move around. I'll take the money in these people's accounts and leave. It has nothing to do with you. It will save you the time of getting yourself injured and the time of treatment, which is good for everyone. The leader warned. The elves serving in the bank did not carry weapons. This is to avoid overwhelming the bank users, and suits are not suitable for wearing shiny weapons as accessories. So they just surrounded the robbers who took the hostages and kept confronting each other. However, the time chosen by the robbers is actually the time of day when the bank has fewer users. So no one is queuing in the bank now. There were a few magicians present. They are fully equipped and ready to fight at any time. Just buy some time and give them a chance to prepare. But the elves did not count on such a crowd at all. Because of the other party's expression, there was no trace of urgency at all. Even if they were not accomplices to the robbers, they still made up their minds to stay out of it. With the existence of banks, it would be a lie to say that no one is jealous. They are all thinking about how to get some money from outside the rules of the bank. It's just that there is a behind the bank, which really scares many people away. Now someone muster up the courage to become the first bank robber in the land of obsession. Everyone present was very curious about what the final outcome would be. So as long as these robbers don't take the initiative to provoke themselves, the magicians will not take the initiative to do so. Anyway, there is a ready-made reason, they have hostages in their hands, so it is not easy for others to make a move. Seeing that the scene was under control, the robbery group became even bolder. They escorted the kidnapped people directly to the great sacred emblem of the goddess of gold coins. If someone is using it in the first place, it will drive them away. Then threatened to have people withdraw all the money in their own accounts. Because it is used face to face, and most of the users are not devout believers, Kayin communicates with bank users through the great sacred emblem. Other people can also see and hear during the process, so it is necessary for each single room to be covered with magic to protect personal privacy. However, at this time, this function has become an account holder who cannot hide the defects of his account balance in front of outsiders. And the elves who wanted to save people, also because of the open layout design inside the bank, they had no chance to sneak an attack. It could only confront it, and another small group of elves ran to other places to take everyone's weapons. Of course, this action was done carefully, for fear of irritating the robbers. Whether to save your life, this is indeed a question worth pondering in midi. In this world where human life is so precious, it is not a big deal to sacrifice a few people for their own purposes. That is to say, according to Midi's universal moral standards, in order to maintain the order and credit of the bank, ignoring the safety of the lives of the hostages and directly killing all the robbers is acceptable to everyone. As for how many people can be saved in the end, everyone doesn't care. Being able to survive is luck, not being able to survive is bad luck. Of course the elves have the strength to kill this group of robbers, even if they are now unarmed. You know, the elves staying in the first bank are still the first batch, and no other bank needs them to be stationed. 
This also means that they are the best group of people in their respective tribes. The strength displayed by the robber in front of him is also among the strong among human beings, and no one is weak. But compared with the elves, there is still a big difference. To say that the only saving grace is that the opponent has weapons and equipment in hand, while the elves are empty-handed. But, is it necessary to save the life of the hostage in front of him? This is also a problem for elves. In fairy tales, elves love nature and life. But under the rule of Midi and World Tree, there is nothing wrong with the elves of the Wood Elf tribe loving nature. It is okay to say that they love life, but it does not mean that they will hesitate when they need to kill. The reason why the elves couldn't make up their minds whether to save people or maintain order in the bank came from what the magician said. Banks, a part of the belief in the goddess of gold coins, are more important than some important things recognized by the world, and talents are the key. People provide faith, people use banks. Human life is more important than face or order. Therefore, when it is related to the bank, it cannot be easily killed. This warning is actually telling the elves that when dealing with bank affairs and encountering people who are messing around, they should not solve the problem by solving the problem maker. Instead, use patience and reason with the other party. If you really don't listen to what you say, you can only ask the other party to leave first and calm down. If you still need to do banking, wait a day or two. Although it's not as good as that customer is god nonsense before someone transmigrated, but in the habit of losing ground www.mtlnovel.com can definitely be called kind. It's just that, when the elves operate, they follow Meyer's explanation. Sir, what you mean is, don't kill people, just maim them. Then throw them out. The dark elf explained concisely. So, how to deal with this situation? The elves wondered. However, people die for money, and birds die for food. Not many people are willing to give up all their wealth and property easily. So even if the knife is on his neck, none of the kidnapped people will withdraw all their accounts and give them to the robbers with both hands. On earth, the rich will sacrifice their money for their lives. This is because they have passed the stage of making money. When they are thinking about how to have fun, it is obvious that money is more important than people. Unless there are some stingy people, their brains will be different from ordinary people. But in Midi, especially now that capital is just beginning to show signs and is in the stage of crazily accumulating, even if the rich are not stingy during this period, they must have a lot of vigor. The difference between them and the robbers is that they have no knives in their hands, and they are not necessarily convinced or timid. What's more, there are other people around to try to rescue, not alone. As long as the time is delayed, they will definitely find a chance to escape and save money and people. There are even those who are bold, even if they are held hostage, they still dare to yell loudly. Chapter 1283, Meaning of Protection Of course, the robbers were well aware of the situation in front of them. As for the elf guards stationed at the bank in their eyes, this is the function of elves the number was confirmed in the pre-investigation, and the time limit was before the missing elves took out their weapons and returned. The elves guarding the bank are highly skilled in martial arts. Whether they have a bow or not, their threats are completely different. Seeing the time passing by, the robbers decided not to wait. Faced with this kind of stalemate in the plan, they will kill one person first to prove their determination, and see if others are willing to compromise for their own lives, so that today's robbery will go smoothly. If it doesn't work, you can only make another plan. When the leader held up his flaming sword, he came to the unlucky ghost who cursed the most. Although their faces are covered, their eyes are not. He showed regret and pity in his eyes, and said, It's a pity, if you are willing to cooperate, the next misfortune will not happen. I hope your blood can serve as a reminder to others. Realizing what fate he was about to face, the one who cursed the most began to beg for mercy. Even if he scolded occasionally, he turned to scold those elves who surrounded him but did nothing, and scolded them for being the guards of the bank. As for the other kidnapped people, they shrank their necks and kept silent. 
Of course, they guessed the next development, and desperately thought of ways to reduce losses. And those who were watching the theater couldn't help but think about whether it is safe to store money in the bank. Just when the flaming longsword was about to fall, a long ghostly whistle came from far and near, penetrating into everyone's eardrums. Everyone was frightened when they heard the sound, because this sound was not an ordinary sound, but a whistling with divine power. Such a voice was no stranger to the Midi people. Although a person may not have heard it once in a lifetime, he must have heard similar rumors. The person holding the sword was puzzled, and the others also had puzzled expressions. But when the huge shields of various colors smashed through the ceiling of the first bank, and were precisely inserted between each robber and the hostage, separating the two, the expressions became extremely surprised, and then there were mixed feelings. Chen's emotions filled everyone's chest. The whistle did not end, and the gods who descended from the sky shook all the standing people and elves in the bank. They bent their knees, stood up slowly in the eyes of everyone, and held their respective giant shields. Now everyone's surprised expressions turned into panic. But it's not over yet. The last giant shield rippling with golden light also descended from the sky. It was in the center of the bank, not only piercing through the ceiling, but also creating a hole in the floor. The shield was embedded in the pit, and a shocking crack extended outward. When the Guardian Lord also descended from the sky, lowered his head, and landed on one knee, a burst of explosive wind exploded and spread outward. The person who could barely keep from falling down could simply fall down this time. The person who had already fallen was pushed a long distance, and could not stop until he hit the wall. That head of blonde hair fluttered without wind, and the little golden glow gathered from the outside to the inside. At this time, the power permeating the air seemed to be drained, and it was all sucked into the body of the Guardian Lord, and the divine power became stronger. At this time, the crowd was no longer frightened, but was oppressed by the increasingly powerful divine power and couldn't breathe. Open your eyes. Although not many people could see it clearly, it caused the hearts of everyone present to jump. The Guardian Lord Apollos, like his nine generals, slowly stood up from the ground and scanned the audience with his eyes. Everywhere you look, you will feel as if you are suffocating. He stretched out his hand to buckle the belt behind the shield, and lifted the huge shield embedded in the floor with ease. Just as the giant shield left the ground, it clicked, as if the fate of some people present was pronounced, and the robbers broke out in cold sweat. However, at this time they wanted to run, but they couldn't take a step. The whole body is stiff, there is no breathing, no heartbeat, there is no wind around, no sound. It's like everything in the whole world is still, only the consciousness is still clear. Slowly moving forward, the mortal Apollos approached the robber leader holding a flaming sword. At the same time, he said in the divine language belonging to the Lord of Guardians, I swear to protect the safety of the people's property. Tisk. Unfortunately, no one could understand what this big guy said. As for the robbers who watched the gods approaching step by step, there was only one thought in their mind, as for it. I will rob. This is also the idea that the leading robber finally kept in his mind. And the last image he saw with his eyes was the close-up look of the indestructible giant shield on his face. There were also other robbers who died in the same way, not a single one was missed. This group of people can also be counted among the strong in the world. Without such ability, not many people would dare to rob in broad daylight in this city where magicians gather. In fact, they dared to do this because they heard that many people wanted to test the bank's defense. Although no one has the ability to enter the kingdom of God to rob, but not all links are so well protected. So as long as you are the first to stand up, no one outside the bank will meddle in your business. But it is obvious that the strongest in the world is not enough to see the strongest in the gods. No matter how capable the leading robber is, he is only worthy of being slapped by the guardian master. The part of the shield directly turned into fly ash, leaving only two legs standing on the ground, and fell down again. When those who survived regained their mobility, the guardian lord and his generals were gone. 
if it weren't for the remnants of the robbers left in the bank, as well as the holes in the floor and ceiling, everyone would have thought that what happened just now was just a dream. A group of elves headed by the Dark Elf Mayor, because they are the best of their respective tribes, have personally been blessed by the World Tree. Maybe they still can't do anything to kill the gods, but their strength is enough to serve as pawns and support their masters to fight a battle of gods. It is said that being able to become a in the battle of gods is also a rare powerhouse in the world. But if the object is the guardian lord, the situation is completely different. Even with the support of the power of the world tree, it is still not enough for them to contend with the divine power of Apollos after he uttered the word guardian. So the elves watched a good show so quietly, not daring to take a breath. It wasn't until the crowd recovered and the gods left that the elves who ran to get the weapons dared to come out and stood with their companions, looking a little embarrassed. Well, do you still need these bows? The elf how who asked the question was not surprised, he got a bunch of blank eyes. Immediately, the elves looked at Mayor, the de facto leader of the crowd, even though she was grey-skinned. The dark elf, who had been looking up noticed that everyone around her was staring at her. He smiled at the fairies and said, I will ask Mr. to help us think of some weapons that we can carry with us. You can also think about it and use it if you can. It's not like today, everyone can only use it. Stand still. We have to go to the next door to send a commission again. Following the original gaze of the dark elf, all the elves immediately knew what this man was thinking about. Looking at the bright holes in the ceiling, an elf asked suspiciously, should we just change the ceiling into a patio, or other materials that are easy to repair? Mayer replied seriously, well, it's a good idea to change it to a patio, and the lighting will be better. But what if it rains? As for changing to other materials that are easy to repair, unless it is repaired with magic materials or direct plastic surgery, otherwise reinforced concrete is the cheapest and best to use. An elf suggested, how about designing a magic shield? It can shelter from wind and rain. If someone breaks in from the patio, you can consider repairing it in time, or unilaterally allow it. The elves came to the first bank, and most of them knew that they would run a new bank elsewhere in the future. Therefore, when encountering a problem, everyone will tend to discuss a longer-term solution instead of passively cleaning up the aftermath. However, regarding everyone's opinions, Mayer said sharply, compared to thinking about making the matter develop to a situation where the Guardian Lord has to come forward in person, why not consider solving the matter before it happens? This way, you don't have to think about repairing the ceiling later. It's about the floor. Dominated by Fars Inus, the World Tree, the atmosphere in the Dark Elf tribe is completely different from other Wood Elf tribes. Dark Elves are more aggressive and a bit more aggressive. So when encountering a problem, Meyer's opinion is not the same as that of most Elves. All the Elves suddenly realized this, and said in unison, Ah! Compared with the Elves after watching a play, they are thinking about the aftermath. The old dwarf who was held hostage, and the other people who were unlucky to be arrested after entering the bank, and the group of people who made up their minds that it had nothing to do with them, whether they went to play it in person or watched it from the sidelines, it was all worthless. In a cold sweat. Of course, the kidnapped person survived the catastrophe, not only saved his life, but also saved the property stored in the bank. They all prayed in their hearts, prayed to the goddess of gold coins and prayed to the Guardian Lord. Although no one knows why it belongs to the territory of the Goddess of Gold Coins www.mtlnovel.com or provokes such a powerful existence as the Lord of Guardians, the most important thing is to keep the money. So at this time, they are not believers but they are better than believers. However, the saddest ones should be those who don't want to intervene because they don't think they have been robbed of their heads. They actually have similar ideas and want to test the bank's loopholes. If it was easy to get the money, maybe they would find a few friends someday, cover their faces, and play a guest role as a robber. But the solution turned out to be that the Lord of Guardians came forward in person. It's like I just went to a lizard cave to dig out eggs, 
but I didn't expect a group of giant dragons to stand up and guard in front of the lair. Kicking to the iron plate is not enough to describe the unlucky degree of those robbers. So no matter whether they really had ideas, or they thought about not breaking the law, from this moment on, all those weird thoughts were dispelled. If this level of protection is not possible, there will be no safe place in Midi. And what happened today, with the witnesses preaching and the help of the elves in the bank, quickly spread throughout the lost land. Especially those who claim that it is not safe to deposit money in banks. If it's just a goddess of gold coins with weak divine power, everyone will be somewhat worried. Don't say that the weak divine power can't beat the powerful divine power, there is still a hurdle of medium divine power in the middle. But if the real guard of the bank is the named guardian, then the nature of the matter is different. An inexplicable confidence caused an uproar among the people who used the bank. Chapter 1284, Bank Expansion The Guardian Lord showed up at the bank, which of course caused an uproar. For any news, there will be people who question its authenticity. But this time, no one dared to say anything more. Because in the bank, in addition to the holy emblem of the Goddess of Gold Coins, there is an additional holy emblem of the Lord of Guardians at the position of the main seat. And under the two holy emblems, the phrase I vow to protect the safety of the people's property is written in the language of God. The two stand shoulder to shoulder and sit on an equal footing. It is difficult to say who is dominant and who is inferior, and who takes advantage of whom. In terms of strength, the Lord of Guardians undoubtedly ranks first. Even in the Church of the Three Holy Lights, the Lord of Justice is in the center, and the Lord of Guardians occupies the honorable position on the left, and then the Lord of Life occupies the first place on the right. But in terms of territory, the bank belongs to the Goddess of Gold Coins. All functions and layouts inside are arranged according to the instructions of the Goddess. If it hadn't been for an unsuccessful robbery case, no one would have known that the land was guarded by the Lord of Guardians. Even this big boss has not given any instructions to his followers, and the precepts and creeds belonging to the Guardian Lord have not been changed. But in the eyes of outsiders, the bank hanging with gold coins and the holy emblem of guardianship can explain many things. At least, no one wants to get into trouble and provoke that true boss who doesn't even dare to offend demons. Similarly, other banks under construction are also allowed to add a holy emblem of the Guardian Lord. No matter how those big guys living in the sky gamble, in the eyes of mortals, it means the alliance of two gods. And that makes for an interesting picture. The holy emblem of the Lord of Guardians has not been removed from the Church of the Three Holy Lights, but the bank has added his presence. This big boss who doesn't have his own church has a wider influence than any good god. However, those who expect to take advantage of this relationship and use this most powerful deity as a will be deeply disappointed. Because the huge shields that fell from the sky usually hit their own heads, not those who said they were framed, but they were not so innocent. In short, the joining of the Guardian Lord has greatly improved the trustworthiness of the bank. Except for the holy city of Estelai, which is already crazy about it, Anyone who heard the news expressed interest in the bank and hoped to have a detailed discussion with the goddess. Of course, this kind of thing can't come true. No matter what Kay Yin said, he was still a member of the gods. Not so bad as to have to personally approach all potential believers and get them to set up a bank for themselves. This kind of thing, which is no different from preaching, is of course carried out by the agent of the gods in the world. In view of the envoys who belonged to the goddess of gold coins, that is, the original group of bishops, priests, and monks, not many people have really mastered the knowledge of banks. So when someone expresses their interest in the bank through the forum, the main contacts with these people are the elves who are interns at the first bank. Basically, contact volunteers through forums and provide goddess of gold coins requirements for bank buildings and the elves will go to the field to investigate, and if the volunteers do not provide any data, they will foolishly accept everything. Because it is necessary to target areas with different populations and different economic levels, the elves will put forward suggestions that are in line with the local conditions. 
not all places are arranged according to the level of the holy city of Estelai or the imperial city of Nineveh. In addition, when the construction of the bank and other places is nearing completion, someone must come forward to check and accept it. These actions require human hands. The first batch of elves who settled in the first bank were all very busy. It had to be transferred from the wood elf tribe of World Tree to reserve the second and third batches of people to settle in. There are even a considerable number of elves who are busy with bank-related affairs while staying in their respective tribes. Especially those elves who are not so good at learning new knowledge become the guards of others during field inspection or acceptance. On the busiest day, there are nearly a hundred groups of elves in places other than the tribe, going deep into other human societies to inspect the location of the bank or to check and accept the completed bank. And Lin, as a voter of the goddess of gold coins, of course can't stay out of the matter. The inspection is easy to solve, just to observe whether the predetermined location meets the situation described by the volunteers, and if necessary, keep up with the first wave of bank construction. After all, some places have too few populations and small economies, and there is no need to use limited power in such places. When the number of banks increases and the main economic nodes are arranged, it is more reasonable to develop towards these end areas. If accepted, it would be wonderful. Whether it's the lost land or the earth before someone crossed over, as long as it involves acceptance, there are always some cheap people who want to make a fuss. At this time, it is inevitable that some behaviors of giving gifts or threatening the acceptance personnel. At this time, no matter how much the acceptance personnel emphasize, they only propose certification or modification suggestions for the standard or irregular parts of the bank's building and interior layout. The final result is still up to the boss in the sky to decide. If you dissatisfy him, the consequences will be serious. Such warnings are usually not believed. If it was a gift in the first place, it is now a threat. If it was intimidation at the beginning, it is now to draw the knife. According to the guidance of a magician who has the status of a voter, don't force the demands of these owners at this time. Step aside, communicate with the goddess directly according to their ideas, and ask for the bank's opening permit. Of course, all prayers should be said out loud to avoid being misunderstood and obstructed. In a situation like this, the goddess of gold coins usually doesn't send down a white light to make all the great holy emblems in the bank come into play, but instead sends down a thunderbolt to smash this miserable substandard bank building to pieces. Anyway, according to the requirements of bank buildings, no important people have ever used magic materials to build them. As long as it is built in accordance with the interior design specifications and at a designated location with permission, even if the walls are made of bamboo and then coated with a layer of mud, the goddess will use such a bank. After all, in the plan, the construction of the bank is to go deep into the settlements of Homo sapiens at the village and town level, and there is definitely no way to use good materials to build it. It's better not to be entangled in this point at the beginning, so as to avoid the feeling that early participants have spent a lot of money in vain. But the goddess of gold coins will not be used to unqualified things. Smash the heavy cover directly. If you keep it, there will be a glimmer of hope for such greedy people, they will make an inch out of ten and continue to test on the verge of death. So it's better to show the chariots and horses, and give a tough response from the beginning. If the other party knows the mistake and admits the compensation, the acceptance personnel will comfort them with a few useless words. In the end, people still have to find a way to rebuild it, or restore the ruins to what the bank should look like. But such people are rare, or almost never. If the other party becomes angry from embarrassment and is ready to vent their anger on the elf, it is to call the boss of World Tree directly. The elf robes woven by each World Tree have their own positioning function for this big guy. So if you pull back with a flashing technique, you don't have to argue with the other party, and they can't even see the back of their head. Anyway, it's the same old saying. Now it's a seller's market, and the gold coin goddess's compulsion is so high. Either cooperate or pull down. There is no compromise or a step back. But for the time being, those who will take the initiative to come to the door are mostly small fish, 
the kind of people who are wandering on the edge of the conditions of the first wave of support targets. Those who are really capable are either still waiting and watching, or evaluating the scale of investment. After all, all these things are unfamiliar to MIDI. It is related to money, and it is not the kind of transaction where money is paid and delivery is made. Everyone will inevitably worry about whether there are traps in it. Don't look at the Grand Duke Cavi's grand opening of the bank construction in his territory. It took a magician more saliva to persuade the emperor of the empire, and now he still only opened a temple bank. I didn't hear that he was preparing elsewhere. Facts have proved that a certain traveler's aura of domineering is not enough, and his skill at fooling is not good enough. At least a certain person can't open his mouth, so that others will be stunned, and everything will follow his arrangement. Lost people still have their own little thoughts. Among the participants during this period, if it is important to say, the first place is Jialong Chamber of Commerce, one of the partners in automobile manufacturing and research and development. And it's not just the two brothers Ruan Wenayu and Wen Zhao, most of the other branches of the Ruan family also participated. The two brothers Ruan Wenayu and Wen Zhao also made a special trip to the holy city of Estelai to meet with a magician to discuss opening a bank near the mine. According to their calculations, the gold, silver, and copper ores extracted from the mines are directly deposited into the divine kingdom of the goddess of gold coins, and then taken out where they need to be used. Although what is taken out will be in the form of coins, it is not difficult to use it for other purposes. This way, although you have to pay a storage fee. But compared to transporting raw ore to a special forging workshop, and then spending manpower and material resources to purify precious metals, the cost incurred in this process is much higher than the storage fee set by the goddess. Having tasted the sweetness, they mainly want to see if other metals can be treated in the same way. Of course, Lin refused instead of goddess of gold coins. What a joke, the number of gods surrounding the concept of metal forging is enough to form a system www.mtlnovel.com If the goddess of gold coins, who is only supposed to care about three kinds of precious metals, crosses the border, it is no different from declaring war. Even with the Lord of Guardians covering him, someone felt that Kay Yin would be a little nervous. Another important figure is Baron William Engels of Vader's military kingdom. This is someone from a trip back in the day, a Dewey friend. His wife is Nguyen Thi Huawei, a member of the Nguyen family of the Jialong Chamber of Commerce. After Lin arrived in the holy city of Estelai, he would get to know the two brothers Ruan Wenayu and Wen Zhao, and this Ruan Thawai also led the way. Vader's military country is one of the five great empires in Midi, and its strength is beyond doubt. Although William Engels was only a baron, his father was the Grand Duke of the North, Henry Engels. Compared with the Grand Duke of Kevi, his strength is only between the two. When such a person comes to the door, it can actually be regarded as a signal from the person behind him. If the cooperation in the early stage is good, then the next thing will be a matter of course. If there is a problem with the cooperation, then there is nothing to do next. For such a person, of course, Lin personally came forward to negotiate. It's a pity that some people don't know what their mutual friend, the white swordsman William Greco is doing now. Otherwise, when friends reunite and have a few glasses of wine, things will be much easier to talk about. But what really bothered someone was another friend's request for cooperation. From the southwestern peninsula of Midi, an old friend whom I met a while ago, great magician Juan Javier. Chapter 1285, Back to the Southwest The wild area in the cognition of the Lost Land is in the southwest peninsula outside the world's border mountains. This place is very big, but it is the place Lin is most familiar with. Because he used his own feet to travel across most of the southwest peninsula, dealing with troubles that ordinary adventurers would not deal with, and accumulating the initial funds. He also suffered the deepest betrayal in this most familiar place. Those who were trusted and regarded as companions all abandoned him. In the end, he could only leave with his apprentice and a lich who was also homeless. Now that he came back, he didn't have the feeling of returning home, or the return of a king. 
maybe it's because he never regarded this place as his hometown, just a journey in his life. His hometown is billions of light years away, an earth that definitely exists, but is not sure whether it belongs to him. So when he came back this trip, Lin didn't go to the Zijia branch of the Magician Association, which he was most familiar with, or the Tower of the Great Sage. He was invited by the great magician Juan Javier to go directly to his country, the Kingdom of Huelva. The purpose is of course for the construction of the bank. Speaking of the current development of banks, there is a very interesting phenomenon. Basically, the people who come to the door are either nobles or local wealthy businessmen. As the three major organizations in the Lost Continent, the Mage Association, the Adventurer's Guild, and the Mercenary Guild have never contacted the Goddess of Gold Coins in order to build a bank. The latter two are just an intermediary organization, which is nothing to say. However, in some places, the Association of Magicians has a ruling power comparable to that of nobles, and is recognized as a lord. However, they still had no contact with the Goddess. This may have something to do with the association's system. The resolution method in the form of parliament is always no faster than the one-word decision of the nobles. It has only been more than two months since the appearance of the Kayin Great Sacred Emblem temporarily placed in the Technology Guild, and it is not enough for those who have voting rights in the parliament to divide up the benefits that have not yet been obtained. Speaking of it, this is also a bit ridiculous. In short, when his old friend Juan came to him, it was not his teacher, the president of the Magician Association of the Leon District branch, who helped him. But to help his cheap father who can't be called dad, the king of the Welva Kingdom Han Four. The king married his mother who was a widow, but did not recognize his son. Therefore, in the order of the king's succession, Juan can't be ranked high. He only has the name of Javier's family name on his biological father's side. However, this small problem is nothing before the disparity in strength. Juan has been recognized by six divisions of the Magician Association so far, and has been awarded the title of Great Magician. In the eyes of most people, he already has the qualifications to become a Dharma Saint. As long as Juan is willing to travel around the world and get the approval of more district clubs. But this once romantic prodigal son didn't care about such things. He'd get six recognitions, just riding the tide on his own risky journey. It is not in his character to ask him to travel deliberately in order to become a saint. As for the other position, that is, the chair of the president of the Magician Association of the Leon District branch, it is recognized by everyone as the great magician's pocket. There is no other reason, no one can fight better than this elemental prince. Personal connections are of course the key to getting that position, but once the strength reaches a certain level, as long as Juan doesn't explicitly refuse, no one will come forward to compete with him. After all, no one wants to be beaten up and dragged out of the house like a dead dog. Juan Javier was conferred the title of Great Magician, but he came here stained with a lot of blood. It can be said that there is hope to sit on the throne of the President of the Association of Magicians, who would care about the position of a king. You must know that the Kingdom of Welva is just one of the thirteen small kingdoms included in the Leon branch. In terms of strength and scale, the Leon branch can be regarded as a colossus compared to the Welva Kingdom. It's just that when he really wants to do something, this great magician still likes to go back to his hometown to fight. For example, after someone left, the Magic Academy established by Wan, and the introduction of the bank this time. The news of the bank could not reach the southwestern peninsula of Lost Land. Because there is no direct connection with the holy city of Estelai, it is quite far away from the territory of the Guana Empire, and it has nothing to do with the five elven kingdoms. The nearest elf kingdom is also on the other side of the mountain called the Border of the World. It's just that Juan paid a lot of attention to the news of the holy city, or he paid a lot of attention to the magician, so he learned about the bank. In fact, the magicians who also followed the news of the holy city through the forum all noticed the so-called bank immediately and spread the word. As for why he paid attention to that magician, it wasn't any ulterior motive. Juan is quite sure that he likes a woman, 
and has a very considerate wife. The reason why I paid attention to that magician was that Wan followed him to the wind elemental realm. And after going to the fire elemental realm with the robot fleet, he found that it was difficult for him to ignore the magician's movements. With a different name of Prince of Elements, he is of course extraordinary in his attainments in elemental magic. However, some time ago, the Earth Elemental Elves seemed to be separated from the Land of Mystery, and they couldn't contact anyone at all. Although Earth Elemental Magic can still be used, its power is far less than before. Wan thought about many possibilities, but he never thought that one possibility is that the Earth Elemental Elves collectively transform into another life form, and it is very likely that an Elemental Elf King or the Master of the Four Elements has already appeared. But a trip to the Elemental Plane, and the type of war that is very different from the Lost Land, made him realize that the impossible seems to have come true. And it wasn't achieved by the Lich that he didn't dare to provoke, but by the magician he regarded as a friend from the beginning, but he knew with the mentality of making friends with the weak. When the person who once belonged to the weak in his own eyes turned over and became an existence that he had to look up to. Juan Javier didn't have the slightest bit of jealousy or hatred in his heart. Instead, he silently wished his friend sincerely, and then paid attention to him. If only I could get something from him that I needed. With this idea in mind, and the support of his wife who is good at prophecy, Juan had the airship diplomacy a while ago, and followed someone to the elemental plane a few times. The harvest is much greater than expected. Even now, Juan still hasn't digested what he got at the beginning. Not to mention taking it as a basis and taking it to the next level. Now the news of the bank has entered one's vision again. After he got acquainted with it a little bit, he sent an invitation to someone under the instruction of that cheap father. He has personally experienced the power of the flashing technique. So Juan never thought about sending the airship Gosperton, which has been greatly improved, to pick up people. Although the new Gosburton flew from the southwestern peninsula of Midi to the holy city of Estelai at full speed, it no longer took more than half a year as it used to. But no matter how fast it is, it is not as fast and convenient as someone's flashing technique. So just let people come over by themselves, and save time and effort for each other. According to one's cognition, a certain person's blinking technique can go back and forth with the elemental plane silently. The distance from the holy city of Estelai to the southwest peninsula is nothing. And the truth, too. Lin, who was invited, stood in front of the gate of the palace of the kingdom of Velva. It's not that he can't go in directly to find someone, it's just that it's impolite to do so. So as long as the other party's permission is not obtained, or the two sides are in a hostile position, Lin Du still sticks to his role as a guest. It is my own business to save time on the road, if I take presumptuousness as convenience, it would be too silly. Juan Javier and his wife, also his student Anne-Marie came forward to greet him. The acquaintances on both sides greeted each other casually, and Juan asked enthusiastically, It's so fast. I thought it would take some time for you to find a place. It's not that difficult to find from the sky. And the goal of the palace is obvious enough. You can't go wrong with the one with the most flags and the largest house. If you make an appointment for an inconspicuous small place, it will be much more troublesome. You think I'm quick, so I'm here early. Lin laughed. It's not early. It's just right. The old man and other brats are here, and the ministers trusted by the old man haven't left yet. I just talked to them. Let them have more time to think about how the bank should operate. After that, we will slow down slow down. Do you plan to revisit the old place this time? There is no arrangement for the gauze burden during this period, but it can help you save face. Oh, by the way, my teacher really wants to meet you, but it's just been no chance. Come with me to meet that old man this time? By the way, the others didn't come back with you. Juan threw out a series of questions while leading the people into the palace. Lin was not knocked out by so many questions. He knew that this was a sign of the elemental prince's joy. Otherwise, in normal times, 
this suave great magician in the past also behaved appropriately in dealing with people and things, making people feel like a spring breeze. Otherwise, with the blood stained on the hands of this great magician, if there are not enough friends, there will be enemies everywhere www.mtlnovel.com not to mention that he has a title, and the teacher is the president of the branch of the Magician's Association. As long as you dare to step out of the protection circle, there will be people who dare to die for revenge. But the answer still needs to be given, otherwise he will be baptized by one with repeated questions. Lin smiled and replied, the bank is starting up, and there are still many things to be busy. It is more convenient for me to travel alone, so I don't have to find other people to accompany me. We are magicians, not as delicate as the nobles, and we don't have entourages. If you go out, you won't even know how to live. As always, Fern ignored things that had nothing to do with her, so the work related to the bank could not be piled on her. It is my own three apprentices. Although the specific affairs of the bank are handled by the elves, it is also to make the elves more familiar with its contents. But the deployment of the personnel was arranged by those Harumi and Kaya, even Leonardo helped out, running errands and so on. After hearing someone's answer, Juan smiled and said, Haha, that's true. Lin said again, It's okay to meet your teacher, so please arrange a time. As for revisiting the old place, that's fine. I'm so busy with things, I don't have much interest in traveling. Your Majesty the Goddess can chase after her. Looking at the person in front of him with great interest, Juan suddenly asked, How big is your plan? It's not just such a small matter as the bank. He <laughs> he. Chapter 1286, Kingdom of Velva Palace of King Velva Although the body and armor of the guards along the way were not as mighty as the guards of the Guana Empire I saw not long ago, and their strength may also be a bit worse, their spirits were not inferior to others. The prospects of a country can be best seen from the vigor or stagnation of this kind of place, rather than listening to some people boasting. And what you see is vigor or arrogance, in fact, there is still a difference in temperament. If the latter, think about the origin of the idiom Yelang arrogant. Although he didn't go to the streets to see how the common people in this kingdom behaved, Lin Xian thought that there shouldn't be much difference. Follow in the footsteps of Wan, and listen to his introduction about the kingdom of Welva while walking. Hearing that he was familiar with all kinds of data, Lin couldn't help but joked, if you know so much about the affairs of the kingdom, do you have an idea for the next king? Lin had talked to this man about his family in the past. It can be said that as long as his mother's relationship is still there, he will honestly go back to be his Viscount Javier. He doesn't have any unreasonable thoughts, he himself is not interested in the position of the king, even his teacher's position as the president of the division is lacking in interest. Of course, the friendship must be good enough, and it can withstand jokes, so Lin dared to say these words. Otherwise, it will be regarded as sowing discord, and the boat of friendship will capsize easily. However, someone's question did not touch one's bottom line. He smiled and explained, isn't this a college that works as a part-time dean? The college has expanded several times. In addition to recruiting talents with qualifications but no resources to train them, it is now also recruiting students from outside, and has added a lot of people. There are fewer subjects. I have to find funds, and I have to make the students I teach useful. I am afraid that I know more about the affairs of the kingdom than the old man you will meet later. After Wan said this, he explained in depth the situation of the academy he ran, and Lin had a higher opinion of the friends he met at this young age. Think about the imperial court in the history of my hometown. No matter how the system changes, the most important function is the Ministry of Officials or similar institutions. The reason why the Ministry of Officials is important is not because it is in charge of the promotion and evaluation of all officials, so it is very important for the officialdom that needs to be exploited, it is because the right talents must be sent to the right positions to make the state machine play its best role. To meet such a requirement, in addition to understanding a person's ability, 
one must also be very clear about the needs of each position, in order to be suitable. Even in the evaluation, you need to know what is considered good and what is considered poor. From the time someone travels to the present, the countries he has seen or the books he has read, Mitty has not yet had such an administrative department dedicated to managing officials. This power is firmly in the hands of the emperor, king, or lord. Moreover, the standard of employing people depends entirely on the mood of those in power. When you meet a foolish king, the whole country will be in a mess. However, the college run by Wan is not the kind of education that is getting more and more out of touch with real life in theory and philosophy. Instead, it is still the habit of the lost people, taking the practical route. Wherever what kind of talents are needed and what kind of knowledge is needed, such talents should be cultivated and such knowledge should be taught. This form of education is a big step forward in MIDI. I don't know if such a system is likely to continue. The so-called death of the people and the rest of the government are not sarcastic remarks in this kind of society ruled by people. During the chat, the three came to the conference room. King Han IV of the Welva Kingdom sat on the throne, and on the other throne beside him was Queen Catherine, who was one's biological mother. Except for these two who had seats, the rest were all standing. Several princes and princesses stand on the left-hand side of the king, and behind him on the right-hand side are the king's private ministers. The ministers of the kingdom stood on both sides of the lower head. Those behind them don't look like nobles, or of low status. It seems that they are just the followers of the ministers. After all, the ministers present are all of a certain age, and there are people waiting for them to avoid sudden illness or something. Originally, Lin thought that he had experienced the dialogue with Lord Kaiyai, and had talked with an imperial emperor about bank-related matters, so he could be regarded as well-informed. Based on such experience, it is not easy to deal with the king of a small country. And it is true. The vision of the king of a small country in a remote area cannot be higher than that of the Grand Duke or Emperor of the Empire. The questions Han Four asked were basically the same as those asked by the previous two. So many questions, Lin has already thought about it before. It only needs to change the position, and it can be applied to the Kingdom of Velva. But in the process, there is a very interesting discovery. When Lin was talking, although he would look directly at the person who asked the question, the environment detection magic on his body never relaxed for a moment. That is to say, Lin still knows clearly even the situation behind him. Many of the views I have expressed actually have the taste of restraining the nobles and benefiting ordinary people. As a result, many nobles will be dissatisfied, thinking that their privileges have been violated. It's just that these dissatisfaction dare not show in front of someone, and only dare to show disdainful expressions when Lin and one's eyes are not on them. Among them, the disgust of those princes was not only aimed at a certain eloquent magician, but also their half-brother. But no matter how dissatisfied these people are, they dare not express it positively. It seems that one's prestige is deeply rooted in the hearts of the people. The blood and bones in the hands of the Prince of Elements are not all robbers and bandits who don't have eyes. As for those who never compromise on the privileges they deserve, and are unwilling to give up any rights to ordinary people. Lin directly showed everyone the example of crying on the forum and being struck by the goddess of gold coins because of not obeying the rules. Lin said in a flat voice, My lords, of course I respect your opinions. It's just that my respect is useless. In the end, whether you agree to the opening of the bank depends entirely on the will of the goddess of gold coins. His rules are there. I just conveyed and explained that if Her Majesty the Goddess disagreed, everyone's work would be in vain. Look at how many people insisted on their own opinions, but they were struck by lightning. Don't think that I fabricated these news to scare people. The news on the forum, if you have used it, you can verify it yourself. Besides, even if you don't know how to use it, you still have some basic understanding. Has anyone ever seen a person who is not pious at all and ignores the commandments of the gods, can use advanced magic? The cultivation of divine arts can be called the most unreasonable system in the land of confusion. If a warrior wants to improve, 
he must constantly hone his martial arts, if a magician wants to improve, he must constantly study and improve his magic knowledge. However, a series of envoys such as monks, priests and bishops rely on prayer, pleasing the gods, and understanding the concept of the gods to make progress. Basically, there are only a handful of people who can do the last item, and they must be very experienced envoys. Most people use divine arts, relying on the first two methods, so that the gods are willing to bestow part of their power. The more difficult or the more powerful the divine spell, the higher the requirement for the user's faith and devotion. As for how high one must be to use a certain divine technique, this is completely idealistic, and there is no data standard for reference. This belongs to the common sense of the lost world. That's why when Lin put forward such an example, everyone felt that what they were about to deal with was actually a god, not a person in front of them. The blood and tears mentioned on the forum, in fact, you don't need to verify it, you already believe it in your heart. The lost gods are not something to be beaten and scolded by others. If it's secretly sarcastic, that's fine. 